Oh god. Streamer bot exploded. One moment. <laughs> That's a great way to start the stream. Don't worry, I'll read all of your guys' messages. I can see them in the queue. How do I know if I'm on the list? Well, you're on the list, and now you're off the list, because I read it. Thank you, Cypher. Thank you for the $5 over on Super Chat. Give me a minute. We're gonna find out why this just detonated. What a good way to start a stream back from two days off. Wondrous. It's wondrous. If I can pass my OCP, can I add you as a friend on Discord? You can add me on a friend, as a friend on Discord anyway. You and 257 other people that have in friend requests right now, even though I do 100 of them a day, I can't beat the queue. There's too many of them. First time by here, love the content. As a question, is it a good idea to have a ferret as a pet? And should I know in advance if I do? No, it is not a good idea to have a ferret as a pet. As much as I love having them, it is not a good idea. They are lifestyle animals. They're incredibly difficult to take care of, incredibly expensive to take care of. And if you don't do a lot of research going into it, you and the animal are both going to have a bad time. So, instead of that, instead of that, do a lot of research first. That's the big thing. Do a huge amount of research first. And then maybe, maybe own a ferret. But you'll find out very quickly that they're highly expensive, hard to take care of, very tough animals. Lifestyle animals. They will change your lifestyle so that you can take care of them correctly. Alright, one sec. Let's find out why this thing blew up. Oh, cool. Even the ads are broken. God, this is, this is a good day. We're off to a good start, Chet. This is... This is wonderful. <laughs> everything is... Everything is great. You know? Here, wait. I need to... I need to turn this thing on. No, not key down. Come on. Where's my stream start? There we go. Eh? Alright, there we go. Now it thinks the stream started. Enjoy. Now I think all the messages will go through. The queue is finished. It's good now. It'll work. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. Give me just a minute.
All right, I'm back. I've returned. Is that Duper? Duper with a party of 176. Thank you for the raid, bud. How you doing, man? By the way, Helldivers feels infinitely better now. They fixed the balance. All the things I was bitching about. Resolved. Well, maybe not the mech. The mech might not be resolved. Everything else, great. Feels good, man. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Chargers, way easier to kill now. Armor, not as nasty to fight. You want to use the art gun? Totally works. New solutions to armor? In the game. Everything is great. Hunters, don't even matter, because the hard part was the armor. Hunters, their AI feels dumber now. It's great. Still gets 200 Bile Titans a mission? You do. That is dumb. But also, Bile Titans are a lot easier to kill when they don't have a billion chargers on top of them. Rocket pods kick ass? I mean, not really, but the rest of it, yes. Before it was bullshit divers. Now it's hell divers again. Which is good. You try the new weapons yet? No, I haven't unlocked them. I had to grind so I could get this the super credits so I could unlock them. And now I have. I'm glad you're streaming on my birthday. Nice. Eats are way better. Eats are alright. You can now kill a um a charger with like eight hits from the arc arc gun, the arc thrower. So, like, why use an eat when I can kill everything in the area, right? Takes a little bit longer, but it also kills everything else, too. And my own teammates. We can kill them as well. That counts as a kill, right? Gets you up on the leaderboard, number one. Number one, right? No one knows you're a traitor when you're the last man alive that makes you a hero. See? Easy. Easy. Team killing is just another number, chat. Playing Armored Core 6, wish me luck. I love Armored Core 6, dude. That was a fun game. I have never been more frustrated and more enjoyed in my life than on Armored Core 6. There are moments in that game that felt like pure bullshit. And sometimes they were my own. Sometimes I felt like I was bullshit in that game. Like I managed to kill a boss using no armor. I was fully naked except for the pile driver. And I killed one of the hardest bosses in the game using only that. And then we made a clip out of it. It was hilarious. I just punched him in the neck. On both phases. Fun game. Love Armored Core 6. Who's neck punching? It was me and Armored Core 6. Yeah, New Game Plus. Not just New Game Plus, dude. New Game Plus Plus. Wait until you get the end end. The big end of Armored Core 6. That's that's a hell of a game. That was not easy. I love the way they do New Game Plus and Armored Core. Phenomenal. Legitimately amazing. I have voice channels to make for you tonight. I have items to make tonight. I have weird stuff to do tonight. It's going to be a whole night, guys. A whole night of stuff. Work, 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 yes. Is that a platypus? How you doing, buddy? I keep watching your stream since uh, Twitch Rivals, and it's mostly because of your impeccable taste in shirts. I have to say. Outrageous, really. Where do you find those, man? You're so sweet, dude. Your channel's hilarious.
Alrighty. Free arc thrower when I dropped, didn't have to call him down. Ooh. We got some interesting bugs tonight, too. I don't just mean in hull divers either. Look, it's me. I exist. I exist. You ready, chat? You ready? Is there a ferret breed? Rare ferret breed? There's different kinds of colors for ferrets. They have different patterns. It's kind of fun. How does bro have 2k viewers at 2am? We just started, man. It's early. There will be many more soon. The goblins will arrive. That's what they do. I think by... Usually by the end of the stream, there'll be like... 13,000 between here and YouTube? The goblins have arrived, yeah. No game stream this week? No, so I was gonna stream for game stuff, but instead, the house has gone through. So, what I've been doing is I've been going back and forth from this house to that house, and then doing stuff. Which is a lot of stuff. Because... You you may not realize this. You know all that. You know all that. Like if you're if you're young right now and you live with your parents, and you throw things in the garbage, and the garbage magically disappears into the garbage dimension. Yeah, when you're old, you have to pay for that, and a man has to come and throw it away. You have to give him money, and it sucks. And then you have to call him to make sure that that thing is set up. But if you live in a rural area, there's no man to come get it. So you have to find out which neighbor it is that goes and picks up your stuff for you because he runs a private business that's called the garbage man. Yeah, that that's what I had to. Do the other day so things like that that kind of weird shit is what i was doing to figure out where it was the garbage man was yep because there's no city to give the garbage to <laughs> uh so that's the thing your neighbor fix it yeah he's like a dude he's just a dude that gets the garbage in the neighborhood and and everyone pays him and it's great and it's really cheap too it's like way cheaper it's wild it's completely insane. Is the house ready? Yeah, it is. So, the things that we're going through right now is we're trying to find out how much it's going to cost for the new roof. Um, we went over there and we set up some new cages for the ferrets. So, when we do move over, we will be ready because the ferret cages will be ready over there. I also did once over the house, I unplugged a bunch of weird shit that the old owner had plugged in. Um, the old owner had plugged in like a an old security system that wasn't even hooked up anymore and it was the the plug was browning and was warm to the touch and smelled which is definitely safe so i unplugged that thing which was great um and then i walked around the whole area of the property i found out that there's either a small bear or a large bobcat in the area because it decided to shred a tree within the last two hours of me being there which was good that was good to find i like that that's fantastic and then i found out that there's a the chicken coop because there's a chicken coop on there is in good enough condition that we can use it so that's kind of nice yeah 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 shay posted a pic about it it's kind of good except the bobcat and the rescue no yeah no no. Yeah, a little <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> uh it's a little spooky. But no, there's there's a couple of things that are gonna be really cool. I've actually talked to my neighbor here. My neighbor here at this house actually works for the city and he does construction. So we're setting up the team to go and build the ferret rescue. We've got a a layout that Shay and I are going to be like basically doing on paper. And then we're going to hire him to go and do this because he knows all of the people that work as contractors to go and build things. And it's going to be really easy to do. So the idea is to get the floor done as concrete, but then they, they flatten it out like it's made out of glass and then they seal it. They do like a resin seal kind of a thing on it. It's just like a, a veterinary floor, basically. So we're going to be doing that across the entire thing. So it'll be easy to clean, easy to do stuff on. And then we, for the ferrets, we'll put a rug in there in each one of the rooms, so then that'll be easy to deal with. Yeah. Really, really simple. And we just gotta design it. Or is it epoxy? Is that what it is? It's an epoxy. Yeah, not a, not a resin floor, an epoxy floor. I don't know things about building stuff. I just know it's gonna be flat and smooth. That's it. Are you getting chickens? Shay wants to get chickens 
we have to get goats because there's a lot of grass. So the goats will eat the stuff. I don't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah. House and the land is all done. Yes. Yes, indeed. And then we'll do the stuff. It'll be a thing. Cat for mice control? I mean, meatballs there, but there's no mice. Not in the house. I mean, there's probably mice in the house somewhere, but... There's none that I have to deal with. No evidence of that yet. They make robot mowers? Yeah. I don't think I'm ready for that layer of hell yet. You know? That layer of, like, Terminator-inducing... You know, life-ending hell. That that is the automatic robot lawnmower. I just imagine I get one of those things and just... I'm dead. Right? It just sh Like, I get back to my house. And it's, like, in my bed. Just, like, softly rumbling under the sheets. And it's, like... It feeds out in binary. Shouldn't you be mowing the lawn? You know, like, one of those? I'm not ready for that. I know it'll happen, too. It scares the shit out of me. IoT is not for me, dude. Mm. Also... I have a deep fear. I have a deep fear now. I've talked to the ISP man. The ISP man says it will be five months, roughly, to get the internet hooked up, the fiber, because they have to build the construct. They have to construct the fiber for the house. So, in the meantime, I have to do something about this because I want to move the ferret stream over there. I may not move my stream over there in that time. I may just commute to here and do that, which will be something. That's going to suck, but I could do it. Now, yeah, the big already happened the other day. Starlink kind of sucks. So what I'm going to try to do first is I'm going to try and do a hotspot. Because it's only one stream, right? So tomorrow, today, actually, I have a router coming. I've got a SIM card here. I've already got the SIM card. I'm ready to go on this. I'm going to try to hotspot this. Because the, the mobile data, like the mobile connection there is great. The phone connection is awesome. So I've got a secondary SIM card. I've got a Wi-Fi, like a, a mobile, you know, yeah, SIM card. SIM card for this. I've got the hotspot Wi-Fi thing set up. I've got the SIM card here, and we're going to do a test tomorrow. It's probably going to suck ass. <laughs> or it won't work. We'll find out. We'll see what it's going to be. Why not just test using your phone? I don't want to test using my phone. I want to test using a setup that, like, we have to make sure that it works, right? We have to set it. We have to set it up so that it works. So I've got this SIM card here. The The wireless hotspot that I have coming is a two-card hotspot so that I can load balance between two different connections that way. So if I get multiple carriers onto the same thing, it'll actually work and load balance between the cards, which is kind of an ingenious way to do this. So I'm going to do that. We're going to see if it works first. Yeah, we're going to see if it works. Yeah. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It sounds expensive. It's actually cheaper than normal internet, which is great. We'll see if it works. I don't know if it will. If it doesn't, I'm just going to be like, God damn it. Just look up how to get internet. Just download the internet, dude. You know, if I just download the internet and install it, I could get past this pro like problem, you know? Easy. Yeah. What's the drink? It's some electrolyte thing. I was dehydrated. <laughs> I haven't had enough liquid. Ugh. Yeah, go to internet.com, dude. Did you mute for a burp? No, I didn't burp. Oh, why would I mute for a burp? I want you to have that. That's payment for you. No one else, just you. Yeah, internet.com, dude. NyQuil burps? Gross, dude. Data thresholds are going to be a problem with the, the thing. Yeah, so, like, that was a big concern that I had because the stream generally goes at 6 megs per second up. And this is, like, the upload, right? And you're just going to hit any data cap just instantly on that. So my, my anticipation is that we can get, like, carrier line stuff where I can have the highest data cap I could possibly have and just get, like, the shittiest upload possible. If I can even get it to, like, 4 and just have that be unlimited. We could do it. We could do it. And like, whatever it's going to be. And if this doesn't work, then I have to go to something like Starlink. The problem with Starlink is that it's like intermittent and kind of ass, right? And I've seen it. It does work, technically. It does work 
We've seen it with like Dan Clancy, the CEO of Twitch, actually streams over Starlink. We've seen that. It just, it's just not good, right? It's kind of shitty, and it drops out or he turns into like a, I don't know, like a flip book randomly. So like we gotta, yeah, we gotta find a thing. I'd recommend Wisp if possible. I don't even know what that is. There's so many different solutions, but it, it really comes down to wireless hotspot seems to be the most consistent. It seems to be the best for the interim, but like this is all interim solution shit. Because otherwise you just can't do anything for like months, you know? And this is a Hail Mary play, basically. New ISP quote, no good? No, 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 no. The ISP quote is fine. It's just going to take months. They have to build the infrastructure. Like they literally have to make the nodes so that they can connect it up so that it can finally go to the house, right? It's going to be a whole thing. Like it's going to take a while. Have you tried McDonald's Wi-Fi? Yeah, let me just... I have an idea. Let me just open a McDonald's. And then make McDonald's pay for it. That's... We'll just put a McDonald's right there, right? You know? And then every day I could wake up to the smell of... McDonald's. That's a great idea, right? That definitely is gonna go faster than... What I'm already doing. That's... It's a great idea. Yeah. McDonald's is bad, dude. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I had the big big Mac Mac, which is the double Big Mac, and it was the saddest hamburger I've ever had in my life. I decided to try it because everyone's like, "Oh, the big big Mac Mac, it's gonna be amazing, right? It's double the Big Mac. Yeah, it's double the sadness. It they literally, like the patties themselves were soggy. They were like, it was like sad meat. It was already like the sad meat that McDonald's is, but like worse because it's like they rushed it because they're like, oh shit, there's so many patties happening. It was awful. And the only thing it tasted like, it tasted like the meat had a texture, but no flavor. And the flavor of the entire burger was basically Thousand Island dressing. That's it. It was like they took textures and they put Thousand Island dressing on it. And that was the, fl the flavor. It was like boiled meat that somehow had become flimsy with Thousand Island dressing on it. It was horrible, dude. It was really sad. You should look into dual SIM 5G routers. That's exactly what I'm getting today. It's arriving today, probably in a couple of hours. Yeah. Soon. Soon. Is that over here? Uh, uh, where is it? I must see when it arrives. Do I have anything else today? I don't. Oh, wait, I have a meeting today. I have a meeting today. With you, Batuba. Soon. They have a sad meal rather than a happy meal? Dude, I don't even know. Yeah, this is arriving- Oh, Amazon, why? Okay, so it's arriving today by 10 p.m., which- That could be anywhere. That could arrive now. Could be any time. You love McDonald's breakfast burritos? Here's- here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to the store right now. I want you to buy eggs. I want you to buy beans. Even just refried beans in the can. And I want you to buy tortillas. Alright? We're just gonna- we're just gonna get all this, right? We're just gonna get all- all of this. And then I want you to make like, five burritos for the cost of that one that you would buy at McDonald's. And by the way, each of those will be better than the McDonald's one. Love yourself. Love yourself. Just even that. You don't even have to add anything else and it's already better. Yeah, tort. You can get cheese too. It's still gonna cost less. Just make it at home. Just make it at home. Stop buying that shit. Does Dr. Pepper Beans work for that? Damn right it does. Dr. Pepper Beans is so good. There's no business being that good. Alright, I have some bug fixes today. A la Jake. Jake has given me good things. Hmm.
All right. Just to let you know, since we have this like really interesting problem with the block game community, we have this really fun thing. With a block game, the average block game player finds something that is wrong with the game. Right? They find something that is wrong. And then they tell everyone else in-game in chat. And then someone else in chat says, oh, the devs already know about that. And then nobody tells us. And nobody told us in the first place. Since this is the average sort of life cycle of the report in the block game community, we've decided to add analytics to everything. And we're now finding all of those vulnerabilities and bugs before players even talk about them. So that's working now. It's great. Yeah, we have a whole slew of things to fix today because of this. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's worked out fantastic. I do add analytics to it. We we added basically information for every one of the calls in the game to do performance checks across everything and some other things that give feed out so that Jake and I can figure out what the hell is going on. Jake has actually been getting feed out specifically on data for each interaction and each call from each one of these, which is useful, really useful. And then doing stuff on a dev server to make sure that all that makes sense in an isolated situation. No soda, 10 months, down 60 pounds. Telling you, dude, works really, really well. You'd be amazing what happens when you're not drinking 40 grams of sugar per drink. No, not log files, live. Not just immediate log files, live logging. Very helpful. Nail perfect, to perfect re corporate talk reporting. Uh. Oh, speaking of corporate, I have a piece of paper here in my hand. Are you ready for this? Are you ready, Chen? I have a piece of paper. The Internal Revenue Service has finally assigned us an employ employer identification number for the United States. The corporation is technically real now. I have a lot of other work that I have to do to do this because I have to get a license for Washington and all the other stupid shit that goes along with it, but we have the EIN. It's finally moving forward. Stuff is happening. Yeah, the Thorporation is, is existing. You gotta pay taxes now? Yes, good. I want it to go through the corporation so it doesn't go through me anymore. The horror of it going through my account is finally coming to an end. I don't want it going through me. Well, corporation? So, I started a corporation so that I could hire all the mods, the international mods. Um, and we can give them benefits such as retirement funds and also give them uh, health care as well. I'm actually setting up the health care account stuff right now. And the retirement fund stuff is already set up. Next year, the retirement fund model that we have right now is going to be kind of like put away. And then we're going to move that over to a 401k model for the US, US based mods. And then uh, this is kind of the first part of that is making sure that we have a, an IRS tax number, basically. And it's done. It's done. Do you drink white milk? What? Is there... Are there other colors? You know chocolate milk comes out of brown cows. You know that's true. Oh, it's true. You can believe me. That's true. They're chocolate cows, dude. They are. What about banana milk? Don't worry about it. By the way, banana milk is delicious. If you get a chance for banana milk at your local market, get that shit. It's so good. It has no business being that good either. It's so good. You actively hiring? No. So we're not hiring anyone right now. Um, we will in the future. We have to go through a couple of rounds of moderation stuff. Because I'm not going to be able to hire on all of the mods at the same time. I'm going to be able to hire on some of the mods at first. And then the rest of them are going to be over Pally, which Pally just said it's big rework. It's working again. We now have Pally again. That's a thing. And then um, after that, hopefully, things st steady out and we can make sure to hire every one of the moderators. Yeah. But uh, almond milk? Yeah. How do you milk an almond? That's gross. Hi, Bezos. 
I'm gonna pin all this stuff. Gently? I feel like it wouldn't be gently. Alright, I'm TTSing. I'm pinning all the comments, and then we're gonna get it done. Don't worry, none of your messages are lost. If you've given donations, there's 20-something in the queue. I just have to get it all. How do you milk a coconut? You don't. A coconut is a capybara egg. And you would know that if you knew your animal science. Why would you milk that? That's gross. It's true. It's the egg of a capybara. How do you milk oats? Oat milk. Thank you for recognizing my brethren. Fantastic. Cappy bars are amazing. I've never pet one, but I really want... Is that a tier 3? Thank you. Very nice of you. What would you milk? The internet. Internet milk. Think about that for a moment. Think how horrifying that would be. What would it taste like? Grim. Grim. Now, where's this down? <laughs> I need a download. From OJ Arena. Actually, wait, no, I don't. I need it over... Uh, okay, everything is good. We need to go and open the, the Java. Uh, no, gross. Where's my... Where's my development folder? GitHub, block in. Is it core? No. Is it booty? Yes. It's items. Rise. IntelliJ. Are you going to take 10,000 years to load? You are, aren't you? Because you hate me. Yeah. Yeah. You good? Trim stuff is done. Good. Um. How do we handle the offhand? Is it done in here or is it done in core? Actually, I don't think it's items that we mess with, is it? It's on 3 4? No, it wasn't items. We have to go over to core. There we go. Into the other project. And we have to go to offhand. Interesting. For some reason this works. And I've tried doing this in the past and it didn't do anything. Which is a little bit weird. And I don't know why. So that's fine, I guess. I'm waiting to see if this functions. I'm waiting to see. Because that's a little strange. World Guard is fine. We don't care about that right now. Don't care about this or that or this. Event Abstract Listener. I think all this is done. Yeah, we don't have to care about that. Block Clash is done. Let's go look at Death. Our Death Handler. No, not that Death Event. Where's the Us Death Event? Death durability loss goes through on that. That's correct. Instead of destroying cursed items, we actually drop cursed items. We're going to go to drop cursed. It looks like it checks for this. Player.get inventory. Get inventory is actually the entirety of the inventory. We're going to go pull all of this up first. That's correct. Player inventory is a class for extends inventory. That's fine. When we go and pull through this... We do a drop item, and it drops at the player location. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. This should actually pull... I don't think it'll touch the backpack. I think the backpack will be fine for this. Which ID is this? Neil? No, it says right. It's IntelliJ, dude. It's what we use when, we, when we're sad, and we have to make something in Minecraft. And... Oh god, I clicked the wrong button. Now it's going to verify for 50 years. That's what it's like, working IntelliJ. Give it, give it 50 more years, and all of my, all of my RAM. All of it. Alright, let's go package it up. Mm. 
Will it drop the curse that can't be dropped? Yeah. So instead of using Vanishing Curse, it'll say um, Curse of Butterfingers because we rewrote the functionality for Vanishing Curse. And it makes the items drop on the ground. So when you die, you drop all your stuff, which is good. Don't say Verify Milk. Don't say that. What is Backpack Milk? What does that even mean? Is that when you take... Is that when you like, out traveling in the forest and then, like, at the end of it, you take all the stuff that's at the bottom of the backpack, known as the Backpack Chum, right? And then you, you put that in water and then you drink that? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Backpack Milk? Is that what you want? This is the image you wanted in your head. It's yours now. You did this. This is yours. Michael Pridemore. On YouTube. That's your fault. That exists now. <laughs> what? You think that's weird? Fine. Do it out of the stuff you find in your keyboard. Alright? Yeah. Do it. You can have keyboard milk. It's not my problem. Right? Do whatever you want. It's 2024. That's fine. That's fine. No, please quit it. I refuse. Alright, looks like this actually compiled out, so we can take the target for this. We're in version what? 1298? What are we at on the server? 1297. Good. Perfect. Huh? And one two nine seven. That's good. Let's go look at pirate items just in case. We will go compile this out just in case to make sure that we don't have a newer version here. Package that one out. Just just in case. Because we were on 1088 before. Oh, it's gonna download everything forever from the repo. Fantastic. Don't worry, Chet. This little button press is going to cost us 53 years. We can just wait. It's going to be great. Let's start doing the queue. Let me fix this right now. Wonderful. Yeah, it's just what we needed. Some queue. Is that going to work? Wario underscore so I missed has obtained the cursed quest. Whoa. Cursed quest. First quest. Wario, are you there? Wario. Are you there, Wario? Because you did it. You were the first one to get the cursed quest. You're there, I see. Art. Cooking. Interpretive dance. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Go big or go home. The more cursed it is, the more likely Chad is to vote yes. And every Tuesday we vote. Let's do cooking. Alright. Alright. Cooking it is. It's gotta include garlic. Because you're Wario. And it would be a shame if it didn't include a lot of garlic. What is your favorite garlic-based food? Oh, Wario. What's going on, Curse Quest? We do one of them a day. Usually at the beginning of the stream, but I was... 47 minutes in, decided to hit the button. Come on, Wario. What is it? What's your favorite food that's garlic-based, Wario? Garlic water? What do you mean, garlic water? Are we going into garlic milk now? Is that what that is? Oh. Garlic milk. Garlic Malk? What the hell is Malk? Like, like the Simpsons Malk? Grade F Malk? I remember that episode. <laughs> you mean Alfredo? Garlic milk is not Alfredo sauce. Hold up. No, no. That's, that's, that's too far. That is not real. Alfredo sauce is not garlic milk. You stop that at once. <laughs> Cease immediately. That is grim. That is deeply grim. Oh, God. 
Buh. Garlic Parmesan sauced wings. Ah, oh, garlic Parmesan. You started this? No. You're a moderator. Wait, you have a sword. That just makes you better at trolling, I think. It makes you a more powerful troll. You've become a hobgoblin. I have an idea. I have an idea. Have you ever have you ever made garlic sauce before? You ever made like actually have you ever made garlic Alfredo sauce? Sauce. There we go. You ever made garlic Alfredo sauce before? You ever done that? Mm hmm. Have you done that, Wario? Sauce. Delicious garlic Alfredo sauce. You're gonna go on a culinary adventure this time. What the heathen bullshit is this? It'll be good. Trust. It'll be good. I've used garlic plenty, but not particularly garlicly Alfredo. We're gonna do something for you, alright? I want you to make an Alfredo sauce, and you're gonna learn to do it from scratch, and I want you to record or take pictures of the entire process of you making an Alfredo sauce. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Not an Alfredo sauce that's different. All right, because it, it gets terrifying. Don't, don't do that. Make an Alfredo sauce. All right, make a garlic Alfredo, delicious. Then here's what I want you to do. You're gonna need to make a pizza, and on this pizza, you're gonna put your garlic Alfredo sauce as the base instead of red sauce. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be you. Trust me. This is delicious shit. Now we're going into the realm of mmm. -hmm. And some of you may say, eh, you're vampires. That's fine. You could be upset if you want to. You may not enjoy this delicious culinary masterpiece that's about to be made. And it's fine for you to be wrong. All right? It's okay. I respect you as the vampire that you are. Unless, unless vampires are actually just, they really like garlic and they want us to season ourselves. It's one of the two. Either way. This is going to get made, and it's going to be amazing. Now, on this pizza, you need to take any other toppings that you want, whatever you want it to be, and I want you to arrange those toppings so that they become... Let me find, let me find the right one. Let me, let me find a good one. I want a good one. That one. There we go. That's That's pretty much the face right there. Just the fattest version of me. Just the most neck. Because if you're gonna make something that delicious, it needs to be this face, frankly. You have to arrange the topping so that it becomes my infinitely necked... ...version... ...of myself. Yeah, that's the face that I used when I chopped up people in Power World. <laughs> Triple or double? As many as you- you know, you can just keep going, frankly. I feel like this is repeatable, right? Just all the way down. Just all, cause like, dude, if I don't actually have a double chin anymore, but if I do this, you know, like way in there, that's that's what happened there. I was so horrified that I retracted my neck like a worm, and then that happened. Yeah, it's great actually. It's fantastic. Like a giraffe, but an accordion at the same time is kind of how that went. Totally involuntary too, which is wonderful. Can you do this, Wario? Can you make a garlic Alfredo pizza with this face on it? Can you make this? And can you track your culinary adventure either via video or with images? I absolutely can. I believe in you. I believe. Chat, believe. Believe in Wario. The contract is sealed. I'm so sorry. Good. Good. I await. I await the nightmare that you're about to create. I await it. What have you done? Pretty much nothing today yet. <laughs> we got a lot more than this to do. It's going to get a lot weirder. Just wait and see. Just wait and see. I've got a lot of shorts to release, though. Oh, wait. The vampire one isn't even out yet. There's no context to that yet, is there? That comes out today. The vampire one comes out today. It's 
Steam Spring Sale? Yeah. Let me see. Actually, I believe Heartbound is on sale for the Steam Spring Sale. Yes, it is. Uh, if you want Heartbound at 20% off, do this. If you can't afford it right now, just wait, because I, I make it off all the time, because I want you to get a good deal on it, so you have it now. Also, the entire bundle is 20% off, which is for all of our games and the OSTs. And if, if you want the OST, the OST is also 20% off, which so it's like four bucks for 100 songs. So enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me shilling my own stuff. Is the demo free? Yes. Not only is the demo normally $0, but I've decided to reduce the price of the demo by 20% for the sale to go from $0 down to, and I know this is surprising, a new special price of zero dollars that's right the demo is is now free and it was before as well that's right the demo is free yes yeah surprising i know yeah <laughs> you guys are goblins i swear 20 percent more free yeah 20% more democracy. By the way, uh, they fixed they fixed Helldivers. I'm actually quite happy about this. So, you know all the stuff that I was complaining about the other day? And I was like, hey, this, is, this does not feel good. This feels like really shitty. And I was talking about all the little pieces that didn't feel right. And then some members of chat decided to lose their minds and be jackasses and get banned. It was a pretty good time. With that going on, they fixed those things. The devs actually did reduce the HP of a number of things. They actually balanced out a lot of the AI for stuff. They made it so that the missions were much more doable, and they added additional weapons to solve the armor problem. And by doing so, guess what? The game feels good now. Amazing how that works. Really it, astounding, even, frankly. Yeah. Have you tried the new Warbond? Yeah. I finally unlocked it today. Also, somebody tried to go put a bunch of messages on Twitter to say that I'd gone on, like, off the deep end to go ban people. During that th that thing the other day where I was like, hey, mods, just ban anyone that's being a jackass in chat. Because we were trying to talk about this. We were trying to talk about the issues of the game and people started freaking out in chat because they were, like, on so much copium that they couldn't handle themselves. They couldn't have a normal conversation about a game having bugs or having bad balance changes. And so they were just screaming obscenities at me. We banned, like, I think, like, six people total. And all of their unbanned requests got denied. And the people that we banned, all they said were things like, you're a dipshit. And like, that was it. That was like their entire take. So we didn't ban people that were like, hey, I don't agree with you. We banned people that were jackasses. And if... It, surprisingly, surprisingly, people went to Twitter and were like, this streamer has finally gone off the deep end. He's finally abusing all of his power. We can't trust him anymore. He's He's gone evil. So like, no, dude... I'm going to ban people that are assholes in my chat. I've always banned people that are assholes in my chat. None of this is different. It's just because you don't think the game is in a bad spot doesn't give you the right to be an ass. It doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. We can have a conversation where we disagree without you devolving into being an ass in chat, right? And that's never going to change. You've been evil the whole time, no change. True. Only a little bit, though. The fun kind of evil, like... Like when Lex Luthor stole all the pies. That's me. Except it's not pies, it's all of your stuff in a video game, like EVE Online. Yeah. So a lot of stuff. Because what's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. Because... Social sandbox game. Yeah, yeah. It's true. That's how it works. Bitcoin right shoulder not looking. I don't give a shit, dude. I don't, whatever. Bitcoin's gonna do whatever it's gonna do. I don't care. I don't care. I'll, I'll tell you one thing, and this is making me laugh. Let me let me pull this up. Who here is following the game Bitcraft? Because we keep talking about this, and I'm really excited for this game. I've talked to the devs a whole bunch too. Let me go pull this up. They have gotten inundated with just a shitload of weird crypto bros. And they had to put out a statement saying that their game has nothing to do with crypto. And they're still getting hammered by crypto bros thinking the game has something to do with crypto. And it doesn't. It has nothing to do with it. 
Let me go pull this up. This is one of the weirdest things I've seen in game dev in a while. It's one of the strangest things. So I can't even show their leaderboard because it won't refresh right now because it's broken. Likely because of all the crypto shit. All the crypto bro shit. But we're going to be playing this video game. It's actually a, um, like a... Let me, let me go grab the YouTube for it. It is a survival MMO. YouTube, Bitcraft. And I'm really excited for it because the game looks good, right? It's the kind of aesthetics that I really enjoy. It's, it's the sort of gameplay that I really enjoy. Let me grab this. Look at this. Look how nice this game looks. The art style looks really... Yeah, it looks super promising, right? Because the art style looks cool as shit. Yeah, no, it looks good, and it's an MMO. Here, I'm going to link this chat. You guys go do this. There you go. I even made a section of the Discord for this, because this actually looks really cool, man. So with this, you can, like, fully damage and, and reshape the world. There's terraforming, and it's hex tiles, dude. You never get to see hex tiles. I love that shit. Yeah, it's hexagons. Dude, they're best of guns, by the way. So, like, we can terraform the land, we can build out, like, bases, we can make towns and stuff together, and it's an MMO, so it's a fully shared world with everybody else at the same time. And they're using this thing called Spacetime DB, which Primogen and I are going to talk about it. We want to talk about their, their way of doing database management, because their database is their server at the same time. Spacetime is doing some really, it's a really interesting model, and we've been diving into it so we can do a, a more well-informed talk about it to find out what it is. You reading a script? No. They didn't pay me anything. I'm not sponsored by them. I think the game looks cool as shit. No, not sponsored. If I was sponsored, I'd have to disclose that. Welcome to the FCC. No. Yeah, no. I just think the game is good. I'm interested in it. Yeah, DB is a server using space-time. I'm actually really interested in it. That's why uh, Primogen and I are going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Because I think it's neat. What's bad about it? Nothing so far. The game just looks good. Yeah, I'm just excited for it. So you can host your own server? No, they're doing it as an MMO. So there's no there's no hosting for us, right? Like, we don't have to host it. They host it. But the thing that I found that's really interesting about this is here. Let's go up to the leaderboard real fast. Let's see if it loads now. It won't. The, the grand... This is so weird. The grand majority of their leaderboard is crypto bro accounts. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? And some of these accounts are getting like millions and millions and millions of points on them. And I was like... There's no way these are real. And I talked to the devs, and they're like, no, the, this is getting botted, like, super hard. So if we go to from Bitcraft Online and then Crypto, they had to put out a public announcement because the crypto community cannot handle the fact that their game is called Bitcraft. So they think it has something to do with Bitcoin, but it doesn't. So they had to put out this statement that says, there is no crypto, no Web3, no blockchain, no NFTs, no drops, etc. in Bitcraft Online. Bitcraft is an upcoming open-world sandbox MMO that we hope you and your friends will enjoy. If you showed up expecting crypto or similar, there is none. We hope you will stick around to enjoy the awesome community and our game once it is out and ready to play. And they're still hammering it. It is still filled with crypto bro shit where everybody's like, oh god, this game's gonna have everything to do with Bitcoin. And they're just freaking out and it makes no goddamn sense. So like all the people on the top are things like, named like Airdrop and Crypto and Elon Musk was one of them. I was like, dude, what is this shit? And like the, for some reason, the crypto community just cannot handle the fact that a game has the word bit in it. It has nothing to do with crypto. It's, it's insane to me. It's completely insane to me. So yeah, no, I'm excited for the game. Is it officially released? It's coming out in April. They're going to close alpha in April, and we're getting a bunch of keys for it because we we you know a bunch of people in the community have been going for it. So definitely go and join up on it because I'm I'm excited to play it. I want to play it with you guys. Yeah, I'm really excited to play with you guys because it's it's neat. It's a cool it's a cool game, and I, I like the idea of the little robots. I like the open world ex exploration, and I think the idea of having an MMO with terraforming especially in hexagons, is highly compelling to me, especially with town building. Even if it's not combat-based, because they said combat is not, like, a main feature of the video game, it's just, like, town building and, like, resource management and survival, which I think is really interesting. And I'm interested to see how it goes. We discussed the DB on stream here. Yeah, so once Primogen and I are ready to talk about it, because we're going to look into all of it, I want to talk about the space-time DB, because that's an intro. No, not no combat, just D and, like, it's not the, the main thing. We don't know how that's going to work quite yet. There are a bunch of features listed on their website, though. Rename game to Bytecraft. Problem solved? No, dude. The crypto community is so freaking weird. It's so weird. Do you do, a pod you do the podcast yet? We have our first episode of the podcast, and we have to, like, edit it out, but I'm waiting. Shay is making an, uh, a logo 
for the podcast first. We're going to call it Hack and Stash. We've already got everything set up. We've got it mostly set up, which is good. Soon. Poor Battlebit devs, question mark? I know, dude. I just don't get it. I don't get why the, the crypto community is doing this shit. It makes no sense. Their game has nothing to do with crypto. It's wild to me. Yeah, Hack and Stash, like mustache. And also stashing like a ferret. Yeah. And hacking. Like, hack and slash. In the video. See, there's so many... It's got like 10 puns in it, right? Will you be podcast bro then? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the genius thing that you should do on the internet right now. And we're going to make content on stream. Yeah? Uh -huh. And then we're going to take that content and we're going to put it on YouTube. Like curated. So that way, we're streaming at the same time as making a YouTube video, and that YouTube video is the podcast. Ah! Three kinds of content at once! Yeah. Yeah. Learned a little bit from my buddy Ludwig. Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Always be generating things. Who's on the podcast? Me and Primogen. It's the, yeah, content multiplexing exactly no it's gonna be it's gonna be me and ludwig or not me and ludwig it's gonna be me and primogen doing stuff but yeah no, that's what ludwig does he does it all the time it's a smart way to do it if you if you want to make things on the internet a good way to make things on the internet is stream your stuff and then take portions of that and curate it and when you curate the best portions of that you can turn that into other types of content and it makes life easy it makes what life way easier uh if you look at the shorts, shorts are just pieces of the stream. Those are the those are the moments that you guys clipped and became very good. That's that's what that is. People, if if you clip a moment of the stream and you like it, and then other people look at it, that turns into the shorts. That's how that happens. We take the top performing shorts of like the week and then send those up. Powerwood has a raid coming soon. I know, I know. What are your thoughts on the game Bitburner? I really enjoy it. I think that's a really cool. It's more automation-based game than it is about hacking, but it's it's like an automation hacking game, right? Where it's like you set up automation, it's set in a world where you're a hacker, it's fun, right? Can we have your shorts? I don't actually own any shorts. Oh, by the way, I have um I have a deeply depressing announcement. I know this is gonna come as a shock to some of you, but I am down to one pair of pants again. Yeah, that's right. Um my second pair of jeans, my oldest pair of jeans, I am now too in shape to wear them. They were my fat man jeans, and they no longer fit. When I wear a belt, they are deeply uncomfortable because the waistband is so rankled that it feels bad when I wear them. Yeah, I can't fit them in them anymore. I am no longer fat enough to wear those old pants, so I have to get, I have to get new pants. Or I just keep the one pair. I have one pair that fits now. One Pants Man, finally back. I'm worried, no, even when you wear a belt, like, if you wear a belt, you know, like, pants are like this. When you wear the belt, when the pants are, like, still too fat, they go like this, kind of against your body, and they get, like, rankled like that. Nobody wants that shit. It feels really bad. It feels really bad against your skin. And it's, oh. Yeah, that's what happens now when I wear the belt. Because I'm too in shape to wear my old fat pants. Only sweatpants? No. No. Respect yourself. What's the matter with you? Wear jeans. Wear jeans outside. At least. Don't wear sweatpants. Do you know how many people I see go to the store in pajamas? Stop it. Stop doing that. Go to the store in clothes. What's the matter with you? I saw, I saw some adult human being wearing a onesie to the store the other day, dude. Stop it. Go to the store in clothes. What's the matter with you? What's wrong with that? Stop that. Stop doing that. They're not clothes. Jeans are uncomfortable for me because they don't make them 100% cotton anymore. Dude, I have noticed. I have noticed something really interesting. My old pair of jeans is actually like super tough material. And they were like, they're like Wranglers, right? You know, like rank Wrangler. I don't even know why that word is ridiculous. Hi, but... Bezos wants the Wranglers. We'll wait. We'll wait. Down with pants? You're gonna have to buy me dinner first, dude. You can't just say that. You know, there's a whole process to that. Alright? Jesus. Do 
What's the matter with you? We wait. We wait for the ads. Plaid pajamas in Walmart every time? Dude, I get those. I have my Walmart pajamas. I wear them at home, just not to the store. My pajamas don't even fit anymore. I have to get new pajamas, dude. Lost all that weight. Does Thor lose all his strength if you cut off his hair? Yes. I'm like Samson, dude. Just gone. Assless chaps? Where'd the asses go? That's just... Assless chaps are the man trying to sell you less pants for more. Don't buy it. Don't buy it, dude. Ridiculous. I always buy myself a pajama set every Christmas in memory of my great grandma. That's really nice. You must have a lot of pajama sets. It's too many. What about pantsless pants? Now you're onto something. Alright, I'm back. So, ads are over. By the way, if you don't know this, I wait for ads because ads suck on live content. So I wait for you. Don't worry. You don't get left behind. So I have the old Wranglers, right? And these are like 10 years old. I have 10-year-old jeans, and those are the ones that I have to retire because I'm not a fat ass anymore. I'm finally, I'm finally too thin to wear my old fat man pants. Sucks. There's two things that I got out of this. One, I feel a lot healthier. Two, I'm cold now. That sucks. That sucks. There's literally like, I can take two hands, do two fists like this, put them in the side of my pants, and it's still, there's still like a little bit of room between my hip and the edge of the pants. Oh, that's, I lost this much waistband, basically. Ridiculous amount. I used to be very fat. So with that in mind, um, these are really tough material. They're actually like super tough. Like these, these pants could last me for like another 10 years, no problem. The new ones that I bought two years ago are the same brand. The same fit, everything, but they're like thin. They're like thin. And I don't think these are going to last very long. Do jeans suck now? Like, that's my real question. So, what I'm planning on doing is instead of buying these at like Target or some shit, I'm going to start going to farm stores. Because there's like farmer supply stores, right? And I'm just going to go buy jeans at farmer supply stores because those ones look like they're still tough as shit, which is correct. I, that's what I'm going to start doing because there's a farmer supply store near me and they have jeans at the farmer supply store and they look correct to me, like like proper jeans. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to start doing because like this weird thin cloth shit is like, that's not what I buy jeans for. I want them to not suck. Those jeans are like $80 from where I'm from. I feel, to be honest with you, if I'm going to buy a pair of jeans that's going to last me 10 years, 80 bucks makes sense. It's awful. The price is stupid, but if it's going to last me 10 years, that's $8 a year for the one pair of pants that I wear, right? And I wear, I only own one pair of pants right now, so I feel like that's kind of a fine thing to me, right? Where, like, if I buy that, that's the, the cost of that over time is pretty much nothing. Because, like, it, let, me, let me think about it this way. If we've got, if we've got one pair of jeans, I spend maybe... I go out maybe, uh, let me think, like four times a week. Probably going to be more. Probably five days a week times 52. So we've got that 260 days times that by 10. We've got 2,600 pants wears, right? We've got an $80 pair of pants divided by 2,600. I'm spending three cents a day that I wear those pants. I think that's a pretty good deal. 
when I think about it. Every time I put on those pants, I'm going to think, there's another three cents. Like, every time. Yeah, I'm basically, you're buying a subscription to pants when you buy a pair of pants that is like your one pair of pants. Every time I put it on, I'm like, that's nah, another three cents. 3.07 cents, technically. Yeah. Just a couple of pennies down, right? Yeah. The cost of washing these over and over. I mean, we could probably increase the cost because of washing them. You don't wash a pair of jeans every time you wear it. Why would you do that? You wash them when they're a little bit, you know, weird. Who, who washes pants every time you wear them? You wash them like once, once a week, maybe twice. Yeah. Unless I'm out there like sweating at them and they smell like like warm ass, right? Like no one when your jeans smell like warm ass, it's time to it's time to you've gone past the time of washing them. Frankly, maybe once a week. Maybe once a week is you wash those pants. If you have one pair, I mean, yeah. If I if it smells bit like the way that I feel about it is if you're if your clothes smell do you know what the level of smell is? It's going to be different for everybody. But the way that I feel about it is, if I would be embarrassed to wear that around you, it is past the time of cleaning them. Like, if, I would, if I, I'm like, oh, I want to go to the store, but I don't want to go to the store because I'm embarrassed about my pants. Like, that's... I should have washed those already at that point. Embar it's, it's Smell and, and cleanliness is all about embarrassment factor. How embarrassed are you to wear this in front of other people? Are you embarrassed? That, is the embarrassment very high? What are you doing? Wash your clothes. Is the embarrassment quite low? Okay, you're fine. It's fine. Just wear those. No problem. Everyone's level of embarrassment will be different. If you have no shame and you just want to be a follower of Nurgle, don't hang out with me. That's gross. You're gross. Yeah. It's a little gross. It's a little gross. Yeah. Let's go see if there's a new version or not. Oh, where is it? GitHub. Block game. Items. Target. 1088. 1088. Good. I think everything there is good. Hmm. I've been sent an image, Shet. I need to bless you with this. This was sent by a community member. And I need I need to bless you with this. Look at those chunky boys. Look at those beefcake noodles. My god, look at that one. Moving at the speed of sound. Ferrets have two ways of taking photos of them. Frozen in time or and this is, you can see that between these two. Deeply curious or rabidly spinning, basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. So ferrets, boy ferrets particularly, get real chunky in the winter. This is some chunky winter, boys. Yeah. Beans has already lost his coat. He lost his fat. His, month, his yearly fat is gone. Yeah. Chunky. Thank you for some blessed boys. Thank you, guys. You sent me those. They're very cute. Cute lads. Thank you for that. Let's see. Oh, by the way, um, cool announcement. I've been invited out to Open Sauce. So I'm going to be there. That's going to be fun. And they have revealed that, um, you know, we are real humans and not AI, mostly. So at least one person on here is AI. And I'm going to be real with you. I think it's Duck Duck. I think it's actually, I think the whole time, Doug Doug has actually been artificial intelligence. No one could have a smile that perfect. Yeah, it's definitely Doug Doug. Definitely is. No, it can't be me. I mean, look at me. Nah. It's, it's got to be Doug Doug. It's got to, definitely Doug Doug. Definitely Doug Doug. I mean, look at him. That's AI. Look at him. Look at him. That's why we work so closely to AI. It's because he is one. Yeah. It's been a ruse the whole time. It's been a ruse. Look at him.
Look at him. And if you come down here, you say, I'm in fact a real human. I even have human skin. See? That's... I'm definitely not the AI, chat. As much as you want me to be. I'm totally normal. Totally normal. All right. Block game community is going to be in shambles in a moment. Uh, where is it? Going through a shock bite host. Let's go see if it explodes. It will, by the way. It will actually explode in a moment. Our beautiful server needs to go down for a minute. It'd be something in game or silent, would say? I need to talk to him, game. I haven't talked to him for a little bit. Oh, I haven't had a I haven't had a chance to talk to my good buddies. Ready for Helldivers 2 soon. I know, um, I know Iron Mouse wants to play for a little while, so we're going to play that soon. Maybe like two more hours? Three more hours? Somewhere there, we're going to play. And then we'll get back to devving. By the way, we're back on the normal schedule, so 12 hours a day, every day except for Thursday. I will be streaming from midnight to noon every day. Um, so the streams are going to be long, there's going to be a lot of stuff in them. It's not just going to be making stuff, it'll also be playing games, it'll be doing things, talking about the internet, talking about video games. There's a lot of content every single day, yeah. So if you don't know, if you haven't seen the streams recently, um, a short day for me is 9 hours, a normal day is 12 hours a day. We go from midnight to noon, PST, every day. Except for Thursday. Thursday I don't stream. So yeah, that's that's the whole deal. We're stacked for the Warbond? Nice, dude. Very good. What's open sauce? It's a convention, and it's it's done by William Osmond and a bunch of other people. Um, Electro Boom is going to be there. William Osmond is going to be there, and all those people that you just saw are going to be there. We're going to talk to people. We're going to have a lot of fun, do a lot of cool shit. I'm hoping to talk to other people in in the YouTube sphere because they don't get to meet a lot of YouTube people, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. It's a huge amount of people. Let me actually show you. Open sauce looks cool as shit, dude. Let me grab this. Behold, open sauce. I'm going to link this in chat. I'm gonna link this in chat. There you go. Show sauce. Featured creators. Whoa. Whoa. Look, Code Nico. Whoa. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. I'm probably... Up Have they put me up here yet? Not yet. They've not updated this yet. They put me on the tweeter. Soon. Now Red's gonna be there. I'm actually really excited to meet a lot of these people, too, because, to be real... I've watched a lot of these dudes for a long time, like Backyard Scientist, William Osmond, Niall Red, Mark Robert. Like, these are people that I've watched forever. Also, Colin First, forever. So, like, this is pretty cool for me, legitimately. And now I get to go to a convention and, and talk at it in Styropyro. A lot of people on here. It's a huge amount of people on here that I've watched for ages. And now I get to make things that they know about them. So, that's kind of cool shit. Niall Red is awesome, dude. Really, really awesome. Where's Cody? I know Cody's in here, too. Oh, Cody's lab. There he is. This man is wild. <laughs> yeah, Electro Boom, too, dude. Electro Boom is hilarious. I've never seen a man make electrical engineering look so dangerous and so safe at the same time as Electro Boom. And he has full eyebrow control. I have no idea how he does that. Like, in incredible, frankly. Insane to me. Yeah, I've watched Electro Boom for ages. <laughs> yeah, Cody, let's go take a bath in Mercury. Yeah, dude, him. Insane to me. What happened to your 8835 schedule? It's exactly the same. So instead of doing 8835, I transitioned it to do 1635, where I just do 16 hours of work a day, three hours of free time, and then five hours of sleep every day. That 16 hours, 12 of that is now spent on stream. And then four of that is spent off stream. On Thursdays, 16 of that is spent off stream. That 16 hours off stream is my time for doing writing in Heartbound. Because most of what I'm doing is writing. The reason why I do this is because I can do technical stuff on stream, such as developing things for block game or developing different rooms or setting up uh, lighting effects or things like that for Heartbound, things that are non-spoiler. And then at 16 and 4 off is when I can do things that are spoiler related for Heartbound, which means that I can still get all of my work done and you guys can see more stream, which means everybody wins. Everything is scheduled. 
My life is very regimented, right? Incredibly so. Five hours of sleep is, is hardcore and probably unhealthy? No. So I, I've actually gone to my doctor. Chad MD is not going to change my mind on this. I've gone to my doctor. We've done sleep studies. I am normal on five hours of sleep. I drop into REM sleep really fast. We've done sleep studies for me. That's just how I am. I've been that way for a great, great number of years. It is not different now for me in any way. Yeah, Chad MD is not going to change that. No. My doctor knows more than you. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm just a mutant. It's a weird mutant. Are you a metalhead? I mean, I not really. Kind of, I don't know. What is a metalhead anymore? There's very little, like, metal music anymore, frankly, that I know of. Metalhead is kind of like, buh. That used to be more of a thing when, like, metal was, like, not really respected, you know? It's like, oh, that guy listens to metal. He's a bad dude. Now it's just like, oh, alright. Alright. There's a ton of metal, yeah, but it doesn't have the the metal charm anymore. Like it used to be, if you were if you were a metalhead, you were like a fringe society person. Like, oh, that dude's kind of dangerous. He's a metalhead, right? And like, that's not really a thing anymore. It's not. It's just cool music now. Which so like, I don't even know what a metalhead is now. Black Sabbath was amazing. What do you mean was? What do you, what do you mean was? You take that shit back. Black Sabbath is still amazing. Jesus, was. Hasn't gone anywhere. What's the matter with you? And Olga with 500 bits said hello Joomba. There's something that's been bothering me since the game jam. If it mm. allows enough malware through to cause trouble even for an expert like yourself, how yes. can an average user, without multiple computers to sacrifice, stay safe when downloading things off that platform? My guess is waiting until the game acquires enough positive feedback is a good bet, but how likely is it that an otherwise good and popular game will have malware in it that bypasses detection too? Therein lies the problem. There is no way for you to know. When you are downloading unsigned code on the internet, when you're downloading random EXEs on the internet and you're running them, you are always at risk. Always. Whether that's an HIO or otherwise. That's kind of how that goes, dude. If you download a game on itch, and you don't know who the creator is, even if you do know who the creator is, I'll give you an example. Two of the submissions that we got that had malware in them weren't because the developers made malware. It's because their machines were infected, and it infected their executable, and then we found that because it was trying to spread to other machines using that EXE that they generated. Yeah. And we had to help them get that shit off of their machine so that they could produce a clean executable. So, like, it is it is 100% the Wild West on that shit, dude. It really is. And it is dangerous. It is dangerous. Yeah, you. The, the best things that you can think about is this, is don't just download random shit on the internet and have Windows Defender activated on your machine. Those are the two big things. And, like... I know that may seem silly. People may look down on Windows Defender because they're like, oh, Windows Defender, ho, ho, Windows. No, Windows Defender is is beast, dude. It is one of the best lines of defense you can possibly have. You don't need everything else. You don't need all the extra stuff that goes along with that for the grand majority of things. And we get things like malware bytes to do spot detections, and that's fine. False uBlock Origin, stop virus on your computer. No, uBlock Origin doesn't stop every type of virus on your machine. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. No. What? Why are you like this? Yeah, he said he said it's not bad. So like, th think about it this way: the ferrets just crashed again. If you're if you're using a, a standard antivirus at all times, a lot of the times it's going to be overkill. Some of the times it's going to give another route for getting into your machine. And when it comes down to it, Windows Defender is fantastic, and using certain antiviruses for spot checks, such as malware bytes, things like that, is a great way to be. But the, the best line of defense you have is not being an idiot on the internet. That is the best line of defense you have. Always. It's just don't be a dumbass. Don't just download random shit. And it's it's something that people forget. A lot of the times they'll have like an inkling like, oh, maybe I shouldn't download that. Nah, it's fine. And they do it and then they're screwed. Like, listen to that gut check when you get that. And just just don't download weird shit. It's... It's funny because this has always been an age-old problem. When I was young, we had things like LimeWire. Oldies, you know what's up. You ruined your, your dad's computer. You did. You got in deep shit for it, too. 
You know, you tried to hide it, and he was like, what's this LimeWire shit? Like, you did. And the next generation's exactly the same, but the problem is, is the different methods for scamming them now are so much more sophisticated than they were when I was young and when you were young. So the younger generation is at a severe disadvantage, comparatively. And it's not their fault when they get owned. So the best thing you could do is run Windows Defender and do spot checks on your computer and, and be safe on the internet, man. Don't just download random shit. Just don't download random shit. I know, I know it's, it's rough, but like, that is it, you know? And put two-factor on all your shit. Yeah, the internet's crazy. It's a crazy thing. I'm gonna go turn the ferrets back on. They died. Please, ferrets. Stream avatars, why? Yeah, not a virus.exe. Totally not a virus.exe website. But I want funny game.exe? I know. Because I was great, Winamax. Dude, there was. It was the Wild West for a while there. Not really a thing anymore. What do you do beyond a malware bite spot chat? For the grand majority of people, that's not even a requirement beyond that. You know? The grand majority. Like, dude, some of the, some of the stuff that people sent us for the uh, the game jam, they were actually, like, people sent us ransomware. And, like, <laughs> I mean, it didn't get us because we know what we're doing, but, like, damn, does that suck. You know? Like, damn, does that suck. And we actually looked at any one of the downloads, downloads that we got that actually had malware. And if there were comments on it, we reached out to the people that actually had commented on them. And let them know what was going on. And, like, I went and talked to those people to make sure, like, hey, you downloaded one that we have known verified malware with. Please do these things on your computer to help, like, to get that out. And I, I talked to every person that was on one of those. So don't worry about it. Um, if you didn't get contacted, it's it, because likely you didn't play one of the games that had malware on it. So, yeah, we, we try to do that kind of things. What we're going to be doing in the future to make sure that this is not an issue anymore is the next game jam we're going to go over itch again. But we're going to do it where everybody's game has to be playable by the web browser. Which adds an extra layer of protection there. Because it'll sandbox in the web browser and we don't have as much of a problem. And then that'll be it. Right? So, like, this will be much easier. And it'll make it so that this is more accessible to the mods. So the mods won't have as much work to do. We won't have to download anything. Most of the engines that are out there automatically allow you to do this. That completely excludes Unreal, though. Yes. Yes, it might. But it also makes it so that you can use Game Maker for free because their free version has a web export. It lets you use Godot. It lets you use Unity. It, I mean, this is going to be a restriction that we're going to have to deal with, right? Because we're dealing with so many submissions, dude. And you have to remember, we have like 12 mods that had to go through 1,400 submissions. Like, we, we, it took us four weeks. And even then... Most of the games got to have, like, one set of eyes on it, and we had to talk to each other for this stuff. So, like, I want this to be a better process, and this is the best method that I know, because the largest loss of time was having to download and virus check every single game. It was a shitload of work. It was a shitload of work. I spent so much time on your submissions, chat. Yeah. Because it wasn't just like, oh, a couple of minutes. Per like, you have to download it. You have to check it. You have to go and put it in a VM. You got to see what the hell it's connecting to. You got to see what the, you know, all of it, dude. And like, instead, we could just play in a web browser and walk away. Damn unpaid mods? No, they're not unpaid. Mods are not unpaid. No. Every time you donate to Pally.gg, it splits the money automatically between all the moderators. I don't take a cut of that at all. I get 0% that goes straight to the mods. And on top of it, I just finished forming a corporation. I have my EIN now so that I can start hiring the mods full-time and give them benefits. No. Mods are paid here. 100%. No one works for free here. No. No, no, no. Isn't Pally down? No, it is not. It's finally back up. Pally's back up. They have a new system. It's weird now. Let me go pull this up. Behold. The new Pally system. Look at that. It's all dark mode now. And fancy. Look at that. And it has all the percentages. It has all of the percentages. For everybody. Which is great. I guess that makes Felix and Zaphiroth and Little Ham king mods because they have 0.01% more of your donation, which is really funny. <laughs> uh, do you think Thin McDonald's got hacked? I don't know, dude. 
Maybe it was the Hamburglar. I have. Did they get hacked? Let me go look. McDonald's hacked. McDonald's hacked. What? McDonald's is down. Customers fury as IT issue stops staff from serving customers food. Bro, if you're out there having like a freak out because you can't get some chicken nuggets that are basically garbage anyway, and you're just taking it out on some like customer support rep that's just there like serving you a burger, like there's like a level of touch grass that needs to happen there that is so so insane to me. I I will never understand people who treat fast food workers with disrespect. That job sucks. That's a tough ass job. People are like, oh, no, it's an easy job. You're just flipping burgers. No, dude, work around heat and grease all day with people screaming at you. That job sucks. Now do it for minimum wage. That job sucks, dude. Treat them with respect. Those dudes are, are busting their ass. Yeah, that's, that sucks. That's a rough ass job. And like the the idea that you would treat them like shit because you can't get your burger because of a technical outage that's beyond their them, like what's the matter with you? The hell's the matter with you? There's, that's ridiculous. Don't treat them like shit. That's stupid. Treat all food workers with respect? No, just treat other people with respect. Like holy shit. I went to a Verizon today because I was trying to get some like like get this extra SIM card and we're I'm doing it through like a bunch of different ISPs so I can do like hopefully do that test to see if we can get that that um that internet up at the new place in piecemeal so we can get some ferret stuff running. Um I, I was trying to I was trying to do that and there was a dude in there and like his phone wasn't connecting and he was just screaming at the service reps. He was just screaming at them. And I just walked past the guy and I went over to the service reps. I was like, hey man, can you help me out with this? I'm trying to get this thing done. He's going, absolutely. And then, like, that dude just stayed there screaming at him and freaking out and, like, walking around and, like, doing all these arm movements and, like, pointing at his phone and screaming at the rep and he's, like, spinning everywhere. And finally he leaves and I just turned to that dude and I was like, hey, man, I know it sucks working customer support, but not everybody's like that. He goes, I know, man. And then, like, he was cool and everybody was cool and everybody in the room started laughing at how absurd that dude was because he was a piece of shit. Because it was just like, dude, what's the matter with you? Like, if he can't fix your phone, he can't fix your phone. Like, <laughs> it's like, what? The hell's the matter? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. No, no, not and then everybody clapped. There's none of that shit. It was mostly awkward, frankly. Everybody kind of had an awkward silence thing where they're like, Jesus Christ. Because when someone's having like a public freak out like that, it's not an and then everybody clapped. It's like, man, I hope this guy doesn't get violent. Like, that's the first thing that people think of, dude. So like, nah, it wasn't an and then everybody clapped. It was everyone. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a joke to like break the tension on it because that shit's awkward, man. Yeah. That's that's exactly what that is. It's like, I don't know about this guy. Please don't be, you know, don't be the day that you have your freak out, you know. Yeah, you're in a tiny room with a couple of other people and one guy's having a problem. I am... This is... Yeah, do I got a duck and run or no? I look for the exits anytime I enter a billion, building. <laughs> it's like a normal thing. It's like, if I need to run right now, where's the other exit? Not the one I came in. The other one. It'll always be marked. In America, you have to? No, I do that anywhere. There's no reason not to. Lamal crisis management? Yeah, it's normal. What is your most anticipated game of 2024? Ashes of Creation. Easy. I'm so excited for that goddamn game. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on how to help with America's mass mental deficit issue? I'm I'm finding more and more the problems that I'm seeing with that. You said men mental deficit issue. It's I, I think it's mostly the lack of emphasis on communicating as a conflict resolution model between people that I know. People here largely don't communicate before they raise the tension to aggression, which is incredibly strange to me. And I've seen that get worse as I've gotten older, where people are much more likely to kind of call to arms against each other before they have a talk. And I think that's really the biggest thing. Just talk to each other. Even if you disagree, just talk to each other. Shit's weird. Shit's really weird. People are way more willing to do that. And I, I largely think that it's internet culture leaking off into the rest of the world right now because 
that shit happens too much online. And people who are like terminally online that act like that, they're starting to do it in real life. Everywhere. You have to be able to talk to other people. Hi, Bezos. We're going to wait for ads. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird tribal shit. It's not necessary. It's the hot take mic drops IRL. That's just how life works. I don't think it's just how life works. I think it's a it's a strange direction we're seeing in terms of general communication culture, where communication's breaking down and people are more willing to just be jackasses to each other. I, I think one of the things that people don't realize is the more that you're willing to discount another human being, the more that they're willing to discount you. Who wins there? Winner dies in the ambulance. That's how that works. Everybody suffers as a result. Why do you want to perpetuate that? There's no point to that. Thank you for those gifted subs. It's very nice of you. Five gifted subs. What a badass. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah, everyone Everyone has problems. Everyone, ev everyone loses in this scenario, no matter what. People are also isolating to the people with identical views. Yeah, actually, let's talk about that after the ads. I think this is pretty important. Ferret's duel? Yeah, you guys can battle the ferrets. It's fun. I know, I'm excited for the Power World Raid. You need to try McDonald's Ovaltine Milkshake, only available in Brazil? That would mean that would have to go to Brazil. Hmm. 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 It was a long ad. Ads are over. All right. So, someone is asking me about communication and this kind of thing. I think, I think I'm largely seeing a breakdown of communication between people where they're not able to have simple, normal discussions with each other. We saw that the other day on stream. So, I think it was on Tuesday. On the end of Tuesday, I was playing Helldivers. And I was saying how there was stuff in the game that I didn't like because I thought the balance was shit. And I was talking about how I felt that balance was was bad. And some people in chat were just talking with me about it. And some of them were disagreeing. And I was like, that's fair. And some people were saying, you're an idiot. You're a dumbass. This is a skill issue. You don't know shit. Like, those people, these ones, they got banned. And the reason they got banned is because they couldn't handle having an adult conversation where we had differing opinions. And I'm seeing this group becoming more and more common, both inside and outside of the internet. You need to have a conversation, even if you don't agree with each other. If you are only able to scream and throw shit on the ceiling, we're not going to get along. If we don't agree with each other, that's fine. That's great. In fact, that's optimal because there's a chance that both of us learn something. If you don't agree with another person, you have a talk about it. You can learn about their perspective and it may change your own. They can learn about your perspective, and it may change their own. This is the... You need this. You want this. Even if you find out in the end that you don't agree with each other, you are now armed with more information about that other party's side. This is one of the reasons I actually go and look up as many conspiracy theories online as possible. There was a little rant that I gave the other day where I just talked about every possible, you know, conspiracy theory. I was talking about, like, the hollow earth and, like, flat... Like, all this, all this shit. Because... I love looking that stuff up because there are people that unironically believe that these conspiracy theories are real. And I really enjoy knowing about them so we can have talks about those things. Dead internet theory? I love the dead internet theory. Because a lot of, a lot of these conspiracy theories actually come down with a little piece of truth. The dead internet theory is kind of an expansion on what is already happening online. Which there's a lot of things on the internet that are actually handled by bots. There's a ton of posts, there's a ton of propaganda, there's a ton of bullshit that is bots on the internet. So if you expand on that, you could say, well, maybe 99% of the internet is actually bots. There's no way to disprove it at that point. Dead internet theory is actually a really interesting theory because of this. But it is an expansion on something small that we know is true. You just can't prove it. Which is where I go, hey, wait a minute. You're going a bit far with that. Until we have proof of this... I think that's an interesting theory, but let's not freak out, right? Fully believe the dead internet theory is, is true for Twitter. Um, I could see that. I, I find there's 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 two types of reasons for that, though. 
when you're talking about dead internet theory, you'll see a person post something. And then another account posts the exact same thing. And there's like, maybe this will happen like 50x times, right? And this could be just bots. But also, go look at Reddit at any time, and you'll find that human beings do the exact same thing. They love to parrot other human beings. So do you know this is bots? Or is it just a bunch of people parroting each other? It becomes muddled. It becomes hard to prove. Some of it is bots. But some of it is just idiots. So instead of parroting shit, go, wait a minute. I don't know about that. That's when you go, I trust that you're telling me the truth. But before I repeat this to another person, I'm going to verify your claim. And if I can't verify your claim, then I'm not going to repeat it. That's how that goes. Even me. If you can't verify what I'm saying, don't repeat that shit. And tell me, and then we could dig into it together. That's the whole point for that. That's the idea of learning. That is the whole idea for learning. Yes. Rational thought? Not on my Reddit. Yeah, I know, right? No way that flies on Twitter? Well, there's almost 100,000 people following me on Twitter, so there's at least some people that still have the ability to have conversations on the internet, even there. I know. Surprising, right? I saw your shirt about pooping on company time. Nice. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. See? Yeah. It's even got a rhyme that makes it more true on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Atlas has a Twitch with 500 bits said, Hey chat, it's me, Pirate Software. No, it's not. The real one, I promise. I'm not no. that fake Discord knockoff. Anyways, no. I wanted to recommend a nation to join in block game, the critically oh. acclaimed Minecraft MMO. Oh. Oh. Try out Nevermore, the only nation that Malcorp approves of. Our I mean there, toughest commanders are able to even nearly best me, Thor, in single combat. Join it's Nevermore, true. forever E1. A better future, the right future. This ad has been paid for by Mal, mayor of block game. So, you did get me to 75% of my maximum HP. I had walked into Murkheim. They used a ranged spell attack on me. I ran away, turned around, and then we had a, a brief scuffle, and then I took all of your loot, laughed at you in local, and then took it home and, and put it in my my inventory into my chest. So, thanks for the free loot. Wonderful. You didn't... You failed to extract with your stuff, but I extracted with your stuff. So, yeah. Mess with the best, I like the rest. That's kind of how I felt about it. In fact, I think I said that in chat after it happened. Yeah. Yeah. I love block game PvP. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh. Uh. Oh, hi. Oh, no, he comes. Yeah, they know. It's time for an update. Whitelist on. Server shutting down. Oh, there's a chat validation. You big bitch. Microsoft has stopped me. From shutting down the server, chat validation shit. Whitelist on. Whitelist is already on. Pickle. We did it. Goddamn Microsoft. Every day, dude. The chat validation shit is so bad. It's so bad. Alright. Stuff is resetting. Looks like we're doing it. This is good. Noise. Noise. We got it. Oh, wait, wrong button. Stewie G2020 with 500 bits said now that the bowling saga is done, I have a serious question. Okay. Our yearly reviews happened at work. I was told I do everything above and beyond, yet only got three fifths overall. Ooh. At the time, I just said okay and signed the crap saying I had my review. Later that day, I told my supervisor that I'm worth more than three fifths. He agreed but said he was heavily pressured not to rate anyone higher from the office. I then found out he rated everyone three-fifths, even the crap employees. Is there anything I should do? I would complain to upper management. I would talk to HR about it. So there's the same thing happened to me at Blizzard. I hated that shit. Um, I was told that I went above and beyond everything that I got, and I got four out of five. For one thing, I got no five out of fives. And I talked to my manager about it. I was like, why is this not happening? And he said, oh, well, the reason why is because we have a limited number of five out of fives. And I was like, you realize that's not how performance works, right? 
you realize that's not how that works. I saved 30,000. In, in that one, I had saved 30,000 hours of tester time on Diablo 3 console by building custom automation systems where I'd actually made custom hardware to do it, to build that. That was when I built Bifrost, and I got a, I got a 4 out of 5 rated for my stuff. And I was like, what, what the hell else could I possibly do? Like, that's a shitload of time saved. It's not even my job to do that. Like, what is that? Is this 5 out of 5 an American thing? Yeah, so, like, there's a lot of corporations that will try to mark people based on, like, a star system of 1 to 5, based on, like, how well you're doing in your job. And this shit sucks. This is awful. Yeah, bell curve shit. And I, I hate this. I hate this immensely. The way that we do performance test stuff here is Kronos... Kronos is actually our lead moderator. And he watches all the other mods and he interacts with them every day. Um, the moderators can actually take time off at any time. They just have to say, hey, I'm going to be off at these times. And we go, cool. Right? We just say, hey, that's fine. Yeah, and Kronos is always watching. He's there in chat. There he is. Um, so the performance stuff is not based on a 1 to 5 scale. It's based on specifically the context of what's going on. If somebody needs time off because they got to see some heinous shit as being a moderator, that's great. That's fine. Take your time off. And a lot of the times, you know what ends up happening? Because the working conditions are like set up in the way that they are where we actually give a shit about each other. A lot of the times people are trying to work more than they should, Jake. On days that they're off, Jake, take your goddamn day off. I'll call you out. I'll do it every day. Swear to God. Swear to God. You kick too much ass. You calm down. You stop doing that, Jake. You work too much. I mean it. We're going to take the keyboard away from you. I'll, I'll have Zaphiroth rapidly approach your house. Yeah, Jake kicks ass, dude. So, like, with that in mind, like, sometimes we have to force time off on him and be like, yo, dude, you're burning it at both ends right now. It's too much. And, like, this type of working environment is what I like, where people can actually support each other. They can take the time off that they need, especially with being a moderator. Being a moderator sucks. It's a rough-ass thing. There are things that they have to see all the time that is just awful dude like there, there's like five to ten people a day that get banned on the ferret stream just for saying like heinous anti-animal shit no one needs to see that now imagine seeing that every day imagine if it was your job to see that yeah it's awful right horrible horrible shit imagine if it's your job to see that so with that in mind it's it's fine that they take time off it's fine that they get supported for that stuff and that's the whole point with it and one of the things that i want to do going forward too is like because they're going to be in a paid position and because the corp, the corp is going to handle benefits and stuff like that, I'm going to be able to put some training stuff together. So one of the things I was talking to Kronos about is I want to put together training stuff for, for like crisis training so we can train some of the moderators in crisis management. So if somebody comes to us and they're like having a mental breakdown crisis, we will have people that are trained to handle that, to help them in that moment, to try to mitigate the situation. Yeah. So, like, these types of things are really helpful. Having extra training and things like that on the team is, like, a super beneficial thing. So, yeah, train, training. So, like, these, th these are the things you have to think about, too. You have to think about this kind of stuff with the community this size. We've got, like, 90,000 people in Discord. So, like, when you deal with a system like this where it's like, hey, you have all these different pieces, you have all these different ways of people interacting with each other and helping each other and everything like this, right? And then you have a one to five system and you're not allowed to give out too many fives. This shit sucks, and I cannot handle this anymore. I am The reason that I'm setting up the company in the way that I am is because I lived through corporate environments, and those corporate environments are ass. They are horrific. They treat people like garbage, and I just can't, I just can't have that be a thing, dude. I, just, I never will. It bothers the shit out of me. So we're going to run it right. Faye, that is an amazing, horrifying image. Thank you. What? Hold up. 
I have to show you something. Is this real? Hey, Dark Widow. Which page is this? Can you send me the link to that page so I can see what it looks like for me? Before I show this to people? Because I'm really interested in this. You gonna show us Devin? No. I'm not showing you Devin. Damn it, the freaking meme, dude. Is there a standard page that gets modified for this? People do know about it? That's nuts. So we were talking the other day about Star Citizen. And people wanted to know my take on Star Citizen. And I, I don't like it. And the reason why is because of this. Because the game feels more like a storefront than a game. But I didn't know something about this. How many of you guys have spent over $1,000 on Star Citizen? And it's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to berate you. You can, you can spend your money whatever way you want. Because someone has sent me an image, and I'd like to know if we can verify that this exists. You have? Do you have access to another page in the store that no one else has access to? Because I was sent this that shows another page on the store that has up to $15,000 in packages on that. So they have a... Yes, the answer is yes, you do have access to that. So they have a secondary store that they try to give to people that have already given $1,000. So there's a store within a store. It's a whale page, yes. This is why I won't be playing Star Citizen. It is not because the game doesn't have promise. Because it does. It's because of this. This is gross, dude. It's gross to me. It's not about greed. It's gross. This is, to me, this is predatory. And it's something that I don't want to see in our industry. So it makes me not want to engage. There's a page that doesn't unlock until you spend 10k. And Anybody who's... Please don't tell me you've done that. Don't tell me there's a 10k page. Jesus Christ, dude. That's so rough. That's so rough. Is the 10K page on Google? I don't know. The idea of a VIP store really bothers me, though. This really, really bothers me. I Because I can't verify this is real. I'm not going to give them $1,000 to find out, right? But if some of you out there have paid $1,000 and you do see this page, and you can send me more proof of this, that's that really bothers the shit out of me. That really bothers the shit out of me. That's 100% real. I'll deem it to you, Thor. Kronos, you've got it. Have reviewed and provided feedback. Thank you. The other thing. It looks like it's up on IGN as well. Star Citizen introducing a $48,000 ship bundle, but only players who have already spent $10,000. Dude, I can't get behind this. I can't. Like, I cannot do this. No, I don't want to listen to that. Jesus. Developer Cloud Imperium Games is releasing a ship bundle for its controversial space simulator that costs an eye-watering $48,000. Star Citizen's Chairman's Club, one which requires spending at least $10,000 on other in-game items to achieve. Jesus Christ, dude. This is why I said it feels more like a storefront than it does a game. It's not good. That is not good. Like, Jesus, dude. This is so far down the route of anti-video game to me that I just... I know that there are some of you that may love this game, that may love it for what it could be, but as a game developer, that shit is awful to me. That is really, really awful to me, and I cannot possibly get behind that, dude. I just can't. As a, as a player and as a dev, I look at that and I just go, no. I don't want that to be a thing. I don't want that to be a thing at all. What is this?
tools list of ship packages. So you can actually pull it from starcitizen.tools. Whoop. Let's go look. Oh, my shit. Oh, my shit. How far does this go? It's not even the top one. Does it keep going? Yeah, dude, I can't do that. This is this is stupid. There's a level of stupid that's in this that's starting to get like because what ends up happening in terms of player behavior at this point is you start getting this idea where somebody will buy into this and then they rapidly have to defend not the game but the idea of their purchase being valuable and they'll have to defend that against other people that don't agree and it becomes an emotional fight over I spent all this money so I feel emotionally invested in this and that's the thing that's rough right you're so wrong about this what about this am I wrong about what is it that I'm wrong about? Mura? Like, tell me. Because this this bothers me. This preys on a person in a way that I think is very bad for our industry. I think it is very bad for our industry. I don't think it's and I don't think it's stupid, but I think it, it preys on people in a way where they, they get emotionally invested in a cost and then they have to defend that in a way that ends up causing strife for them right that's not a good thing it's fine to have microtransactions i don't think it's fine to have a microtransaction that's basically a down payment on a house i just don't think it is i think that goes into the world of egregious frankly forty two thousand dollars is a 10 percent down payment on a four hundred and twenty thousand dollar house like that's some crazy shit dude that's some crazy shit yeah, it's not a microtransaction anymore. It's a mega transaction. It's it's like four or five cars, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just it, it bothers the shit out of me. And you you may say that I'm wrong about this, but dude, this is a feeling thing. This is not a, a fact thing. This feels gross to me. And you have to understand somebody who's not invested inside of this environment looks at things like this and goes, "What the hell is that?" The first thing that I see when I see this, I go, that's disgusting. My immediate gut reaction is, that's disgusting. And if you can package this in a way that makes sense to me, please do so. Because I cannot get behind this. This is gross to me. It completely undermines any faith that I have in the game because it complete, it's, it's just a gross way to be selling games. It undermines my faith in the game completely. Like, they, they can make a beautiful, wonderful game out of this, but this is so off-putting that I won't engage with it. Does that make sense? I think my PC is haunted. Good. Good. Make friends with the ghost. It'll impre improve your CPU. It will. I sent you full details, including their own support page about it. Let's see. Gets a special link on the account page from their concierge club. So there is actually a page describing this. Jesus, bright. My eyes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dark mode didn't help. Dark reader, why? As you contribute to Star Citizen Squadron 42 with pledges, you may earn memberships and levels within concierge. So they actually do have a page specifically describing this. God, it's so blinding. Whatever. I'll take that amount. That's fine. My eyes. So they do actually have a page describing this, which even this... If you spend $1,000, High Admiral. So we were seeing the cost from a High Admiral slot. So they do they do have these different slots that unlock additional purchases. All the way up to 25000 Jesus, dude. <sighs> this stuff is nuts to me. What it reminds me of is this. A Kickstarter is a flashpoint moment for you to fund a video game. They have turned Kickstarter into a, a business model, an ongoing business model to me, because a lot of this stuff is non-functional. The game is not fully realized. It feels like a Kickstarter funding round that never ended. 
as a dev, I don't like that direction for games. I don't want that to be a thing. So, like, if you have a differing opinion, if you think the game is really good, explain to me in a way that makes this palatable. Because to me, this doesn't feel good. This feels bad. This feels like a bad direction for this. It feels like a Kickstarter that never ended. Right? Not defending the practice in any way, but that $42,000 package is everything that is purchasable in-game, and it gets updated every year to add new ships they have added to the package. Okay, I can understand that being a selling point, where they just add more and more and more new shit to it. But also, $42,000 is a salary of many people for a year. On a game that is not currently fully realized. In fact, it's more than some people make in a year. More than many people make in a year. It's not a greed thing. I don't think it's a greed thing because it's obviously not going after the average consumer, right? It's my current salary for four years, Omega Lol. Little ham moment. It won't be soon. Difficult to justify because those, those, uh, Price tags are disgusting. That's that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm trying to find a way. This is why I want to have a conversation about it. Because it's not about bashing people who are into Star Citizen. Don't, don't misunderstand that. I want to talk about this. Not be a dick to you because you like the video game. The game is likely going to be fine. This is just something I can't get behind. It's something that looks gross to me. It feels gross to me. If that makes sense. I would love to hear about Star Citizen from you. I think the game looks compelling, but it also feels like a lot of slices of something that looks compelling that are not currently organized into a complete video game. That may change, right? They may bring that together finally into something that is a fully cohesive, fully realized environment, but they're not there yet. So seeing these types of price tags is deeply off-putting to me as a consumer and deeply off-putting to me as a developer. So it makes me less likely to want to engage with this and want to show this to people. That's my total overall feeling for the game. It feels more like a storefront than it does a game to me because of this. Off-putting is sad. Pudding is delicious, frankly. I like the game itself, but I cannot see myself spending that much money on it. I'd rather use that kind of money on so many other things. I'm going to be real with you. I don't like spending money on games. I like buying the video game, and I like doing in-game content. To be real. The, the idea of purchasing something like this is something that I would never do, not just because of the price tag, but because I want to earn these things. I want them to matter to me on an emotional level, not on a, not on a I bought it. I beat the game with my credit card is not something I ever want because it doesn't feel good to me. There's no, there's no kind of value in that to me. It's why I don't do character boosts. I just go level my character, right? Like that's the whole point with that. Pay to win sucks. I don't even know if it's pay to win because I don't even know if this gives you a significant advantage in the game. I have no idea. It likely does because you have so many more tools at hand that other players don't, right? But it's it's also like $42,000, right? That's freaking insane. What is this legatus? What is that? Jesus Christ. What... What in the shit? What do you mean in stock? It's digital goods. What do you mean in stock? That's heavily misleading. Jesus Christ. Limited slots? So we're doing limited slots on FOMO. So we're doing FOMO on a $48,000 purchase. That's what we're doing? My respect level is, is decreasing as we have this conversation. You realize that? We're putting FOMO on a $48,000 purchase now. FOMO, fear of missing out. It is putting an emotional tie to the... We're going to wait for the ads. We're going to wait for the ads. I'll explain it afterwards.
We wait for ads, chat. We wait. This is getting actually pretty funny. Yes. I'm always down to talk about this stuff, and I'll always give you my real take on it. This feels bad. You're sub now? No, you're not. Not everybody gets ads. We just wait. Reminds me of Eve. Eve has a lot of pay to win now, yeah. Did you get discounts on games when you worked at Blizzard? Yeah. Uh, we actually had a free World of Warcraft account the whole time we worked at Blizzard. It, it used to be a permanent one, but then they removed my permanent key after I left. Even though it was supposed to be a lifetime key to WoW. That was, that was cool. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get back to this. So if you don't know what FOMO is, FOMO is fear of missing out. It's a marketing tactic that people use where they say that there's a limited number of stock or this is a limited time event, right? whatever it's going to be, and they say, if you don't do it now, then you'll miss out forever, right? So FOMO is generally used to try and force a purchase from somebody who's already on the edge. You're like, hey, you should do it now. You're going to miss out. You do it, buy the month, buy the thing now, you're going to miss out, right? Normal shit. Normal shit happens all the time in the market. Putting artificial scarcity where you say, buy it now or you miss, miss out forever on a $48,000 purchase is insane shit. That is that is disgusting to me. Let me give you an example of anti-FOMO. This is FOMO. This in stock. You may you may miss out. The 48K is not limited, then why does it say in stock? Why would it possibly say that? Also, I don't give a shit about your take on Trump. No. You, you know that you know that thing you agreed to when you entered my chat where it said no politics? I don't give a shit about Trump. I don't give a shit about Biden. I don't give a shit about your red versus blue, your 80-year-old men that can't find their own ass trying to run the country. I don't care. I don't care even a little bit. You're banned. Enjoy that. Jesus Christ. So to be real with you, a, a good example of anti-FOMO, a good example of anti-FOMO is actually Helldivers 2. Helldivers 2 is anti-FOMO. Which is great. They don't have any of this shit. They released these paid packages of new stuff, and they didn't get rid of the old one. Their old one stays forever. And because it stays forever, you don't have to feel pressured to buy it. It is always going to be there for the lifetime of the game. They keep it forever. So that way you're never pressured, oh, I got to get it now or I'm going to miss out. There is no miss out. It's there, which is great. That's a fantastic move. In fact, I'm going to be incorporating this into block game because one of the things that I had before is I have seasonal events. Because I like seasonal events, it's kind of a fun moment for you guys to go and find items and get stuff that is actually set up around that event. Seasonal events can be fun, but for some people this ends up being FOMO because they're like, oh, I got to go play right now or I'm going to miss out on this. So the way that I'm going to handle this now is instead of having it be FOMO, I want there to be random portals that can open up in Murkheim and when those random portals open up, that one will lead to the dimension that has that seasonal event out of season. So if the community finds one, they're able to go and get some seasonal event stuff that otherwise they wouldn't be able to get, which gets rid of the FOMO. And it becomes a community thing where people can have fun with that. So this is something that I have planned for the game to remove that FOMO feel, even though they're seasonal events. Stuff that I've never seen before in a game, and I was like, you know what, this would be a cool thing to do, because I saw what Helldivers was doing. Yeah. So there are ways to get rid of this. It's a great idea. Yes, it ends up being really fun. It's just like a seasonal event portal, right? Some way to engage with the community, and when someone finds one, they're going to want to tell other people about it. I'm trying to get randomized portals into their own, like, structure generating in Murkheim. Once I can do that, we can do some cool shit. So that's kind of the, that's the technical hurdle that I have to get over right now. That's why I can't play Warframe. Yeah, I, I, it's funny too because I like seasonal events, but I can understand that. I can understand that people feel like that's fear of missing out, a seasonal event. So yeah, 
I, I think that's important to understand. But this is this is just too much for me. I think it's I think this shit is too much. I can't feel engaged with this. I don't think I ever will, based on the way that they are running this. It's just gross. It's gross to me. What game are you talking about? We're talking about Star Citizen. Yeah. Will AOC have anti FOMO mentality? I don't know. Ashes of Creation has only cosmetic purchases, which makes this less of a big deal to me. You can have all the purchases you want. If that shit's just cosmetic, I don't give a shit. I don't care. The only time that cosmetic purchases become a problem is mounts in World of Warcraft. Do you know why? It's a pretty simple one, too. If you have a mount in the store, and the mount in the store is really, really good, but it costs money, and this development team spent a lot of time making this a really good mount, and then you have a mount that comes from effort. Effort-based mount, so it's store mount, and an effort mount. Let's say that this mount is from getting Mythic Raid Boss down, right? And it's bad. It's just a recolor. Then we have a problem. You need to make sure that these two things are in parity with each other. This one feels really good, and this one also feels really good. Effort mounts need to be unique. Store mounts need to be unique. And that's hard to do. Because the development studio largely goes, holy shit, every time we release a new mount for $15, it's like releasing an entire video game, but with none of the cost. It's a big deal. It's really a lot of money to do this. It's a huge amount of money to do this. And slowly over time, without having proper controls in place, your development team starts to shift towards a cycle of releasing new mounts for money rather than releasing new mounts for effort. And then it erodes player effort in the game. And you have to make sure not to have that be a problem, right? So that ends up being an issue. So that's that's the one thing you have to think about when you're like, I'm going to do a mounts for money thing. And WoW kind of screwed that up for a long time. And I know that because it was an endgame writer and it bothered shit out of me. What's the dig on Web3 blockchain, blockchain gaming? Blockchain has no place in gaming. A lot of the times developers are trying to replace traditional databases with blockchain. Blockchain is a ledger. You cannot modify a ledger. So because of that, if somebody steals all of your items and that's stored in blockchain, you end up losing your items permanently and the devs can't do shit about it. And I've seen it happen time and time and time again. It's dumb as hell. Stop reinventing the wheel as a triangle. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. It's dumb as hell. Yep. In fact, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. There's two things that I will always deny for sponsorships. VPN service shit and anything related to blockchain. And let me tell you, we get them all the time. I will never support either of those. Never, ever. And also, like, gamer supplements shit. I don't... You don't need an energy drink to sit on your ass to watch me. That's stupid as shit. No. No. Why not VPNs? Because a lot of the a lot of the VPN services that exist out there sell themselves as security products and they're not security products. The only thing that VPNs are good for is changing your geolocation so that you can get access to services you otherwise would have blocked in your region. It is not a security product. And the idea that they're selling it as a security product is deeply misleading. I hate that. I hate the shit out of it. No, thank you. Yep. Ugh. Good ad blocker, though. True. That's true. Op Scott's video about VPN is awesome. I'll have to watch it. Yeah. Privacy product? No, it's not a privacy product. Your, v your ISP knows you're using a VPN, dude. Why are VPNs not a security product? If you download shit onto your machine, you're still downloading shit onto your machine. The VPN is not saving you from that. Nope. All right. To the alerts. Yo, this cool one with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500, who do you main in Deep Rock Galactic? Would you consider playing Deep Rock on stream and or with goblins? Rock and stone, Ya democracy. I need to play more Deep Rock Galactic to answer that question. I actually have not gotten into the game deep enough because I didn't have a regular team to do that with. I want to do more of that. With the new streaming schedule, I can do that more. I can actually play more games, and especially with people in the community. So like, yeah, I'm down to do that. I want to play that game more. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have enough time in it to even answer that. I want to because Deep Rock Galactic is fun as shit. I very much so enjoyed it, but most of it is me running around and people going, why didn't you drink your beer? And I was like, where do I drink beer? And I was just so confused and then also killing bugs, which is great. And then all of us were just spamming Rock and Stone. Rock and Stone. And there's like 50 different voiceovers for it. It was great, dude. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Yeah. Yeah. My privacy is boring. Nobody wants it. Everybody wants it. The internet was designed to take all of your privacy and sell it as a product so that people can give you ads. That's what it is now. Every action you have is monetized. Your personality is irrelevant to it. But your purchase habits are highly relevant. Sucks. Kind of gross. It's really gross, actually. Alright, let's see if this worked. Huh? Well, that's good. Whitelist. Off. What's your reaction to SpaceX Starship IF-3? Are you talking about the rocket that they just launched off? They're getting closer and closer to having something that is deeply impressive. Like... To me, this is cool as shit. Oh, hey, look, it's working! Look, all the advancements are going through! You know how the other day I asked people if they actually had their advancements for block aim? And they said, yeah, we totally get all our advancements for block aim. And you see all these people signing in now and they're all getting their advancements? Yeah, they didn't actually have their advancements for block aim. Yeah, they didn't have that. They were just wrong. So now you all have custom advancements. And when you log into the server, it grants them to you. You get the, you get the root one for every one of those. That's great. And now they're all getting them. See all those people getting them? Yeah, they didn't have any of those. None of those people had them. Yeah. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah. My partner works for NASA with SpaceX, and he said time and time again that SpaceX is full of assholes. Well, amazingly, this chat is also full of assholes. Otherwise, no one would be able to poop. So... Yeah. It's kind of how it works, man. I know, yeah. Yeah. Everyone would just be full of shit at that point. Wait. The internet is full of shit. Maybe no one has assholes on the internet. But there are so many of them. I have a lot of thinking to do. I have a lot of thinking. There's too many, too many questions now. Too many questions. No, that's too deep a topic. We don't have enough time, even in a 12-hour stream for that. All right, next alert. Asmodi Storm with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, need a sanity check. Sure. I'm going to be going to college for computer science and trying to get into cybersecurity, specifically offensive security. Yeah. But I don't know if I will be able to afford it. Would it be better to just learn online and get certs? Or stick with my current plan. Anytime you're going to a structured learning environment, anytime you're dealing with that at all, you need to think about the cost. And I'm glad that you are, right? I'm really glad that you are. The idea of, I don't know if I can afford this, that's a scary proposition. I don't know I can afford this. There are so many sources online where you can learn offensive security without paying money. I would go down that route first because what you'll largely find is that getting certification is not outside of the realm for you. And learning this stuff as a self-taught individual makes you more valued inside of our industry. As an offensive security specialist of 20 years, if you are self-taught, self you are more valuable in the industry. People want to hire you more. Because you bring a unique perspective that people that went to college and did the normal standard training for don't have. I was hired to go and hack power plants for the federal government. That was my last full-time job before I started my studio, full-time. And the reason I got that is because I got three black badges at DEF CON. The reason I got those is because I'm self-taught. My career was being an offensive security specialist for Blizzard as the lead of application security for Battle.net, and then a senior red team specialist there, which is all offensive security, and then hacking power plants for the federal government. All of that is self-taught. I did not go to college for this. I went to college to be an entomologist, an insect scientist. And if you want to learn how to do this, on our Discord, we have an entire section for it because that's what I do. So go into the Discord, go up to Channels and Roles, and you'll find this section up there. S select Hacking. This is free, by the way. The Discord is not monetized for you. You can just access this shit. Click on Hacking or any other thing that you're interested in learning. It will give you access to that section of the Discord. Do you still like bugs? Yeah, I have... Madagascar hissing cockroaches over here in the corner. They're great. And then um, you can find the hacking section and then go to resources and hacking. This will give you access to all of this stuff. All of this shit is free. You'll find very quickly the hacking community really wants you to learn shit. And we want to teach you that shit for free. 
Ah, that's the kind of the whole point. The whole point is spreading knowledge. That's what we like to do. So I, I put all my shit out there so you can have it. That's the whole idea. No barriers, no ad bullshit, none of that stuff. You guys already fund me enough with this stream anyway. So I want you to learn things. I want you to learn stuff. Terminate sympathy? No. D -d Democracy. D -d Democracy. You didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything at all. I like bugs. Oh, look, there's a lot of you joining the Discord. <laughs> See that alert? <laughs> yeah, it's discord.gg slash pirate software. Don't worry, the mods will remove that so you don't have to get a QR code. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's about 90,000 people in the Discord in total. And you can access all this kind of stuff. We have stuff for streaming. We have stuff for programming, for hacking, for writing, uh, for voice acting, for video, for audio, for art, for game dev related stuff. And then things for the different games that we play together. So we actually have a section up here coming up. Let me find this. Buh, 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 buh. Where is it? There we go. For uh, Bitcraft and Helldivers and Power World Champions of Breakfast, which is our game. Block Game, which is our game. Greyhack, which is a hacking MMO. I love the shit out of it. And then Heartbound. So we have those as well. And then other stuff too. Like if you don't want to get alerts for the stream, you can actually just select this and you won't get alerts for the stream. If you don't want to get alerts for the Ferrets streams, you can do that too. 90k, how do you manage that? With about 12 moderators. So the moderators are really kick-ass. Um, they work very, very hard. And the server is very well structured. As a result of that, this is very easy to do. In fact, one of the things that I'm adding today is voice channels for each one of these subgroups so you guys can have those as well. Are they paid? Absolutely. The moder No one works for me for free. No one. No one at all. You guys support the shit out of me, and I formed a corporation so that I can support the shit out of them. Yeah, mods are paid, man. In fact, they're moving over to be, some of them are moving over to be full-time. I don't want to do it too quickly because I'm, I'm concerned that if there was a downturn in viewership or anything like that, I'd have to like fire people, which would be just ass. So I'm making sure to do that slowly where we're hiring them on. I think we're going to do five of them at first full-time and then kind of go from there and like work it all out. And they're probably going to have a less than stellar experience for the onboarding because it's new and then we'll get better at it over time. So they know that and I know that. Yeah. Have you read the article or seen the video about shitification? About the dire state of modern internet services, aka platform decay? I, I have not seen in shitification in that regard, but I've heard the topic discussed. And I, yeah, there's a lot of in shitification happening on the internet. But as that happens, new ideas come out and better things happen, you know? Like, eventually Discord will die and there'll be something that replaces it. It's kind of how it works. Eventually Facebook will die and something will replace it. Eventually Twitch will die and something will replace it. It is about adapting to changes on the internet, regardless of, of how attached you are to those things on the internet, right? Yeah, TeamSpeak. Look at MySpace. Will Google die? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised, unless they adapt. And they had to adapt. They already have. It's kind of how it works. Kick W? No. No. Kick is shit. It's not good. There's a lot of problems with Kick. Huge amount. We've, we've talked about this before. I don't think they're on a plan for success, frankly. I think they're in a plan for failure right now. Yeah. It's not really a good move. They're playing they're they're playing too close to the sun, and it's a really dangerous move, frankly. Really dangerous. No, it's not about hosting predators. That's not that shit. It's about their business model. Their business model is very foolish. Incredibly foolish. They are playing fast and loose with copyright law, and when you are using Amazon as your backend servers, that is not a smart move. I'll give you a good example of this, right? So if you go to Kick right now, and you pull up any stream and you hit F12 on your computer, you'll find that all of the network tab on there is showing that it's going through Amazon IVS. Let's go to Amazon IVS. Now, if you open up this stream, you'll see the same thing. Do you know why? Because it's the same back end. Amazon, when they bought Twitch, turned the back end of Twitch into a product called Amazon Interactive Video Service. They rent this out to companies and then that is the back end of those companies for live streaming. It's the back end of Twitch, and it's the back end of Kick. It's the same. Pretty neat, right? Now, why is this important? Well, if you go to Kick right now, and you type other into their search bar, we'll go pull this up real fast. I'll just go pull other. You'll find a, ch a category called other watch party. Now, Other Watch Party is completely filled with copyrighted movies. People playing copyrighted movies and anime and TV shows and everything like this. Now, remember, they're doing this over Amazon, IVS. And there's a category incentivizing watch parties. 
Now, I brought this up to Trainwrex on his stream on Kick uh, months ago. I think it was, a, I think it was like eight months ago at this point. And he called me an idiot for about 30 minutes on his stream. And then the next day, 24 hours later, he deleted his VOD. And then they changed the name of the category to Other Watch Party from the original name of other TV shows and movies, but they forgot to change the URL name. Yeah, it's still there. It's still other TV shows and movies. Now, what do you think is going to happen when Disney finds out that a company is using Amazon servers to do live stream Pirate Bay with their content? And it's incentivized because there's a category for it. Do you really think that's a good business move? Because I don't. Yeah, 500 kilograms of the mouse is probably a bad idea, dude. Yeah, it's been a short for like a year. Now, here's the really funny part. I talked about this ages ago. I think I talked about this back in October, November, right? Of last year. And it was on the top of livestream fail for three days. It was the top post in livestream fail for three days. And during that time, Kick reached out to me and asked me if I would move over to Kick. No. <laughs> It's not going to happen, dude. Like, what the hell is that? That's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. Go look at livestream fi fail. Find out my answer. Like, Jesus Christ. It's one of the weirdest things ever. Like, to be real with you, it seems like a powder keg. That's a bad direction. That's a really, really bad direction. There's 70,000 people playing Power World right now? Yeah. That game's done very, very well. No, I don't know anything about the Star Wars Battlefront stuff, dude. Yeah. Did you send in a live stream fail clip? No, I said no. I just said I'm not interested. Let me go and find it. I'll pull it up for you. Sent. Kick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, they said, Hi, Pirate. Hope you're doing well. My name is blank, and I'm partnership manager here at Kick. I'm interested in discussing a move to Kick with you. And I said, I am not interested in moving to Kick. And that was the entire thing. Not I'm not interested in moving to kick right now. I am not interested in moving to kick. Done. Right? Like, no. That's not happening. That's never happening. There's no amount of money that would want me to absorb the brand risk that is that platform. That is insane to me. Good day, sir. That's not happening. Yeah. No. It's weird shit. Because it's, it's, it's a bad idea, dude. Like, it's a bad idea. Not even for one more billion dollars? No. Because here's... Let me give you a little bit of fact to life. You can't buy your integrity back. The moment that you do something like that, there is no amount of money that can fix your reputation. It's over. And everybody knows. Does not matter. Does not matter even a little bit. And that shit's worth way more. Way more. Yeah. Logan Paul does it every six months, though? Yeah. How's that working out for him? Isn't he going to be fighting Mike Tyson soon? Isn't that happening? Is it Logan or his brother? He's rich? Yeah. And? That's not impressive to me. His brother? I am... I'm gonna be real with you. I don't give a shit about all the fanfare for that. But you go in a fight with Mike Tyson and you insult him like that, that's not a smart move. Mike Tyson is a tank. Mike Tyson is a tank. That man punches people and, they, and their children die. Right? Like that's... The next generation is injured when he punches you. Like that's... He's a scary human being. And to insult that is like... It's a death wish, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's not smart. And he's old? And? Have you seen him? Who's scary? Mike Tyson. Mike's, Mike Tyson's a scary human being. He's a senior citizen? He's a senior citizen that can punch you in the next Tuesday with a single hand. Just... Like... It's a scary human being. Yeah, like...
dude, like, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. That man is a warrior. Like, it, the idea of disrespecting someone who has fought his whole, his whole life is fighting. His whole life, the muscle memory alone. And people are like, oh, he's, he's, he's old. He's 57 years old, and he can still punch you into the floor without even thinking about it because all of that shit is automatic for a person like him because all he does, all he has done, is fight. The man is a warrior. That is some scary shit, dude. Why would you insult that? There's no point to that. Like, that's a scary dude. That's a scary dude. Yeah, he's a machine. It's also show? Oh, yeah, no, of course it's for show. But, like, to be real with you, there's a certain amount of integrity that those people have for their community. For the people outside of those community, they don't have integrity. It's the same for me, right? Some of you guys like the things that I say. There are people on the internet who hate everything that I say. It's kind of how it is. It's normal. Is pursuing a career in ethical hacking good? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's what I've done my whole life. It's great. It's a very fun, very engaging, very interesting thing. But I have to warn you, unless you like the act of like going after the puzzle and solving it, you won't like this. Hacking is 99% research. 0.9% writing reports and 0.1%. Oh my god, I got to hack for once. Yeah. Yeah, the new Power World Raid Boss trailer. Dude, I'm so excited for Power World's update. I hate your hair. You used the wrong your. I hate you are hair. F minus. First chat. Can't even spell. Yeah. That's upsetting. I'm sorry for you, frankly. Tap underscore Eoka with 500 bits said in paying $7 so the community can save money on Noiter. It's Ooh. currently 50% off down oh. a dark desert highway. Welcome back, Thor. Wait, 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 wait. Noiter's an awesome game. No shit. Yeah, okay, this is going out. Noita is one of my favorite games. Yeah, spring sale's going on. Noita is one of my favorite, favorite games, dude. Is the point hole still a thing? It's not tracked, but it is technically a thing, yeah. 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 So, no, if, if you've never played Noita before, uh, if you don't know what Noita is, it is a game in which it's a custom engine where every pixel in the game is actually a material. And they all interact. It's wild, dude. Noita is it is an incredible, incredible game. I love the shit out of this game. Also, you're a wizard. Also, you'll die constantly. It's a roguelike. Yeah, you're just gonna die. It's 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 a wizard death simulator. Is really what it is. I have died in so many weird ways in this game. Gray Hack is twenty percent off too. We play the shit out of Gray Hack. I love Gray Hack. Gray Hack is a hacking at MMO. Made by one developer. And we've been having a blast in that. Yeah, Grey Hack is a hacking mode. It's probably the most realistic hacking game I've played, too. It's really, really fun, and I enjoy the hell out of it. Also, you guys enjoyed the hell out of it because the game exploded after we played it on stream. Love it. Have you tried Bitburner? Yes, so Bitburner is more about automation. This is actually more about hacking, and it is an MMO. Are you doing hacking streams? No. No, I don't do any offensive security on streams. The reason why is because I do responsible disclosure for vulnerabilities when I do bounty program stuff, and that's you don't do that live, you know. In Grey Hat, can you unplug your rig from the internet? Yes, you can also put in your hardware wrong and your computer is sad. <laughs> we got ads. Have you played Hacknet? Yes, I have. Hacknet is less realistic, but still fun. Can you play Grey Hack without knowing proper hacking knowledge? Yes. There's a little bit of a barrier to entry, but there's a lot of community there to try and support you joining it. Don't get ads in Malaysia? Likely. What's your opinion on Hack This Site? I love Hack This Site. It's a fantastic website. You learn so much shit there, and the community is so interesting. 
It's actually part of our resources for hacking on the Discord. Yeah, a lot of fond memories there, man. Bitburner is good, more of an automation game than a hacking game. What kind of stuff do you specialize in? See, there's the right question. I do offensive security in physical access control systems, so breaking and entering, Wi-Fi related vulnerabilities, web related vulnerabilities, and social engineering. Those are the four things that I'm most comfortable in. I can do a lot of other stuff too. I've got small things inside of devices that I can do. I've got, you know, other areas like network traversal stuff that I can do, but I'm just, I generally defer to other people like Gurn, buddy of mine, absolute wizard when it comes to malware. Uh, Crux, in incredible when it comes to devices and electrical engineering shit. Like, they're so miles beyond me that when I, in those areas where I'm just like, just talk to them about that thing, man. A lot of us specialize in different areas. Many of us do. We all have our different Batman toolkit on how we handle these things. Kind of versed in cryptography? A little bit. I got two black badges in cryptography and one telefreaking, so I have that too. I do like me some phone systems. Those are fun. Do we be presenting at any conferences this year? I don't know. I don't know what we have planned for open sus. I have signed up, and I said what things I'd be willing to do. Do you think... Do you think with your deep voice? What do you... What do you mean, do I think with my deep voice? What does that mean? Like, is my internal monologue my voice? Like... Yes. <laughs> I sound differently to myself than I do to you, because... It resonates differently in my head. But it's, yeah, it's my voice. I have an internal voice, yes. Does your head vibrate when you think? Yeah, full of bees, dude. Live bees. Asterix gang, rise up! Yeah! Phone system, bro. I think with my anime voice. No. I'm gonna be real with you. Sometimes I think with my D&D &D character voices, where, like, I have a bunch of different D&D &D characters that talk in my head in, like, like a shitty wizard voice. And that makes it more enjoyable for me. I think that's that makes it funnier when I'm trying to have a serious discussion between like two parts of me that have like different opinions about something, and one of them is a weird wizard that's like talking like a wizard. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good that way. Pit your psyche against itself for the proper answer. You ever think in Morgan Freeman's voice? Yes, sometimes I do. And I read that in Morgan Freeman's voice, which is upsetting. Yeah. You are definitely neurodivergent? What does that even mean? Brain different. You're definitely brain different. Like, <laughs> it can mean a billion different things. Thank you, chat MD. What's the matter with you? Swear to God, dude. All our brains are different. Damn, dude, you are you are two pounds of fat inside of a bone mech with meat armor, sharing a space in the universe that is so vast that we can't even comprehend it, on a ball of dust with other two pounds of fat. Bone mech meat armor constructions. Trying to understand the vastness of the universe and the minutia of being late to work at the same time. None of this shit makes sense. None of this shit makes any sense. Life is weird, man. It's weird. And now you're thinking about it. Shit is weird. I am a meat popsicle, dude. Good day! What is up? Hey, Steve -o, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Brain is the only organ that can think about itself? I don't know, dude. Maybe. Good thanks to you. Doing good, man. Doing good. We're getting started for the day. It's always a 12-hour stream, and I'm about an hour and 44 minutes into it. I'm way behind in the queue because I'm bad at my job. Gizmovi with 500 <laughs> bits said, Lately I struggle with gaming on my own. 
I have lost a lot of friends over mm. the course of the year by everyone getting their own life. How do I meet new people and keep them as a game buddy? Sad ferret. So this happens a lot. There's a lot of people that get kind of busy and they don't want to be, you know, gamers anymore. You don't want to be a sweaty gamer. You know, the Cheeto dust falls off. You get a kid that's covered in soup. You know, I get it. It happens. It happens to, to the best of us. And you just don't want to make, you don't want to play video games anymore. It's not that compelling, right? Yeah. So with that in mind, if you want to keep playing games, online community is the way to do it. You'll always find other people that want to play the things that you want to play. And that's why we have the Discord, right? So that TTS message just went into the Answered TTS channel. There's now your name, the message that you have here, and a timestamp for it right there. In fact, I'm going to be switching these timestamps over to YouTube's time timestamp soon because Twitch ones disappear after like 60 days or whatever. And it runs through Decapi, so it'll be an easier system going forward and we won't have any delays or anything like that. But the best way to do that is hang out with new people. And your friends are going to change over time, but it doesn't mean you're not friends with the other ones. I have lots of friends I haven't talked to in years. We still catch up, just not as regularly, right? And it's because we do different things in our lives now. I'm very busy. They're very busy. We're busy in different ways. And every once in a while, we contact each other and we go, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Because they did something that made a permanent impression on me in my life. And I did something that left a permanent impression on them. And sometimes we get to meet up and see how things are going with our different routes, right? It doesn't mean you have to play games with them. You can play games with somebody else. There's a lot of people in here, too. There's 90,000 people in the Discord. I insulted someone in the Discord the day I got there. Fantastic. Valued member of the community. <laughs> I hope that worked out well for you. We have a lot of mods. Yeah, so I, I think that's a that's an important thing. You need to stop doing TTS after hour 12. YouTube VODs are cut at 12 hours. The stream only lasts 12 hours. Ba -da -da -da. So I stream 12 hours a day, every day except for Thursday. So today we're going from midnight to noon PST. We go from midnight to noon PST every day except for Thursday. Thursday I don't stream because I need a day where I only work on things and blast electro swing at maximum volume while ignoring everyone else in the world. Uh, however... That day ends up turning into a lot of meetings right now until the corporation shit is out of the way and then we don't have any problems. Yeah. I feel about eating cobblestone the second I joined the Discord. I, I feel like you eating rocks is on brand, though. So I feel like that's, that's pretty normal. You are a goblin. Yeah, I love listening to Electro Swing. Love that shit. Love Electro Swing, dude. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much about losing your friend group. I would, worry, I would worry about adapting, right? You, you can't force your friends to be gamers. You can meet more people that want to game. And everything in life is kind of like a small moment in time. Everything is a moment in time. And you meet people, and people change their minds about things, and they fall out of favor, or they fall into favor based on the way that those moments are handled. So hang out with people for the time that they're there. And don't worry about it if their adventure takes them somewhere else. They're still with you in a different way, and your life has changed for having met them. Yeah. Thank you, Thor. Anytime, dude. You're rad as shit. Rockstar5739 with 1000 bits said, Ya cheer 1000, thanks to your streams and YouTube shorts, I have decided to pursue a career in cybersecurity Ooh. at the young age of 35. Thanks for the confidence boost. You got this. You do. You're only one year younger than me, and you could absolutely do this. There's no there's no reason not to. And like, to be real with you, there's no straight arrow path for that. You can learn a lot of shit through structured learning environments. You can learn a lot of shit through self-training. And there's a huge wealth of knowledge out there for you and a massive community of people that want you to learn offensive security. Don't you- Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you do that. It's rude. Chat is rude. How dare you? How dare you? You know what? You know what? Some of you are younger than Shrek. Shrek is 23 now. Shrek came out in 2001. Some of you are younger than Shrek. Yeah. Yeah. Get wrecked. Get completely destroyed. You're 24? You're only a year older than Shrek. Absolutely annihilated. Pojotty MC with 500 bits said coming from Infosec. 
How do you get through the mental barrier of thinking about yourself as just a scripter when you write your own tools to thinking of yourself as actually a software developer? There's a feeling of a gap between the two that doesn't seem to go away. One second. Coming from Info InfoSec, how do you feel about the mental barrier of thinking about yourself as just a scripter when you write your own tools to thinking about yourself as actually a software developer? I don't think of myself as a software developer. I don't think of myself as just a scripter. I don't give myself labels like that because that shit's largely irrelevant. When you're trying to apply labels to yourself, you're applying labels based on a way of communicating who you are to other people. And there's no point in doing that. You don't need to give yourself labels. Other people will apply labels to you, whether they are true or not, regardless of what's going on anyway. So just focus on learning shit. And if you can look at yourself three months ago, if you can look at yourself six months ago and you know more shit than you did then, none of that shit matters. Those labels, those titles, none of that shit matters at all, frankly, whatsoever. The only time that titles come into play is specifically your job title when trying to apply for another position. Labels like that are irrelevant. Don't chase the label. Don't. Just chase learning and investing in yourself. Every time. Nala is still cool with 500 bits said hey, uh, Thor, I managed to get a hold of a fairly large crock pot from my relatives. Hell yeah. Is this a good substitute for the instant pot you advised me to buy? Somewhat. I've never used one of these before, so can I please have some tips on using it? Yeah. There's no included manual or cookbook for it. Thank you for being patient with me. So, a lot of the times crockpots are not going to be pressure cookers. Some people will call it something a crockpot that is a pressure cooker. So if this is not a pressure cooker, if it's just a normal crockpot, you can make roasts in that. You can make like slow cooked stews in that. Make all kinds of shit. You'll want to look up specifically crockpot recipes. If it's a slow cooker like that, yeah. So you said it's a slow cooker. Then there's a ton of crockpot recipes. There's a ton of that stuff. The thing that I was talking about, yeah, chili. Oh, you can make beans. Slow cooked pasta. Oh, God, it's so good. Pulled pork. Oh, pulled pork is so good. Pulled pork shoulder. Yeah. Oh, pulled pork and pot roast. Oh, God, it's so good. There's even things like that. Yeah, like creamy lemon chicken. So you can actually make some recipes that are like, this is going to cook for eight hours. And like you just do it on a weekend. You do it in the morning. And then you throw all the stuff in there. You just walk away. And then the whole day, your house smells so good. You're like, you just get free smells for eight hours. And then, and then when you go to finally eat it, it's brilliant, dude. Slow cookers are amazing. Like usually, usually meats and stuff like that are fantastic, I find, in slow cookers. What I like to do is the Instant Pot is a different kind of a cooking device. That is a pressure cooker. And a pressure cooker will largely do the same sort of activities, but it does them really fast because it does them under heavy pressures, right? And like an Instant Pot will do the same thing. Instead of in eight hours, it'll do it in two. So with, it, with an Instant Pot, you're like, oh, I got friends coming over. Let me make a pot roast. You just toss it in there. Two hours later, you have a perfect pot roast, and it's great. They can also explode. They can. They usually don't, right? Yeah, Instant Pot is amazing, to be honest with you. Instant Pot is incredibly, like, incredibly good. The, the funny thing about the Instant Pot is I actually use it for microculture stuff because I grow... Um, uh, God, what are, they, what are all the species they do? So lion's mane, reishi, oyster, and shiitake mushrooms. And I use the Instant Pot as an autoclave. It is actually the only, like, consumer-grade, like, pressure cooker that can actually reach the proper temperatures to do sanitization. <laughs> Which is wild, to be honest with you. Yeah. So I use it as an autoclave when I'm trying to sanitize stuff, too. So it's got, like, a dual-use thing for me. I have, a, I have a second one that I use specifically for, for autoclaving. So I can just, like, sanitize the shit out of stuff. Yeah. It's really funny with that. You can get frozen meat and throw it in there and it cooks fine. Yes. Yes, you can. Which is surprising, right? So we'll actually take, like, I'll take, like, a frozen chicken breast. Take a bunch of frozen chicken breast. And then throw that into the pressure cooker and it will cook that. Yeah, autoclave. It's just, it's for sanitization. You fully sanitize it. The reason why this is a tough thing, mold spores, like fungal spores, are actually really tough. Crazy tough. And you would, you would be very surprised at how hard it is to kill this. And so, yeah, how does pressure cooker actually cook so uh, fast? By changing the amount of atmospheres inside of there to cook it faster. 
Yeah, steam sterilization. Bingo. Good temp, good temperature, good pressure required to do that. And you, you actually, when you're talking about a mold spore, it's actually like a little egg, and it has to crack open, and then it starts to do stuff. And what happens is you need to have a special kind of pressure, high enough t pressure, high enough temperature to be able to crack that open and break it. And they're ridiculously durable, insanely so. So it's a whole thing with that. I'm surprised that more people don't know that. I guess it's like kind of esoteric, specific knowledge, right? It's kind of a nerd knowledge about those. Which is why mac and cheese says eight minutes. Okay, let me let me explain something. With a pressure cooker, you can do something outrageous. No human being should do what I do. But I did do something with a pressure cooker. We put 40 eggs in it. Because we could fit 40 eggs. And we went to Walmart. And Walmart sells 40 eggs for like four dollars or something stupid and they're shit eggs they're awful let me explain i wanted all of the deviled eggs i didn't want some of the deviled eggs i wanted all of the deviled eggs all of them so we put 40 eggs in the pressure cooker it cooked these in two minutes it was a two minute pressure cook two minutes and they were all perfectly hard-boiled. And then we made 40 deviled eggs, which is actually 80 deviled eggs. It's a good time. It was worth it. They're crazy. Like, they cook stuff like wild, dude. Nice deviled eggs, farts. Look, my home was a toxic war zone. It was worth it. The toilet, don't worry about it. We'll just use the neighbors, you know? It's fine. I think you should add a delay to the Black Game Advancement because you log in, you can't see it. No, it's fine. I'm fine with that. Because it's there and it works. I'm not too worried about it popping up for you guys. I'm worried about it existing, frankly. Because you actually get... So you, you may not realize this. You actually get um, special advancements when you do stuff. So you will get advancements like this, like clear Sunken Cells, clear Krogner's Bastion... Clear the Rotten Maw. That's how you get your warps to those zones. When you beat a dungeon, you actually unlock the ability to warp back to that dungeon any time. Super important. So, like, these need to be displayed to you. They have to be. Are you shooting me with... Grease arrows? You're gross. That's dis You're disgusting. That's disgusting. I'm looking down on you. Literally, right now. And figuratively. That is the- you're disgusting. Get out of here. Gross, dude. Whoop. Now I'm in the- I'm in the dungeon, dude. No one can find me. Oh, speaking of which... I think we can actually turn this off. We set up a thing where this should stop all of this from mattering now. At least I think we did. This work? Why am I covered in garbage? Oh my god, you freaking goblin. Day, I get on my own server and you fill my inventory with shit. I am not a trash can. I swear to god. Alright, all that is thrown out. You're never getting those back now, they're gone. Um, I think Jake said that we had to add something to us to a section of the config, so I need to go add this real fast. <laughs> config. Yeah, we added a new config section. I think it's in core. Let me grab this. Jake, Jake, Jake. Where is it? Okay. We're not adding rabbit and chicken to this. We are doing experience orb, villager, and wandering trader. Those are done. And now we can go into here and we can say... Reload that. And that should be functional now. And now I can go to Murkheim. And we can find someone. And kill him. And it worked! He didn't drop experience. Wonderful. 
We did it, Chet. No more stupid command blocks. You know what this means? We can finally retire these. It's finally time. It's finally time. No more goddamn command blocks. It's over. We've migrated everything to plugins. All of this used to be command blocks in here. The whole computer is now removed. No, this is good. This is a good thing. I'm happy about this. Yep. Everything's moved over to that. Everything. You're done being bullied by Neanderthals. Are you... You having like a realization in chat? What's going on over there? You okay over there? Who's bullying you? You know we beat the Neanderthals, right? We absorbed them into our genetic lineage. Neanderthals, yes. Are you a scotch egg enjoyer? Damn right I am. 100%. I love me a scotch egg. Yeah, no, scotch eggs are freaking delicious, dude. I love, I love scotch eggs. Have you heard of Desktop Farm? Is that like that game that we showed off the other day that like shows up at the bottom of the screen? Is it a different game? This song slaps. Thanks, man. Yeah, this one is actually um, Joe Regular, but with sunglasses. So we have two different songs. We have this one. And that one's Joe Regular. And then this is Joe Regular, but with sunglasses. much better because it has sunglasses now yeah, have you never seen a scotch egg let me show you something this is going to be upsetting for part of chat and that's fine for me um, the scotch egg oh that's a bad one let me get you a good one the scotch egg is the wellington of the world of eggs look at it that's a Wellington. You can't get away from that. That's true. It's a Wellington. It's an egg Wellington. You hate me because I'm correct. But my God, is the scotch egg good, dude. It's really good. It's really good. Like, it's crazy good, dude. You're a foodie? Yes. I, I am very much so into cooking. I cook all the time. Cooking stream, please. I actually was on Onigiri. Not, not even wrong. Or not even long ago. Um, Onigiri is an awesome, awesome streamer. You should definitely check out her stream. And I, I want to go back on there too at some point. People loved it. And I, I want to do that. Democracy win. Iron Mouse wants to play soon. And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Iron Mouse to be ready. Soon. Soon. She said three to four hours, three hours ago. So anytime between now and an hour from now, we're going to democracy for a little bit. Yeah. She's packing groceries. She loves packing groceries. Yeah, she loves packing groceries. The Onigiri stream was amazing. She's fantastic. Onigiri is awesome, dude. And Onibro is hilarious. Tatsu underscore Starforge with 500 bits said, Take my bits, sir. Mmm, thank you for the bits. Have you seen Code Miko's Mikoverse? Yes. Code Miko's Mikoverse is amazing. I actually got to hang out with Code Miko a lot at the Stream Rewards, and she's awesome, dude. She's super fun. Yeah, super, super fun. The scotch egg is cheating because everything deep fried is amazing. All right, deep fry a boot. Oh, wait. Your move. Ketooth with 500 bits said, Yard cheer 500, hey, a Thor. Recently, I saw a video about you, how someone called you the Bob Ross of programming, and to be honest, I couldn't have said it better. I hope I speak in the name of everybody when I say, 
You are an absolute legend and we are grateful for what you do. Keep on being awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Seriously. It's very nice of you. Wait a minute. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean only edible things? The boot is edible if you're not a coward. I'm not wrong. Don't be a coward. Eat the boot. Eat the deep fried boot, Chet. Don't be a coward. Your hair, your hair good. What shampoo do you use? Um, so I use a $4 bottle of coconut slime from the local grocery store. In the time that I've been talking about that, which has been about three months, I haven't had to get a new bottle. It's the same one. It's about this much left out of this big bottle, and it's yellow. And I don't know what it is. I just got it off the shelf because it said coconut, and I like coconut. That's it. I don't know what it is. Did you eat the hat yet? No. Cardboard Cowboy has to send me his hat. You don't use shampoo? I just use that shampoo. Yeah. Describing it as slime makes me uneasy. Go look at your shampoo right now and tell me it's not slime. Oh, wait. It's slime, dude. It's weird coconut slime. That's what it is. It's gross. Shampoo the demo. Who made you this way? Uncle underscore Wardy I did not two Australian dollars said hello from Australia. Hello! I will eat it. I will eat a pizza. I will. Actually, wait. I found a new snack food. Let me find these. So, I was at the new market near the new house, and it's kind of like in a more rural area, so they have better food, frankly. Um, I found these crackers, and I was like, oh, I just want to have, like, saltines, right? So, I get this box of crackers. Let me find it. And I was like, oh, yeah, this this is crackers, right? I was like, I just want some saltines. I want to eat some saltines. And I see this, and it says Sailor Boy Pilot Bread Crackers, right? And I was like, ah, oh, it's unsalted tops. Whatever, I'll put, like, butter on it or some shit, right? And I was like, cool. It'll be fine. That's not a cracker, dude. They're the size of your freaking hand. They're enormous. Like, oh, this one actually has a, an image of somebody's hand in it. They're these huge bread biscuits. They're enormous. And they're they're really good. They're, I should have noticed this has like 28 of these in it. But they're like a big thing. So here's what I did, Australia bro. I put butter and Vegemite on one. And holy shit. They are delicious. They are so good with anything on them because they have the right crunch and consistency to them. And I put butter and Vegemite on it. It was, oh, oh. It's just good. It's just good. Yeah. Stop using butter with Vegemite, Heathen? No, I wanted to this time because people told me that butter and Vegemite would be a good combination. I usually just do Vegemite. Usually just do Vegemite. But uh, butter and Vegemite actually turn out to be really nice. Sometimes I'll do Vegemite and cheese. Like, I like to use a really sharp cheddar because you get some tiger toast in there. I enjoy that. Yeah. Butter and Vegemite together is nice. And uh, you you can hate it, but uh, you're just wrong. Yeah. That's how I feel about that. Yeah. It's okay to be wrong. I'm just not going to be. You know? It's, it's my choice. By the way, ads are about to be here, so we're going to pause. Oh yeah, I got another drink too. Fruit. I'm drinking fruit today. It's a good time. Is that Bolt House? Yeah. I love these. He's forsaken the stream water. No, I just wanted fruit. I wanted to drink ketchup, dude. And this is the closest to ketchup I'll drink, you know? Yeah, liquid fruit. It's Bolt House, dude. Why not drink whiskey then? Because I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I collect alcohol so that when people come over, they can have alcohol. I never drink. It's like maybe once a year. Usually for New Year's. And I'll try to get drunk and it lasts like 15 minutes. And it's upsetting. I'm always the designated driver, and designated driver means not drinking. 
Not drinking a little. Not drinking at all. Yeah. Yeah, expensive or drunk, I have the same problem. I'm actually allergic to hops, so I can't drink beer. And I have a high tolerance to alcohol because of good genetics for that. My dad has the same problem. So we just end up being the DD, man. Always the designated driver. Yep. Absinthe takes care of that? No, Absinthe does not. It works a little bit. What actually takes care of it is mead. And um, a long time ago, my friends tried to get me very drunk. And they wanted to do it with mead. So I drank a whole liter of mead. And I was like, my hands are going numb. I think it's working. And they were like, okay, let's wait 30 minutes to see how it goes. And I was like, well, my hands aren't numb anymore. And they're like, let's do another liter of mead. Then I got blackout drunk. So it took two liters of mead to bring me down. And uh, I remember some of the night. I know I threw up at a man's yard. That happened. It was a pretty good time. <laughs> yeah. It was a, the reason why it works is... I, I think what's happening is we convert alcohol to sugar really quickly. So if I have something that's a sugary alcohol like mead, that process doesn't work way to get me drunk. That is the way to do it. And it, it that's that was the only time where I could say I got drunk as shit. That was the whole thing. What is mead actually? It's like uh, fermented honey. It's kind of a whole thing. How strong was it? I don't even know. It came in a clay bottle and it was good. All right. Yeah, meat's good shit. Alcohol just tastes like dog shit to me. Some of it does. Like, to be really, I just don't drink. I just don't drink. I'm allergic, like, if you don't know, if you were in the ad break, I'm allergic to hops. Because I'm allergic to hops, I don't drink beer. Because I break out in hives. It's like really shit, right? So, because of that, I can only drink hard alcohol. Well, my dad has a high tolerance to hard alcohol. It's probably a genetic thing. We convert it into sugar really fast, so I get... I basically get a sugar high if I drink, right? But it doesn't make me drunk, which makes me really boring. When I'm when all my friends are drinking, they're all like impaired. I'm not impaired. I'm just giddy, and I'm not giddy in a way that's like impaired. It's it's I'm just having a I'm an annoying child is basically what it is. When you give a kid a bunch of candy, it's the same kind of a feeling. So with that in mind, I just ended up being the designated driver. So I drink cranberry juice when everyone else is drinking alcohol. That's it. And I just don't drink. So I ended up just not doing that. You seem plenty not boring. It's boring when everyone's drunk, right? You know, you're the guy who's not drunk. Everyone else is. It's. I kind of just get to herd the children when they're just like, Arr! you know, like that's that's sort of what what happens there. The only way that they found to bring me down where I can actually get drunk is specifically mead, and I I think what it is is a alcohol gets converted into sugars, which is probably where that sugar high is going. That process is probably very fast for me and my dad. So because of that, giving me an alcohol that is heavily sugary like mead, probably makes that process slow down in some way, so I get drunk for longer. So they gave me a liter of mead, they made me drink that, and it made my hands numb, and I was like, it's working. I'm feeling impaired. It's happening. And they were like, let's wait 30 minutes, because we don't want to overdo it. They waited 30 minutes, it started to go away, so we're like, okay, let's do it. Let's do another liter. So they gave me a second liter of mead in an hour, and then I got blackout drunk. I got completely destroyed. I was like throwing up and, and I don't remember half the night. It was a wild time. I didn't get a hangover, so I've never had a hangover, but it was <laughs> it was a hilarious time. But yeah, it takes me to do it. And uh, I haven't found anything else. That, yeah, one to a hundred real fast is how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. 16 Jaeger pumps. I don't like the taste of Jaeger. It's gross. <laughs> it's not good, dude. Yeah, meat is the way to do that for me. I like black licorice. I like black licorice. I just don't like Jaeger. It's not good tasting. No. What are you doing? Why are you digging? Licorice is good. Yeah, I love black licorice. Um, any of you out there who have salted black licorice, I'm a fan. Love that shit. I am less and less American by the day, I know. But I love Vegemite and black licorice. Yeah. Finn here. I love your, I love the black licorice. Finland, good. Yes. Give me that doubles out, too. Mm. Samiyaki? Yeah, dude. Love that. Love that. 
Finland mentioned. Did I? I don't know much about Finland. Uh, Finnish culture is very funny to me, though, because when I was younger, I had a I had a friend from Finland online, and he taught me a bunch of Finnish curse words, and most of them have to do with like calling your mother a Satan, not Satan, not the Satan, but like a Satan, which is a weird one to me. At least that's how he explained it to me. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of that. It was a lot of calling your mother a Satan, which is, thank you, Finland, for that. It was very odd. Finland is is wild, dude. You know, Australia? No, I live in the United States. You're cultured? No, I'm just a person of the internet. Were these acquired tastes for you? No. Look, dude, I, I don't like the term acquired taste. Anything that tastes bad to me, I just don't eat it. Like, I, if I have to get used to the flavor, it's probably shit. Like, when I first tried coffee, everyone was like, oh, you'll get used to it. And I was like, I don't want to. This is awful tasting. Like, no. I just don't drink coffee because it's just, it tastes like shit. Like, if I have to get used to it, it's probably bad, right? That's, there's no reason for that. So anything that I eat, it's, it's like, oh, no, this is good for me. Like, I like this. This is tasty. There's nothing that I've ever had that I had to get used to. Because, like, why, why would I suffer through shitty flavor until my body's like, okay, I'll accept it now? Like, what? You're missing out on what? Shitty flavor? That I've been trained into allowing? Like, no. No. Gross. Disgusting, dude. It's either good or it isn't. No. You're missing out on caffeine? I feel like I'm fine with that, frankly. Oh god, wrong button. Play Ryan it. Soto with ten dollars said go. thanks for everything as your videos helped me push through my game dev classes in college. Aww. We have already made two super small games. Only about two weeks each and couldn't be prouder. Thank you. That's awesome as hell, dude. That's really awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Keep making stuff. Do it. I believe in you. Shay's awake. Did you have a Stroopwafel? Damn right. I love Stroopwafel so much, dude. You put it on top of, like, a hot drink, and it turns into a... It turns into a beautiful, beautiful, delicious thing. Holy shit. If you are eating a Stroopwafel, and you're just eating it, you're doing it wrong. You have to put it on a hot drink, and it turns into, like, a gooey... Just... Oh. It's so good. It's so good. Do you need to wait? You do. It's got to get a little warm. Just a little bit warm. Oh. God, they're good. Plague Tech Games with 500 bits said, Yah, hey Thor, what are all the tools you use for streaming? Thanks for all you do and have done FPR this community. So the tools they use for streaming is we have Alley Donation System, we have a uh, plugin on... Actually, wait, I have a better option for you. I don't even have to list these. Check this shit out. Go into the Discord. Go to channels and roles. See this? Choose streaming with the Pong face. You'll get access to the streaming portion of the Discord. If I can find it. Eh, eh, eh. There it is. Resources. I list all my tools right here. Ta da In fact, you know how I have CC? I have closed captions over on Twitch. The way that I have closed captions over on Twitch is because of a plugin. It's actually using Google speech recognition to do this. A. Hey. Hey. Yeah, super useful. So, these are all available to you. You just gotta get that roll. Pally isn't on here. I will list Pally on here, actually. There you go. Done. Added. Alrighty. Oh, wait. I've gotten the call. It's democracy time. I will play. 
Helldivers 2 for a few hours with Mouse. And then we will return to the queue. Don't worry, the queue will not be wasted. We have 12 hours of stream. So we'll have a momentary brief democracy. And then we will get back to making video games. And adding things. I need to fix this. With at Iron Mouse. There we go. Fixing it. Fixing it. Morning democracy. We're getting a new morning democracy. I am ready. There we go. Let me let me shut everything up. It's going to take a minute. That's kind of working now. Maybe. Maybe. Games. All right, it's working. This is good. I will turn off the ads, man. We will be unable to pause for Jeff Bezos during democracy. I will go and check the stream and make sure that it is set to the right categories. Because it always breaks. Always. I don't know why it breaks. Thank you very much for that gifted sub. And thank you for the $5 to the moderators. Is that... Wait a minute, is that old? Is that new? It didn't come through on the feed. Their feed is new and it's broken. Thank you for gifting the $5 to the moderators. It's, I saw it. But also it's... I have no idea what's happening. Because it's not the feed. Okay, that's working. I'm going to go put this over on YouTube side. Hello, YouTube. How you doing? By the way, YouTube, I do actually read your messages. It's true. And this is not pre-recorded. As much as people think that it is. Which I think is funny. Yeah, I think it's funny. I do. No, I actually read your messages. I do all the time. <laughs> uh, let me get all this. Let me get the other machine set up. Looks like we are good to go. There we go. Oh, wait. Why, hello. All right. Almost set up. Okay. There we go. Discord Thor, is my friend through. Candy. Candy is my friend Thor. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, Thor. I'm Candy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. We're going to do democracy. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for all of the mines? Democracy means mines, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Democracy. As it does it does one. I'm ready. Democracy. <laughs> or okay. loves uh, mines. It's his I favorite do. thing. Dude, I do. I love eagle strafing. They're my favorite. Well, that's also good, yeah. I just run and scream. Um, so I know you two are very good, because I've seen you playing. Um, so thank you for carrying me in advance. Candy, what are you talking about? What level <laughs> are you? I'm like 32, 33, but I haven't played in a bit. I mean, that means you have access to everything. You should be fine. I think at like level <laughs> 25, you have everything now. So like, you, you, you'll, you'll yeah. be fine. Just remember, if you see a small red light on the ground, run directly towards it. It's a buff. Bet. Yeah. I will do that. I always run towards it. <laughs> it's a good I'm idea. Just, oh, God. No, it's going to be this. I'm so excited. You can tell by my voice. I'm so excited. What's I love wrong? It. I love, no, I love, I love how that. You don't want to play? <laughs> don't play that. Don't, don't use that tone of voice of me, young lady. You don't want to play with me? <laughs> I've been sitting here with my, like a, like, like a child at a table with a knife and fork in hand waiting for my hell diver time. It's hell diver Thanks. time. I'm in. Yes. I have an issue starting a lobby, though. So I've noticed that they've added new armors to the game that now have a 95% uh -huh. resistance to arc damage. So every time someone dies to my lightning gun, I can just say skill issue now. <gasps> it's good. I Oh my it's god, good. I started using that gun exclusively and I love it so much. It's, it's so, so good. good. I use the arc thrower all the time, but now if I if I point it at an ally and they die, I just say use the wrong armor. It's not my fault. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, sounds, this sounds like this. a very subtle... No, I'm not regretting anything. This Don't sounds like a subtle suggestion to use the arc resistant armor. I mean, you could use whatever you want. I mean, there's there's certain types of armors that are a skill issue, and there's certain types that aren't. You know, that's that's really what it comes down to. It's fine. You can use whatever you like. I I yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the one that means that I don't take lethal damage. Well, I'm less likely to take lethal damage. It's a good 50 idea. percent resistance or whatever. Yeah, because then it, I just survive stupid stuff. I have forty one medals. I need more medals. Oh my god, I, I literally can't invite anybody to my ship for some reason. I don't know why. Oh no! Um... Is it because 
Eldite. Is it because I'm in VTube Studio and it's like registering? Yeah, if you open that off, yeah, that can cause issues sometimes. Bro, my VTube Aiden. <laughs> You'll have to... I think you, if you restart the game, it should be fine then, because then it'll be the last thing you opened on Steam. Maybe? I don't know. Um, Because I've only liked to be join people's games. Like, I can't... Here, you guys can join on okay. me. That works. I can host. No what? problem. Once I'm in the game, I am. I cannot alt tab anymore because <laughs> I have to use display capture, the safest method of capturing anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't worry. If you guys are adding uh, things to the queue, that will be done after this time. So don't. It's okay, not getting lost. So it's not getting lost. Don't worry at all. Off door. But if mouse, I mean, I can add you as a friend on Steam. We've just met, but just throwing it out there. Otherwise, I'll have to wait for Mouse to join and I can join off you up to... M Mouse has joined on me, so you should be able to join okay, on me. Slay. Yeah, I right. just joined. Oh. Mouse, can can you invite them? Does that work? I think so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm hacking. You're in? You're hacking She's right hacking. now? I'm Don't hacking. hack too much time. Data. That'd be a bad idea. <laughs> oh. You guys excited for the third attack. faction they're going to release? Minutes. Yes. Isn't it like oh, Ross was talking about that yesterday. What was the thing of it? It was like psychic or something like that? Mental? Yeah, yeah Illuminate. I imagine. The Illuminate is the third yeah. faction. It's from their first game, so I'm pretty excited oh. to see how they do it. Likely they'll attack us from the south, because that seems correct based on the map. Well, kind of also, thank you for those $5 to the mods. It's very nice of you, dude. You rock. I want to know about new idea. creatures. Yeah, I kind of want to get killed by space... Protoss. They feel like Protoss. Just a little bit. Weird psychic dudes. We're locking out these planets against the bugs forever right now, by the way. Yeah, Neo, are you changing your clothes? Uh, I got given a hundred credits, so I'm just kind of looking for that armor that you talked about. <laughs> that makes me survive. I don't think you can get it that way. You have to unlock the, the pass for the new stuff. Ah, well, I have to. I have to battle Ohio. <laughs> we'll, we'll get enough super credits over time. I don't pay for anything in the game. Like I don't do any of the microtransactions. I just play, and I just play so much that I get all the the credits, and then we just use them. Mm. Candy is crying. No, I'm not. I'm strong. Look. I believe. Hug me, please. Oh wait, no. <laughs> I'm already in the pod. It's too late. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. okay, I give her a hug. <laughs> okay, good. I'll hug you next time, then. <laughs> Are you guys ready I, I to blow up eggs? Hell yeah! yeah. Oh, shit. One thing Winter I space about me is I, I always use the same loadout almost entirely. Makes Wait, sense. Is it bugs? Yes. I've got a pretty standard loadout as well. Oh, does railgun still work against those charger dudes' legs, or do they do they patch that? So that still works. It's not as effective as it was. Um, they ah. did reduce the amount of armor on their face. So if you use an eat, mm. which is the uh, expendable anti tank, you can one shot them if you hit them right in the face. Now, it's right. Wild. I can see somebody doing that. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. What? Okay. Do we want? Do you have a preference on perks? Like for in resist um, injury or HP? the stock? HP okay. or. Uh, what is the other one? Do you have the leg one? I don't know if you have access to that one yet. Looks like a muscle enhancement. No? Oh, no, I don't have the leg one yet. Okay, I'm gonna take localization confusion. It's a new one. Increases the time between enemy encounters, which is nuts. It's so nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna be so locked in. Chad is saying railgun the face and it feels pretty good. Good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they were saying use uh, in unsafe mode, which oh, as if I would use it any other way. I've actually been using the Arc Thrower, and with the new changes, you can kill a Charger in like 8 hits, <laughs> instead of 16, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. Less bugs, lol coward? No. It just means yeah, that we've I... killed all of them. Yeah! It's not my fault they stopped spawning. They're afraid. They fear us. Shaddy with the $50 for the mods. Thank you very much. Holy new. moly, dude. And you can kind of hit a point where you just kill Thank everything and there's much. nothing happening. And I was like, wow, this is so, yeah. so peaceful. <laughs> the missions that we're doing now is we're actually activating like a, a spraying system that will lock these planets out forever from the bugs. So they'll never be able to take these planets the permanently. I hate... I, well, I, I like the tower. It's just really hard. The tower? We've got a yeah, good way of beating it now. 
So if you just spam the button over and over and over again, the mission will eventually summon all of the bugs available and you just kill them with bombs. Oh. And then you then you win because there's no bugs left. That's kill all of the strategy. bugs and there are no more bugs. Dropping a pin. Oh, is that like a different uh, map, mo map mode? How would you say it? Like a different... Like strat for that? Like defense or... Yeah, no, no, the tower thing. Is that oh, like, we is that like a defense thing? Or? Yeah, it's a new type of mission specifically for these planets where we have to like start these batteries up and then defend them, but defending them is kind of ass. Like it's just not like yeah. really a doable thing. So you just keep summoning bugs until you kill them all and there's just no more bugs. And it's fine. Use the... Oh, soccer. I hope that I hope that this actually kills the bugs. You know, maybe it yeah, won't. Make them go away. Maybe it'll make new bugs. You know, like those horrible flying things that we've seen. That seems that seems fine, right? Just make it even worse, like they evolve. I think it's yeah. So I don't know. I want to see them. There, yeah, there's flying bugs. We actually saw them in a mission uh, earlier today. Oh. You'll see them in the skybox, but they're actually shootable. You can kill them, and they're horrifying. All right, we got problems. Time to kill some eggs. I'm gonna throw some bombs. Oh, I learned something about uh, stratagems. So oh, yeah? you know how they sometimes stick to enemies and sometimes don't. You uh -huh. can control that. Oh, oh really? Hook the stratagem in your head. Sweet liberty. Oh, wow, I'm super dead. So if you hold down the button to cook the stratagem, it'll stick. And if you don't hold down the button, it bounces. Yep. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not dead. I'm just spawning in a better location. Joining the fray. Yes. <laughs> oh. God, I accidentally started trying to hug the air. <laughs> grenade! Bro, grenade to die. Bro, grenade to die. <laughs> Worth. <laughs> it's strategy and pipe base? No, we did it before. We had it connect. Um, even throwing it on, like, different parts and stuff like that. Looking, it actually connected it. Yeah, noble sacrifice. Oh? <laughs> okay, Candy, I got you. Of course. Oh, cool. Don't worry about it. Hey, there's a lot of <laughs> giant acid ticks. Those seem good, right? Oh, my bones. Yeah, those are really good. Oh. I'm uh, enjoying the physics. That's what I'm doing right now. The physics is good. I just. Attacking map. Ah. Far. Yeah, ragdolling for so... democracy is my favorite, frankly. I'm so ready to have. Oh, God, they keep going up on me. I love killing the ticks. They look like a big, gross zit, you know? <laughs> it's my favorite. It's like popping their butt. It's gross. It's like a big booger. <laughs> Zit booger. Oh. oh Thanks, I'm, Iron Mouse. That was, um... I'm, I'm so sorry. I seem to have had a skill issue there. I, uh... You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, you know. Oh, bugs. My favorite. What? 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 Uh, what? 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 I don't know what happened there, but it seems to have removed all of my bones. <laughs> it's fine. Explosion oh, what? I think it was my gun. I think I I think I shot that thing in melee. Want to see something cool though? Check this shit out. Yeah. See those eggs all the way over there? Uh huh. Oh. What wait, eggs? What the? Yeah, what, what dude. Is that? This is the scorch flies. You can hit anything from across the map, and it has an AOE around it, so it's great for shit like this. I want that gun. It's so good, dude. You can actually destroy mushrooms and everything as well. You can see them, you can kill them. Oh. Wait, where's that? Where do you get that? The Got some more over there. Thing? Yeah, no, it's from the, um, it's actually from the original set. That, like, eight page or ten page one? It's on the last oh, page. Oh, okay. It's, it's an amazing gun. Page. It's so good. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm just gonna make this work Sorry, you're kinda close there. Mastered lightning is terrifying. Jesus. <laughs> cool bomb. 
Yeah, I just thought I'd try and take out this base while I spoke that I saw. Mm, I know. Nice. Just yeah, casually yeah. taking it out. I got the ooh! Not the super uranium as well, so pray for me. I was killed by two large lobsters, but I killed many eggs. Oh. I don't want to say worth, but I'm glad that you got a kill on the way out, you know? I'm about to get all sense. of the kills. I'm ready. Hell yeah. I've landed on top of this hill. I think I might have taken out this hole. Ow. Damn it, eagle strafing. Okay. Um, what? Well. Why is there collision there? You know what? Whatever. I didn't need these bones. Whoa. I just need like one grenade. Mag's empty. Shit. Mag's empty. <laughs> grenades! Grenades for everyone! Worth. That has to take out the hole, right? We oh, need one more dead. egg on that map. Yay. I destroyed everything else. Grenades are my favorite. If you're about to die, oh. just throw grenades oh. at your feet. You take out everything That's with a good you. Idea. Yep. <laughs> Wanted to I wish I had like a like a anything that I could cast where I just dispersed all of my grenades at once. Oh, that would be sick. Oh, we got stalkers. That's not great. <laughs> oh god. Stim, stim. Please summon me. I wish Please to die for democracy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know I if you were you. close to where I threw. I I threw something out. I believe. You know what? Oh oh. Where am I? What? What? Uh, <laughs> I'm just doing. Oh, there's a radar station. I just kind of yeah. I just kind of pulled you up wherever I was. My bad. There's a radar station here. That's I have my son doing it. Radar. Yes. I was trying to do it too. Uh, oh, it's in your. Oh. Hey, girl. Oh, look, it's one of those. Calling in orbital strike. Calling down a support weapon. Gone. Oh, okay. Wait, that worked out. Yeah, I zapped what? it with a rail cannon while you hit it with pods. Oh, I got Hell it. Yeah. Did I? Or did you? Wasn't me. I didn't get it. I think we uh, all got it. If the Did thing we? can go 180. Oh no, uh. Yeah, I'll get it. Clockwise, like to 9 p.m. Oh, to. 10 It'll 10 make a sound, too. I'm on it. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I also make sounds. Got it. <laughs> oh. You got it? Yeah, you just gotta hit the, the button. No problem. <laughs> Check it out. I believe. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. No problem. <laughs> God, I really gotta use that scout armor. I feel like that would suit my play style of three man run. Oh god, oh. they're sitting in the air! They're sitting in the air! There's so many. Sending in an eagle. Get it, rock pods. There's a, there's like one egg missing. What? We're missing one egg at this place. Oh. I'll go well. find it. Don't worry. Probably. I'm covered in grenades. Nice. They can't beat Just me. Just turn yourself into one of the halls. Exactly. I <laughs> am the bomb. Yeah. Wait. Wrong gun. Max it's out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Nice. We've done it. Hive structure destroyed. Okay. Oh god, get away from me. Okay, We're doing good. Love that. Yeah. I just love popping the bugs. Yeah. So satisfying. Zap. Oh, hi. Hello. Whoa. Requesting air support. Sticky. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is a nuke here. Oh, don't shoot that. I'll die. I won't, don't worry. Now we Bye. shoot it. Run, run, run. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, the weeds are very thick. Ow! It seems to have worked. Eight of them died. I <laughs> <laughs> got stuck in the trees for a second. Any hey, make them stick? Hold the button down for long enough, you cook the uh, stratagem and it'll stick to them like that. It's not always a good thing, but it does work. Mm. Oh, there's like, okay. 
god, I'm so greedy. I'm just, I just want to go for all the. No, we'll just do the objectives. And then no, we have get all the things. Get all the things. Oh look, yeah, there's a lot of stuff fun. in here. This is probably fun. Oh, I have no I grenades. Love stuff. I have four grenades for democracy. Trying not to shoot you. Oh. oh, your silly face and how strong it is. Cool laser. <laughs> oh, it just keeps getting worse the further I run. This seems good. It's a good amount of democracy happening right now. You know? Yeah. She had some more to it. Every time I look behind, just look behind myself, I'll be fine. Ah. Ow. All right, we're good. That's called democracy. That is called democracy. Ow. Part of my bones were removed. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> use this bone juice to get it back. Blood injury. So I worry about your bones and their ability to detach so often. Ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> He's a pro with that. You know, Super Earth will give me new bomb. ones. I'm gonna reprovision some bones. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh. You just take him out of other adventures and Last reload. slap him in. Yeah, just pop him in. Is that an eat? I love eats. God, I love eats. God. We've done it. Kill the charger. Oh, there's a secondary objective we should go get right there. It's like super close. Why don't I have my good laser gun? Did uh -oh. I lose my laser gun? Did you die? I don't know. I've died so many <laughs> times, it's hard to remember. It's hard to you did get dragged. deboned recently. I may have been deboned recently. That may have been the problem. I think I found maybe the stalker nest? Up it. Maybe. There's a stalker nest in the it. south of the map, and there's also a mushroom down there, so if I can get up high oh, enough, yeah, I can snipe it from here. Oh, well. Um. Ooh. Hey, I'm the one who's supposed to lose bones. What happened over there? You losing bones? I was, I was, bones. I was in fact, a alarmingly well, fast rate. The bones were more pulverized, and they're still in my body. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as you it's kept them. Kinda, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll there's a big man coming going. this way. Sending in an eagle. I feel like that's a pretty good hit, chat. What do you think? Oh, shit. It was a good hit, but then he moved. Hi. This hurts. Uh-oh. Ow. I'm out of range. Please kill the large bug. Yeah, he dodged by Our walking samples. forward. I'll be back for you, baby girls. Oh, wait, I'm back. I'm back. We're good. Uh, I need a supply. Oh, this place is a... This is a dog place that I'm in. Ah. Oh, actually, wait. Maybe this was actually a speedrun strat, because now I have more grenades again. Oh, nice. I'm out of I'm ammo. Oh, ah. oh, I lied. Oh, thank God. About time. <laughs> I have more bullets. <laughs> Alright, let's go get that stalker nurse out. It's free bonus XP. Yeah. It's just sitting yeah. there, ready. Oh, yeah. Got your candy? Uh oh, 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 uh oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. Oh, okay, this is Oh. Ow. Oh. Ow. 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 Sorry. Ow. I kinda landed at a, at a I was eye level with the mm. fire and vile titan upon landing. 
This is going well, I think. Holy, holy shit. Oh my, oh my goodness, thank God I was in that crevice. Holy shit. Hey guys, my bones are gone again. I need some more bones. Oh wait, I think I did it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I wasn't even attacked him. He was I landed on him. I landed on him. He's upset about it. Kobe. Got it. Oh, Easy. Nice. Oh, wait, that's not my gun. That's the old me's gun. Whatever, it's mine now. It's a pretty good toss. Is that an eat? Hello, sir. I'm out. Nice. Rude. How many? Worth. <laughs> you did. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was good. You did I get did democracy's work. Calling in yeah. Very democratic. It's always hunters, man. No matter what you do, the hunters are always going to take you down. This, this. Oh, I ripped his body in half. Hi. Rolling down a support weapon. I can skip those enemies, but it's so epic. And I will use the word epic because it would be very nice. Epic. Would be epic. Ah. Wait, where am I going? Oh yes, the mushroom. Taking map. East. 300 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fork cloud. Oh, sticky plant. No, it's in that direction. But where? Oh God. Requesting air support. Oh my God! There's so many behind me. Bags empty. New man. Victory. Mushroom down. Nice. Dropping a pin. Northeast. 100 meters. Oh, hey, there's a Bile Titan that just decided to pop into existence Cyberpunk 2077 wow, style. That's good. <laughs> Calling in oh. orbital strike. Does this Bile Titan have... Oh. This one has, like... Ooh. Nice double. It has, like, the dead body of its friend on its back. Okay, it stopped. Ew! Uh, it's kind of weird. They're just working together, you know? Take you back. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, no, stalker. All right, I'm into. I'm going to the stalker nest. I'm almost there. I'm probably going to die. Did they really, really nerf the bile type and railgun strat? Ooh. Hi. Oh. 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 I think I missed. <laughs> Ow. Rude. Ow, oh, my bones. I used an expendable anti tank on one of the ball titans, so thank you for that. There's a lot of stalkers. Yep. I would like less of them. Grenade! How many grenades do I have to throw at this damn thing? It's not blowing up. We have a problem. Uh oh. The void is consuming all the grenades. Use a use anything on it. Something that explodes. Wait, I have an idea. Uh oh. I have an idea. Why am I worried when you say that? It'll be fine. <laughs> Run away. Great idea. Oh, wait, it's dead. It, I, tr it's dead. I trust. I trust. <laughs> Somehow it blew up. Trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. I'm gonna go take this nest. Ah! It's not stun oh, grenades. I'm using normal grenades. Yeah, I'm using normal grenades. It's just a bug. Jesus! How did I survive that? I think we have a lot of <laughs> lot of nests here. This is probably this, yeah. bad. I'm next to a really big nest, and this one bile tide has been chasing me for like 10 minutes. Oh, it's dead finally. <laughs> it bled out to nothing. Good. That one's gone.
Oh, I see stalkers. Standing I don't like that. <laughs> Those ones are what done. What is that hole? Oh. Uh oh. I don't think that's where that was supposed to land. Requesting air support. Help. Well, at least it took out one of them. Help. Hello. I'm, I'm out of grenades. Of holes, need you at your measure, I'm running. Requesting air support. Way. Oh, what? Requesting advanced weaponry. Requesting air support. Hey. Uh oh, oh, the red dot you said, run away from. Got a sample. <laughs> Two more. Zap, zap. Get a W4. Oh God, they're pooping in the air. They're pooping in the air. Sending in an eagle. I don't know if that'll actually break it. I'm going to find out. Get some. Get some. Ooh. Just that one more. I mean, I can. Uh, I just no, we got two more. Oh, W four! Here, oh. I'm gonna use this resupply on it. That'll probably work. Wow, that random just did that just appear all the way over there? What? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was a little confused for a moment there. We did it. Woo! All right, let's get out of here. Let's go extract. Ow! Don't worry, pain is just pain leaving the body. Ugh. Ah! Ah! I'm, like, stop. Ah! 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 I'm sure Sorry. they're fine, chat. Don't worry. Ooh. It sounds like it's going well. <laughs> I just... A bug breach, like, spawned on me as I was running. Holy shit! Oh. Yeah, screams of democracy. That's what it is. Yeah. Of course. I love... Democracy. I heard a bunch of growly bug noises. That's good, right? Yeah. That's the bugs saying that they're afraid of you. It all makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Calling down a support weapon. I'm Gotta just gonna run away. If I run fast enough, they can't get me. Oh, there's a bile titan up ahead. Uh oh. Is that another mushroom? There's another mushroom. Uh, Enemy elite, northwest. Oh, you're doing great, Candy. I see. Yeah, we are doing great. Requesting orbital strike. I feel strong and an and enabled, oh. and independent, and democracy. Oh. It uh. bounced. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, skill issue. Very sad. Requesting air support. Bug out post spotted. Requesting I'm air support. I'm absolutely gonna make this work for me. I refuse to leave those super samples behind. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ow! Nah. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh God, no! Come on, I don't want to. Please leave me alone. Nope. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Down he goes. Oh God, there's more of them. Bug tunnel breach. Ending in an eagle. Let's get out of here. Uh, <gasps> I'm gonna do a resupply at the launch pad thing. Whoa. Oh, my boats! How did you turn? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This man is multi track drifting. Mass, you okay? Uh, 
Yeah. You're gone. I'll be okay, okay one day. One day I will. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. I'm not okay now. Nope. Well, do I? Well, I'm kind of okay now. I'm almost to extraction. You want me to come back for you? I'm coming for you. I'm fine. No, I can see you. I'm, I'm on see. my I'm way. Coming. We're just going to keep doing this dance. I'm bringing a lot of friends with me. I also have large friends. He's very big. And he's very hungry. They're fr very friendly and want to hug. Well, let's just see how this goes. I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I killed it. Fine. Hey, I'm going to press all these buttons. I killed it. Uh, there is wah, 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 wah. one supply pack left. I cannot shoot this. There we go. Hey, look, he didn't need that armor. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep up the maniacal off, though. I'm just gonna do a H bomb and the, the bomb and just see how it goes. That'll kill some stuff, I'm sure. That's good. That feels good. Oh, we gotta zap the Bile Titans. Nice. Ow! Okay, one of them's dead. I punched a bug to death. That's probably good, right? That's that's sick, dude. Yeah. That's wicked. <laughs> like that NASA thing. <laughs> uh, sick. Woo! You saved my life. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, well, there's so many of them. There's a lot of bugs. No, 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 no. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, well, yes. A pad. I'm gonna talk to the landlord. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, we're gonna need to file a formal complaint. Hey, there's another really large one over here. <laughs> like a wild time large or like a... Oh. No, he's got a lot of legs. Oh. Oh, I see. Check it out. You have that one card off? I threw a big bomb into melee. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! I okay. may be dead. I think that was my bad. Wait! <laughs> what? Wait! It just left instantly? Okay. Oh my god! Wait. What the wait, fuck? Wait, 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 guys, I just Why landed. Did it leave instantly? Wait. Wait. Uh, what? 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 I'm still here. I'm still what? here. Oh no! I had, I had six super. I had the uranium on me. I had the pink shit. I had the good you stuff. Got, you guys th flew away and then I spawned, by the way. How did I? It usually gives because we all we it didn't all wait. died. It didn't wait. Oh, yeah. we all it died. Wait. It was good. <gasps> it's okay. We died for democracy. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry, Candy. The I, bugs are so advanced now. They're inside the game client. Dead. I was you know, like fully alive, fun. and I had a sh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know what? We tried our best. And that's all that matters. <laughs> Yeah. It's okay, Candy. You'll get your samples next time. I can't believe Mouse is a war hero now. And no one's there to <laughs> refute it, you know? Yeah, no one can refute it. <laughs> I killed so many of those things out. It was just me. It's all, all alone. Myself, all alone. All alone against the hordes well of bugs. With can't believe, it. believe me. No one else was there but me. Yeah. I want this gun. But I can't have it yet. I want to try. Dude, I feel like I'm going to change armor and I'm going to die immediately. But I really want to try the scout armor. Yo. Run fast. My chat has a golden kappa train. The galactic war. It's oh, happiness. nice. The golden kappa has blessed us, chat. Enjoy your golden kappas. I mean, we're going to win one. now. Nothing but Ws. Enjoy, chat. Enjoy your kappas. Help yeah, again. We had one like two days ago. 
Three days ago. Engaging orbital thrusters. Make the noise of a chat, get that gold cap. Godspeed, yeah. chat. And thank you very much for those subs and bits. You guys are amazing. Seriously. As streamers, we exist only because of you. So thank you. You rock. For real. Yeah, we're like a weird cat. All of us are Captain Planet, frankly. They summon us into the internet. I, I stop existing when I go off stream. It's true. Which, mm. basically what I'm saying is, is uh, all of this is your fault, chat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually That's liable for this. That's why Mouse is a war hero. That's true. Chat. You 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 made Mouse into a war hero. That's true. <laughs> Less bugs. Less bugs is such a good like booster. It's ridiculous. Mm. Oh, do you want me to do less? Oh, you you did less bugs. I did less bugs. Yeah. If you have it, then I can do Leggy Boys. I do have less bugs. And then, Why do uh, I have... Oh, sorry. Candy, do you have health? I do. I can, make, I can do the health one if you want. Yeah, health one's so much better. Okay. I think that's a pretty good setup. Because we got less bugs, <laughs> legs, <laughs> running, and health. <laughs> less, <laughs> less bugs, legs. Um, what happened to the... I have rocket pods. Did you Rock oh, as in like one of my good. default things. Is that oh a no, bug? my game crashed. Oh Whoa. no! This is the, the weight of being a, a war hero. They decided to take you out of the source. Yeah. Yeah, no, everybody gets rocket pods right now. It's like a freebie for every hell diver. Oh. Yeah, it's just an extra. That. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It's okay, you can rejoin. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Love from India? Well, hello. I smell a mushroom. I blew up a tree on impact. <laughs> that tree had a skill issue. Is a okay, we have limited time on this mission, so we gotta go fast, fast, fast. Oh, yeah. It looks like rocket pods don't close terminated hives, though, which sucks. Spore down. Ah. Dude, how do we even... 50 meters. How do we even do it? Hmm, bugs. There seem to be a lot of bugs here. Bug I think you're onto break. something with that. I'm Good ready to eat some bugs. Oh. Oh. Um... Dropping we're wrong about no. there being a lot of bugs. I, I wasn't uh, sure at first, but... Yeah. Ow, they're stalkers. They're stalkers. Not today! <laughs> well, why doesn't it let me pick the one that I pick? I'm gonna die, but it's fine. <laughs> Worth 15 kills. Okay, well, where did we pick it? <laughs> Maybe they still have it. A good death for democracy. You may have to summon us, though, Wolf. Wolfie. Wolfie summon us. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. I can't aim it. God damn it. <laughs> Point me to oh. the enemy. Oh, this is... Oh, samples. Where did I go? Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there's my samples. I think I grabbed... Good. Uh, yeah. Orbital inbound. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. okay, wait. We got five more. We got to go up north. Rare sample acquired. Oh, God. Ow. Found something. Oh, you. Damn it. Oh, stalker, dude. Oh, Just God. ripped oh, me to God. bits. Hold on. Not even a good death, either. Reinforcing! Not even a good death. Yeah, my bones. Instantly Going removed. Boneless. A pin. Like right, the best bone. kind of Yeah, like the best kind of chicken. Boneless democracy. Real. Um, uh, I've got a bomb. 
<laughs> I got, I, I had to what? do like five things because I got a raid and I didn't want to say thank you and be rude, but then I had to like basically ult him out of the game and do like five things to Discord. Wasn't worth it. I died twice. Don't recommend it. <laughs> oh. oh god. Well, he crumbled to the front. into nothing. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is probably fun. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Wait, wait. Uh-oh. Got it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Alright. We got one more nest Thank over there. West. Tagged meters. it. Somebody is using walking artillery, aren't they? Or just what? artillery? I'm not. Uh, wait, can you hear me, by the way? I, I don't know if I just put them yeah. or not. Yeah, I can okay, hear you. Okay, cool, excellent. Jeez. <laughs> Guys, thank you for that level 10 hype train. Holy I shit. use Discord when I'm in it for some reason? It is reason? still running. I, thank I you. Know, I don't know why. Seriously. Oh, I just stop her. Don't worry. I'm I can ready. hear you. You're excellent. doing good. Okay. Yeah, excellent. you're doing I'm, great, Candy. I'm, I'm scavenging. That's probably for the best. About seven minutes. Yeah. Well, I feel like if you're all kind of crunched in the same spot, all the bugs kind of congregate on they the do. one spot. I have... I have to oh, rearm ow. my eagle. Oh, please, please, I only please, have please. three grenades, but we only need two bug nest holes, so this might be fine. Maybe. I promise I'm, I'm doing it. I'm taking a gamble here, but I promise it's going to pay off dividends. Dude, thank you for all these gifted subs. This train is wild. The Golden Kappa train is still going. Uh, Dude, I just said, what is that name? Why is your name Twitching Pickle? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Absolute legend. Thank you for the 20 hey, gifted, dude. Hey, hey. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. <laughs> It'd be really cool if hunters just didn't exist. I'd like to undo them. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Real. Hi. I feel like this dude is trying to tell me about my extended warranty and my car insurance. Get out of here. Go away. Alright. No, okay. I... Requesting air support. Don't Maybe? worry. Maybe? I'll rebone you. I'm just... I... Wait, please rebone me. You're being reboned. I'm just... I'm, I'm like... I'm like that guy that's like... It is in a pyramid <laughs> scheme and I'm like, I swear to God, guys, it's good. I, I promise you it's gonna pay off. Oh, this I believe you. It will pay off. Hey, yeah, we can extract just, now, so I'm gonna press the buttons to do the thing. Yeah. I I was I was collect I collected like all of the samples, but they oh. all at the most, oh. most my, south east my, uh, part of the that map. Was, that was that was an no absolute shot. accident. My bones were cooked by Iron Mouse. I'm starting to think <laughs> that mouse might actually be a bug sympathizer. Might be. Me? Could be. Of course could be. not. You were making bug noises earlier. I heard them. I don't know. Uh oh, I had to know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You weren't supposed to hear that. What do you think, Candy? I think I, I think this, uh, <laughs> my life isn't worth it without samples. It's kind of where I'm at. So I will be right back. No. <laughs> it, I promise you, it's gonna pay off this time for real, guys. I promise. You. Okay. I tried to melee, but I threw a grenade instead. That's. That's good, right? It's kind of like melee. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of like a melee. It's just a ranged one. Yeah. And very violent. But, well, I'm gonna die like here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start throwing grenades. There's no way I'm getting out of this one. Uh, um. Worth. Frankly, frankly worth. Honestly, you don't have to justify it to me. I think it's. Uh -oh. If it yeah. feels worth it, then it's worth it. You know. A grenade is kind of just like a thrown group hug, frankly. Real. You know? Joining the fray. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm coming back, baby! I know it's 20 seconds away, but I promise I'll be right back. 
I believe. It's gonna be so worth it. I swear, Jesus. I feel like I feel like sometimes the, the orbital laser is trying to Why? Hit us. Why do you have a tongue that no, launches? Am people? I imagining this? Oh, they have very long tongues too. Alright. Alright, that thing's okay. dead. If I if I I'm so close. I can see I can see the ship. I believe in you. I need I need like how was, yeah. What's the countdown of getting in the ship? Is it like... We gotta get in. Now. Okay. At the well, moment we'll somebody gets in, five. we get 20 oh. seconds from then. Four, but I think... Three, two. Yeah, the, oh, now we got 20 seconds. Okay. Now we gotta get in. Run, Candy! I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I believe. With, uh, this might work. Or not, but... I believe. But, oh well. I'm believing We're slightly shot, less. You know? Oh, God, yeah, My totally. belief is waning. Oh, God, I'm so close. I'm sorry. Oh god, the ship's facing the wrong way. God, you can see me. You ever missed the I bus? I was like two seconds away. Just That's okay. It's okay. Bye, Candy. Listen, it don't was worth, it was don't, worth a shot. Yeah. Don't worry, you'll be remembered a hero. It'll be fun. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, You're Candy. a hero now. You're a hero. I had like 15 common and like 10 rare on me. <laughs> it would have been cool if, if I was. Failed to extract. See? That'll go in your tombstone. Hero. Failed to extract. Yeah. It'll make a good chapter of the memoir. We only got two stars. Unremarkable performance. You hear that, chat? We had a performance. We did perform. We performed. We performed as best as we could. Technically it's a life, performed. But it's a series of unremarkable performances each day. You're just kind of living. Are you ready for the hard mission now? Yeah. yeah. Obviously. <laughs> now we have to turn on the gigantic raid spray bottle. <laughs> Time for the Tesla tower. Okay, I'm ready. Is it just like a giant mosquito trap thing? It's like it's like a big spray button. It's just like a big spray thing. Welcome You'll back. see. It's ridiculous, actually. Oh, uh -huh. so effective. You can almost forget it. Oh, do I have the new gun? Oh. New gun. Punisher Plasma Shotgun. I want to know what that does. It looks bad. Is this thing good? It's only 100 damage. It sounds awful. That sounds awful. It's explosive and a hun only 100... Is it 100 damage per pellet? Not good? Everyone's saying not good? Depressing. Yeah, the stats are weird. It's mediocre. All right. I'm going to go back to my... are not glowing. Yeah, I'm going to go back <laughs> to my Scorcher because I can kill ticks in three hits with it. Oh, wait, hold up. Scorcher's sick, dude. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? I have enough to get... Wait, why is the page locked? Oh, wait, people are saying it's a grenade launcher? Wait, 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 wait. Does it close yeah. bug holes? No, it doesn't. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> That's just bad. It's not good at all. It arcs and explode, but it has secondary effect of stunning. Okay, the you're selling me on a little bit. One of our it's an EMP grenade launcher. Does it, but it does damage. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna try it. It's not great, I'm home. Yeah, but I think it might be interesting on this map. Maybe. Where is it? I'll, I'll be able to get the muscle enhancer soon, but not yet. Like, it's next page. Enhanced muscles is pretty good. Does it make you vault higher, or is it just you don't get slowed in terrain? It makes it so you don't get slowed in terrain, which is pretty useful. It won't be as useful on this map, but, like, it will save your life randomly, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try the gun. I'm gonna try the gun. Oh. Level 13 hype. You guys are wild. Thank you. Wow. Enjoy your golden campus. <laughs> if it's EMP, maybe it's good with robots. EMP is good against everything. It's freaking awesome, actually. Here. Oh, yeah. I have to add your channel. Wait. Let me fix this. Lord. One of these days, I'll get those damn samples. 
I believe go. in you this time. Um, You'll get it for sure. Wait, you didn't believe before? Oh, I, be I believed in you before. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, okay. But I, I believe I in you even more now. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with this. Even ex extra belief above and beyond. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'm sure you'll be a war hero this time, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll go great. Ain't no way you wouldn't. No way I'm gonna die a third time and not extract. That's ridiculous. Impossible. Yeah, there's no way you'll die again. And if you do, you will be remembered. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's nice. Uh, you wanted the health one, right? Resist injury? Yeah, that's so a then, great one. That's a useful one. Yeah. I've got the reduced bugs one on now. Okay, uh... Maybe, which one should I do? I like the I like the runnies. The sprint one, yeah. Sprint one, yeah. Cool. Sprinting. Sprinting is so useful. Sprinting? How was democracy this morning? Great. They fixed some stuff. And the game is good. Yeah, I have a reduced bugs one, so what it does is it increases the time between enemy encounters. So, like, random enemy spawns on the map, it reduces those. Which is great. How do you deal with chargers with the loadout? They die in eight hits from the, um, the lightning. Just about eight to ten of them. And they just kind of blap them. Just rip them to death, dude. How do you get the boosters? You unlock them through progression, actually. Yeah. Is this like a defense map, or what is this? What's yeah, we basically defense? defend different things. Do you see these towers around the map? Like, you see those big towers out there? I'm gonna go start this machine, or W4 will actually, it looks like. And then we can split up and go to these different towers. There's one, two, and three, and we have to power those batteries. Enemies will attack the batteries, so just kill everything, basically. This map is just kill anything you see. Okay. And keep hitting the button to activate the battery every time it dies, because it will die. Cool. Well, not cool, but... Attack, attack inbound! Yeah, I think this map is kind of janky, to be honest with you. We, but it also is like a limited time event right now, so... Are we gonna be defending each one on our own, or are we gonna work yeah, together? Yeah, yeah, just, just split up and go ham until we only have one left. Okay, okay. Sounds good to me. Because eventually there'll be one left and we'll all just be at it killing as many bugs as possible. It's kind of a natural progression for the map. You get a long time to do it. It's like a 40-minute map. Alright, I'll go to the, to this one down here then. Yeah, dear, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm great. There's like Calling three bomb pipes that I was just kind of. Well, that's weird. Yeah, you sound like you're having a hard time. I seem to be summoning a new candy. That's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dear, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I, so, yeah. What? Rock. It was a. Uh, you know, calculated sacrifice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just laughing. No, please! Okay, sorry. It almost, like, spawned me on the top of the map in a weird spot. Good. Now you have the advantage. You have the high ground. My Tesla tower, no! Oh, my sailor's doing well. Go activate those other batteries. Just keep reactivating it every time it goes down. Mine might make it. Ah! Calling in reinforcement. Eighty-five percent. All right, this one's gonna be good. Three is done. Requesting air support. I'm gonna rotate. We'll go to the next one. Thank you all for the Golden Kappa Train. Level 13 at 52%. Enjoy your Kappas. Enjoy your Golden Kappas. Reinforce your mouse. Hey. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. There's a big bug. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to... Bug. Or I'm going to Tower 1. <laughs> you going to go to Bug? I'm going to Bug. <laughs> Which one? I'm going to go to Bug. <laughs> go to Bug. Don't worry about it. Stick it. Look at that! Oh, I see it. It's not gonna hit there, is it? No, it hit where it landed. That is unfortunate. I feel like it should hit where it is, not where it landed. Ending in an eagle. 
Oh god, I'm stuck in a pull. Uh oh. It's fine, I got better. <laughs> nice stuff. Requesting air support. I missed. Nice. Woo! Head so we gotta, we gotta activate the pod. Actually thought it'd be great if you reinforced me or close to where I perish. That is a good idea. Thank you, Pat. Gotcha. Yeah, just keep hitting the button. Just spam that button, basically, on both of the other silos. Oh, oh this is probably good, right? Oh, damn it. That seemed a bit impossible. Uh. Uh oh. The Bar Titan kind of was just camping in the pod. Ah! Have a taste ah! of this is bad. Uh, I think I've summoned all of you guys now. Yeah! Okay, we just have Silo 2 now. That's the last one. Yep. yep. So that's fine. You will never destroy our way of life. No, let's not do that. Let's not. No, but no. Sending in an eagle. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I've just had, I've just had the worst luck this round. Where every time I land, it's just like, away from me. No, goddamn bugs in my goddamn body. No. I escaped. I- oh. oh! Alright, I'm making it. I'm escaping. Zapped it. Alright, I'm over at the battery silo too. I'm gonna start reinforcing people. I'm gonna make my way over. Thank you for saying people. <laughs> it's just me. Oh, you know, it's <laughs> definitely not just you. You know. <laughs> just people. Like, <laughs> plural. It's all of the ones who are dead. All of the people. God. It's just too many to count. Oh, boy. Please don't do this again, Bile Titan. Please. No, I have so much to live for. I'm going to start the battery. Oh, there's an eat over here. Wait, what? Oh. Did I just climb that gun? Okay. It's pretty good. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. I'll take this. Hey. The battery ended, started up again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeet. How do I. Wait. Oh. The, but the button will come back up when it turns blue. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah! Why is there so many of these little guys? Hunters, not even once. Get a hobby. This is not a hobby, this is just killing me indiscriminately. I have a big missile. I think hunters might actually be my most hated one. They're just so fast. They're awful. They're horrible to fight. They're so fast. They have a tongue. Uh, Holy huh? shit. Why use tongue for violence? It is a kiss, it's just a violent one, you know? <laughs> it's, it's very fast, launches you, high force. <laughs> Ooh, there's too many Hi of them. Hi guys! I brought some friends! Wait, Thor, oh, come here. I'm a... Uh, I want to stim you. I can't. Please, let me. please stimmy me. Want, please. Uh, I think it's E. You have to hit E. I was. Well, let me stim you. I was doing it. It's, uh, there's too much democracy in my veins. Oh, they won't allow it. God. It's yeah. like you need. Yeah, he doesn't need the stim. I do actually Damn. need stim. <laughs> uh, we gotta restart the battery. Okay, I got this. Oh. Ah! So as long as the battery is up, they attack the battery instead of us. When the battery goes down, then they attack oh, us. Oh. Well, that seems... No! I fucking... Fuckers! Stop! Leave me alone! Stop! 
There, I killed that thing. God, I, I... There's a lot of bugs Sly here. Dogs. Wait, wait, wait. I'm running to it. Ah. Okay, he's got it. What? No, I don't want to climb it. Oh, thank God. Oh, uh, Woo! there's some stims there. Ooh. Thor? Yes. If you get a chance, there's some stims on the ground right here. If you still need them. There's all oh, hell yeah. Around where I am. Oh, oh, I got supplies. some stims. A lot of them. Yeah, I got some okay, stims in the supply. I think I shot at the face. Might have been the top of its head, though. This is fine. Everything is fine. Get some! Get some! I think they're running out of bugs. Okay. They're running out of bugs, okay? I think they're starting to. Yeah, just start it again. I'm on my way. Requesting orbital strike. So this is usually what happens. And there's just like less and less bugs, and then you just win. Oh. Yeah, see, there's just less bugs this time. Just keep killing him. Give me my two. Yeah, see that orange yeah. orange gas over there? Just gotta go hit that one. Yeah, these missions don't feel hard. Um, once we realized it was just like a a survive. Nice, we're at 53%. So after this, we go to extraction, we start the giant spray nozzle, and we're good to go. Hello, Candy. Hello! <laughs> Get some! Get some! I'm running out of grenades. Oh, no, grenades. Bullets. 91%. Oh, no, it's critically unstable. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, we got it. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Okay, now we gotta go to extraction. It won't be orange because it's bugged. It's that gray one at the very bottom of the map. Oh. Yeah, it's a another weird bug. This looks so easy. Is there a difficulty mode? We're on the highest difficulty. We're just doing really well. We only play on the highest difficulty. <laughs> I'm thriving. You are thriving. I wonder who's meant that way. Doing great. I, I fell off a cliff. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think this is gonna kill all the bugs. Which might be a little bit of, you know, traitor talk. But I feel like something bad's gonna happen when we, we do this. We need to trust us. We need to trust the government. Mm, trust the government? Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. But what if the government is bugs? Oh no, what if they are bugs? Oh god. There's not treason, there's no treason, it's just, I'm just asking questions. Alright? Oh it's no. Not, there's no treason He's happening. He's gonna get investigated. No. Nope. Why would you investigate a man as boneless as me? Please. That's true. A man who doesn't have bones can't be a treasonous fellow. That's true. I gave away all my bones for democracy. There's no way he would commit treason. I got the terminal! Alright, I'm gonna salute the giant sprayer. I feel like... 
Oh wait. I'm walking in heels for the first time. I believe in you. Here it goes. The spray tower has begun. This is probably good for all of the local wildlife and us, right? Mm-hmm. Make sure you take a deep breath. It, it tastes like democracy. It's good. See? Look at that. Sounds yeah, like that's... a Mass Effect reboot. <clears throat> okay. It's the most powerful fart tower around. Look at it. Wow. Yeah. Look at that fart tower. Oh. Why does it make that noise? Jesus. It sounds like it's struggling. It sounds like the Inception sound. Oh, yeah. This is probably good, right? Yeah. That's See, fine. since we killed everything on the map, too, there's nothing to, like, fight in extraction. We just win. Just ourselves. <laughs> just like a we friendly should... gunfire at the end. Friendly gunfight? <laughs> I, well, all right, you can kill me if you like, but... <laughs> uh, Slap fine, but it's just, like, me dead. Um... I wonder what happens if I... I'm out! Huh. Shoot at it? I, I hit what... it. It's definitely... It definitely got hit. Oh. Yeah. No, it's not treason. <laughs> it's not... It's just testing. It's this testing. Is... Okay. Testing has the same number of letters as treason and also starts with a T, but that's irrelevant. It's fine. <laughs> also the same number as traitor, but that's don't worry, don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, this input. These words are just very similar, Chad. It's don't don't look too much into it. It's fine. I like being in my robot. I'm, I'm just testing it a second time, you know? And <laughs> Yeah, one of those for a real life mouse. Just one of these robots? Yeah, just a mech. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Imagine being one of the stream rewards like this. <laughs> Dude, I'd, I'd be there for that. That's awesome as hell. <laughs> oh, I think, wait. Hold up. I, I for one look forward to our new, new Iron what? Mouse Overlord. If you, yeah. if you actually become a mech IRL, I'm in. You, you could be we, the king of Earth, that's fun. We kind of do have a little robot, but it's not like big. It's a tiny robot. They could strap a water gun to you. Oh yeah. You should get a spray bottle and just mech around and spray people. <laughs> Candy, you made it! <laughs> I did! I'm on the oh, broken map, but I got samples. As I promised, finally! Order 66. Now hold on there. I don't know about that. Where are the younglings? <laughs> we did it. We did it. We're all heroes now. We did it. Wow, five stars. Yeah. The best possible. Everything exactly is as much as it could be. See that, chat? I can't be a traitor. I just got outstanding patriotism. You know, the highest level of, of, you know, democracy you can get. Standing patriotism. Yeah, <laughs> see? Ooh. It's on stream. It has to be real. It has to be real. Everything on stream is Clip real. Clip it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clip it, like, for a real. posterity. For the trial. <laughs> no, no, it's no trial. It's just, you know, a friendly conversation about <laughs> how democratic you are. You know, it's fine. What if we're the bad guys? Ah, ah, what's, ah, what, what, what is that? Ah. Man is the real villain? Come on. How could we be the bad guys when I have finger guns like this? Ah? Yeah, we're the ah? good guy. Personal order completed. Nice. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. I think I have enough points to get cool stuff now. Let's see. I don't. I don't have enough points for cool guy stuff. I want this. Oh, I did my personal order. I want the lightning shotgun. The light. How much lightning do you need? Yes. A lot. All of it. An arc, yes. An arc thrower, a lightning shotgun. When does it end? It doesn't. That's the idea. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Oh, Thor. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's going to be my name, I might as well lead into it, you know. 
I, I'm yeah. just not as good at controlling the lightning when there's allies on the other side of the bug. Like, if you're going to shoot the bug and there's another ally on the other side, it's, it's their fault, frankly. They're downrange. Well, yeah. Why were you there? Skill issue. Why were you there? Yeah, yeah skill issue. Uh -huh. Thank God. I also want this electrical resistance suit. Because I feel like that'll be a mandatory nerf. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, I your I want as much dedication to lightning based abilities as you have to your There's a I'm sentence excited. in there somewhere. The, how dedicated you are to lightning. I want that in my life. How many helldivers <laughs> are on? We got 161,000 helldivers. 62,000 are on Meridia. We just got to take Meridia. We're almost there. We've actually taken down guys? Fenrir and Turing already out of these four and we have 4 days left. So it's probably going to be Meridia taking it, and then a mad fight to get Arata. Mm. It looks like there's enough people defending Heath as well, so that's good. It's a defense campaign, so we'll stop them from moving into the Orion sector. Yeah, just keep, keep taking Meridia. The bugs swarm across this planet. It is the way. Where to make your stand. Ooh, we've got a defense mission. We'll do a blitz mission first. Fighting, fighting. Let them reach Super Earth? Now that's a traitor, Chad. That Newt right there, traitor. Let them reach Super Earth, please. <laughs> Orbit synchronized. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, that guy's way bigger of a traitor than I am, because I'm not a traitor at all, right? right? Not at all. Look at that guy. Interesting angle. <laughs> yeah, look at that guy. That guy's the traitor. I mean, Jesus. Like, proportionately. I yeah. I'm waiting for the Zerg to swarm in and show you all who is boss. Another traitor. There are a lot of traitors in here. A lot of self-reports of traitors. Community's full of traitors, man. That's interesting. If you hit tab on this screen, it tells you what your booster is. Ah. Specifically the... Huh. Odd hotkeys we never that? would have thought about. I know. Yeah. It's very odd. So in my chat said that the new Helldiver suits are kind of close to the cyborg robots. Hmm. Oh? That's camouflage. I want to eat the pot. What? It looks like a little Cheeto. I want to eat it. You know? Go now. And goals. Honestly. Is that a train of thought? We've got. Oh, that wait. Is a thought. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. I don't have my good gun anymore. Wait, why don't you have your good gun? What happened? Uh, I, I switched to that weird grenade launcher and I forgot to switch back. And I never used it last mission. But I'm killing the mushroom using my sidearm. So it's probably fine. Oh. This is not going well. Man, that is not working. Oh. Alright, it's time to fill some hole, hole fillers. Alright, that works. I just used it as a missile launcher. It's fine. Nice. No, 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 Oh, wait a minute. Yes. This thing's got a groan on me. Get some! Get some! Oh, my God. This thing's got a groan on me, rule 15. Mostly because my legs are gone. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're going to have to take care of your legs. Are you just a torso now? Yeah, it's definitely not as bad as people said. It's a very good solution to hunters, that thing is, if I could actually get some time with it. How do the bugs get from planet to planet? Well, Super Earth definitely doesn't seed them across the universe so that we can go back in and clean them up later to get all the resources, right? That's not happening. That would be a traitor thing to say, wouldn't it? Yep. You're starting to concern me. Oh, no, no, it's no concern. I'm telling you what a traitor would say if, if I was one. Which I'm not. I see. Yeah. 
Mm. That? What do you think? Sending in an eagle. Requesting oh. tack pack. Going down at the sound just made was like weirdly surround sound. <laughs> I'm actually streaming from inside your house, so that does make sense. Oh no. Yeah. Might be quite a He's feat. in our walls. Given I have Australian internet, so <laughs> we went back to Oh no. <laughs> so much of the community is from Australia, and I, I, I feel so bad for the internet. The Australian internet is so rough. Mm hmm. What was that? Four megabytes up, top tier speeds. Yeesh. But you can still stream on that. Wild. Yeah. Well, I, I have slightly better. Yeah, they've heard it's slowly getting better. Yeah, well, there was this really cool thing where the government was like, the only people that need fast internet are, are pirates and criminals, and then COVID happened. And they were like, oh, maybe we were wrong, actually. <laughs> yeah, I heard that you guys had, like, a plan to get fiber internet, and they were like, no, we're going to do copper instead. And it turned out the copper was, like, more expensive overall. So you got worse internet for more money? Yes. Like, as, that sucks. That's yeah. so rough. They, they converted, like, phone, like... It's like phone lines or something like that. It was yeah, just not good. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you're slowly getting real internet in Australia because I got so many buddies over there and it's it's rough, man. Yeah. It is. I'm out of grenades. It's funny you say that. That's what Buff yeah. says all the time. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I'm saying it. I'm throwing it out there, you know. Alright, we got extraction now. So this thing doesn't blow up Ness. I'll just come live with you. Oh. You wanna come live with me? Yeah, yeah it does. doesn't kill Ness at all. Lame. Yeah. Good solution to hunters. Not a good solution to anything else. Takes a long time to reload, too. I'm gonna get a little bit of democracy in here, I think. Requesting air support. Oh. Bye, everyone. I'm in a hole. Candy, you're in a, in a hole. Way. In a good way. I, I meant to be in the hole. There were samples down there. I think that uh, that launcher could be good. It's just weird. It's an awkward gun. Did you? I see. Uh oh. That happened. Uh, I'm running towards where you died, and then I will reinforce you. I'm not in it, but close to it. Okay. I believe. Let's see where you end up. Requesting air support. I believe. I really hope it's not a bad spot. There's a lot of fire. Just, just land somewhere nice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll go over here where the fire is missing. I still think the Flash Scorch is probably a better weapon than this. Although it seems like it could have its uses as like a support utility sort of weapon. It's just not that great. Are we? Are we- oh, are we bothering with this big old Going situation right here? No. Was that a no? No. We got s six minutes. It's the okay. short map. Ah. Uh, the blitz map is like, go blow things up and leave. Hmm. Well... I'll tell you what, a buckaroo. Wait a minute. Is that getting more damage the longer it flies? It seems like it is. Those explosions are way bigger from the way. I swear to God. That's the power of this weapon. I did it. The farther it away it off. launches, the larger the explosions are getting. Look at this. Hmm. It's an artillery gun. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, wait, I'm starting now. I'm starting to uh, get what you're down. Minute. Like it picks up momentum as it's flying and it does more damage to. on impact? Yeah, it seems uh. to get better the farther it shoots. Because mm. when I launch yeah. these, that's dramatically larger out there than this. Yeah. I think it's an artillery cannon. I think it has a hidden benefit. Uh oh. A lot of weapons in this scene, too. 
digging that. Shoot it straight up. That's about as straight up as it goes. Yeah, that's a huge explosion. No. Ah! Well, hunters, you know, as usual. Blow myself up. Ow! It just doesn't fit as a primary. It doesn't fit kind of as a weapon. I'm wondering how good it can be against large-scale hey, enemies at range. Wait, hold up. What happened? Why am I the one alive? Yeah, uh, it, uh, it could actually be a visual alive. scaling issue. Whoa, wasn't even alive. Like everyone. Oh, oh never mind. I'm not alive anymore. <laughs> that actually might be okay. Oh wait, I think we all oh wait, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shot it in the book. Point me to the enemy. Holy shit! If I could just. Okay, if I could just Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yeah, just excuse me. Just stop. I picked up the samples and I jumped <laughs> in the ship. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him, get him, get him, get him. sir. Hell yeah. Yeah, just let me through. Please, thanks. We did it. I swear to God! <laughs> but those, those, those samples got I'm out. a That's hero. Okay. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I'm a hero. Yeah, hero. I did. So I'm happy about that. But I landed, I shot at no bullets, I picked up the samples, and I jumped in the ship. I'm a hero. God. You're everything I want to be. A hero. I just I just started running in circles. I believe. I'm trying to grab some. Well, <laughs> Thoughts on the new Lies Gun? Haven't used it yet. I want to. How are the ferrets doing? Fantastic. Wiggling, as usual. Yeah, I actually run a ferret rescue. Oh my god, cool. My my friend in high school um, did something similar. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Like, unofficially, I think, because, like, she just was, yeah, she just knew. She had a place that she took uh, injured ferrets or ferrets that were meant for, right, like, bad things. She would yeah. Like, rescue them. Yeah, it's the same thing. We've got 35 right now in the rescue, and um, we basically get them from all over Washington State. And taking ones that are for euthanasia, ones that aren't going to survive otherwise, and I'm scaling it up to a hundred ferrets this year. So building a whole facility for it and everything, and I've, I've just got... I closed on some land to do that, and then we're going to be building the facility on that land, which is great. So I'm excited for that. Cool. Yeah. Big ferret rescue. Mini Wigglers. It's actually on a stream, too. You can see it at uh, ferrets.live. At any time. We run the entire thing off of ad revenue on Twitch, which is wild. So we don't need donations or anything. It just runs off ads. That's wonderful. It's crazy. It's amazing that we can do this kind of stuff, like, in today's age. You never would have thought of something like that in the past. Like, anytime you have, like, rescues or anything like that, it's always, it's always, like, based on donations and things. But, like, now we mm. can do it. We can actually use ads to do something good. <laughs> you know? Just nobody likes ads. Yeah. It's always, it's always nice seeing people that have causes that they're passionate about being able to promote and then help provide funding to them. Yeah. Um, like IDF with males. Yeah. No, super agree. Super agree. Yeah, a lot of our community is like a lot of charity stuff and the, the ferrets are like a big thing with that. And I'm yeah. very happy with it. I love charity stuff. I do too. Yeah, actually, my, my whole TTS system is based around that. So, like, when people throw Wonderful. money at me to do TTS, if I don't get to their question, then I don't keep the money because I didn't earn it because I didn't answer their question. So that goes into a debt queue, and then we give that out to charity at the end of, uh, once it reaches, like, $7,777. Good meme. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we gave that out to a ferret rescue in, in Colorado recently, and we're doing it probably to the Godot Foundation for this next one. I have to do the next round soon. Help all the game devs. Chat is now filled with sevens. Wonderful. I mentioned the Iron Mouse Defense. Is it Iron Mouse Defense Force? Fund? <laughs> it's Immune Deficiency called? Foundation. Immune Deficiency Foundation. I know there's like, the, there's like a meme about it. The Iron Mouse yeah, Defense Fund. Good. <laughs> yeah, because it's, you know, the name scares people because they think it's something else, but it's not. Yeah, um, I was gonna say, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, just, I just know it because of the... It, the it, they've been defense. known as that for so long, and they can't change it. They can't change it, yeah. Yeah. 
unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. But no, that's a that's a cool thing. That's actually really awesome. Yeah. Um. In, in like the nicest way possible, the thing about not getting into people's questions and then being like, if I don't answer your question, it goes to charity. It's like, it's kind of funny because it's like, uh. Making you not answering the questions a nice thing? Like, I don't know. Yeah, because, like, the way that I felt about it is I, I just felt like a jackass when, like, someone threw mm. money at me and I couldn't get to the question. I was like, I just stole your money, right? That's what it felt like for me. And I was like, well, let's change that, right? Like, I don't deserve it if I didn't answer your question, so let's do something else with it. Hey, you're so sweet. So nice. <laughs> yes! You'll never prove it. You're so nice and Whoa. sweet. I just, I want there to be transparency in this stuff. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's like too easy to scam people. Whoa. You're just a bunch of ferrets in the trench coat, you can be honest. Yeah. You'll never prove just it. Tell them the, the community's truth. been trying for years. <laughs> tell everyone the truth. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a bomb down there. I don't even know what it's gonna do, but I feel like it belongs there. It definitely does. Seems to have done well. One bomb, five dudes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow! Oh man, these nasty crab. Hello? We're eating lobster tonight. Uh, hello? Hello? Ah. Oh. I, I don't like Hello? Don't worry, I'm summoning. Oh. The summons are happening. <laughs> oh my god, I bugged into a wall. Yeah, I'm actually a I wizard died. in the wrong universe. That's why I'm casting all this lightning, you see? Oh. 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 No. There's too many of them. My ah. Oh god. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, my darling. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna oh, do something stick. drastic. Mouse. Maybe it did stick. Just like, yeah. run away, mouse. Wherever you are, don't be there. Run away. Run away faster. Okay, that's my bad. I tried, but I, I lost my leg, so I couldn't. You didn't How need it. That part? They were holding that's... you back. That one's down. Ow. Skill issue. I didn't die. No, not you. <laughs> Love that lightning. Is that even a thing? Calling in reinforcements. Which thing a thing? Oh. Is that a thing a thing a thing? Oh. Ow! Ow! So Ow! I want my thing. You know what? Maybe I'm starting to understand the lightning thing. We're, we're almost, you know, we're halfway there now. It's fine, right? We're feeling oh, yeah. good. I'm punching some bugs. You know, victory punch. I don't know what just happened oh, there, but it's fine. Holy crap! Reinforcing. 
I keep uh, trying to reload the bomb thrower. I got turned into chunks for democracy. Democracy chunks, Jet. Delicious boneless nuggets. Yes. Oh. Oh my god, mm. oh. He landed on right on top of me! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh! Uh, I'll take my stuff! Is that a Thank missile you. launcher? Oh, it's a railgun. Alright. Railgun. Railgun is good. Oh. I like it, but it's, it's not as good as it used to be, though. No. Oh, no. Are you okay? Have you died many times? No, I think your game crashed. She said, oh. Oh, crashed. It's been happening a lot more. Reloading! I can still hear the game. Oh, oh. No. Okay, never mind. It's gone now. Who wants to move this I'll be right I'll be, I'll I'll be right back. I'm on my way. Okay. Ugh. Oh I'll say the ball, but I'm dead. getting too strong. They're taking oh. away my computer. Oh my god, that's like what? that Minecraft skin thing in Leaf Company earlier. Oh. Hey. He'll never get ahead in life. <laughs> Did you shoot oh. someone's head off? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, baby girl, you're so silly with that violence. Oh good, we're all dead. So we did it, we did it though. Yeah, and we all get reinforced. Right. I killed one, landed on it. Nice. Felt pretty good. That's concerning, but good. <laughs> Should we be worried about you, Phil? No, 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 no. There's nothing to worry <laughs> no, about no, at no. all. Everything is just fine. Oh wait, there's a ship there. We should probably go to that. Oh, did somebody grab those samples? I don't I know. Did. <gasps> I assume so, because someone has 12 samples on them. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh wait, Iron Master's gotten back in. I'm on my way. Ah. Uh, uh, there's only six seconds six until seconds. we can leave, so I don't think it's going to happen. As in, like, you wouldn't have landed by the time the ship left. But you're back in for the experience, so that's good. True. Oh, no. Yeah, the crashers have become kind of awkward. I don't, I don't know what's happening with them, because it seems like some days they just get, like, a ton of crashes, and some days it's totally stable. I don't even know what's causing it. It's very odd. Yeah, Iron Mouse with the moral support right there. It's true. We are better heroes because of you. Yes. See? I tried my best. Oh, wait, I just crashed. Morale. Oh, no! <laughs> the audio it's just stopped. Us all. <laughs> no! It's killing us all. Oh, God. So... Oh, no. What the fuck? Mine just crashed right now! <laughs> crash for everyone. My desktop. It's what crashed. The? Are you all on desktop now? Did we all crash? Oh, yeah, no, I crashed a desktop, which is funny because I. Because I'm doing display capture, so it's just my wallpaper, which is just my. That's fantastic. Cool background. Yeah. yeah, we all got crashed. That's nice. The bugs had enough. They were sick of it. Oh, no, the bugs. The bugs are inside of our client now. That's the new infestation. Oh, no. Yeah, sucks. Yeah. I would say yay, but that's actually not a yay thing, actually. Says who? Says you? I, um. No, my well, like, computer's pretty cursed already. So. I guess when the game crashed, all of them died, though. So. Victory. Mm. Victory. Technical victory. Yeah. Technical victory. The best yeah. kind. <laughs> Super Earth.
our home. What is the name of your guys' ships? I chose the Octagon of Supremacy. Oh. Yeah, it's powerful. Mine is the Queen of Serenity. Pretty good. Uh, mine is Queen of Science. Of Science? <laughs> is there a Science yeah. one? Yeah. You guys can join back science? on me. Queen of yeah. Serenity after Queen Serenity from Sailor Moon. Hell yeah. Um. I just, I'm just a scientist themed VTuber that likes doing tech stuff, even though technology so desperately hates me. <laughs> that is oh, pretty much any tech related to anything though. Like I'm a programmer and l let me tell you, there's and, no... Well, oh, oh golly, douche. I, I, I've never been able to use Unity on this computer because my Visual Studio was busted and I'd have to reformat my computer to make it work. So I just, I can't, oh, dude, it's, it's so, it's so janky. Um, so I learned Unreal Engine instead. Uh, but yeah. Wait, Why does, okay, I'm gonna try joining off the mouse again. my strategy for robotics workshop says seven out of eight, but I have all eight unlocked. Huh. Oh. I'm just gonna close that and not think about it. I don't wanna think about it. Someone said you're a Java developer. What is that? No, What's don't, that? no. <laughs> What's the matter oh, with you? No. Goblins. Every one of you. <laughs> Java developer. No, I've actually, I've been in the game industry for 20 years. An old wow. man game dev. Then. Like Destroyer has joined so I, I run a studio and I make games Engaging and then I, I help other thrusters. people make games too. It's a big part of it. It's teaching other people that they can. Uh, democracy calls I, I studied game design, but I did it uh, at such a time that they just gave me YouTube tutorials and told me to go learn it myself. <laughs> so then I kind of, um, I've, I've helped work make games uh, by proxy. Not that many, but that's cool though. Just to, to, to things. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to do more with it, but yeah. So what do you do on your science streams? Like, what kind of stuff do you stream? No, no, no. It's <laughs> so like it's just that my VTuber like design is like a scientist, but I used oh. to do game dev. Like I used to do Unreal Engine and stuff, like game, um, like the channel integration and the environments and and chat being able to redeem stuff, but. Uh, Shh, I had issues with like. Uh, I'm stuff. a VTuber. Join us. Join <laughs> us. In software. We have a category for that now. Like we fought yeah. for it for like a year, and now we have it. Software and game dev. Come join us. Come back. Yeah, no, I, I, I really like. I just like making. Yeah, I, I want to do that stuff again for sure. Everybody's so smart doing stuff. <laughs> You're smart too, Mouse. You I'm doing not. stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not. Wait, not I hit the wrong button. Create games. Do you know what creating games is? It's a marathon. You don't have to be good at it. You just have to not give up. Aww. I'm good at not giving up. See, there Mouse, you go. I, I think that you would enjoy like RPG Maker or Renpy. I think one of those two would be really good because they're very accessible. Okay. They're like modified versions of what? I'm barely have time to do anything. <laughs> no, I know, but like, I just, I'm saying like, there's, there's, I mean, not that, yeah. I just, I'm just really biased. I love Renpy. It's just like doing visual novel type stuff. Renpy's amazing for that. It's actually an amazing engine for that. It's um, Doki Doki Literature Club was made at it as well. Yeah, I know. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Bad game. Uh? Uh. Mm. Bad game. Did it die? Oh no, I'm, I'm still alive. Not that you asked, but this is before I became a, the reason I became a VTuber was because I wanted to. I just was uh, doing dev stuff for a oh, visual novel that I never ended up finishing, but I started it. That was kind of inspired by Doki Doki. I was That's like, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize like how much their work can inspire other people too. It's like such oh, yeah. a huge thing. Hudden, is that... Did you just, like, come up with, like, the... The I one thing you're like, oh, they'll totally ban me for this. <gasps> my first message. <laughs> Scientifically engineered to get banned. I love... I love first message, last message for people. Uh, this one wasn't even, like... This was, like, super tame. He just showed up and he's like, condom. Like, okay. Well, <laughs> did you just miss Google? Like, I don't know what happened there, you know? <laughs> 
I had someone just come in and say penis one time, and then the next message was, haha, I knew I'd get banned, but they weren't banned. We don't want to know what penis, people say when they come in here. Uh, dude, there's some wild. Shit. Some people say some wild shit, yeah. I was like, sometimes I'm just like, what is the response that you want me to give you? Yeah, what do you want out of that? <laughs> How is it that you want me to respond? Usually, uh, it just ends up in making fun of them. Usually, that's yeah, my. Favorite. I just do that. I do that regardless. Like just, just the whole time chats around. It's the natural Australian coming through all the sarcasm. Oh, yeah. The more that you like people, He's the more that you are to them. That's just how it is. Yeah, agree. It's like a bell curve. Chat is a bell curve. Oh, uh, like you're really polite at first, you get progressively meaner, and then eventually you'll be nice again. <laughs> oh, is that? When do I get to the the mean portion? I want to be mean. Uh, I'm ready. You want to? As you want to be mean to me? Go for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna be mean now. Okay. <laughs> you like it. Mentoring the mean art. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't think that you can be mean. You're too jolly. I can I can be pretty mean. I think. I've played a okay, social we'll sandbox. I've played EVE Online for 15 years. And <laughs> oh. There's some mean in there somewhere. But only to my enemies. And my friends okay. when they're not being friendly enough, you know? EVE. It's one of those. Hmm. Uh, well, okay, you, you said you want to be mean, okay. So chat keeps asking me about your demo? Oh, oh god damn it. No, the, de <laughs> the demo is free. It's a demo. So they, they've been saying that the demo costs okay. money for years, right? And people, now that there's like a lot of people paying attention to it, like, people think that's true. I've had to go into Reddit mm. threads where people are like unironically bashing me as a dev saying that my demo costs money. Because chat has well, convinced that, them with brain rot. What the fuck? It's wild. That, that sounds like you went on Reddit. God damn it, chat. I think you should just charge. You know what you should do? April Fools. You should just charge for the demo. April Fools Day is my favorite day of the year. A million I'm so dollars. Ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. What is that bug doing? What the bug doing? Oh hi. Are we activating silos? Uh, sure. Bye bye. What? How is it uh -oh. not dead? Uh oh. Who came out? Requesting yeah. orbital strike. I'm just trying my hardest. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can see you find the wild side in the distance. I'm trying to kill him. It's just, it's. Yeah. There's so oh, much HP on him. I feel like I'm getting a lot of memes from your community. Because now you're also the Club Penguin dev, and also it's I'm, your I'm, birthday. I'm not, it's not my birthday. <laughs> And I am not the developer of Club Penguin. That's an oldie. There's someone in there is an oldie but a goodie. They know. They they know the dark oh, old magics. <laughs> it's not my birthday. Right. It's never my birthday. It's I know there's ads, I'm sorry. No. I'd love some what about some Every some, day is someone's birthday. I'd True. love to see some uh, theories about mouse as well in chat. Oh. What's what's some what's some secrets about mouse chat? Secrets <laughs> about me? What are you saying? <laughs> We'll see. Like how you secretly hate pizza, you know, like these sorts of things. Is that true? <laughs> no, Can't I believe love that's true. No. I love pizza. Can't believe Mouse hates pizza. No! <laughs> oh no! It's blasphemy! Oh. oh, I know that she's actually Chris, or Chris is actually Mouse. That one. We have all of these bio things. 
Uh-huh. Ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. There's so many of them. Mamma mia. Packages. Okay. Alright. Goodbye. I wonder... A month? Yeah. I wonder if the reason that this runs out of min like minions eventually. I wonder if the maximum limit is 500, like on a defense mission. I wonder if we're actually hitting the 500 kills. Ah. Uh, I mean, but they keep spawning after the you hit the 500, though. Do they? Oh yeah. They don't stop. They just keep coming. Hmm. You're too busy being nestled in the pelican, flying off into the distance. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I have to go home. Because, <laughs> you know, being a hero and all, it's, it's tough. you got to get on the ship to be a hero. So, You know, it's yeah, <laughs> normal stuff. The samples stuff. that I collected. Yeah. You mean the samples that I picked up off of some unnamed warrior's dead body, right? You know, that one? <laughs> Slay. <laughs> we'll never Listen. know who they were. What the hell? <laughs> oh god damn it. There's a very large bug chasing me. Oh, thank you. Someone gave me ten gifted subs towards buying the demo for your game. That's very generous of them. The, the, the demo is free though. <laughs> Why? That is generous of them. It's very nice. <laughs> I feel like everyone's dead. Uh yes. Reinforcing! I'm gonna go activate this battery. And summon everyone. I miss being alive. Actually, no, I don't. I remember when I was alive. Break. I just get bitten and chewed a lot. Old man mouse. Those were the days. <laughs> Say hello to the oh, um, yeah, that was... Oh, uh, there's... You're Man, I can't believe mouse. that bug just did that. It was wild to watch. <laughs> Oh, like, what happened to zombie, Don't, don't right? worry, it could be anything. Any, anything could have happened there. That was absolutely insane. Huh? Oh, oh, this is bad. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm being asked if you guys like your hot dogs peeled. What the Definitely. Fuck? Always peeled. I don't know what that means. It's Not probably for the best. Um, hey. Thor. Yes. Did you throw a bomb? Did I what? Did you throw a bomb? No. No, I did not throw no. an explosive. No, I'm okay. I wish I had. What? Because I was you covered in, really I was covered in hunters. Head. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I thought you meant y'all wish that you'd be the one to kill me, which is very oh, generous. No, no it was not me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just got blown up by nothing. Now, That's probably I good. Know, I don't know about this. I don't know about <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, You're telling me the bugs airplane. have grenade launchers now? Oh, God. Oh, wait, hold up. What? What is that? What is that doing? No. What? What? Oh. All right. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not gonna think about whatever that just was, Chad. Requesting tac mm. Going down a support weapon. Excuse me? Hey. You're excused, I guess. I hit two like four times. It wouldn't switch to my side hand, and then I just got killed by a lobster. Oh. <laughs> Like, well, right. that's just ridiculous. Reinforcing. Get wrecked, dude. Oh. Even those gifted <laughs> subs. It's very nice, you damper duck. What a boss. How'd you like the taste of freedom? That was a good set of grenades. 17 kills there, not bad, not bad. <laughs> oh. oh! Wow, these are highly aggressive bugs this oh. time. I think that... You 
call some supplies down and then we're, we're murdered immediately. I'm putting a bomb there on that guy. I know. Okay. Nice. Wow. I'm sure that will have no effect on where I am. No, it's fine. Calling in orbital strike. Call me now. Nice. Why? Good morning. Hi, good See you there, Kronos. We still have all three batteries to do. That's not great. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean all three? Is just, isn't there just one that's left to do? No. Oh, I, maybe not. Activate battery cell one, two, and three in the top right. Gotta do uh -oh. them all. Yeah, we are not, we're not doing it this time, unfortunately. Maybe we should, uh, like rally up. Some. Maybe let's all work, let's work together as a team, maybe. Splitting up actually works really well for this, as long as we have all three batteries activated. Uh. One day. Somebody reinforced. Huh. I got you. Get that Titan mouse. I believe in you. It's gonna bomb yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, you can probably get, get straight through that bad boy. Uh, oh, what yeah, the hell? I tried. You did try. That's okay. I'm gonna throw a, a big bomb and that'll hopefully not hit you and just hit him. Yeah, great. Right. Jesus. Ending in an eagle. It's very dark and misty. Yeah, the it's getting rough. My eyes. I'm gonna activate yeah. this again. Oh my god, we haven't even activated any of them. Yeah, we gotta split up and just start pummeling them. All right. I think we're getting through most of the bugs though, like they're starting to run God. out. Okay. Go ahead, Try to pre press police press the button. Please press the button. I press the button, I press the button. No, you not you, like is in my car like my 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 little oh, man. I, can't, I actually can't press the button. It won't Unpressable. It won't interact with it. Oh, I'm Australian. That would be me. Australian internet happening. I got disconnected. I'm yeah. Yeah. Get some! Get some! Dun, 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 dun. Jesus. Sticky. What? Oh, Sticky? I stuck he, I, I stuck my uh, stratagem yes. to him and he ran at me. I blew oh, up. Okay. Oh. He got sticky, which sticky me. It's not good. Oh my yeah, god, I Wolf. could not control my pod. That was interesting. Well, this has no ammo. I'm gonna go start this battery. <gasps> yes. Not what I wanted to do, but all right. Oh, at, least it wasn't, at least the mission wasn't bugged. It was just me being Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Oh wait. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, this is not my round. That's okay. This is, this is, it's just a rough one. I don't know why. Having a hard time. 
Oh, 28 and one hit. What? What? Buddy. Where did that even, what? Jesus Christ, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love. You know what's my favorite is when you get like lodged in a dead body and you can't move. It's like actually so. Oh yeah, that's my like favorite. I'm dying. <laughs> my absolute favorite. <laughs> my favorite is when you just get covered in hunters. That's probably mm. the best. Really makes you appreciate when you're not covered in hunters, you know. When is that? Does that part ever happen? <laughs> <laughs> when you're older. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm ready for that part of my life, you know. <laughs> the old man not eventually, covered in hunter part. Yeah, well, like you said, eventually we'll just kill them all, so then there'll be none left to kill, them, you know. That's probably fine. I think we actually have to get the batteries for that to happen, though. I've never had it go this long with this many spawns. So I'm wondering if that happens only when we're on the last battery. Ah. Uh, guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh, me eyes. My body. Okay. Once upon a time, I used to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> It was great. I remember that time. Now not anymore. Where's the battery pack? That's a young man's game. Being alive. Being alive. All right. Where is this thing? Oh, Another Ron, one they're coming. Uh, yeah. Go activate the other two silos. I'm gonna get silo one. If you guys get two and three. If we activate all at the same time, we should be able to get one. Sweet Jesus! I I promise you with all my heart and soul, I have been doing nothing but trying to get entire Silo 3 going. I believe. Oh, I'm the oh wait, wait, I think they're out of bugs. Oh. Kalukale, what a joyous day. <laughs> Free of bug health. I think they're running out of bugs right now. Wow, oh, running out of bugs. Where's the other Sending fucking silo? Oh god. God damn it, game, come on. Shoot them! Why is my gun not working? Shoot harder. <laughs> He has stopped summoning large bugs. Yeah, uh, enough with the frickin' bug already, God. It's getting so old. You guys gotta act activate the other ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm on yeah, my way. Yeah, was at 60 and then... Wouldn't yeah, you we, know what a bunch we need of to have we need to have <laughs> all three of them activated at once for this to work. I think. Yeah. Damn it! It was at ninety six percent and it failed. Shit balls. I really do I'm think the one never the had a bug star, so that's good. Oh, ball time! Play. Play queen. Big penny. Oh. Oh. Maybe it doesn't land the bugs. Oh. When you guys are ready to pop the other batteries, let me know and I'll pop this one. Yeah. Uh, I am... I'm good to I do it. I am do it, do also it, do it. good. Pop it, pop it. Popping. Nice. If yours goes down, just pop it again. I have to 
wonder if the strafing shot isn't good because half of the bullets hit the tower, like the silo. You know? What you doing there, Charger? You just gonna stare at me? coming right for me! Okay. Silo threw down! Oh, be coming right for me, okay. like he doesn't care about my right. Rough in these streets. My God. <laughs> okay, this is okay. Okay. Man, well, what? Idea, guys. Why is this one so impossible? I don't know. There's too many bugs. Real. Requesting air support. Oh my god! Activate it again. We'll just keep doing it. Fine. Mine's at 88. Yeah, I'm dead. Shit. 96, 97, 98, 99. Go. Got it. Go. Okay, we got one of them. Let's go do the other two. Starting to start mine. Requesting orbital strike. Well, ending in an eagle. That's a predicament. Ah! Requesting air support. Okay. You gotta go. Pretty sure 100 percent of the time they spawn, uh, they hit the button. It spawns another set of waves. It does sometimes, but sometimes it actually breaks. We found that on the last like battery it will just break and they just won't summon anything we don't know why but that is kind of how it works and you basically just oh, cool. let it this one Where's the other one okay activated the other one trying really hard i believe in you how oh, cool that's the worst gun that i have <laughs> Does the off thrower do anything to the Battle Titans, or is that like a waste of my time? Our thrower does do damage to him, yeah. It actually ignores all armor, so it's oh. wicked strong. Oh, you silly guys, and the way that you murder me really good. Okay. I'm gonna reactivate Silo 2. I am being chased away from Silo 3 by the three ball titans. Oh, you got one of them on you, okay. Okay, Silo 3's going good. God, it won't die. I'll reactivate this okay, one. just chase. Or not. We have so many, we have so many ball titans over here. Okay, um. Requesting air support. I'm gonna. That. There, there are so okay, many. Okay, one of them's dead. What? Yes! Okay. It's not dead, it's just really upset at me. No. Oh my god. Please. Playing in? Ooh. How are you still alive? I think we might be running out of bugs. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? I don't think so. I think we have to get two of the batteries up for that to work. It does not seem to be working. Okay, the ball pod just bled out. Oh! Okay, Maybe not. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. <laughs> Battery number is just three. Yeah, three it's, critically it's back unstable. Off. It's already yeah, down. It's already down again. It's because the ball type walking into it is doing that. We got to kill that thing. Yeah. I, I, chat, I know that you gotta send it to unsafe, but it's still they still patched it a bit. I appreciate you though trying to help me. Requesting Look at this asshole just skipping around. No, damn it. There's too many guns. There we go. Oh, too many guns on the on the button. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, what? Oh, it man. sprayed me from that far? What is it, a sniper? Jesus. <laughs> Our rainfall wow. shield when died. I got, uh, like, it was like really far. There, I killed one. With my body. Excellent. Wow. Good work, soldier. Your body is a weapon. We'll get you a medal that reflects that. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, right, we gotta, we gotta oh, reactivate. Oh. We gotta reactivate immediately. I'm coming. Okay. Oh, it's just. I can feel it. This is the one. Like Just keep, just keep left. What? What? Oh, what? I'm, I'm under a charger. Okay, I just got killed by missiles from the sky, nowhere near a beam. I don't know. Oh. I picked up six samples on the way around, but I'm sure you'll pick oh them up off me at some point. Oh, do you have the already? Oh, oh my god, dude. My god. Yeah, I think we actually have to unironically group up this time. Alright. Because they're not stopping. You want me to make my way to you? Uh, maybe. I'm just trying not to die to a juggle right now. Yeah. Right, It'd be cool if I could climb you. this. Are we, gonna, are we gonna do anything about it? Do we just have physics? Okay, we're just getting physics. That's cool. I'm stuck inside of a body now. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Cool, dude. Hey, bro, I'm friend! Ah! I need more bullets. Hey, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Well, we did that part of the game. Yeah, so it, it looks like they don't end unless we have all the batteries up, and then we just gotta keep... No, we're done. We're not gonna win this. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Oh! Oh! Nah, dude. Oh. Nah, dude. <laughs> I... <laughs> I charge it was just over my pot, but I landed. Back in, <laughs> what the? Jesus. Holy shit. Lobsters, man. Yeah, they never stopped this time. The other times that we did this mission, they just eventually stopped, and this time they didn't at all. So I don't know what was different, but feels kind of weird. Yeah, every time we did this mission before, they just eventually cut it out. Yeah. Have a taste of democracy. Sorta of odd. I think I just popped that and it instantly died, by the way. Cool bones. <laughs> well, chat, this is it. This is when I run off into the woods. For democracy. There we go. I will escape. I'll escape the <laughs> island. They can't oh. keep me in this cycle of war anymore. I'm gonna escape the island. Quick, Dad! Oh god, there's hunters everywhere. I'm on fire. It's probably for the best. No. I mean, free orbital strikes, you know. <laughs> no. Wait, is there no way out? Am I just on this island forever? Am I just here now? Bad news. Hmm. This is where you live now. Wait, what is that? There's a beam over there. Well, this really is where I live now, isn't it? Hmm. Sir, I am trying to have a moment, and you just you just can't <laughs> let me have it, can you? You just can't you just can't let me have it, can you? Rude. Always interrupting. You goddamn hunters. This is it. I'm finally escaping. 
Oh my god, he's doing it. They'll never get me alive. Oh, this is like the ending of Truman Show. Because, like, they're like, jump out of the water, you'll die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just, just like the, the first Truman one. Show. The first one. <laughs> what? What? Ah. What? What? I didn't want to mention that was a reinforce. I'm actually all up to you now. But it's me. Where, where, where am I? Where do I even? Where do I even go? Continue on with my legacy. Escape, Mouse. Requesting advanced weaponry. <laughs> Pack back inbound. What, what do I do? <coughs> you have to leave Bug Island. It's the only way. How do I leave Bug Island? Where were you going to? Yeah, it's time to bug out. That's the way. You know what? You know what? Yeah, follow your heart. This is... There's there's no winning or losing now. It's all up to you. My heart tells me... If I'm gonna die, it's gonna be the bugs. Alright. It's my destiny to die. Never mind, it's not my destiny. <laughs> what if the game just like gave up on spawning bugs now? Because we ran off out of the... Yeah, what if I, it was I, like, alright. I guarantee you that that's not the case, but... Let's <laughs> test the theory. Well? The echo locating. <laughs> I hear them. I hear some, like, crunching ball. noises. What is that? Wait. There. It says activate termicide tower. You can actually win the mission. Go to extraction. Act activate the, ba the battery silos. No, the batteries are done. Look. Look at the top right. Are they? It says activate termicide tower. Just go Just go to the extract. What Why the hell just happened? What? Yeah, I know. We gotta do it. We gotta do the silos. Wait, did it reset? Like, what happened? Um... It, it was probably a bug, maybe. Uh, go activate the other towers, I guess? I don't, I don't even know what's going on. I'll... We are I'll going to die! I'll, I'll go have a look at the big tower thing. For peace of mind. They're just trying to run away from your duty. No, no, it, no, 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 no. Like... Did the main objective reset? Like, what is this? It's saying the central tower died somehow? Yeah. Oh. Survive, Mouse. Oh, oh that's a lot. How did so many of them come so quickly? How can they be so big and yet so terrifyingly st stealthy? Why? Oh, God. Okay, so the button. I can't activate. How did I not hear them coming? The button. You can't? Go activate the you know other I... tower. Go activate the other tower, because I think this one finished. On its own, because they're attacking Mouse instead of the tower. Yeah, why don't you do it, Candy? Because they're all after me. Oh, oh God. Please help me. Help, guys. Mouse, see if you can run back to the tower and see if it has the blue button up. I have no idea what's happening. Everything is defenseless broken. Defenseless woman, help. <laughs> I'm poor and defenseless. Help me. <laughs> Somebody save me from all these bugs. I'm just gonna do what the nice man tells me to do. I believe. I need I'm a actually big, really interested because this is like a weird, bugged out state I haven't seen yet. This is like completely broken. There's a lot of like assets that half broke as well. Like there's boxes and stuff that didn't fully break, but that's not that surprising. Yeah, this is really weird. That bug just called me a Jezebel. Harlot. Survive. You can get me in. Get me in. Wait. Freedom. Oh god. You're in. Am I? Uh. Fudge. Where am I? Sweet Jesus. Oh. All right. My God. Ah! Ah! Try not to die, simulator. Game? What the hell? I'm stuck on the stairs. Uh-oh. 
The worst enemy of all. There. Okay, it started the batteries back up. There's no way this is going through. Guys, I think we're gonna die. I think so too. Well. I'm just gonna hope for None of this is what I want. None of these are the things that I know how to use. <laughs> now I get to mm. chill and watch everyone have fun. Help! <laughs> I, I feel like making you feel alive. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Mouse, I have the solution. What's the solution? Come to me. There's one I'm way. Fine. I don't know. Is <laughs> it death by electrocution? Standing in an eagle. Here, come over. Stand, stand with, stand with me over here. Okay. This is the way. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it truly is the only way. It was the way out. It was the only Just way. I was just bad RNG. Yeah, it was really weird. The... I... Yeah. It's a lot of bugs. Yeah. All at once, you know? Yeah. yeah. Disgraceful conduct. Oh. Oh. It's fine. Oh, we died no. heroes. We're disgraceful. We died heroes. It's fine. Yeah. It's okay. Cowardly way? No, we took bugs out with us. All right. For democracy. Mm. Yeah, of course. So many, so many deaths. <laughs> so many bugs. So many bugs. That was a lot of bugs. I was gonna say, I'm glad you said it first. You know, there's a lot of bugs. I don't understand why they didn't stop that time. I wonder if they changed something. If there was like, if it was not intended to be that way, and then they fixed it. Like while we were playing, could be. Or maybe we were. Maybe it was breaking in a way we just didn't repeat that time. I don't know. Very weird. I feel like the first but time that we did it, remains. you were activating the bat. I, I, so, I didn't activate a single cell the first time. I was just killing bugs indiscriminately when okay. they spawned. Mm. So I think that maybe having someone kind of, because they would, they would kind of spawn somewhere and then run to the silo and it's kind of hard to see them because it's usually the ones behind. I don't know. Yeah, so maybe having someone sense. just out there we also had three people for most of that mission too so True. if we have four people i think it'd be much much better frankly yeah just a lot of bugs a lot of bugs just yeah need more metals mm, True. <sighs> You doing okay, Mouse? Yeah. 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 Two hell pods. All right. This game doesn't have solo play. I mean, technically it does, but you wouldn't really want to. You know. Why would you uh, want to play by yourself? Yeah. I well, so funny you say that. <laughs> um, awesome. I play solo, but I do like the the medium difficulty ones just to get a bunch of the common samples. It's not a bad idea to do that actually. So I've I've been doing on uh, on like scout missions. So I've just been yeah. doing those over and over again, and like so because I wear the scout armor, so I just run around and get the the gray pods around, and that's how I've been getting all of my super credits. So I've bought all of this stuff in the game so far using super credits found in missions. It's like fully yeah. free to play. Yeah. Oh, he's smart. It's fun. Makes it really good. What about here? Yeah, if anybody wants to join it as a fourth, go for it, man. Had new weapons. I haven't unlocked all of them yet, but the grenade launcher is a little weird. Are we doing the same mission? We're doing the same mission, but I, th I think we should try different stuff this time. Um, oh, wow. oh, actually, wait. We were talking about that, yeah, because the strafe. I don't think the strafe works because it hits the tower and it doesn't actually hit them. Yeah, I agree I with that. If, actually, you know what? I wonder if an orbital laser would be good. Maybe. 
I use an orbital laser, or I use an orbital rail cannon. Because the laser only gets three shots. Oh. Rail cannon does a rail cannon. Unlimited. It just shoots once every like 210 seconds, but it, it one shots crushers and it two shots titans. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Maybe I'll not take the rail. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do the orbital laser and the thing and no rail gun. I I'm like actually go. Is not as good as it used to be. Instead of orbital rail, I'm. I'm probably gonna go with the bubble shield because it reflects Titan oh, like breath back it. on themselves. Oh wait, hold up. Chat just told me something. Apparently, the the orbitals can also hit the silos. They can. Yeah. You gotta not use laser it on mine. the silo. I don't think that I'll be using. The laser then. Does gas hurt a silo? <laughs> hmm. Gas? I don't know. I, I know that a lot of stuff, oh, the wait. AoE stuff actually does damage. Yeah. Yeah. Chat saying mines. There that he actually is. isn't a bad idea. Uruku Fluffball is here. Now we're good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna my. use mines are actually really good on this map. They do really well, but they they can do AOE, so you gotta be careful with it. If you put it on where yeah. the bugs spawn instead of near the tower, then it's probably for the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also think I'm gonna do the a Tesla. Oh no, you look okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right. All yeah. right. I'm gonna use the shield this time and see if I can't shield out the Titans because the Titans actually die to it. Teslas also work well here, but they kill your allies so much. So I made a good point that you can put a, uh, a gas cloud, like the corrosive gas cloud, put that above a bug breach. Wait a minute. If we all put on the electrical arc armor and then put Teslas down, I don't think it can hurt us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Huh. The fate of all humanity's children are Man. in your hands. Do not let them fall. Going down to support the Requesting tag pass! Requesting tag pass! Blah, blah. Wait, where's my... Oh. Uh. Oh. It bounced. Oh. How'd you like the uh oh. It's probably good, right? Okay. I I have grenaded myself to freedom. Hello. <laughs> Grenades are good for freedom, so well done. Yeah. I can activate, I activate battery pack one. Room. I'll activate battery pack one when you get the thing in the beginning. Okay. Try to get uh, all of them at once. Hold up. Where's the oh? Okay, I'm gonna go for the one to the west. Somebody needs to activate the thing in the middle wall. Oh, did they already do it? Good. Activated one. Uh, I'll go to the other one. Uh, um, I'll go to the other one. I'm on site three, but I'm... Meow, 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 meow. No, there's no way. Meow, 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 meow. How soon we talking? Uh -oh. Uh, oh baby, it's a lot of all I see is red. <laughs> Requesting air support. I'm trying to kill as many bugs as possible right now. Man, I wasted two grenades. Oh, I'm actually going. Oh, I'm it. Pretty good 
Get over here. Freedom forever! I'm just gonna keep reactivating. Wow. Shit. I tell you what, Silo 3 is going phenomenal. I've seen four bugs. Well, that's kind of nice. Ah. Wow. I'm seeing all of the bugs. So whatever's that's going on great. over here is probably probably why you're hey, not sick or anything. Standing in an eagle. There's a lot of bugs over here. Uh huh. I'm calling down fortifications. I'm inbound. Okay. Well, I'm taking a detour for the quick, but then I will get you. Well, you this is it. Okay. You're good. I got turned into meatloaf. That's probably for the best. Oh, I see a ball fight in this banner. Nice. You see one more? Yep. Silo one. On my Doing all three way. silos at once who's ballsy? It seems like the optimal strat. We got two of the th out of the three by doing that. Calling yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna activate it. Okay. It's gonna basically keep it active at all times. Yep. Oh man. Rude. What the place uh, that randomly? Uh, this is either gonna be really good or really bad, and I'm curious uh, how it goes. Oh, Coco, got your mines. <laughs> All right. So I thought, just as a heads up, on the complete opposite side of the silo to you, there is like a lot of mines. Okay. Wonderful. It'd be really cool if there were a lot of not hunters thing. eating my organs. I'm, I'm, I'm just wiggling. I am coming. I'm safe. I'm attempting to assist. Okay, it's just like, dude, there. I, I shot like five, and there's still so many on you. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. There's so many, so many hunters. Oh, that went well. Requesting air support. Uh, there's also a. That's not what I meant to ping. Just, uh... There. Crazy. And they're all dead. Feels good, man. Oh my god. Activating. There are so many. Oh. <laughs> Reinforcing. The more times you push the button to get started solo, the more bugs you get. Yeah, oh. but you have to push the button, kinda... so there's no like real choice there. Why do I have this? Did I get him? All right. Uh -oh. Why does anybody have anything? Down it oh, just bounces oh, oh. every time. Chimney Christmas. Holy shit. Oh, there's so many little guys. Okay. Uh, Alright, this is our moment. There's no big heavies up. Just kill everything else. I 
really want to... I really want to bomb them, but I know that's going to be bad. Damn it. And I'm actually be okay. Oh, he's, is he already dead? No, there's a, there's a Titan over here. Oh okay, my wait, I got god. <gasps> oh my god, what just happened on that pipe? I uh blew up one of the ticks and it blew up all the other ticks. That was really good. It's okay, gross. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do that there and then I'm gonna run across. I threw a bunch of mines at the point that is a choke point for this pipe. So right. I think the biggest problem is we have so many other elites out there. We just have to keep the battery running at all times, because it seems like if there's a certain amount of enemies, it doesn't spawn more. So just keep popping it. We need we need reinforce. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> reinforce. It seems like maybe Anybody? the bugs just pick one silo they're especially obsessed with as well. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be. Like because last one it was the Ruku. it was silo three and I just wouldn't. <gasps> ah! uh. Yeah, we gotta keep pressing this button. Like anytime you uh. run past it, pop it. Yeah. You're gonna okay. I'm gonna grab. That. Back, back well, that's angle. just bogus. Fucked up. Reinforcing. Oh, I'm doing so good. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't get the time. Once upon a time, I was good at this game. Aha! All right, this is good. In the it's critically unstable. Oh, Jesus. That's probably bad. That doesn't sound good. I'm. Um, there's so many little ones in the back here where I am. Okay, down. God damn it. There's a crusher on the button. And now there's a billion other things on the button. Popped it. So when we pop the button, all of them attack the, the battery, except for the heavies. So all we gotta do is clear up the baby minions. Oh, just go. Wait, wait. I think it's working. Yeah, it's totally working. Stop the new waves from coming in. We're good. I use the rail gun to blow up all the big dudes and then they blow up the little guys and that hopefully will help. Also, I think there's like particular spots oh, that kind of all Can you please to. press me when you got a chance? Yes. Is that a bile titan right behind me that's about to crush me? Oh, no. no, the goddamn bile titan again. Come on. Uh -oh. Shit. We had oh. it up until the sky turned dark and they're filled with bile titans. Uh-huh. I'm gonna pop it again immediately. Uh or not. Uh, I, I'm gonna... Can I, I'm gonna just take one of those expendables and then just, like, blow it up. What? The... what? My character decided to climb the wall instead of press the button. It's great. It's the best. It's my favorite. What was that? Press the button. I was like stuck somewhere. Oh. I was just avoiding the. Joining the fray. Oh my god! Oh. Well, wait a minute. This whole time I wasn't dead. I was just trapped as a cold, as, as in the in the water. In the water. Oh. In the water. Oh. Back empty. In the water. Dude, there doesn't seem to be like a realistic way to do this. 
It's the same problem we had the other day. We're like, sometimes it just stops summoning dudes, and sometimes it never stops summoning dudes. I was just riding the rodeo that was the ball behind his leg for a second. <laughs> I got, like, stuck to its leg, and I was just going up and down. Oh, my God. Freedom never sleeps! I wonder if I can pull these away. You guys keep hitting the battery. Yeah. Like maybe we can, maybe we can cheese them away and be like, hey, come look at this. <laughs> no, not everything else just sits and looks at you. Um, you say get Arthur and get up on the canopy, but the crushers also look at you and they're like way more annoying than the, than the Bile Titans, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's a scorcher. We did it that way. We ran off and stopped spawning. Run away from the site. We'll run. We'll run to the other side of the map. Okay. I was gonna say it might also be worth just like taking a second just to completely clear whatever, if possible, and as much as because there's a lot of little guys around. Right? I don't know. Why. Uh, uh. Literally sniped with a plasma grenade. Yeah, let's get away from the site. To the front. Oh my god, what is. Where is the leg? Oh, the going? site's actually almost done. Oh, it was like 75%. Yeah, we gotta get away from it. What? What is even happening right now? What did I even just die to? Reinforcing. Lord, oh my god. Yeah, we gotta oh get Lord. away from it. We gotta get away from it. I am away. I want all the the back. Oh. Alright, now that everything is dragged right away... Mm. Jesus Christ, dude. Right. Dude! Oh my god. Which battery is it? It's not that one. It's not that one. It's that one. Alright. Stop it. Stop huffing around. Get out of here. Stop it. Leave me alone. Okay, with you guys pulling everything away, now, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back in. What we need this what is those bombs? Why is the AoE around that so huge? I don't even know what that is. Alright, well. Jesus, why is this... They must have the devs live patched it. I watched the stream and they're like... I don't know, dude. Something changed. <laughs> yeah, something changed. I just don't know what it is. No! Yeah, they 100% changed something, I just don't know what. Yep, no idea. I do think there's like specific spots they seem to concentrate on the silo though. I mean, look how many crushers this is. Like, what? what is this? Madness is what it is. Out of absolute mad on it. No. Ah. Hmm. You were playing difficulty six, and they had you had four active bile titans on this map. It's absurd. That's insane. Yeah, I don't know. Like some sometimes this map feels really easy, and sometimes it's just incredibly impossible. And I don't really understand why. It just doesn't seem to have any like basis in reality in any way. So 
also the fun thing about being in game dev is the process of trying to work out what Calling triggers what, and then like what's the like how do they decide certain things occurring, and you get kind of lost in that 100%. cycle. Because yeah. I'm like, why did this happen? Like, what is the intention for the player? Like, where's what's the gameplay route you want me to have? You know? Yeah. And some of this is, like, kind of unsolvable, where you're like, okay, just keep shooting it until maybe it happens. Because like mm. I guess I could understand if, like, it didn't summon so many, but it summons so many. Yeah, just clear, we'll clear these ones up and then try again. I mean, I know what, I know you were saying before, like, just keep pressing the button on repeat and keeping it up, but it might be worth just getting as much as we can, just clearing everything that's out, yeah. and then press the button, yeah. Yeah, I think we should try that this time, because it, it used to work, we've done it like dozens of times, but then now it's suddenly not working. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would probably be a damn I've never run. used that, the plasma gun, um, hurts you. Yes. Yes. Today I learned. Yeah. I am curious mm -hmm. about trying the gas strike on the silo. Because I understand if like explosives do damage, but if like the Cause if you could throw the gas on the silo, that would be good. Right. Mm -hmm. tunnel breach! It's impossible difficulty. Yeah, but we also did this mission like. like Damn! Cool remember when we first started and we were like, "Wow, this is so easy." Remember, Candy? I'm a. I, was that ever th something that I said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it was also awesome. hard. You got like, me. We're killing me this round. I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have hyped this up. Well, the silo status is down. unstable at 55%, so... Ah! Oh, dear. What the fuck? <laughs> How is this possible? Calling down fortification. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It seems kind of bullshit. How did I do that to Uruku? He's been dead. Yeah, sometimes this map seems super easy, and sometimes it seems complete bullshit. I don't really understand the map direction, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no idea. You need the right loadout of the team? No, dude, like, sometimes we've just, we've just wiped the floor with it. And sometimes it's just like, nah, I'm gonna summon a, f a million titans. It's a coin flip. I mean, that's... Yeah. yeah. But also, like, the attitude of, like, oh, you just need, like, the right tools, right team, it's like... It's the get-good attitude, which is, like, really kind of common and toxic inside of the, the community with Helldivers. I don't know why that's become such a common thing with it, but, like, to be real with you, there's, there's inconsistency in this mission. Like, dramatic inconsistency. So it ends up being one of those things where, like, as a player, you go, what am I doing wrong? And there's too many, yeah, there's too many factors, probably. That makes sense. It's just one of those things I mean, you just, you can't tell, you know? Yeah, but it's also like like that's such a broad statement that it applies to literally any game. It's like, why can't I get platinum in League? It's like, we'll just get a better loadout, a better team. It's like, that, like it's so yeah, ineffective it's so advice. Up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go do a normal mission. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'm in the pod. I'm in the pod. Come back out. Yeah, my game is not inconsistent. You're just bad. Yeah, exactly. That's the classic response. Real. But no, it's just in inconsistency in the mission. Because we've done the same strategy, we've beaten it the same way before, and now it's not possible. Doing the exact same thing. Which is like, all right. Well, also, also like I said, with, with my my solo experience, there was literally four of those little bugs spawned, and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, so Sorry. I think the map has like a, a limit to how many bugs can spawn. What about here? Which is weird. I don't know, man. It's inconsistent and strange. No way to tell. Wait, what's this mission? 
Uh, eggs. We're doing eggs. Doing the eggs, right? Uh, eggs. Could be dynamic difficulty. It could just be, like, triggers that we can't see. Like, mm, yeah. a lot of the times map triggers will be things that, like, are not explained to the player, right? So, one of the things that may have been happening in the past is there may have been a lot of enemies on the map. They were just in a different part of the map, so we got none in the area that we were at. Could have been a bug that we were unintentionally exploiting at that point. Or it's just mm. like, why are there no enemies? I guess we win the mission, right? Yeah, there's so many different things that are, like, weird with that, where we just don't know, right? Yeah. It could be, but then also that, that lends more credence to the RNG thing, where it's yeah. like when you press the button, a random amount of things spawn, and then, like, it gets stacked more against you the further you get into it, but then it's, like, not balanced to what the experience of it actually is. Especially yeah. if your stratagems also do damage to it. And when it summons a, an elite, the elites don't attack the tower, they go after you, so you can't really clear the baby monsters because there's all these elites. And it summons a random amount of elites, so you can get, like, three Bile Titans, so you can get none, you know? Yeah. It's just, just RNG. the whole thing of, like, sometimes... I want no it's... Bile Titans. Yeah. And it's easy to solve well, those. Reason. Like, you can solve a Bile Titan, but you can't do it in the time that the battery doesn't die. That's the problem. Hmm. On mission. I'll be happy when it's not in rotation, to be honest. Or at least if they bring it back once they kind of balance it better. Maybe. Yeah, I could see that. I think it'd be really fun if it was balanced better. I think the change that I would make to fix that mission is, is oh. really simple. Oh, I'd make it so that if the battery the deactivates... What's, it, happening? what's happening? What's happening? What's going on? So many mines! Jesus! I didn't realize... Okay. Oh. Yeah, the, the one change I would make to fix that map, to be honest with you, if the battery deactivates, it it stores the amount that it deactivated at and keeps that the next Robbie time you start it back up. Oh, and then it maybe feels slower? Yeah, or feels slower, or maybe loses 10% or whatever it's going to be. Yeah. Because I think the problem is, is that it fully resets when it dies, or slowly drains when it's not, you know, active, or whatever it's going to be. Yeah, it should, it should not. Yeah. The full reset is why it feels weird. Ow. I don't know. There's a lot of different ways to do oh, it. I think that way's the cleanest, if that makes sense, because it's the most I, communicative yeah. with the player. I was going to say, I think I like the system where it has checkpoints, where it gets to, like, maybe it's, like, in thirds. Yeah, so no, that'd be... So each time you achieve a third, then it locks to that. Yeah, because it's a 40-minute mission, so, like, you could definitely do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw! Oh, oh, this ain't good. Oh, I'm being dragged. I'm trapped. Oh my god. You got a nest then? <laughs> I was just stuck under one of those vile, the green dudes. I was just oh. pinned under him, and I couldn't shoot my way out because he'd kill me, but I couldn't crawl out because. <laughs> I've had that happen before, and I just have to basically wait there until it despawns. Sounds like there's a rhinoceros behind me. That's good, right? Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Totally I think was. How's that thing still alive? I am dead again, by the way. So. I wish that the request reinforcement thing wasn't so passive aggressive feeling. It is. It's just very, like. Guys, did you notice that I'm dead? <laughs> uh oh. What is this site? Nothing? No. Oh. Calling in Somebody died here. Baby! Drone over shield is after the nerf? Nah, dude, I disagree. My man's has never Wait. seen hunters and nines if you want the, the drone over the shield. This shield saved me so many times. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Plus, the drone kills your allies. All the time. Spotted. 
Prepare to exterminate. Yeah, well. Sample collect. Funny you mentioned the drone because you just died one. I grabbed it back. Ah, ah, oh my god, I, it's killing me. <laughs> it's killing me. Um, I, I grabbed a shield backpack because I because I just didn't have any backpack and I figured one back like anything was better than nothing. Mm. My opinion is changing very gradually. You can actually drop it on the ground alive. if you hit X, like hold X down, yeah. and then you can drop your backpack if you don't want it. It killed. It did kill like well, it's killing all the eggs, which is really nice. That but is it's useful. Just the indiscriminate murder of me. Yeah, it'll, it'll shoot you in the head randomly. It's part of you know, it's part of the charm, I think. <laughs> the game's too easy sometimes, you know. So you just really need to amp up the difficulty. Yeah, you really gotta amp it up by having a robot shoot you in the head randomly. Yeah. It's a good part of it. I hate that fucking robot. <laughs> oh my god, I played this with a friend once. He time always when I was... kills me. Uh, well, I not like gonna get long. I don't like it. I'm oh. I love mm. This is probably <laughs> bad. <laughs> what just a limit eliminated by pirate software? Okay. Uh oh, he killed himself. Don't worry, Candy, I got you. Is there a multi streamer area? Yeah, I stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Oh, you're doing multi stream. Yeah, I've been doing multi stream for since they allowed us. I was waiting for it. Oh, I don't know. I can't get into that sort of thing. Ready to liberate. I really I, like I, it because we have such like a large YouTube like community now with like all the mm -hmm. shorts. So because of that it's like it's nice. And then I also get to troll them all the time because they think I don't read chat. Over on the YouTube <laughs> side, or they think that I'm pre-recorded, so I get oh. to wait for somebody to like freak out, and then after they oh, freak out for long enough, then I make fun of them. People are like, "He's pre-recorded," and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. People saying that. <laughs> it's yeah, really chat. funny. Pre-recorded. Chat kept telling me you were pre-recorded. Yeah. Um, Common. Yeah. Common chat. I've learned a lot about you from chat. Just getting the, predictable you know, chat. The only way to learn about people is gossip through chat. <laughs> it's all true. The today. Oh, the penis rock. Mouse. Oh. Yeah. Box mm. And the rover. We've learned a lot about mouse in that sense. There's nothing here. You'd think that dude would be upset he was on fire, but he took tried to take a swing at me. Ah, uh, fire, my favorite. Can we just stop being on fire for a little bit? Can you... Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Door is AI generated? Real. Yeah, even though the floor is not on fire anymore, it's on fire, right? Are we done? Okay, I'm now glad we're done where now. I am. Join me. Huh? Oh, I reinforced you. Wait, oh, different, oh, <gasps> different eye. Me. That's not mouse. So oh, it's the... Mm. I've seen eye, Southwest. and I think of you. 200 meters. Stop it. They can do it all time. Bye. <laughs> oh, I found a double door. These well, usually have really these. good stuff in them. Marking location. Oh, I I'm, I could try to get to you. I'm pretty close. I'm bringing friends, though. Oh, I am here. Put on a new canister for this flamethrower. Dropping a pin, southwest, far. Is there a multi-stream for all of us at the same time? Uh, it's something that we could set up, but we don't have it right now. So uh, I always forget to do that. I'm stuck in a bush. Also, we're, we're dying. Oh God, my this, so. my body. That's fine. Oh my god. Yeah, it just won't die, will it? It's just what ridiculous. I know, right? It's like impossible to kill. Anyway, let's get down here and open this thing. Oh, look. Okay. A Bile Titan, my favorite. That's so sweet. He's coming by to say hello. Right. Wait, 
Make sure chat adds that to your lore. They did add to people. Your favorite bug is a ball titan. Oh my god, how many of these damn things are there? I just want to open the door. I just want to open the door. Burn to death. Actually, this is gonna work right. There's so many of them, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. There, I killed it. Let's open the so door, Matt. I did the oh, experiment. The door. We did it. Um. Proud of you. I used all three old cartridges of a grenade launcher on a bile titan. Did not kill it. Amazing. What a good bile time that is. Oh, this door was worth it. <laughs> 20 super credits. <gasps> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Rare sample acquired. 100% worth. I feel like that little... A little mummy alien thing where it's in the casket. It's all dried out. <laughs> it's like a weird electrical noise going on for my character at all times, and I don't know what it is. Huh. Sounds horrible. Is it the yeah. immense amount of electricity that you insist on carrying? I, I'm using a flamethrower. Okay, well, I'm sure you'll find a I way mean, to make it electric. That's true. It's actually <laughs> true. Oh, right. Also, I'm dead. Are you dead or are you having a skill issue? Both. Okay. Well, I was doing... I died for science. So. Well, that's a, um, you know, noble cause. So, you saying that prompts me to read this to you. Uh, Thor sounds like Homer Simpson, but only if he was locked in. Like, if Homer Simpson was locked in. Is that a new Aww. thought that you've heard? I don't I've know. Never, that's a new sentence, yeah. I've never heard that one. It's usually like budget Howard Stern, you know? Oh. Like I'm Howard Stern from Wish.com. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> what? You sound like I'm talking like Howard Stern. Yeah, that one. Oh. Also, I feel like at any point calling someone the budget version of someone else is like... I feel like locked in Homer Simpson is not. He's got a baritone, you know? Oh, God. Oh. I feel like I'd have to eat more crayons for that, though. You know? What stop? What's stopping you from eating crayons? Well, unfortunately, I don't have any crayons. So, when Chad finally Chad, gives me the crayons, I can eat them. <laughs> crayons. They have to gift me the crayons, though. Take them to Olive Garden. Chad, give, give them, them the crayons now. They've Wait been minute, jealously guarding the them for years. Didn't you get crayons at the streamer awards? I got, I got some. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was talking to Rubber Ross about what they would taste like, and then neither of us wanted to eat them because then other people would know. There's too many people there. It's too public. I got, I got. You and Ross crayons. had a conversation about eating crayons. We did, and then he drew something horrible <laughs> using the crayons that I won't speak of. Oh, was it was it, it a chippy with a dick? I feel like that's very him. It, it was dick related. Yeah. We'll, we'll call it dick adjacent. I was in Drawing call with him when he was lending to George Dixon, my friend Bob. They had a, a, a drawing lesson about it. It's fantastic. Because he was doing uh, that that drawing... Uh, I forget what it's called. The thing where he like, goes with his friends and they do like do the drawing challenges on oh, stage. Oh yeah, the Gartic phone and they stuff? Did, like, an, something like that. But it's yeah. like... it's like, uh, Oh man, I'm, I feel really bad for getting the name of it. But they did like an 18 plus one of those. Oh no. Oh. Wait, is that when he drew the Phoenix? What the fuck? If what you don't know what it is, then it's fine. It's probably for the best. I, I... Okay. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure Ross will show it to him. Because that is what he drew at the streamer awards. That is... That is what it was. Oh god. I mean, he's always drawing wieners, though. True. Yeah. Okay, I've gotten a little bit of my stamina back. Scribble off the dog, that's the name of it. Scribble showdown, yeah, 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 okay. All right, thank you, Seth. <laughs> oh, I found a turret. Objective located, northeast. Oh. I got a free turret. 
I've also got a lot of samples on me, and I'm being chased by everything. Uh, your life has value to me, as you have samples. I'm on my way to protect mm. you. So when I lose those samples, you'll you'll still care, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. No. All right, all right, good, good. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of bugs over here. You said there's a lot of bugs. That's not good. <laughs> no. Hey, this one's headless. It hasn't stopped his lust for blood, though. Oh, uh, were you doing the artillery thing and then... Oh, yeah. You... Are we doing the artillery thing? Okay. Yeah, we're doing the artillery thing. It's free XP. You know about the pick em up and put it down thing real quick? Yeah, the pick em up, put em down. Yeah. Just wiggle it. Oh, wow. Uh, God, right. there's so many of them. Some blew up. I feel like I'm Ooh. crossing the streams right now. Uh, did crossing I, the streams? Did I kill you? You betcha. God damn it. <laughs> I definitely was oh. just this conductive bug. They're new. That's what, yeah, well. What do you mean conductive bug? Yeah, they're new. They're, they're very rare. Uh-huh. Okay, so... Hold on. So you're gonna reinforce me, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to kill right? the conductive bug so that you wouldn't have to <laughs> deal with it later. You know? Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's so Dark rare. I'm just gonna... Because it feels easier. <laughs> I put I put two shitty smoke canisters in it. Oh shit! Oh. How is it saying that Aruku killed oh. me again? Everything is happening to me. No. Yeah, it's just no, hunters. It's a, it's a million hunters. No, I don't want a hug. <laughs> Rough, dude. Can't believe Aruku's a hunter. Now my life has value. Hooray! Go to democracy. No. Going down Why are there so many dudes here? What is going on? I just I like the that every day. sheer amount of dudes. Well. I, I wish I was as happy about the dudes as you are about the dudes. I have okay. more dudes. I got 15 samples. I have a lot of samples. Hey, your vet life has value. <laughs> I'm very glad. Listen, and I hold you to that. I hold. I want you to hold me to that standard. If I don't have samples, then I don't give all the shit. All right. All right. Okay. Um, well, we can talk about this. Wait, hold on. To me, you always on. have samples. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wait, we need and one I'm more. This is the. Oh Hold my up. God! There's so many of these. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Oh God! Ending in an eagle. Apparently, there's this is the Biles spit a planet chat thing. And I believe it. This is a planet full of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit on this planet. A lot of boys, a lot of Yep. How would you like to taste the freedom? Calling down a support weapon. Holy shit. Wow. It hasn't stopped, so I need one more canister in this thing. And I have all of the samples forever, by the way. Calling in extraction. Uh, well, wait, you guys are calling extraction? Like yeah. I've been trying to get this turret still. Oh god. I thought damn you already it. got the turret. I thought you already did it. No, oh, that's why it's blue. Nice. It's not done. Oh, I'm don't worry. Back. Go ahead. I have all the samples, and there's a million bile titans here, and I'm don't alone. Worry. Oh. I won't get in the ship this time. I'll stay away. Oh god. Yes, I'll run away from it. 
No, no, no. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna head over there no, no, and ignore this. No, turret. no, no, no. no. What, what do you mean? Oh, we got a minute, quitting? twenty-eight seconds. We're gonna get out of here. Quitter? Mouse is definitely gonna leave. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave. Are you mm. crazy? Hey, wait! I There's brought a big no friend. Way. I named him Legs. Found something. Legs is very friendly. Steam names Democratic Retraining. Maybe you do. Glorious splat. Wow. Where's this, uh... I'm, All right, I'm okay. here. Ow. I forgot that I had the super oh, sample on me. So, oh, that's uh, a lot of mines on this. On the extraction oh. there. Okay. Hey, I got more samples. Mine. I'm even more valuable now. I don't know. I well, Wait, somebody has the super samples and they lost them. Where do they lose That's them? That's me, I died. I was because mm. I was going back to help you with the artillery thing. Where did you die? I died very south. Oh, we're, it's too late. No, it's not. So once the shuttle it, Well our, like I said. Dropping a pin. We can we can here yeah, run away from the extraction zone. Run away from it. It's ten seconds. Oh, I mean, it doesn't start until you get in it, I think, right? No, but like maybe, but also the common samples are the big deal, and we have 15 of those right now. Well, we'll just play it by ear. Who's ear? Uh, Not ear. Who knows? But I'm dead, so. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, well, this seems, it seems like it's not happening right now, right? It'll wait a long time. Okay. M maybe? It seems, it seems like it's waiting. Okay, let's... Alright, let's not be too hasty. Uh... Jesus. Uh, it's probably... Nah, you know what? I'll just... I'll I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Eat it. Okay. Ugh. They're everywhere. You guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna be laugh and you're gonna be so. Oh, there's a vault here. Are you guys not getting those samples <laughs> down there? Nobody went for them. Oh no, I did, I did. I'll come back. I've got them. All right. Oh. Wait, hold up. Yeah, yeah, I got them. Okay. Get inside yeah. the ship. Oh. I'm almost there. I got your mouse. What? I'm getting into the ship. I had to. I was covered in acid. I believe. Oh my god, we got it. Oh, wait, I thought it would. Wait. Mouse, I reinforced you. I thought it would wait until Mouse landed. Nope. It's okay. And then... <laughs> I died a hero. Yeah, I think I shot right through that bug's legs, dude. Purple samples and green samples, though, so that's good. But we lost mouse, so was it really worth it? I see. I thought you were done with the artillery thing, that's why I, I left. Do have no. I, oh, I'm sorry. I was like, what's going I'm on? I'm all alone. <laughs> Bugs everywhere. Mm. Unremarkable performance. Rude. I was a sample. Rude. Oh, rude. That's a good. That's a lot of numbers though at the top there. There's still electricity <laughs> crackling on my my side. <laughs> that's done now, finally. Oh, is it? Is it done? You okay. I think that has to be my LG. That was your LG. Yeah. Or maybe I could do one more, maybe. Lots of enemies. One more? Lots of samples. We do one more. Yeah, one more. One more, one more, one more. Right. One more. Okay. One more, one more. It talked me into it. <laughs> one more, one more. Help hot prime. One more. Engaging orbital. Whoa, whoa. I believe. <sighs> we just have to blow up eggs again. Easy. Oh, okay. Time to kill the garlics. 
Did you say the garlics? Mm. Yeah, they look like little garlics. Like characters looking <laughs> like local Darth Vaders? Because we are. We got capes. Oh, they do all on the map right there. I thought you meant like the actual physical in-game model, and I'll, but like the little picture here looks like garlic. Uh. Got everything there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is Mouse's last game. Chad is like Mouse sounds sleepy. I'm they know. Sleepy. I've been on 14 hours. I feel it. Yeah. I changed my schedule. I do midnight to noon now, so every day, 12 hours, man. Oh, feels good. That's nice. That feels good. It's nice because it's like a, you know, I don't know, midnight to noon, that slot, just saying that feels right, you know, half the day. Yeah. I get so much more done, too. So much stuff to do. Are you like a night owl, or...? No, I just, I'm a mutant, you know? <laughs> I like streaming at that time because basically when I, when I stream at that time, I get all of Brazil, all of Europe, all of Australia, which is where a lot of our community is, and then also... At the end of my stream, the human world is awake here in the United States, where I live. So that I can go to stores. Like at noon. Oh my god, I was telling my chat about that, because I started streaming now. Like, my med schedule changed, so now I stream at night mm -hmm. until the morning. But it's the most convenient time for me, because I get off of stream, and I do all my medical phone calls, and I get yep. to make all my special important calls and do everything, and then I can go to sleep. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Like, if I need to call anyone, they're definitely awake at around that time. Yeah, it works out so well, because before, I would miss calls and miss so much stuff. <gasps> what are these- what are these mines? Why are there mines everywhere? <laughs> they're these little your mines! Uh, I didn't do any mines, but, uh, I, um... Attacking men, south, 200 meters. I pivoted my schedule, so I went to sleep, like, at 7 p.m., and I'd wake up at, like, 3 a.m., I think? But then, I, I have no idea. I had I had kind of a schedule, but it's already flipped again. Yeah, no, I keep oh my, my schedule pretty rigid. Yeah. I just end up having to change so much because of, like, uh, just lots of different, like, IRL and also, like, stream uh, requirements. Like, it's just, I just end up what being... The more flex than I'd like. But I think once I move to America, it won't be like that. I'll be you're able to be a bit more. You're going to the America lands? Yeah, ideally. Well, to some extent, yeah. You'll like, have real internet, move, though. But that's that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. No, I'd, I mean, it's I'm pretty easy to happy. go to conventions and stuff. True. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually pretty happy. I moved up to Washington. I used to live in SoCal. And um, mm. it's just, it's nice to have weather. You know? Yeah. That's the biggest thing. Is... Work? No, I, I just lived there. I grew up there. Uh -huh. You know, and then I moved away up here to Washington. But like Southern California is really nice, but it's it's nice in a weird way where it's like four different seasons of summer, effectively. You're like, yeah. oh it's summer, now it's cold summer. You know, like and it's just there's no rain ever, it's always dry. Like that's what it is. And it kinda sucks. Also it lights on fire every year. That's the other thing. Which I can blame Australia for, by the way, because you guys gave us the eucalyptus trees that light on fire every year. Thanks for that. <laughs> they were actually a gift from Australia. Not even a joke. That's darn it, Candy. Yep. Yeah, me specifically, I did that. Yep, I blame you. Objective uh... nearby. So I, I shot a grenade at a charger when I was in a position where I was likely to die. Um, and then it despawned, and then I died. What? Like it like bounced off its face and then it just like, it just like popped out of existence. <laughs> that's probably the best. Huh? Oh, that's, okay, that's actually fine. We could. Yeah, we could do this. Trying to get all the samples. Sample Got most of them. Gotta get this missile running. Package acquired. Oh. Jesus, I'm stuck in a rock. 
No. Whoa. Jesus. Oh, wait. Well, that that was good. Did we get all the missiles? No. Why is it still red here? Red? Drop On the, the map. Package. It's still like. Oh, there's like nests Hi. or something nearby. I don't know. All right, we've got three of them in there. We need two more. Oh, wait, there's one. Okay. Uh, one. I think that should be the lot. Oh no, dude, this this is there's so many holes here. All right, there's all five, and I'll activate it. We're good to go. Engaging terminal. There we are. What was that noise you just made? Dropping a pin. Mm -hmm. East, 100 meters. It was like a little like ground noise. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gross. Ew. No, there's just a giant bug exploding next to me, that's all. <laughs> I will get to the place. Nice stalker lair kill. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I really like these egg missions because they feel like a good amount of difficulty versus like kind of strategy. We're moving around yeah. the map. Yeah. That's true. Now. There's like no way. How is this? Uh, Holy shit. I, I think they increase the damage on those lobster guys because they start to wreck house now if they get near you. I used to not respect them and now I have to retrain myself to give a shit. Get some! Get some! I killed 38 things with an eagle strafing shot. <laughs> oh, so Got him. They got lobsters in this game? Yeah, dude. I'm cooking them. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got one more set of eggs to do, and there's actually a pot up there too, it looks like. So we can go do that. Is friendly fire the reason we usually operate far apart from each other? It's a couple of different reasons. So there's a limited number of bugs that can spawn on the map, so when you split up there's less bugs per person, so you don't just get overwhelmed. It's easier to do a lot of different objectives very quickly, and you're on a time limit. A and then also, friendly meters. fire. Yeah. Uh, I could probably swing this. What is volcanic activity detected? What does that mean? Found something. Volcanic activity. Uh -oh. Am I gonna blow up? Maybe. Oh. Hey, I got super credits. Nice. Hell yeah. Play with people, but also solo. It's a collaborative thing. You gotta talk to your team, know where everybody's moving. Make sure you guys get all the objectives done. I'm learning about volcanic activity. Oh. It's just bugs. It's just a lot of bugs. Is it... Is it volcanic bugs? Are they on fire? No. No. Oh. No cool powers. It's like Almost it's a lot of communication to your team. It's just a lot of bugs. <laughs> there's, there's bugs over here. Look at the bugs. Guys, you won't believe what I just saw. Bugs. Can you summon me? I died to bugs. Like, <laughs> the extent of her communication. It's funny. I'm 
kind of just doing nests and then I'm going back to the. Um... Oh. Ooh, there's a lot of dudes over here. Alright, this is fun. What? I didn't mean to hit Z. <laughs> what the? I'm getting bugged on. Ow. Holy moly. Dude, having a grenade launcher is so so much nicer for doing bug hole closing. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy how good it is. Yeah, because I usually take railgun, but railgun is not as good as it used to be for what I used to use it for. Yeah, for sure. Oh, we have mines on the extract. That seems that's good. Uh, well. There, I've started extraction. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll be there in a moment. Let's get rid of some of these, you know. Hello. Hello. Holy moly. I just want to pick beef with, like, every bug nest on the north. Side. <laughs> Dude, I feel it. We can actually go handle those real quick. I'll go kill one. Oh, yeah, I mean, I killed... Yeah, basically, all this whole area that I'm in, and I'm just gonna go get... Uh, air support. Sending in an eagle. Samples? Yeah. Alright, yeah, just destroyed that nest. Bonus XP. Crazy how easy you guys make hell dives look. Well, you know, we're, we're doing a little good. We're doing a little good at the game. We're actually kind of fly us. Yes. Oh, I see. Where'd that dude go? I want to kill that guy. I Holy have a moly. missile and I have no way to use it. I want a dude. Summon more dudes, bugs. I am. Uh. I am on the other. Well, we'll just see how this goes, I guess. I'm very far away, but I have a lot of samples, but, like, we'll play by you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I want to shoot it, but it'd yes. blow up mouse. That one. one See, this, the stamina buff is just so necessary. No. Yeah. I am on my way. Give me just a moment. I promise I'll be there soon. I believe. I'm like halfway there. Woo! Better hurry. Yeah, we're gonna run in. Oh my god. Requesting orbital strike! Uh I'm ending in an eagle! Okay. Just a little bit more and okay. I'm almost there. Promise. <laughs> Uh, mouse? Is it getting bad? Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Out of stamina. Lamp. Oh god, there's mines everywhere. I'm gonna blow uh, them up. Get away. Aruku, get away. Okay, wait. Hold up. This is probably for the best. Yeah, just uh, bring me back in. I'll do that. Oh, I think I have bug nests on the way through. Much more samples. I know you guys are waiting for me. I understand. I would, I I would like hurry. On the way. I would definitely I hurry. Way. I swear to God, I was on the way. There's a I'm lot going. of stuff happening right now. Hi, guys. I, I... Hello. Ah! Okay. Most of it is mines and or bomb related. I promise it was worth it. Is it? Is this stuff? Oh, no. Shuttles oh, leaving. No. Shuttles oh, leaving. No. Shuttles oh, no. leaving. That was an accident. That was an accident. That was an accident. I didn't mean to jump in there. 
I jumped in. Oh my god, no! No! Oh! Ah! Oh god, what have you done? Holy fuck! Holy, I was on fire! Holy fuck! <laughs> Oh, worth. Man. Worth. Oh, no, thank you. We did it. <laughs> that was, that was really good. It was really, they really added to the, the narrative with that mouse. It was good for the character development. <laughs> Look at all that. Look thank at you that. For, thank, yeah, thank you for waiting. I, I, I cleared so many nests. I got like four to five nests while getting like some samples. Super worth. Oh, oh yeah. Oof. A hero, a legend, a hell diver. It's true. Look at that, baby. Good yeah, samples. I actually don't yeah. have anything to unlock with samples anymore. I'm like, done. Oh my god, you got everything. Yep. Can't hurt to stock up in case they add more stuff. Yeah, I'm, I actually have to get medals still though. So I use the medals to like unlock new shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't it a thing where there's like a certain amount of medals per map, regardless of difficulty? So you could just do the easy maps to get the currency? I don't think so. I think it goes up based on the difficulty. I might be wrong about that. But like, to be real with you, nah, it's more fun to play it on the hard difficulty. Nah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's fair. This needs 60 more to unlock. <laughs> we have one two now. Ooh, that rare moment where I get zero medals after buying things. Oh, glorious. No. Oh, like as in you, you bought them out to zero? Yep, I'm down to zero. Uh. I'm at 900 super credits now, too. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm at... I have 11, 1130, but I've never spent them. You should use them to get the, um, the cutting edge, like the war bond stuff. Because that's just like permanent more stuff. You know? Where's that? Oh, so the f oh. Yeah, so if you look on mine, you can see, like, Steeled Veterans and then Cutting Edge. I've unlocked these using just general gameplay to get the premium warbond for that. Mm. And then you just get more stuff, like new items and shit. And since those are permanent unlocks, like, if they ever change balance and your current loadout doesn't work, you'll have more access to other things that may still work. It just ends up being better overall. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna be super ready for the next war bond, basically, because I'll have so many super credits at that point that it'll be like, whatever, just nice. grab it. Stun grenade's pretty nice. Yeah, but it doesn't blow up uh, Ness because it doesn't do any damage. Zero damage. Well, you going to bed, Mouse? I was. No, you should go to bed, because the last mission is... I want to do one more. It's the horrible mission. Oh, no. It's the horrible the mission. Do you want to do yeah, it? The civilians? No. I mean... It's the okay. sprayer. We gotta uh... do it. All right, we gotta do it. I won't do it, Aruku. Oh. It'll be different this time. It'll be different. It'll be the same, but different. Oh, it costs a thousand to unlock un un cutting edge. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll do it. Why? <laughs> it gives you so many more interesting weapons, though. Like, you get a shotgun that is lightning. I hugged the Ruku. Mm. And that grenade launcher thing that I was using. All kinds of stuff. You still have to get mm. them with metals, though. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I mean,. Sorry, I was guys, playing this a is a short 14 hour stream, my bad. Only 14 hours? Yeah, it's too short. <laughs> Only 14 hours, can't so believe you, it. Are you like, are you like quitting streaming? Is this like you're like easing out of what? streaming? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I can't quit streaming, I'm addicted. Dude, I feel it. No. <laughs> uh, what the hell is it gonna take? I don't even think I use like <gasps> any of my things. Quiet quitting? No, it's oh, loud wait. quitting time. Silo. Use rail cannon strike. I'm thinking very Is it permissible to make a parody of based on the same concepts? I want to create a joke version of Papers, Please. You're asking me a legal question. See, I can't answer <laughs> legal advice as I am not your lawyer. 
You should talk to a lawyer. That is my legal my legal advice is to talk to a lawyer. It's the most responsible advice you can give. Yep. I only get legal advice from streamers. Well, it's like game. when people ask me for mental health advice, I'm like, I'm not a psychiatrist, don't ask me. I'm just an anime girl. Don't ask me these questions. Yeah, I can't give you legal advice because then that opens me up to liability in case it's wrong. And I'm not a lawyer. So it's bad advice anyway. To being too cool. Make them cooler than they should be. What if I became a lawyer, though? And I'd have to use a new excuse. That's why I can't be a lawyer. I want to be like Legal Eagle. Yeah? Yeah. I think he's so cool. He's a pretty cool dude. I'm out! Yeah, he seems like a really cool guy. I use a missile on a normal enemy. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's basically wasted. Oh, oh my god. Oh my something. god. So, what, what are we doing? Are we all gonna go to one thing or are we gonna. We spread out and do the thing. We spread out again, okay. Because we got two of them done last time. Yeah, true, yeah. true. I already pressed the button, so we'll oh, see how this goes, uh, I guess. Uh, Watch out for the mines. That's a lot of mines. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh my god. Oh There's my god. Like so oh my mines. god. Oh my so god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening okay. over there? There's like... Uh, there's Let's double... Get it. I'm there's not gonna be here by myself! Going, there's going like two... So you and I... They'll put out mines in the same spot. Well, I didn't put out mines. I don't even have mines. Oh, well... Requesting sentry. I'm putting out mortars. Oh, and a Tesla oh, tower. What? Go activate another, uh, battery. We got this one super covered. I mean, like I think. Okay. I think uh, our new strat is working. Yeah, that was, actually. I was in an ocean of bugs. An ocean of bug blood, more like. Ugh. Yeah, I think our new strategy is unironically working. That's called democracy. That's called democracy. What's the strat? It's called stay alive and also don't die. And yeah. also, many mines. Like a lot of, lot more than you would think is legal. Alright. First one went down, let's go to the next one. Um, you will never destroy our way of life! I'm gonna mark it. We're going to P1 over there. I'm going to the I went. And I'm bringing a lot of friends. Why is that battery mad? I'm getting the hell out of here. Look at all my friends. <laughs> you have so many friends. Oh, They're here God. to say hello to you. It's too many. Oh. <laughs> you good? Yeah, they're here Just to say don't, hello. Don't break your legs falling down that cliff. My gangles. Is this... He's really confused. Oh wait! Don't worry. I believe. I'm gonna put down a Tesla tower. Don't worry. I'm gonna throw down a rail strike or whatever. Tesla wow, tower is really low cooldown. Calling down a sentry. Um. All right, battery's coming up. Stay away from the Tesla tower when you see it. <clears throat> Am I asked when you get a chance, my my love? Could you just? Uh, re Get some, get some! What? I just fell through the ground. Uh oh. I just. Requesting support Out of ammo. Okay. Get away from my I was, I was distracted by the bile tide, and I didn't notice the 
70 other things on me. Mass, did you hit the mine so I could down, or was there something else that killed you? Well, this sucks. Uh, it was... It was, uh... I don't know what a regret just I, killed I, me I did, with, I but it was something. I did a turn that I wasn't supposed to do. Oh. Yeah, democracy knows no bounds. True. Oh. I, I, I turned the two to the right, and I blew up. I feel like we need to be... Stealthier somehow. I don't know what happened yeah. there, but like half the team imploded instantly. <laughs> well, Mouse and I were doing something else separately, and then we got reinforced the occasion, which is because of the nature of dying in this game. But uh, I love getting my stuff. I love getting my shit wrecked. True. I love getting my shit wrecked. I love getting my shit wrecked. I love getting my shit wrecked. Amen. What oh. the f- Ow, oh, my lost. bones. My life for super. Uh -oh. All right, let's get our, our stuff shut up, and then we'll right. go and start the battery. Like shields, all that fun jazz. I'm gonna just, uh... Okay, I'm gonna just help off. He just tapped me, he just tapped me with his leg. Requesting advanced weaponry! All he did was just tap me with his leg. Alright, I'm starting the battery now. Uh, I'm not even close. How are you not close? What? Because, uh... He tapped me with his leg! A lot of, like, it... Oh, okay. Uh, a lot of... A lot of enemies all spawned at once. And I had to kite them away from where Mouse was spawning, and I'm ready to the battery now, so I'll have it. Do we want to try that again, lighting it up? Because... Oh! God damn it. There's too many bile titans here. Let's go to the other silo. I'm pinging it now. Yeah, go pop that one. You'll likely okay, get I mean, it. I could, I could do that. I could, yeah, I could pop, pop it, pop it, it. Pop I just it. was trying to... I was trying to kill everything pop that it. was here before I pop it. Okay, all right. Do it! Sending in an eagle. Pop the battery! Right, because okay, there's like angel. there's like four bile titans over on this one. Some ridiculous shit. I was shit. hoping I'd die from that fall. Oh. Maps. What? Uh, Jesus. <laughs> so both of these are critically unstable. That's probably bad. Watch out. I didn't get my oh. wish. All right, so okay. we need everybody at the same one, and all of us well, using the stratagems together. That's the issue. Okay. Okay. So, side note, uh, I watched like four, uh, like two charges, and then like four of the bigger bug dudes spawn as. Oh wait. Wait, freeze on. Hello. We just need to activate two. Okay, we just need to do this one. Yeah. All right. It's time to go. Well, um. Let's clear everything first. Out of ammo. Jesus Christ, what's happening? Oh, Ow! oh my God. I'm, I'm tripping. Please, Jesus, help me! Oh my God. Help! I'm gonna just, uh... Help! Why are you back? Please help me! Oh! I'm gonna rail pen that. There's so much shit happening at once. I'm gonna do some mines. I'm really sorry if you got to the mines. <laughs> no, the mines are super effective, honestly. Calling down a sentry. Oh my God! Why is there still shit spawning? What the hell is going on here? Oh, he's being local. Oh, mama mia. I'm out of bullets. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. More bullets. I it just, it hits a point where one of the silos is just this. Yeah, it's super weird. We're not even activating it, and it's still summoning a shitload of dudes. Oh like, yeah. why? Oh, God, I'm not <laughs> oh my shit. 
I don't know why I'm out of stamina, but I'm out of stamina. Kill divers, never die. Oh my god. Heavy west, 50 meters. I need my backpack. I need my man bag. There's a lot of dudes. There's a lot. You got, you got me there. There's a lot of dudes. Give me my thing. Okay, so that's kind of working. I'm not gonna press the button yet. I'll wait. Standing in an eagle. There's a shield pack on the ground over here nice. as well. So rocket pods actually do work on the titans, like, really well. <laughs> Sorry, Candy! No, it's not, it's no one's fault, it's just the ball titan no, just one-shotting me with its vomit. Oh my shit, why are there so many enemies? They just haven't stopped spawning, what the hell? Just need a moment, Mr. Bugs. Just a moment. Requesting sentry. Calling I love sentry. electricity. Oh. <laughs> no, this is this is nuts. They like That's what is? <laughs> I don't even understand what's going on at this point. No, you stupid bio python. Oh. What the living hell, man? Are you chanting a spell? Me? It sounds like you are. I was just like, if if anyone has a chance to reinforce me, would it be if I just? All right. So. There's an infinite number of Bile Titans here. I think we just need to pull them away. Don't you worry. I'm about to do magic. I believe. Because we got 27 minutes to solve this problem. you do magic on the place where I just spawned? Reinforcing! Now, maybe. Did you die? No. Okay, then no. Dude, it's always the silo that, like, it's the it's silo the that I'm silo. like, this will be my one that I'm going to do. I... <laughs> so what you're saying is your curse. Mm. I am, yes. I should just not be a silo. If I'm not I assigned to the silo, I just there's no problem. I scratched my nose. I scratched my problem. nose. All I did was just scratch my nose. Oh, oh. nose removed. Not very democratic of you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Why am I rolling like this? What the hell? What is that range, dude? Oh my god. Sniper <laughs> Titan. Help! It's flashing me! Get a hobby! Got it. God, I feel like I'm a develop a better relationship with your parents. Sorry. Go on. The Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. Oh god. Oh, because it's slime. Yeah, it's a Sending in an eagle. Oh. Alright, All right. Was... well. That's a thing, I guess. Why are there so many Bible 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 Titans? Real. They never taught us to swim, chat. <laughs> they never taught us. Why Wait, I'm, I'm not dead. Why am I not dead? That was weird. You are alive. You summoned me? Why would you be dead? Did you fall in the water? I did. How am I not yeah, dead? Yeah, that happened to me. I like... I, I was dead but alive at the same time. Yeah, I'm dead but alive. <laughs> I can hear a heartbeat, but I'm seeing you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it won't kill me. Oh. I bugged. If somebody could come over here and shoot me, that'd be great. I'm just... Drowned but not dead. Showing you mercy. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't known a moment's peace. 
I please got picked up by a charger slammed into a mine. Like please, some, someone end me, please. I'm, I'm <laughs> trapped in this pit I of water. I love to. mercy to you. No, I'm, I'm literally at one HP and it won't kill me. I'm drowned to death, but it won't. It doesn't work. Well, I think you're gonna get murdered by somebody else. Yeah, look. No, I can't <laughs> be murdered. Like, I'm unmurderable. The bugs are even trying to get me. Thank you. Thank God. Wow. <laughs> mercy. Insane oh to me. What a game, I only took the samples, though. I mean, like, you know, can't be helped, but... <laughs> What a terrible bug. Mm. I don't feel like it was like that bugs. the other day, too. That feels new. <laughs> Wait, are we not supposed to be up here? <laughs> Where are we, though? Where are we? Well, this seems fine. I don't know if I would... I don't know. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna stay up here. Okay. Be safe. It's gonna pop all these ticks, you know? Yeah. They're big and gross. So you see this orange bullshit? This is the reason this is a problem, by the way. What's happening is they're summoning more and more and more ads. Just like an infinite number of them. And those enemies can then summon ads, and then those enemies can then... There's no end to it. So you just have this, like, never-ending amount of ads. I'm begging you, Ball Titan. Go Back away. Woo, woo, woo. I can just get this one. Yes. Okay, okay. I think All we've right. gotten it. I think we got it. Let's head back oh. over there and we'll go do the site. I'm, I'm, I'm at the location. There is no bugs that I can. S There's one bug. Wait for us to I'm, get set up. Yeah. Don't do this to me. Die. What kind of bug is it? Oh, it's just a, one of those the, the nursing spewal things. The big orange one. So the backpacks over here. There, yeah. <laughs> Requesting sentry. All right, <laughs> come get over here, guys. Like seriously, Requesting come on over. Attack. It's time. We need everybody oh, together. Over. We need everybody together. Everybody down here. Ruku, come on. On my position. Um. Oh no, don't carry it to me! No. It'll shoot to where you originally stuck it, which is oh. definitely a bug, by the way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, I'm just gonna activate it. Get all your stuff out. Get your summons up. Everything you got. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna rotate around to the other God side that we have. Dude, the ground is so fucked up from all the bombs. <laughs> what? What? We are gone. Daddy! I'm sorry. What? Aruku just killed us all somehow. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. Okay, no pressure. Aruku has joined the bugs. Okay. Hey, um, there's a chance that you're going to win this run. Because they're not really attacking the silo. They're mostly Rick. just chasing you. Oh, no, they're attacking the silo now. I Look how oh. Uh oh. How did you not die to that mine? That is a mystery. Australian. Look how destroyed the this ground is. Uh -oh. Um, I want to just... Okay. Hmm. This is it. This is your moment. Uh, 
All right. Reinforcing. Really hope that's not okay. Who's it gonna be? Oh God, it's me! Oh. Why me? It's like not good. I brought you off to a dark place. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it's always the last silo in this map, man. It doesn't feel right. It feels completely ridiculous. What the flying? Oh, thank you for all the nice messages in chat. You're awesome, dude. I feel like. Yeah, I actually feel like the spawns on this one are overtuned. I really do. It's really uh, how weird. How am I alive? I have no idea. Are you invulnerable or some shit? Because you've walked over old. mines, too. Because she's Australian. Yeah, it's that Australian. Uh, hit the battery, hit the battery, hit the battery. You're right there. Hit the battery, hit the battery. Yeah, I'm gonna just spawn more enemies. Maybe I- okay, no. Okay, I mean, it's, not I like, it's not like it matters, right? It's not like there's somehow less enemies that would possibly happen in this run. <laughs> oh god! Dude, what is even happening? Holy that was, shit! That was really kind of cool. I really hope that was the, wasn't the ball time that died. Great. No, there was one of them died. You actually killed one of the titans. Uh, there's just two. Holy shit. Oh, there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm acided. You finally took damage. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, I'm on the ground. Okay. Uh. Okay. Nice. Oh, I, I fucking blow You can reinforce. You can reinforce. Okay. Uh, yeah. Get another one of us up. You're doing it, Kenny. You're doing it. Dude, I have no idea how you're even alive. This is wild shit. I'm just gaming. Please stab myself, please. Please, Gamer. please. Aruku, it's all up to you. Your team kill skills are unmatched. Uh, yeah, dude. Candy carry, true. Always. He's crap. I have no bullets. You don't need bullets. Yeah. Actually, maybe it's good I died a lot of times. Yeah, it's probably good. Because I scattered a bunch of breakers. Uh... Oh, you thought that... Hit the battery, hit the battery. Oh, jeez. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, what is even <laughs> happening? <laughs> oh, God. No stims, you, you're so out of stims. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> Wait a minute, Aruka, run. Honestly, I feel like it's good that I died. They're That's not like attacking it. the silo. It's staying at stable. Oh. Smart. Run to extraction. Yeah, run to extraction. You'll actually be able to extract. Because oh, it doesn't look like it's ending. Yeah, don't go near a battery. That would be crazy. Extraction. Because you still have to activate it again. Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Stop running into the corners and run to extraction, you goblin. What's the matter with you? They're trolling, they're trolling. 100% trolling. Okay, this will be. This will be ethal. Yeah. Aruku, summon. I have no idea how I should Oh my god, alive. summon. Dude, summon. Calling in reinforcements. I don't know I don't know what's happening here. Pikachu just, now! I, I definitely not that I disagreed before, but definitely bugged, right? Request like 
Yeah, something's, something's fishy about something's, something's wrong with this map. Is. Yeah. Point me to the enemy. Dropping a pin. East, 200 meters. No more bug. Oh my god, this map is so fun. No, it's crazy, dude. But also the thing of like once you kill enough, it hits a point where they just stop spawning because now there's like nothing happening, or like less it, happening. It's right? either that or there's something else going on with this because like something's straight up broken, man. Like now, look at this. Now there's a shitload of dudes. Last time we did extraction, there was no dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's mines everywhere. Right. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the Bile Titan should have more sensitive legs. I'll say it. Because they've been so big and spindly. I feel like the Bile Titan shouldn't be every other monster. You know? Mm, yeah. Oh god. Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Who let well, real quick? <laughs> they were stuck to my shield, I think. You did stick to your shield, yeah. Can't take it off. Well, we actually technically won, so. Oh god, not me! Hey guys! Oh wait, no, it's you, Mouse. Oh! Oh no! You just gotta extract, no, 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 Mouse. I mean, look at all your friends that are here. There's a lot of legs around, you know? Oh god. They got a good amount of legs. So many legs. There's some extraction for you. That's good, right? Oh, stratagem. Yeah. Ah! A bunch of bugs around. It's just fine. Everything is fine. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I think this mission is, like, legit super buggy. It feels Ooh. real weird. Hopefully they iron out the issues over time, and they bring it back, you know? Yeah. Well, maybe that's why they put it into rotation, and they the intent of making it short lived. Maybe? It's like a storyline mission, though, so I'm not really sure, but we won, technically. Mm. Yeah. Oh, right, because you mentioned, like, permanently getting them out of the system, so the idea is that, like, you activate the towers, you know? Yeah. See, that kind oh of a win God. doesn't feel right, you know? Because it, yeah. it was, like, just broken. But we won. But we did it! We won. We got our medals. We did it. It's like playing with your dead body. It's just kicking you around. He's just stomping me. He's tap dancing on my grave. Oh man, everybody who voted for all Helldivers Extract get wrecked. Now that's points gone. <laughs> points gone. Uh, points gone. Holy moly. Damn, Aruku, number one in friendly fire. Proud of you. Welcome you don't get a hug. Diver. You don't get a hug. You now murdered me. The and you're also gone? vibrating. Erratic. Why is he? Why are they vibrating? I don't know. I don't know why. It freaks me out. Oh wait, there's actually this is. I do this. Wait, mouse, come here. <laughs> How fucked up is that? Like, going to hug someone and they usually pull away. Up. It's pretty fucked up. I won't pull away this time. You also like, if you like spam Z, you like stroke their back. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine this is your balls. Bam! And I just go higher. Oh, is, it, is that what's happening now? <laughs> there is All right. One <laughs> <laughs> everybody hugging oh. now. Everybody's all the happy family. 
Oh well, yeah, always. Well, we've done always. it. We've done, done it. it. We did we've, democracy. We've, we've done back. democracy. We did it. And that was it. Well, you go to bed now, Mouse? Yeah, I'm going to bed now. It's bedtime. All the way to bed. No okay. more democracy. Okay. <laughs> well, it was fun playing with you guys. Yeah, yeah it was fun playing with you. Never have any fun. Nice to meet. Nice to meet nice you to too. Hang off mouse. Add, add me on nice. the internet, and then we can play it. Yeah. We'll yeah. play more. Hell I've yeah. earned the right. I've I've earned it. I've proven myself loyal and and democratical. Democratical. Is democratical a word? It feels it like now. a word. Yeah, it is now. You've created. You really want a hug? You are a wordsmith now. It's just fiber. I just know where to find you. <laughs> Look at him. Look how cursed he is. I didn't want to hug him because I thought I'd catch whatever he's got. You know. Oh God. Like, look at him. I, I don't want that. Whatever that is, I don't want that. Ally has left squadron. Well. It makes my PC lock up. No. <laughs> now I can turn right. off display capture. I feel safe now. You're yeah. safe now. I can't do anything that Buff's going to be stressed about. Excellent. Um, I'm going to head out, but it was nice hanging out with you guys. Have a yeah, lovely time a sleeping. Time. And I'm guessing based on your schedule, you're going to be still going for a while yet. Is that correct, Thor? Five more hours, yes. Yes, excellent. Woo. All right, then. Boom. Okay. I shall leave you to it, then. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. See you guys. Goodbye. Bye. All right, there we go. And now we have the queue to go to. More of the queue. Always fun to do, man. Let me go update the uh, stream. Make sure that we're back in the right category and everything. And we should be good to go. And of course, the API is not working and not setting our category back through software and game development. So I got to do it manually. Ugh. The queue. All right, let's see. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. All right. I think we're good. I think it's good. We're not growing the debt. Lane Striker with 500 there, you know? bits said, Hey Thor, I've been hooked on your streams lately, applying some of your methods to help me get into writing again. Thanks for being you. P.S. Grats on the house. Hope Henry is fowing well. Yeah, no, Henry's doing really, really well. Um, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy. He's, he's still wiggly, and he runs very, very fast all the time. I, I'm worried he's got permanent neurological damage, but we don't know yet. You know, he's doing okay. Doing okay. As the house stuff, we own the house. The house is done. Uh, I just have to work on it. So I've got some stuff going forward. I think it's Monday. I'm going to have a meeting with the ISP, and we're going to start the process of building everything. So, yeah. Henry's one of the ferrets, yeah. Let's see. Wait, what? We have another version of Pirate Core, Jig? Okay. Let me go update to that. Oh, wow, yeah, you put out a bunch of shit. I was actually in the middle of doing that earlier today. I'd already updated. You didn't account for Jigsaws, did you? Yeah, no, Jigsaws do not. <laughs> do you have to update it again? Or are you good? 
Did you already do it? Yeah, jigsaws do not use entity spawn event. They do their own shit. It's really annoying. Okay, we're going to update to Pirate Core 1 to 100. Why, hello, Iron Mouse. Thank you for the raid. That is a massive raid. You are awesome as hell. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Nice to see you. That was fun playing together. Do love hell diving. I'm updating our block game server. Jake made some good up edits. I need to go make Pirate Core updated. Bongos, chat. A billion bongos. Bongos them. This is the way. The infinite bongos. Now I have to open Java. Uh. You don't have bongos? So sad. I do believe that's a skill issue. It's true. Yeah. Unfortunate, I know. I know. Thank you all very much, and thank you, Mouse. I hope you have a good sleep. 14-hour stream is nothing nothing to scoff at, man. It's a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot. I have to burn the queue. But also... I need to compile this Java, which is gross. The horror, I know. Deeply horrifying. Does this guy sleep? Yeah. I sleep five hours a day. I work 16 hours a day, I have 3 hours of free time, and then I sleep for 5 hours, and I do it every day. Do you sleep? El Jefe? Hmm? Hmm? Good name, by the way. Sleeping is for nerds? Well, I'm a giant nerd, then. That's right. How do you survive on five hours? Uh, I'm a mutant. That's- that's pretty much it. That's the entire thing. I'm just a mutant. It's my normal operating procedure. It's five hours. You need seven or early death coming? Listen here, chat MD. No, I don't, because I talked to my doctor about it. We did a sleep study on me, and I'm just fine. Alright, let's see. That's finished. Core is updated. We've got Pirate Booty, which is a good name for a plugin, by the way. Data downloads. Jake is. Do you think this might be it? The final update before we work on Neath? Could it be? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Server is now restarting. Should fix all these problems. I would like to know your cortisol levels. Why? Unhealthy does not equal unhappy? It wasn't about happiness. My doctor knows more than you, is basically how that works. Because you're Chad MD. Chad MD is not correct. I don't take my medical advice from the, the randomness of the internet. I take my medical advice from, amazingly, my own doctor. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he knows more than you. Yeah. Surprising, I know. Classic Chad MD. Yeah, classic chat MD, dude. But no, we did a sleep study on me. We found that I drop into REM sleep really fast. That's about it. It's about 15 to 30 minutes and I drop into REM sleep. Yeah. So I just don't need that much sleep. That's all. Yep. It's why I can take like quick one or two hour naps and just be up for like another six, seven hours. Same shit. I'm not a doctor, but I wish I was. Go to school. Become a doctor. Yeah, I've, I've had this same work and sleep schedule most of my life. 
That's that's it. Now you take shrooms? No, I don't. I don't take any type of hallucinogenics or drugs of any kind. I don't even drink coffee. I don't have energy drinks. I don't do any of that shit. And the reason why, to be honest with you, is because I can get through my day the way that I am just fine. And if I add extra stuff to it, then it's a problem. You do take sugar, though? No. I, I cut sugar almost entirely out of my diet. And by doing that, I lost 80 pounds. I used to be 265 pounds. No intoxicants, but you've been taking copium your whole life? Listen here, Rat Lord. You're the one who's on copium. That's right. Rat Lord. Not even tea? Not really. Sometimes I will with like a... I, I had a fixation on Arnold Palmer's recently. I had like four of them and that was it. And I haven't had one since. I don't really drink tea very often. If I do drink tea, it's usually dandelion root tea. And I grow my own dandelions to get the dandelion root. Because I like the taste of it. That's nice. But... Outside of that, not really. One guide? You know every one of you is one guy, right? You, you know that, right? And I read the chat all day. There are thousands of one guys in this chat. Yeah. Singular dudes. Each. Yeah. Yeah. Not a hive mind. Unless you're trying to chat MD. Then you're probably a hive mind. I'm an idea guy? No. I don't know about that. You're one guy? You are. Each of you a single cell in the creation that is Chet. The horrible creature, whatever it is. The, the singular goblin. Each of you makes up the one goblin. There it is. You're going weed? No. Don't do weed either. I don't do drugs, man. Just don't. Like, think about it this way, right? So let's, let's think about this for a second. My schedule is 16 hours of work, three hours of free time. About half of that is actually used for the ferrets, for the ferret rescue, and then five hours of sleep. If I were to add any other type of variable to this, I may not be able to do this. So because of that, I just don't add any other variables. And then I get to do this every day. That's it. There's no reason for it, right? <laughs> Completely unrelated, but what's your father's maiden name? Oh. When my father was but a young maiden, you know. Yeah. I'd have to ask him. Yeah. You're a workaholic, Odin? I like it. Feels good to me. Do you not get burnt out? No. No. Um, the reason why... Here's, here's a good example of burnout. One of the biggest causes of burnout is not seeing the impact of your work. Seeing the impact of your work is huge because you know that you're making a difference. You know that it matters. Every single day, you guys send me thousands of emails, messages, Discord, DMs, all this kind of shit saying how the things that I do on the Internet have changed your lives. That there's no burnout anymore. It doesn't exist. It's because of that. Legitimately. You see too much impact? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Hi, Bezos. By the way, I wait for ads, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom, because I was hell diving super hard. So, BRB.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, server's back, but no one whitelist. Yep, we gotta test some shit. All right, let's see. It's not an oil change, you goblin. Okay, that's good. Looks like everything's working, Jake. Thor is reborn and thus it's his birthday. No, no, it's not my birthday. It's a curse to Minecraft window. True. Had your scrum meeting go? How dare you. How dare you. Scrum. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. Oh, you bastards. All right, white loose is off. You guys are good to go. This is good. Get some bug report stuff from Jake. So Jake, I'm pretty interested in this bug. Fixed a bug preventing players from interacting with mobs in Murkheim? What happened there? Like, I'm super interested in what's going on there. As soon as a bop, all this music is from our game Heartbound. All of it is. Yeah. When did you announce your BD in the title? It's not my birthday. How dare you. How dare you? Yeah, I'm interested, because I didn't even know there was a bug going on with that. Hi, everybody thinking all the... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So all the monsters in the game... thought that they were chests... and then no one could fight them. <laughs> Okay. I just wanted to get that right. It's fun. You can fight them, but you can't right-click them. Okay. You know, I, I feel like the server's likely going to be a lot faster now. Because they don't think they're all chests now. You know what I mean? I feel like that's probably going to be good for the server overall. Is that, is that new monsters don't think they're chests? I think so. I mean, it's probably good for the server that they don't feel that way anymore. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Weird. Very weird. Technically true, all mobs contain loot. No, in this case, they were actually thinking they were chests and prevented people from right-clicking on them. So it's legitimately even beyond that. It was implementing lootable incorrectly in a weird way. Yeah. Is the Heartbound soundtrack available on Spotify? No, it's available on Steam or on YouTube. Well, chest of meat and bone? True. True. Do banners work? They always have. Nothing wrong with banners. Is available on LimeWare? Maybe. Why YouTube and not Spotify? To get on Spotify, you have to go through a publisher, and <clears throat> there's going to be at least one person in chat that says, Use DistroKid. DistroKid is still a publisher. Even though you're self-publishing, you're still giving the rights to the publisher, which is acting as you. 
And I just don't want to do it again. We did it the first time. It was an absolute goddamn mess. The publisher we went through was very well known inside of the indie scene and decided not to pay us. It was a mess, like a really bad mess. We had to fight them on it, and they um, they eventually ended up paying us out. And then we we told them we want all of our shit back, and we took it all back, and we've never worked with anyone ever again. We fully self-publish everything that we do, and because of that, we never have a problem. We own everything. We like. Uh, I'll give you an example of this, right? Let's let's go pull this up. We'll grab Heartbound. We'll go over here. Heartbound's fully self-published, but also this. We have a hundred songs in the OST. It's massive, right? You know, I played I played some uh, Helldivers with uh, Mouse and a friend. It was fun. It was really fun. So that's why we don't have very many TTSs done. So we have a hundred songs in the OST. It's three and a half hours of music. But this right here, this is because we don't have a publisher. As long as you are not directly re-uploading the music with no other content, you are free to use the songs in this OST in any videos or streams, whether they are monetized or not. I'm the one who files the DMCAs. I do that myself. We have, I have no problems with this. Go and use this in your YouTube videos. Go and use this in your streams and the background music. I'll never come after you. And because we don't go through a publisher, we don't have to deal with another layer of bullshit when it comes to that. We don't have to deal with any publisher running off and trying to do this shit because they also technically have the rights to things. At all. Yeah. That's a huge deal for me. Incredibly important. I was telling Doig that the other day. Oh yeah, Doig and Swift are good friends of mine. They know. They super know. Is every track running in these streams? Not every track. Uh, many of the tracks that you hear in the stream are, or many of the tracks that are missing from the stream are ones that are like kind of creepier music. So like these, a fond memory versions are not in there some of the more and in, super intense stuff is not in there it's all kind of things may I clip this do you clip whatever you want giving back to the community who support happily that's actually my entire thing so if you if you look at this let me go pull this up i make a website called develop.games the only thing it has on is my stream so you can just mute that whatever um this is a website to teach you how to make video games there's no ads there's no paywall there's no, nothing stopping you it's as much information that i have gleaned over my 20 years in the industry for you i also run game jams as well so if we go to the last game gym we're actually in the process of giving out the winnings to the three winning teams which is thirty thousand dollars in total between them uh, the prizes were $100 for the Steam upload fee, professional license of Game Maker for each member of the team, Ashes of Creation Alpha 2 key for each member of the team, Pirate Software Game Jam Laurel to display on your game publicly, and then access to the Game Jam winners' channels on our Discord. So a lot of shit. I'm actually giving out the, the uh, Game Maker Studio stuff today, so that'll be a thing, unless they've already done it. They may have already done it. Yeah. So, like, this is a whole thing for me, is my entire existence on the internet is to give you as much information as possible so you can make your own decisions and try your own stuff and have fun with that, right? That's, that's the whole point, is to teach you to, to go and do it without costing you any money. And because of that, people support the shit out of me on the internet. That's the whole thing. I already get paid from you. From people in the community supporting me in doing this, I don't have to worry about putting paywalls and all that shit on top of everything. It doesn't, it's, it's not necessary. E even the ad revenue of just people being here is enormous and helps me do all of the things that I do. So thank you for being here. Even if you're just, if you're lurking, you're wonderful. 100%. In fact, in terms of like lurking on shit, let me show you this. We took that to kind of like the next level on stuff. Let me grab this. This is our ferret rescue called Ferret Software. It's actually called Snail's House, but the channel is Ferret Software. And, um... We actually rescue ferrets from around Washington State. We're building a facility right now. We're starting to we're starting the process to build it, hopefully over this year, where we're going to go from 35 ferrets, which is what we're at now, to 100 ferrets. Yeah, this is us. This is us, man. So if you look down here, look at that. They're so cute. And I don't have all the images up. I'm going to add the rest of them. And if we go into here, you can actually see what it looks like because they have the entire room to themselves. The new room is bigger, by the way. It's a larger room in the new place. Ooh, I need to find a place. There we go. So the whole room is theirs. The entire room is theirs. And they get to go absolutely wild and have fun and do everything that they want to do. And we give them a bunch of different toys and different, like, kind of, you know, play areas. And they come up with different things that they can do. Look at this, fighting in the tubes and everything. Yeah. And this is a big part of their enrichment, right? Making sure that they get to have the best possible lives. And they're... 
a lot of them have like serious medical issues. So we handle all that stuff. So I do all the research for nutrition and new treatment stuff. Shay is actually an exotic vet assistant. So Shay knows how to do all the medical and handles all the medical stuff. And um, we just, you know, we get to play with them all the time. We get to have a lot of fun with them. And I think, I think it's a really fulfilling part of what I do on the internet. The, the cool thing is this. Most rescues run off of people throwing bits or subs or donations. You don't have to do that. In fact, the whole thing runs off of ad revenue. So ads can actually do something that doesn't suck ass for once. <laughs> like, there's 889 people watching the channel right now. All of this is paid for by ads. All of it. If you if you watch the channel, you're directly supporting the studio. 100%. What do you do when they run off to a corner and dookie on the floor? We clean it up. They poop on the walls all the time. They're ferrets, man. Ferrets are like poop machine guns. That's what they love to do. They love pooping, right? But yeah, no, this is this is like a normal thing. It's it's making ads not suck. The other thing that I do is over here on, on this side is you'll see this pop up. If you see this, it means there's ads going on on this channel, and I pause. So if you are not subbed or anything like that, or you, you get ads, you're not missing anything. We just wait. It gives me a moment to just kind of chill out. It gives the community time to wait for the people who get left behind. So you won't lose anything. Yeah, large Bezos arrives there. When ads in progress, dude, I gotta get that updated. I swear to God. Poop on the wall is better than secret poops they had from you, dude. Let me tell you, the worst kind of poop is from where is he? Little hot dog over here. He's he has no fur, and he runs across the room while shitting. And it's no secret. It's just running and shitting, and it's he has the worst possible poops. So it's just like a liquid cannon while running, dude. And he has no fur, so it's like a naked... It's like a hot dog taking a shit. It is the scariest thing. It's, it's grim. All of it's just grim. It's the worst. It is the worst, dude. It is horrific. Dear Lord, I'm trying to eat. I'm hoping you're not eating hot dogs, right? Because if you, if you were, then you're not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The worst? Glad you caught that. <laughs> the strafing run, yeah. K oh, wait, there's one more thing. K0J3Y with 50 euros said, Hey Thor, ah. I just quit my job because I couldn't watch the BS anymore. Okay. I work in a medical lab, so mistakes have potential devastating outcomes. Yeah. How do you deal with people that just don't care and half everything when there are no consequences? There's always consequences. The thing is, is if you half-ass your life, dude, the consequences are largely going to be your own. Other people may get irritated. Other people may get mad, right? But if it's in a non-damaging way to other people, you're just damaging yourself. In a situation like that in medical, if somebody is really screwing up, other people's lives are on the line. At that point, I just report the shit out of it, dude. If somebody's screwing up that bad and it, it could endanger somebody else's life, it's just reporting time. You go to HR, you go to management, you talk about it. And if it comes to the point where they just don't listen with that, that's when I seek other employment, frankly. and Because you can only do what you can do. You can't control every other variable. You can't stop people from being dumbasses. The best you can do is report, try to fix, and if it becomes too much of a hassle, too much of a big deal, or they're not listening to that, you find somewhere else where it might be better for you. It's easy to fall out of love with the work that you do. It's easy to fall out of love with that when it's not the work's fault, right? So your work, which is the thing that you actually do for a job, is different from your job. In this case, you hate your job, 100%. You don't like what the people are doing there. You don't like the working conditions, all that. That's part of the job. So you can get the same job somewhere else doing the same work, with different conditions, right? I would start looking somewhere else, legitimately. If you have a situation like that, you just can't fix it. Sometimes you can't. Can I have your ban now? Tired of your poop channel? No. You won't have my ban. That's right. You get nothing. You get nothing. You get to deal with the poops in this channel forever. You're one of them. It's true. It's true. But there's one more piece. There's one more piece. On Answered TTS in the Discord, every time you guys throw a donation of 500 bits or higher or a super chat, it goes into this queue. And I can see all of them. I have a lot of them to get through. Right now we have 84 of them to finish, right? With that in mind, I likely won't finish this before the end of the stream. I'll do as many as I possibly can. 
as they get finished, they go into this channel with the name, the message, and a timestamp going to where that person's question was answered. However, if I don't answer it, it goes into debt. Because we actually calculate the cost that you put in, the money that you put in, and that goes into here because I don't deserve it because I actually didn't work for it, right? That debt gets paid off to charity. You can see here we did $7,500 for this last one. And that was to the Ferret Dreams Rescue and Adoption Agency. And the next one is... Pro I, I need to talk to the Godot Foundation to find out where it's going to go. It's going to go to the Godot Foundation, is the idea. We're going to do $7,777 to the Godot Foundation, and that should be a big thing because we have $8,516 in there right now. So, if you do that, and I don't answer your question, it is not wasted. I don't keep it. I'm not ripping you off. And all of it's completely transparent and automated. Next. I will AJ try to Lancaster as many as possible. 500 bits said Yard Cheer 500 Doritos are a fruit snack. Corn is a fruit. So a corn tortilla is a fruit roll up, which means Doritos are, in fact, a fruit snack. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Troy Tech with 500 yeah. bits said, Brace yourself him using all 500 characters. At this point, you laugh oh at the mere mention of feisty Latina Ola Thor. Would you help Iron Mouse with making a game? Yeah. Just remember now that she's back in the atmosphere with drops of Jupiter in her hair. Hey, 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 hey. so I saw two seagulls fighting over a milkshake, but hey, that's two birds, one cup. Don't forget, even white no. boys got to shout, baby, got no, back. No, no. I have studied martial arts. The most useful skill ever. What is your favorite romantic song? My favorite romantic song. I don't know if it's romantic. High voltage, electric six, done. <laughs> We're gonna do that one. We're gonna do that one, there we go. That's pretty romantic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, when we touch, when we kiss, it's good. That's a romantic song. Electric six is beast, dude. Love that shit. Dark Rager Fire with 500 bits said I started trying liquid death cause of you in my quest to stop drinking soda. It nice. still tastes funky, but I'm toughing it out to take my taste buds back from Mountain Dew. So thanks. I look forward to veggies and fruits tasting better to LMAO. So if you like if you like Mountain Dew, um, if you like Sprite, that's another one, and you want to kind of wean yourself off of sugar, try the lime version of, of liquid death because it's... It's probably the best tasting one there. The Arnold Palmer ones are also really good. And they only have like six grams of sugar for this gigantic can when a soda is usually like 40 to 60 grams of sugar, right? So it's a pretty massive difference for you, especially by volume if you just keep drinking the damn things. But they're good. What's Liquid Death? It's a water company where they do like flavored waters, right? But they just have cool cans. And the reason they do that is so like if you are at the club and your buddies are drinking beers and you are the designated driver, you can actually drink a liquid death and it just looks neat right you don't need to do that it's some people like them i think they're fun it's a fun thing right yeah severed lime is good it's called severed lime it's good shit they got a ton of flavors now they have a ton of flavors if you're just drinking the basic like it's water it's not very good they have a shitload of flavors spindrift is good bubbly is good all kinds of different stuff they don't have to be that expensive frankly yeah marketing wins again it's a little bit of marketing but they actually taste nice that's the thing like I don't like heavy sugar in my drinks because I, I quit sugar a long time ago and I lost 80 pounds. So, yeah. Mango chainsaw. I don't like the mango. Is it an ad? No. No. If, if, if I was sponsored for something, legally I have to disclose that to you. I'm not sponsored. I just drank that stuff. It's good, man. Yeah. I'm allowed to just be like, this doesn't suck. You know, because <laughs> it doesn't suck. I quit sugar? Lol. No, I did. I, I actually used to drink soda every day. I'd have multiple, like, Dr. Peppers and shit every day. And I quit doing that. I lost 80 pounds. I used to be 265 pounds. I'm down to about 180 now. Um, like 175 to 180, somewhere in there. And I feel fantastic. And it's been years, so it's not like a, an easy thing. It's not like a like a simple thing. It changed. It didn't change overnight. And I'm not going to put it back on because it's just kind of how it is, right? Yeah, you're allowed to like things for real. I am allowed to like things for real. Yeah, amazing, right? I don't drink soda. I don't drink soda at all. No reason for it. 
So did addiction's a real struggle. I quit three months ago. Feel much better. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me, and this is, this was a weird one for me. I always thought cucumber was like wet cardboard. I thought it was just a texture. And when when I finally stopped sugar, I noticed that cucumber was sweet. It was actually like sweet tasting. And I was like, that's weird. And it took like a month of no sugar to do this, to like cut out all this sugary diet shit from me. And when I tasted it, I was like, this is really sweet. This is really nice. And then I immediately was like trying new foods and like trying different things that felt, you know, tasty now because it was different flavored. And it changed my entire diet automatically. I didn't adopt a diet and force myself into it. I just started eating stuff that was good tasting and it was totally different stuff. And my, you know, I just lost a shitload of weight. Have you tried salt on dark chocolate? Yeah, salt on dark chocolate's really good. Salted dark chocolate's great, man. Love that shit. Yeah, love that shit. So the game that I normally work on is actually called Heartbound. Go pull it up. And I got some stuff to do on that today. So we got Heartbound stuff to make. This is the game that I work on. We're sitting at 96% positive reviews out of 1,626 reviews. And the game is in early access. I've been working on it for years. And it is a chooser and adventure RPG with thousands of routes. Absolutely immense amount of routes. Someone put salt in chocolate milk? That's grim. I don't know about that one, dude. Yeah. Had a dono? I don't know. Throw bits? <laughs> Ending right. she with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 dear citizen. Thank you for reporting your bug problem on Twitter. We are deploying the orbital cannon soon. And remember oh. chat bugs don't fly. It's a lie. Mmm, I think bugs do fly. I think they do. I've seen flying bugs. I've seen them. They're definitely out there. What about salted black licorice? I love it. I have salted black licorice all the time. Uh, some of our, our glorious Finnish community have sent me black licorice over the years, and uh, San Page actually sent me a huge package of it. It's awesome as hell. I love salted black licorice. Always have. Yeah, let's see. Add ginger to peppered beef. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I use ginger a lot, man. I use ginger and kimchi and all kinds of stuff. All kinds of different flavorings for things. You know, you could die from eating too much of it. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah. Kimchi is a good inside. I make my own homemade kimchi. I've been doing it for years. I was, uh, I learned how to make a lot of fermented K Korean food when I was young because I was dating this Vietnamese girl and her family taught me how to make a ton of stuff like Korean food, Vietnamese food, all kinds of things. And it was, I've just had it forever. I love the hell out of it, man. I love the hell out of it. I eat mostly Asian food diet, mostly. Because I just like it. It's just really nice. Is Costco worth it? Depends. Depends on what you're doing. Uh, buying in bulk is a really good thing for savings, though. Love sauerkraut and kimchi. Love them both, too. Agree. <laughs> same here, Panda Express. Eh, I don't know if that's the same there. Thor dates girls. Whoa. Do you garden? What do you grow? So, I actually grow mushrooms. So, I grow uh, lion's mane mushroom, shiitake mushroom, oyster mushroom, and reishi mushroom. When I get to the new house, I'm going to be building a new shed to do that. Yeah. I'm super excited for it. New mushroom shin. Magic mushrooms? No. None of that. Just food. Lion's mane is fantastic. I love lion's mane. Yeah, do you want to see? Yeah, let me show you something. I'll show you some of my food. Now understand something, chat. You can't show this image to anybody else, alright? This is a secret. And if I show this to you, Twitch and YouTube may ban me, if anyone tells, all right? We good? We good? It's my tasteful nudes folder. I mean, look at it. They're just so tasteful, right? Yeah. There you go. So this is this is an example of what I like to make my, for myself. Um, it's kind of my, like, lunch. Homemade kimchi, uh, homegrown bok choy, homegrown oyster mushrooms in this case, and then whatever else I want to add into it, frankly. 
It's really, really nice. Yeah. I found something kind of funny. If you look at this orange over here, it's kind of weird. If you take a slice of shitty American cheese, American cheese is not cheese, it's like oil, right? It makes a great soup base because it's oil. So just throw one in and it's simple. This whole thing cost me about a buck twenty to make. Yeah. Do you have a greenhouse? Nope. No greenhouse. I want to make one though, to be honest with you. I want to make a greenhouse in the new place. Yeah. Really want to. You can, You should make a cookbook? Maybe I will. I've been thinking about it. What news you use? I actually just get shitty ramen packets from the store. I just don't use their seasoning packet, because the seasoning packet's not very good. Right? American cheese is cheese. Craft singles are oil. It's craft American cheese. It's the same shit. American cheese. Eat your government cheese. What do you use for seasoning instead of the packet? What you see. I don't add anything extra to that. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of um, poison sauce and and like spice paste. So maybe some gochujang, stuff like that. Maybe I use maji. Depends on what I want that day, right? We got ads, we're gonna wait. The soup base is those, whatever I want it to be. Sometimes it's miso, too. Hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce. When is the next cooking collab? I don't know. Ask Onigiri, dude. Yeah, poison sauce, dude. I built up a tolerance for it. Yeah, over time. By having small amounts of poison sauce. You figured it out. Literal goblins, everyone here. Oh, Jake found another bug. Jake found another bug. God damn it. I have to reopen the Java. For a substitute for cheese bread instead of beer, what do you use? Milk. Yeah, whole milk will do it just fine. You actually get a lot more springy dough out of that as well. Uh, beer is just good for other people. They really like the flavor. I can't generally do it because I'm allergic to hops. And if I do it, I have to use beer that doesn't use hops, which is normal, right? Totally fine. The beer and the milk are really just there to create a food for the yeast. Oh. I need to shut down the server. Yeah, it's a really nasty bug. Jake is fixing it. It's not good. Everyone's talent points are going to get reset. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I had to kick everyone off. What is the server or custom Minecraft server? Yeah. Not a database issue. It's, um... So, what this is... This is going to be pretty funny. I think Minecraft sucks. That's... That's what this is. I, I, I played Minecraft for the first time like two years ago. I thought it was boring. I didn't think there was a lot to it. And the reason why is because it lacked objectives. So I set about making an MMO in Minecraft using Minecraft as the engine. People told me it wasn't possible and it couldn't be done all server side. And I called them dumb. And now we have an MMO built entirely server side. Jake and Little Ham and myself work on it together. Little Ham does moderation. Uh, Jake does programming, and I do programming and design. Between the three of us, we we build the whole thing, and, well, here it is. There's actually, like, an entire profile with your character with all your statistics on it. It's got defensive stats, offensive stats, professions with all these different skills and stats. All the monsters are custom. All the item drops are custom. There's dungeons. There's all kinds of different things, man. No, it's not like Windcraft. Windcraft is like a heavily structured sort of a thing. If we go to Yggdrasil here, 
There's a couple different worlds that work together. Murkheim is actually just like a resource world where you can go and destroy everything. Midgard is where you can go and build towns and have wars and PvP with each other in those towns. The Bazaar is actually where people build shops. And then Mothman March is going on right now, so we have special events that go on. We can go into here and you can see there's like a Mothman. Ol Eggman. And then a bunch of custom suits of armor specifically for this event. So it's less like... It's less like Windcraft, because I find Windcraft is kind of like that on rails, right? Where, like, you have to do specific things. With this, you can just go play, right? You just go do all kinds of wild stuff. And it's difficult. The game is not easy. It's a tough thing. Murkheim is a, a tough thing because it's like an extraction, right? In the extraction side of stuff, you actually have to go through portals to get out of Murkheim. There's no other way to get out of them. So because of that, if you just go into Murkheim... And you get a bunch of stuff. All that stuff actually drops off your character when you die. Things will say, like, drops on death. So you have to get everything and then get out. Which is fun. I still don't get it, but it's fun to play. Yeah. Over time, you'll understand more. How many players use your MMO? We have, like, 7,000 or 8,000 unique users. We usually have between 50 to 100 concurrent players at any given time. Yeah. How do we access it? mc.blockgame.info is the domain. It's actually the URL for the game. And it's free. There's no monetization at all. I don't like monetization on Minecraft servers. So server size, 100 maximum. Basically Tarkov inside Minecraft server? Not really. No, not really like Tarkov where you have to like wait to extract or anything like that. You just run back and get into a portal. If you can touch a portal, you win. Can the server handle 100 now? Sometimes. We're still working on performance related shit. It usually starts that province at around 70 to 80 people. What does this say? I'm not whitelisted. The server is shut down right now. We have a critical bug. Jake is working on it right now. When Jake is finished, he's going to let me know, and then we're going to put it in. Right? <clears throat> and after that happens, I'm going to unwhitelist the server and we'll be good. Going to take a few. He's in the middle of working on it right now. It'll be fun. This shit happens all the time. We find bugs, players find exploits, all kinds of things. You're doing a good job today? You're doing a good job today. Thank you very much. M4D underscore 4LCH 3 meters first with 1000 bits said my cat attacked a bobcat today. It came right up to him and he just bonked it on the nose. <laughs> he is such a brave boy. Then I chased it away so he wasn't eaten. Holy shit, dude. Well, I'm glad your, your cat is okay. That's terrifying, frankly. Dude, that is actually horrifying. God damn. Very impressed with all you have going on. Thanks, man. I I do a lot of shit, but the reason why I do all that shit is because you guys make it possible. So, thank you. Seriously. I would do more, but I run out of hours in which the human body can allow. That's the biggest thing for me. I want to become a robot one day. Maybe, maybe a robot one day, Chet. Maybe. And then I could just do things forever. And I don't have to care. How's Heartbag going? Great, actually. So I finished a whole bunch of new stuff. We've got a lot of new area stuff that's finished. I've been working on this new environment here. If it'll load. There it is. Uh, there we go. And this new environment is actually in a really good spot because I've been making a bunch of interactions between the characters and like lighting effects and all kinds of shit inside of this. And I feel pretty good about it. I feel really good about this because this is kind of the culmination of Animus. So... Yeah. Internet of Thor, nice dude. Thank you for the 10 gifted memberships over on YouTube. You're awesome as hell, dude. FR0GGY42 with $10 said time for house buying horror stories. About oh. a week after my dad first bought his house, found out the former owner used extension cords for the electric and it was melting the cords crazy stuff. At the new house, we found a chicken coop in the nearby, like, behind some trees nearby. And that chicken coop, we didn't realize it was there. And it turns out they'd been running an extension cord from the house all the way to the chicken coop. It's like 80 feet away. So they were powering a lamp in the chicken coop using an 80-foot extension cord. Which is like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> it's so weird, dude. The other thing we found is upstairs there was a, like a, a panel for like a security system. And the security system was plugged into the wall, but the wire goes the inside of the wall and then out of the wall and then plugs onto this thing. And it's just wrapped around these two screws and the two screws are actually like connected to the, like the electrical for this thing. 
and it was one plug, this big block plug, and it's darkened all along the middle section of it, and it was warm. So I had to, I had to like unscrew it and unplug it out of the wall and disconnect all the wiring because this thing was, it's going to light on fire. It was like visibly darkened plastic and it was warm. It's horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. What's wrong with the extension cables? The extension cables were going along the outside of the house and it rains there every day. And also it's about 80 feet of something going wrong. It's not good. It's really not a good spot for that. It's not good at all, frankly. Into an area that is, has animals running in it. Yeah, none of that makes any sense. Just run a permanent electrical line if you're going to do it there. Makes no sense. When did democracy stop? Uh, I don't know, like 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago? Yeah, they're not made for large distances or being outside. They're not for that. <laughs> is this a democracy? Probably because the category has changed, man. Lumberjack Thorstream win? That actually will happen. That does actually have to happen. I have to keep the land as forest land, and because I have to keep it as forest land, I have to contact a forester, and then he has to perform a forest management plan for me, and then I will have to chop down trees and then turn them, them into lumber. I will literally have to... Yes, this will happen. Lumberjack Thor will become real. At least once a year. Yeah. Yep. That's gonna have to happen. Tree law is no joke. Yeah. Lumber Thor will be real. I'll have to punch it to death, right? This is like Minecraft, isn't it? You just you just keep punching it and then and then the center block falls out and you just keep punching upwards, right? To get the rest of it. That's normal, right? Do you do any baking, dude? <laughs> he doesn't know. If um if my game studio would have failed, I was going to open a bakery. I have been baking for my whole life. I, I love the hell out of baking breads and other things. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually why I went on Onigiri's stream and, and showed Onigiri my bread recipe. Because I love the hell out of baking bread. And that cheese bread is a very special one to me. I um I'm, I formed that cheese bread recipe because I wanted to make grilled cheese that was easy. And the idea with it is you can make a single slice of bread, put it into the toaster, and it is a one-slice grilled cheese because it uses high-temperature Swiss cheese. So it won't melt into your toaster. It's great, actually. It's fantastic. Been working as a German baker for 10 years now. This is actually exciting. Yeah, so I, I put together a recipe that is a, a high-temperature Swiss, and it creates these nice bubbles inside the bread, these big bubbles. And because it makes it really thin like this because the high temperature in the oven when you take this bread and you put it into a toaster it won't melt it kind of <clears throat> kind of crisps it if that makes sense and because it, it kind of crisps this al along the edge you make a one slice grilled cheese you just slice off a piece throw it in the toaster and you have a grilled cheese sandwich it's fantastic actually it's fun like wonderful really really tasty terrified looking bread that's fine this is fair can you please post the recipe in the Discord? It's over on Onigiri's video. If anyone has a link to that, please link it in chat. Yeah. Because I didn't... I don't have it anywhere else. I want you guys to watch the video because Onigiri's awesome as hell. Cheese is not for me. F. Okay. Jake, check at the local server. We've got it up on GitHub. We're pulling it down now. And now we're going to go open up the Java. One sec. Let's grab this. GitHub block game. It's all in core. Ugh. The horror. I know it's Java. I know. I know. It's horrible. Compiling that now. Hey, look, it's done compiling. Wonderful. One two one oh one. Oh god, it's disgusting. I know. I know. Try not to look directly at it, Chet. You may contract Java. And it may actually make you more interested in Rust as well, which is not good. That's not good. Don't do that. Don't look at it. Because being interested in Java is just it's kind of one step closer to being interested in Rust. Yeah, it's not good. Thought you weren't a Java dev? I'm not. You'll never prove it. No one will ever believe you. That's right. 
No one will ever believe you, Chad. My email for a verification link. Gross. Oh, wait. I have one last thing for you. There's something I didn't bring up before. All our moderators are paid. Um, I actually formed a corporation this last month, and it's just now finally resolving. I'm going to be hiring on a number of our moderators, eventually with the intention to hire on every one of our moderators, to pay them full-time, give them benefits like healthcare and a 401k plan is the idea for that. And the other thing is, is anytime you guys donate through pally.gg, 100% of that goes to the moderators. I get 0% and 100% goes to the mods. It splits evenly among them. So you can donate to the mods at any time. Hey. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh, actually, let me link that in chat because I didn't like it. There you go. I can't do what I do without them. So they should absolutely get paid doing this. Can we get a CEO of Thor emote? Dude, maybe. Yeah, V, 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 V. Yeah, I, I see too often that moderators don't get paid on here, and it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. Like, moderators are the lifeblood of, of Twitch, man. And of YouTube. You you can't run a stream without your mods. It does not work. It, it would be just a goddamn mess. There's too many people. As bad as Reddit? I don't know if I would go that far. All right. Good moderators, yes. Yeah. If you don't have good moderators, then you don't have moderators, right? The CEO emote must be a Pog Bezos emote. Terrifying. You have creators boasting about not paying mods? Yeah, I find that to be really gross, frankly. Um, the idea of, like, boasting about not paying someone appropriately for the work that they do for you is not something I could ever get behind. I really don't like that. I really don't. I never would. And even in jest, it's, like, not a cool thing to me. Because to be real with you, like, moderators are how this whole machine runs 100 percent. what is up recursive codes do you normally get this many viewers yeah yeah i do how's it going usually we end up at about like 10 to twelve thousand at the end of the day and then on youtube there's like another you know 1500 somewhere in there between then also thank you for giving the, that donation of the mods you're awesome dude thank you very very much god damn anonymous with the ten dollars the mods i need to fix that new alert and i need to fix their pally dono feed it's not going through the feed is broken the feed is wrong. No. Okay, I gotta go to their feed thing and fix this. Yeah, this is like a pretty normal day. There's a lot of people here now. It's pretty goddamn cool, so thank you. Love it. That's awesome. We should chat at GDC. Dude, I wish I was going to GDC. God damn it. I just, I have too, I had too much shit going on. It was too soon. But if you want to hit me up, just hit me up anytime. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Like, what, if you haven't seen, if, if any of you guys haven't seen my stream before, most of what I do is game development and then teaching other people how to make games and, like, trying to get people into the gaming industry to do this kind of stuff. So it's it's pretty wild to see so many people interested in this. But thank you. Thank you all for being here. Wish you had more shirt options? True. Maybe I should fix that. Eventually. Do you know about chan channels using a crossband system to abuse viewers? Yeah, I, I don't use channels like we, we have two channels we have the ferret software one which is the ferret rescue stuff we have the pirate software one which is where i do the, the mainstream and i share bands between the two channels because every once in a while we go over there we get over there and we have like somebody who says something like heinous about the animals they're like you should eat them or some sh stupid shit right and we ban them there and then we also ban them here and like then they're like surprise pikachu face like you mean i can't say abuse against animals things and still stay in the community. So th that's the only one I do a cross band for. I don't do cross bands for any other community, just for ours, because yeah, it gets rid of jackasses, frankly. Yeah. Yeah, run a ferret rescue here in Washington State. Yeah, run a ferret rescue. It's called Ferret Software on twitch.tv slash ferret software. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we save animals using ad revenue from Twitch. No shit. We actually, we fund the entire thing through ad revenue. There's so many donations to the mods, and none of them are coming through on the UI. One sec. Oh my god. There's so many. Hold up. The recent is not showing up. I have to let them know. Thank you for the $5, $10, $50, $20, $5, and $12 to the moderators. You guys are kick-ass. Yeah, none of this is working now. <laughs> I have to fix this. The dashboard is not coming through. Another $5 to the mods. You guys kick-ass. You guys are amazing. Seriously. View and manage stuff. Let me see here. Uh, where's the dashboard? No. 
Dashboard? Claim your page, I guess? We already did that. What? 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 Integrations. Thank you for the $20 to the mods. You're awesome, dude. Yeah, it looks like the activity feed is not auto-updating. Yeah, the activity feed is not updating. I'm going to let them know. Oh my, oh my science. There are so many of these coming through. Let's eat the mods. I don't think eating the mods is a good idea. You don't know where they've been. You don't know where, you don't know where those mods have been, dude. It's not a good idea. Is this a Twitch problem? No, it's not a Twitch problem. So we actually use a number of different softwares to make all of this stuff happen. I actually use a system called StreamerBot which is a really great tool that allows me to actually put people's messages into a TTS queue. So that way I can actually take this and then press this button like this. Oh. Karkik with $10 said, have you ever played against the Storm or Rouge like Town Builder where you have to gain enough victory points before the Queen Impatience Bar? Then build a new town again and spend another two hours. No. I've never even heard of that. Now I want to know more about that. What? I have not played this. You said Rouge instead of roguelike, though. That is funny. So with that with that message going off, it actually goes into our Discord. The Discord actually shows the message, shows the person's name, and puts a timestamp with it. And then that that goes through. So we have this system that does this. And if a person's message doesn't get read, we actually calculate the value of that, right? And then we put it into debt, and then I give that to charity because I don't earn it, so I don't get to keep it. That is one side of this. Pally is the thing that's not working right now. That's made by a different third party, and they just did a full update to all of their shit, and it's really broken right now. Like, badly broken. So, like, I'm trying to look through and, like, see what's going on and give them feedback. Thank you for the $20 to the mods. Goddamn. As you can see, the text looks a little bit weird. It's not showing up the feedback tool, like, the feed thing, and it's all through their third party stuff, so it's nothing new to Twitch. Answer TTS isn't updating on the Discord. I know. It's decappy broken again. Everything's going to break right now. It's fine. We're going to be updating that to go to the, the other side of the links. So that won't be an issue soon. We won't have a problem there. Your voice is the new voice in my head. How's it going? I'm the voice in your head. Ooh. All right. Let's see. Hey, Jake. Are we good? Did it work? I think we're actually good. Let me see. You have 36 talent points. Let me see. Stats. What level am I? Profile. I'm level 31, so having 36 points is good. Jake, there's one other thing, though. Did you pull into account, because this is going to stay in forever, right? Did you pull into account the fact that I have an item coming up that's going to give them five bonus points? Will it detect that they have the wrong amount and then give them reduced amount? Does that make sense? On the next login after that. I actually have a permission tied to it, if that helps you. There is a permission tied to that item to make sure that they don't get it a second time. Uh? Uh? Also, holy shit, that is a lot of donations to the mods. You guys are awesome as hell. It will break, and yes, the permission will help, so I need you to launch that. Okay, let me go grab that permission for you, though. Item. I think it's under consumables. Oop. There it is. There you go. That is the name of the, the recipe for that. So that permission node is basically like, if you have this permission node, you should be able to have five more points, if that makes sense. Oh, that for the next patch? Perfect. Because that's coming up for Neath. It is an item that gives you five extra talent points. When does stream stop usually? I stream from midnight to noon every day except for Thursday. So you will always find me. Yeah. Always find me on here. One time use? Yes. Alright, we're going to unwhitelist the server. You guys can go pile in.
Alright, next. Eurovision hey, project with 500 bits said never thought about simply downloading my internet. Internet.com solved all my life's problems. Yeah, just Thanks, download it friend. all. Yeah, screw it. Just download it, dude. Ah! That was not what I wanted. Come back up. Pause that. There we go. Now we have the thing on screen, so it answers questions. What would you charge to narrate an audio? How much would you charge to narrate an audiobook? I wouldn't. I don't really have a lot of time. If I had more time, I'd probably just do them. They're fun. Like I, it, it's funny because like a lot of a lot of major streamers will have things like appearance fees and shit like that. Like I don't do that. So if if we want to do something where we get the collab together, I just do it. It's just fun, you know. You stream Wednesday? No, I'm I I didn't stream Wednesday. I had too much shit to do. There's a ton of shit to do. Thank you for those five gifted subs. That's a Zelda theme music. Actually, it's just using the same instruments. Want to see something funny? Let me pull this up. You hear this song? This is all the instruments from the opening song for Seinfeld. <laughs> Love it. It's the best. You might have time if you didn't spend 12 hours streaming. Nah. I, I stream every day because I get work done during it, man. So, like, all my shit gets done. And then after that, I actually I work 16 hours a day. I have for years. And then I have three hours of free time and five hours of sleep. And I just do it again. I just do it every day. I've been doing it for ages. And on days where I'm off, like Thursday, I just have 16 hours of work. Like, whatever it's going to be. Just straight. Usually it's meetings on Thursdays because... Thursday is like my free day, so everyone's like, oh, I'm going to put a meeting in there, because he's not doing anything, and I'm still doing things. Yeah. Meeting day, dude. Hold up. My phone is running out of batteries. How often do you take vacations? What is, what is vacations? Can you use that word in a sentence for me? What is... The hell is that? What? Is that where you're not doing work, but you wish you were? Is that what that is? I feel like that's what that is. Burn out everything? Nope. Miles away, man. I love doing this shit. You have no idea. Love the hell out of it. MSFWEB dude with 500 bits said your notepad plus plus theme. I love it. I need yeah. it. Reminds me of vintage monochromatic green sea arts from my youth. Hell yeah. So if you want to do this, just go into settings, go into style configurator, and you can set it to whatever value you want. It took maybe like 20 minutes to set up. You just go down each one of these and you set them all to green and, and black. Um, you have to change it a little bit for like highlighting text so that it doesn't like blend in. So you want to have it like a little bit of a different kind of green, like a darker green sort of a thing. But uh, makes it really easy. Makes it really easy to see everything. Do you want a self-hosted stack locally? Any recommendations? I actually have a home laboratory when I'm doing like anything you know, network related, anything like that, because I'm an offensive security specialist, I'm a hacker. So throughout my career, I've built up a laboratory at home where I could just like do cool shit, make vulnerable servers, go try things, try out new volans, everything like that, whatever I needed to do. And I've done that professionally now for 20 years, just about. That was my, that was my career. That's my full-time job. Well, until I became, you know, full-time running a game studio now. Colorblind hater font? No, it doesn't matter if you're colorblind or not when the font is all the same color, my dude. It just would be gray. Doesn't really change anything. An underscore lazy underscore bunny with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, have you hey. seen no clip cruise video about pitching to republishers? Just wondering no. your thoughts and if you have any pitch deck resources you like smiley face. I actually haven't seen that. I, I haven't seen that. A lot of the times what I try to do is is make people be very realistic about if they want a publisher or not. When you are engaging with a publisher, you need to find out exactly how much money they plan to make you and how much money they're going to cost. And largely, they won't have an answer to this. So you need to look at their strategy and find out if their strategy makes realistic sense. If you're going to a company and they're planning on doing a bunch of marketing for you, but you've never heard of that publisher before, they don't have a name, their marketing is probably going to suck ass. Like a really good example of this, look at Devolver Digital. Everyone knows Devolver. 
Everyone does. You look at a game and it has Devolver's name on it, you know it's probably going to be kick-ass because Devolver has a name. So if they are going to do marketing for you, you know that's high value. But if you have any publisher that's just, you know, never heard of them before, it might be worthless. And yet they're getting 30 to 70% of your overall income of your game for marketing and you've never heard of them before? These are the risks you have to look at when you're looking at a publisher. If a publisher is going to help you for a cost, you need to find out if they're worth that cost. And that's very, very, very important. Incredibly so. And a lot of people don't. They sign under contracts. They lose everything about their game. They lose all of the future of their studio without gaining a cent. And that's sad as shit, frankly. We got ads in a moment. I will be pausing for ads as usual. So stay tuned. Here we go. Hi, Bezos. He's here. The horror. Ferret Software. Go to the twitch.tv slash Ferret Software channel. That is our ferret rescue. They are in night vision mode right now because it's sleepy time. Out of the house go? Great. The internet is going to take about four to five months to create. So I've got all kinds of shit I have to do before then. How do you know when the ads are? Twitch gives me a little timer. Makes life easy. Every streamer gets a timer. How often do they sleep? 18 hours a day. <sighs> hey Thor, do you work out? I'm a programmer. Yeah. Yeah, that's the answer to that. <laughs> You sleep 18 hours a day? No, the ferrets do. I wish. If I did, I get grumpy as hell. If I sleep more than five hours, I get really irritated. No ads for you? Not everybody gets ads, man. It's based on your region and a bunch of other things. How can I have TTS? TTSQ is massively backed up. I really wouldn't do it. I'm likely not going to get to your message. I'm going to try and burn through these as quickly as possible, but there's a very real chance I don't get to all of them. One sec. As a streamer, do you pick how many ads run, or does Switch deal with that? Twitch deals with how many ads run, I choose the general amount of time. So we can get one to up to 120 seconds based on my settings. You can just get like five seconds of ads, you can get 120 seconds of ads. It's random and it's based on your interests and how many ads you've been served in a certain amount of time, all kinds of shit. It's healthy to sleep a lot? Okay, chat MD. Are game developer and game designer different things? Game developer is more generalized. Not everyone is a designer that works on games, but everyone is a developer that works on games. So that's important. And to be real with you, QA is development. Anyone who thinks otherwise is a dumbass. They're part of the development process. QA is a game development position. Yeah. Dino Manon with 500 bits said if you squeeze yeah. a fruit or vegetable we call it juice. How come if you squeeze a nut we call it milk? Ya yeah, think. I don't have an answer to that. But an oat isn't a nut, is it? Oat isn't a nut. Let me look something up. Is an oat a nut? Type of cereal grain. Is an oat root? Oats, formerly named Avena sativa, is a type of cereal grain from the... I have no idea how to say that word. Grass family of plants. Plants. The grain refers specifically to the edible seeds of the oat grass, which is what ends up in our breakfast bowls. It's an edible seed. An oat is not a fruit. An oat is a grain. Why does it have milk? Evil Notion with 500 bits said good morning, Thor. 
No troll today, no dark desert highways, no just a small town girl living in her lonely world, no I'm just a poor boy nobody loves me. Nope, no trolls today, just positive oh. vibes and thank yous for being awesome. Have a wonderful day my friend. Every time you guys do that, it's like the radio doing this, man. You just spin it. It's exactly what's happening. Similar nutrition to the regular milk? Yeah, but it's oats. It's just oats. You could say similar nutrition to regular water and it'd be Kool-Aid, dude. It's the same kind of nutrition. You know? None. No. No. I want milk. I want milk. I want whole milk. Oh, not this 2% shit. Whole milk. Whole milk. Vegetable milk? Ew. Think of cucumber milk. Ugh. Ugh. It's like grain or something? No. No. It's bullshit. Yeah, no. Also, the ferrets just crashed. We'll bring them back up. Can't allow it. Can't allow it. Subby Dev with 1000 bits said thoughts on Devon. You mean Devin Chet? You mean that one? Devin? All over it? Do you know- Do you know how many times Devin gets brought up now? I swear to god, dude. It is a- It is a nightmare. Yeah, Devin AI. Let me pull this shit up. Alright, this, Cognition, introducing Devin, the first AI software engineer, setting a new state of the art on the software engineering bench coding benchmark. So here's something that's really a problem, and it's something I've talk talked about before, and it's about loopback issues. See, here's the issue. Right now, all of the stuff that gets written by AI is based on human creation in programming, right? Programming turning into this. The coding standards that we have, the tricks and ways of getting around things, all of it got fed into this. Now, what happens when the next generation of programmers makes things using that data set? And then their code is a little bit ass. And it's a little bit ass because they don't understand it, and the AI wrote it for them. And then we use that as the basis to train the AI again. Oh dear. It turns into shit. You get inbred code. That's what you get. Yeah, this is what I've been screaming. Yeah, no, it's insane, dude. You you actually get inbred code. This is what happens. We lose absolutely everything. So every time some bigwig piece of shit, like the CEO of NVIDIA, for example, comes out and says, Oh, don't be a programmer. You won't need to be a programmer in the future. I tell him to eat my entire ass. Do you know why? Because if you're going to train the entire next generation of people not to be programmers, then no one will be. Everything will collapse. That is the dumbest thing that we could possibly do is to de-incentivize the next generation from learning technology. That is so goddamn stupid. It is the most foolish thing I have seen. Anywhere. Anywhere. Do you want idiocracy? That's how you get idiocracy. And the funniest part about it, anytime you see someone doing some shit like that, telling you not to invest in yourself, you know what ends up happening? They're probably selling you something. CEO of NVIDIA, no different. You know what they release the next day? An AI that codes for you. As a product. Because all they're doing is trying to stop you from investing in yourself so they can sell you something to replace that badly. Back in the 70s and 80s, we had a vision of the future, of what the future was going to be. Everyone would have flying cars, there would be no jobs, you could live in luxury, and everything would be taken care of for you by robots. Now it's called retrofuturism. The thing that we're seeing today where they're saying AI is going to replace every aspect of your life and none of it's going to matter, so don't invest in yourself, it's the same shit. Invest in you. Whether that future comes to pass or not will be irrelevant because you invested in yourself. And you will be able to adapt and know logical process and be a better person as a result of this. Always invest in yourself, no matter what anyone tells you to do. That shit is ridiculous. And I'm sick of seeing it. Depressing as hell. Depressing as hell.
Yeah. Yeah, we'll end up with a humanity like Wally. Yeah, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get idiocracy or Wally out of that, dude. It's a mess. It's so bad, and it's it's something that I'm always trying to teach you guys to do is like, don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about today. Invest in yourself today, because whether tomorrow happens or not, you will be ready for it. And if you don't invest in yourself, if you just sit on your ass on the couch and you do nothing because tomorrow might suck, it's going to. You are, you are forcing the hand of the universe to make tomorrow suck by not doing something. You should learn things, no matter what. No matter what. Always. And you're going to be awesome at shit, as shit at things because you actually invest in yourself. Idiocracy is 100% of the way. It doesn't need to be, though. Learn shit. Spend time learning shit. Spend time learning shit. Don't doom scroll. Don't, don't screw around with your time. Whole ass your life. Don't be lazy about it. <clears throat> invest in you, man. Always. Unfortunately, I've got to run. Have a splendid weekend. You have a splendid weekend. Don't drink, drink too much of St. Patty's Day. Wait, is it St. Patty's Day soon? When is St. Patty's Day? What day of the month is it? Oh, dear. So it's Sunday? It's in two days. and on the 17th. Mm. What are we going to do for St. Patty's Day? I'm streaming that day. Is Chet just going to be drunk on that day? You're all going to be drunk and green, aren't you? Well, you're goblins. You're already green. Just going to be drunk. You're all going to be drunk. I feel like chat's going to be the same. I feel like, I feel like it's not going to change. Yeah, drunk-er. <laughs> A little bit more. A little bit more. You guys are funny as Lane hell. Lane 20 with 500 bits said pirate software. I saw a short of a business which let customers hang out with and feed capybaras. Oh. It's a cafe in Japan. People wait four hours in line to get in. I love that shit, dude. I want to visit Japan, not just because it's cool, not just because Japan, right? But I want to experience the culture when I'm there. There's so much like interesting culture in Japan. It's always like super lovely and super nice. And like people there are very interesting. And like the way that life is lived and the way that people treat each other and interact with each other is something that's super interesting to me. Like, I want to go there and, like, like experience the culture. Not be, like, an obnoxious dude coming and be like, hello! <laughs> I'm in Japan now! I just want, I want to go there and want to experience it. I want to, like, learn about stuff and go to places like that cafe. There's also a place in Japan called Ferret World that I'm really... I want to do. I want to go there. Ferret World looks cool as shit. I really want to do that. I really want to do that. But in order to do that, I have to... I have to talk to Shay, and then we have to find somebody to take care of the ferrets while we're gone. It's a whole thing. It's an entire thing. Yeah. Soon. Maybe eventually. We'll have, we'll have somebody to take care of the ferrets while we're gone. We'll have to. Thorin Sea Dog IRL stream. Yeah, because he's in Japan. And then Onigiri's in Japan. Dude, I have a bunch of friends in Japan. I have so many friends in Japan. Oh. Have you not seen Ferret World? Oh my god, dude. Ferret World. Japan. I was talking to Odagiri. We wanted to do a stream thing there. God, it's so cool. It's a small shop in Japan. Let me pull this up. It's a tiny shop, but it's just called Ferret World in Japan. And it's like wonderful. And they just have all these ferrets. It's just all ferret stuff inside of this little shop. And it's just all ferrets and like ferret accessories and like teaching you about ferrets and ferret toys and treats and all kinds of things. It's just, I want to go to it in my life. I want to go there. Yeah. Fair World Japan is freaking rad, dude. I think they've changed it up now. I think it's larger now. Yeah, I think it's actually larger. It used to be small like this. I think it's a bigger thing now. It's like a ferret cafe, basically. Let me grab this. Yeah, here we go. Now it's like larger. They've actually upgraded it. It's like they have a huge thing now, which is cool. It's really neat. It's really, really cool. Love that shit, dude. Yeah, Ferret World. If you live in Japan, go there. Tell me about it. I wish to be there. When it's playtime for the ferrets, we usually do it at like noon and midnight. So right as I start the stream and right as I end the stream, there's like ferrets going on. It, it depends on what Shay's able to do that day. Do you know Japanese? I don't know anything. I barely know English. It's my only language, too. <laughs> Lolo Ha's Twitch with 500 Whoa. bits said, Hi Thor, I heard that when you die, your soul will take a PC with the demo installed as a new body, but you won't be able to infect my PC since I have maximum cyber protection. No. That's right. I have a VPN. On a more serious note, have you tried Argentina's Pizza Fugazetta? If not, what? I recommend making it someday. Thank you for the awesome streams. You make my work days much better. 
dude, you're awesome. Thank you very much. I've never had this. Stuffed Argentinian style pizza. What is this, dude? Holy shit. What is, what is that? Argentina, what is that, dude? Look at it, it's got cheese in the middle layer. I've never had this. Fugazetta is what it's called? I've never had that. I eat food from around the world, dude. I'm a huge foodie, like a massive foodie. That looks delicious. Is this potato or onion? Because it kind of looks like potato strings, but it also kind of looks like onion strings that have been like kind of as a topping. Is it an onion? That looks delicious, dude. I love that cheese. What kind of cheese is that? It's almost like a mozzarella. Yeah, what is that? Is it mozz? Looks like mozz. Yeah. You got a mozzarella. You got kind of like a high heat oven because they got that like crispy crust on the bottom. Bubbled on the top. So maybe a secondary heat source on the top for that. That looks really goddamn good, dude. Looks really good. I think the best pizza... There's two pizzas that I could say are my best pizza that I've ever had. One was in Long Beach, California. It was a Thai curry pizza. And they used to make it all the time. You get Thai, Thai curry sauce instead of red sauce. Freaking amazing, right? Absolutely incredible. And the owner was in um, Chicago. So in Chicago, I had a deep dish pizza for the first time, and I didn't respect it. I didn't respect it at all. I, I was young, and I was dumb. And I was like, oh, I could eat a large. And she's like, you can't eat a large. I was like, I eat a large pizza all the time. I could eat a large pizza. And she's like, no, you can't eat that. And I was like, ordering it. And me and my buddy are like, we could eat a large, whatever. And this thing comes out. We just get a pepperoni. And it's like that thick of pepperoni. I ate one slice. I ate one slice. We ate that pizza for like four days, dude. It was the most insane shit I've ever seen in my life. Chicago's overrated. I don't give a shit if the city's overrated. That pizza was bomb, dude. And the way that we found that place, too, is... I asked the locals, I was like, Hey, man, where's the best pizza? And they're like, You gotta go to this place. And they tell me this place. And we go in there, and the whole floor is covered in sawdust. And every one of the tables is like a, a bottle cap pounded into the table. So the whole thing is just bottle caps. The whole... Like, every one of the tables was just bottle caps. Like, thousands and thousands of bottle caps, dude. I don't know what the hell it was called. I don't remember what it was called, but it was awesome as shit. It was great pizza, dude. That was the best damn thing I've ever had. And it ruins, it literally ruined any other pizza for me. One day. One day I'll be, go back to it. I don't remember the name. I was, I was like 18, dude. This was 18 years ago. I'm 36, man. I don't remember what the hell that place was called. It was a whole life away. <laughs> I got no clue. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you owe him. Don't you owe him. Sorry. Don't you do it. How dare you. How dare you. Oh, Marco Vell with 500 bits said morning oh goblin lord. So after morning. two months, I think I have fixed my internet dropping issue. Nice. Sadly, because I rent, I had to rerun my 27 meter long one cable. Shit. Why so long you ask? Cause server rack is on the second floor and modem on the first floor. Can't wait to replace this cable again in a year. <laughs> what? I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't William want to think Kurokami about it. with 5 euros said, Hi Thor, do you think Honkai and Genshin are A and B tests for Zenless Zone Zero to help Hoyoverse figure out how to milk players most effectively? No, actually, I I think, to be real with you, because I play Honkai Star Rail, and I think Honkai is probably one of the most interesting games that I've seen in terms of not milking the players for money. So, like, I played Honkai... And it didn't give me an ad until very far into the game. It was something like 30 hours or some shit. And then when I finally got into the game, like, and I got that ad, I was like, oh, here it starts. It's going to happen, right? And they gave me the one advertisement for something. And I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want that thing. And it never gave me an ad again. I've played hundreds of hours of that game. I played the shit out of Hon Honkai Star Rail. And they never fed me another ad. That was really nice to me as a player. That's like super respectful. So, like, I don't think that's a thing, to be real with you. I played the shit out of the game for free. I never bought anything. I probably should have. I feel like at a certain point, if I'm getting, like, a lot of value out of a free game, I buy something. Like, I did for Monster Hunter Now recently. I bought a bunch of stuff for Monster Hunter Now because, like, I've played probably about 400 hours of that game. And they have this new event going on. I was so excited for it. Who here plays Monster Hunter Now? Because I love that sh the shit out of that game. You can add me on it if you want to.
There's probably a monster in my yard. They just released Odogaron in it. And uh, what is it? Jitsi, Jitsi Yaku? Oh, there's a new update. Another new update. Again. It's probably something good. Yeah. They're, they're releasing Devil Joe. And I'm waiting to get my ass kicked. Because that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Joe's coming out, dude. Zitsi Yaku. Yeah. Is it Zitsi? Zitsi Yaku? Zitsi Yaku. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Rage Pickle. Yeah, the Pickle. The Pickle has finally arrived, dude. You have to use Frost against both of these. And, like, I, I figured out, that, like, Zitsi Yaku, the way that you fight him is you have to just punch him in the head. Because he opens up his, like, light photo for shit and then you punch him in the face and it breaks it and then you have to do it again you break his head twice it's really interesting yeah i always call him baked cd <laughs> that's a great name for that delicious baked cd yes i'd eat him dude i don't care i'd eat a monster who's gonna stop me oh there's an odogaron near me but i can't reach it it's so far away what do they add they added it in this new season pass thing, which is really nice, actually. I may just get that, because, like, I think they've given me so much content for free at this point <clears throat> that I feel comfortable as a player, like, buying something, because I want to support the game. That's usually how I feel about it. If if I'm playing a free game and the devs treat me respectfully the entire time I play the free game, and it comes to the point where it's like, I've gotten a lot of good value out of this, I'll buy something to support the game, and then just keep playing it. Uh, which game? Monster Hunter Now. Yeah. Why did you show me this Monster Hunter game? It's made by Niantic, which is the company that does Pokemon Go, and the Monster Hunter team worked with them and commissioned them to make it. It's Monster Hunter Pokemon Go. It is fun as shit, dude. And I, I walk around my neighborhood and kill monsters. That's what I do. So, here. Wait, that's the wrong command. Monhun, I think is what it is? There we go. And if you, if you add me on it, we both get potions. That's all that we get, and I like potions, so just add me on it. Do it. There's the code. Do the thing. Do the thing so I can have infinite potions so I can keep leveling up and doing stuff. I'm like level 107 or some shit. Yeah. I just started Pikmin Bloom. I played that for a little while and I found it was not that compelling. I think it was fun, but it wasn't that compelling for me. Yeah. Where can you play this game? It's a phone game. It's a mobile game. It's a, um, it is a mobile game in which you walk around and kill monsters in Monster Hunter. And it's not easy either. It is actually really hard. I've got some really good stuff. Most of my gear is like tier 7-5. So like I've been playing a while. I kill 8 eight star monsters all the time. That's what I'm farming right now. I'm trying to get more of the crystals so I can rank up to 8, eight gear stuff. You know? Do you know the game Stone Shard? God, I think so. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember, dude. What's your favorite weapon in Monster Hunter? I want to play Insect Glaive. But it's not in the game yet, so I'm a sword and shield guy right now in Monster Hunter now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm all s and S. I I wish I could be an Insect Glaive guy. Switch Axe best? Hey, fun fact. Switch Axe is coming out this patch. This expansion that they have going on, do you know how I know? Because in the splash art, there's a dude wielding a Switch Axe. It's right there. And Odogaron has a buff a passive on all of the gear to make switch axe switch faster. Ah, uh, uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Soon. Soon. Yeah, I'm so excited, dude. Can you repost your code? Yeah, it's exclamation point monhun, dude. Here you go. Have it. Have fun with that. Charge blade for the win. I'm I'm going insect glaive. I want insect glaive. Greatsword is, is good. It's slow, but goddamn does it hit. That thing hits like a truck, dude. You've now sold me on coming back. I've hit level 30 and stopped. So, like, when they first launched the game, it was in a pretty bad state. They've added a shitload to it. Like, even just quality of life shit. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. They made it so that we can have, like, I think it's 10 armor sets now. Oh god, oh god, all you guys are joining and I can't even look at the game. It's a million pop-ups. It's a million pop-ups. Holy shit. Okay, I made it past. I gotta look at my gear real quick. Uh, there we go. Okay. So when you look at your gear now, it actually has a loadout for all of this. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably too bright. Yeah, it's too bright. Can't see it. But the loadout, you can actually scroll through them now instead of going left and right. And you can rename them and they give you 10 now instead of like 4 or whatever they gave us at launch. And it doesn't cost anything. Just did it for free. 
which is great. So, like, they've just increased the quality of life dramatically, and they just added layered equipment. So we have transmog now, which we didn't have before. And the transmog is tied to certain levels of the gear. So upgrading the gear to get the transmog for it is actually, like, fun. It's actually nice, right? So you have to level it up to level 6 or whatever it is. Tier 6, and then you get the, the transmog for it. I've, I've been doing that. I've been having a lot of fun with it, frankly. Yeah. Bow enjoyer here. I just got the uh, Black Diablos bow. It's really good shit. It's an awesome one. More alerts. Calby underscore Ralalbi with 500 bits said, O benevolent Goblin Lord Thor, I thank yes. you for bestowing me, your lowly seven brain cell goblin, with this wonderful cursed diamond as I slept. Your humble goblin will tell you how I achieved the coveted cursed pot pie for you, my lord. Yes, I used a stencil I cut for your graceful cursed visage, and to achieve a lasting impression you so ever wanted, I used cinnamon to burn the image into the crust as it baked. That Thank you once sense. again, your gobliness, for this cursed accolade. It looked beautiful. It was amazing. It was incredible, frankly. Multi underscore Jonah with 500 bits said, Yacht cheer 500. Hey, I've been away for about a month with no internet. Have you decided whether or not you're going to be playing Dwarf Fortress? What do you... I play Dwarf Fortress a lot. I love... I love Dwarf Fortress. I know, the TTS isn't going through in Discord. It's Decapi is down. Uh, we're switching over after stream today. I'm switching over to a YouTube timestamp thing. That'll make this stop. The The issue is that we have to formulate the timestamp to make it work specifically for Twitch's timestamp system. And I have to use Decapi for that because it's the fastest way to do it. If their website is slow or having problems, Decapi will delay the message. It will eventually hit Discord, but it's just slow. That's all. Yeah, and it'll go out of order too. It's kind of annoying. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Multi underscore Jonah with 500 bits said also, can I give the mods a burger? Yes. Yes, you can. You can give the mods a burger at any time. Any time. Any time you want to. In fact, to be honest with you, I can give you a burger too, Chad. That's for you. That's for you, Chad. It's yours. There it is. Not today. Oh. Oh, I'll get you eventually. I'll get you eventually. Next alert. Lounge King with two dollars said some dairy cows are fed grain. Milk equals fruit juice. You know, that's probably true. I can believe that. I can believe that. Thank you for the reminder. I got burgers for dinner tonight. Nice, dude. Nice. You see the most recent Ashes of Creation stream? No, I didn't. I want to. God, I love Ashes. I'm so excited for that goddamn game. Supra Chicken with 500 bits said, Speaking of segues, do you have any personal Mondegreens misheard lyrics? There's a song that contains the line, Cheap wine and a three-day growth, but as a kid I heard it as, Cheap wine and a three-legged goat. Other common ones are Alex the Seal from Our Lips Are Sealed or What A Nice Surprise When Your Rabbi Dies from um, I can't remember what song that's from. <laughs> what, dude? I don't have any of those, to be honest with you. And here's the reason why. I don't listen to songs with lyrics like 99% of the time. I usually don't. There's very few songs that I really enjoy that have lyrics. Um, that as much as you guys try to do it. Hotel California is one of the ones that I like that has lyrics. But there's very few songs I listen to with lyrics, frankly. I just don't. I just don't. I listen to a lot of stuff that's like electro swing or chip tunes and shit like that. But Hotel California is one of the ones I really, really enjoy and you goblins. How do you feel? How do you feel us metalheads feels? What? Sentence. Electro swing is fantastic. Yeah. Caravan Palace is good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really like Electro Swing. I have. I have for ages, frankly. And it's it's kind of come into its own. People are really into it. Electric Six is wonderful. They're fantastic. Pair of Stellar, yes. Chap Hop is more than Electric... What is Chap Hop? What is it? What did you just say to me? We're getting too... We're getting too specific in music when you're like, Oh, yes, Chap Hop. No, dude. No, we're not doing this. 
That's too too specific. No. What is shoe gaze? No, we're not do no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, subgenres of subgenres of subgenres. Mathcore. <laughs> I'm the biggest mathcore artist in the world. Rank one out of one. See, there you go. That's how it goes. That's the direction that's going when you do this. You know that, right? Yeah, dwarf metal. Actually, I'm gonna be real with you. There is a there is a subgenre there that I love. It's Goblinomicon, the Goblin Metal Band. If you've never heard of Goblinomicon, or no, so Necrogoblicon, that's what it is, Necrogoblicon. They are fantastic. Who here doesn't know Necrogoblicon? They're so good, dude. Hold up, there's ads. But I need to show this to you. Necrogoblicon is a band about a goblin that works a day job in an office and then by night he he sings in a in a metal band it's amazing yeah <laughs> necrogoblicon dude john goblicon is his name yeah his name is john goblicon necrogoblicon is the best dude it's so freaking funny it's so good it's so good necrogoblicon Agritsuko with goblins? Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's great shit. It's very funny shit. Yeah, he's really into Necrogoblicon, dude. John Goblicon is a talk show? <laughs> Does he really? <laughs> it's kind of amazing, actually. I'm into that. Oh, my hair is everywhere, dude. It's so staticky, dude. Huh? As goblins can only hope to be as cool as that. You are cool. You're just as cool. It's true. Hype train. It's running. By the way, the April 1st hype train, we're going to try to beat the world record, which you already own. Because chat wanted to beat it. And on that day, we're going to have a weird stream, chat. We're going to have a very weird stream on April 1st. I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited. Nah, I'm excited. It's gonna be good. There we go. What level's the record? So... Chat actually has the record for the hype train. The world record hype train was level 55 at 1906%. Right? 1906%. It used to cap at 55. And then we found something out. It doesn't cap anymore. It doesn't cap now. So now the world record is actually level 69 at 87% because it recalculated our original hype train to that. So chat has to beat level 69, which is already really funny. It's already I feel like Twitch planned that. So if you look at the hype train, you click the little down arrow, you can scroll down to the bottom it says channel all-time record 87% level 69. I'm on to you. I'm on to you Twitch. I'm on to you. 100%. I know what you did. And it's very funny. Very funny. What are your opinion on N Protect for Helldivers 2? I run a secondary computer to run games that have kernel level anti cheat on it, and then I just run the video out to you from this machine. I don't like kernel level anti cheat. I think it's ass. I have a whole short about it up on YouTube. Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan. But yeah, no, this is good. This is good. But they're going to try and beat level 77, was their goal. Level 77. See, there's going to be a D and D Legos. No, that sounds awesome. Wait, yeah, I'm into that shit. I 
And you set up the video feed, Steam Link. A. A. It's pretty good. Good afternoon, Magic Man. Good afternoon to you. How you doing? Making D&D map out of Legos? Mm. I think I think it would be fun. A D&D Lego map would be fun as shit. Hypersloth 369 with 500 bits said good morning Thor and chat. Good morning. Work update. After switching 3,400 workers to USB keyboards like I told you about. Yep. They switched us to something called Secret Double Octopus. Didn't know if you knew anything about it or not. Also talking to CEO about a pen tester job, anything I should expect going blind into it or anything I should ask for. Please Double I need help with this one. Thank you Thor and chat. 24 equals 24 turn right. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash short slash SR2 in Vague 8. It is a... Israeli software company specializing in passwordless authentication for enterprise environments. I've never actually worked with that framework, ever. For passwordless multi-factor. It's called Secret Double Octopus. What a name, dude. That's a wild name. The most complete passwordless multi-factor authentication for the workforce. Unmatched flexibility, proven at scale. Interesting. I've never seen that. And it's a fully passwordless solution... For all employees. I'd want to see... I'd probably talk to my buddies about it. Yeah, cool name. Interesting name. I find that to be very interesting. Honestly, the name itself makes it sound like a meme. A little bit. It is a little bit of a meme, but it's actually kind of interesting. Because, like... You, you usually see people take the least risky option, but when you have things like this, it just makes it more interesting. Because I want to go look into this framework now. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. My work actually started using that within the past year. Interesting. When did they open as a company? I don't know. See, I got a lot to look into. That's good. I'm really interested in that. Really, really interested in that, actually. What is this? Megatron. Thank you for the rating party of 26. Hope you're having a good day. I need to get a snack. Because my brain is turning into a slug. So, give me just a minute. One moment. One moment. I have returned. I'm eating a large biscuit.
Yeah, it's one of those Sailor Boy crackers, dude. They're so good. Next. Birdie FRFX with 500 bits said ya cheer 100 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 hey Thor, thanks for Hi. streaming late hours, it's nice to have streams during late nights. I'm asking for advice as I'm a high school student taking college classes through a program while also working a part-time mm. job and hoping to do bartending in the future. I might go to a four-year college in between to get a degree in the years I can't get into bartending. Would it be worth it to take college classes for a coding degree or no? It depends. Are you going to use it? Because, like, <clears throat> if you don't plan on going that direction, if you don't plan on doing that, there's no real reason for you to go and spend the money to get that degree, right? Degrees aren't just things that you just do all the time. They're done with purpose. It's a tool. That's the idea for that, right? So you use it when you want to get a job in that in industry. It is your opening to enter the door. Nothing else, right? And I think that's really important to understand, is it's not always appropriate to get a degree. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just to lose money on it, frankly. I know that I know the raid happened. I already thanked him for it, dude. Yeah, fast chat, I already raided. I already thanked him for it. Darn, my retirement will be ruined. I know, right? Yeah. Star has KLN H8. Would not be worse to put on your phone? I don't play it on my phone. I play it on desktop. And I play it on a secondary machine. Everything that has kernel level energy sheet runs on a second machine. All of it. Everything. A degree doesn't always help in coding either. True. Certs are what matters. Mm, so I'm going to be real with you. Last job that I had was hacking power plants for the federal government. I worked for the United States Department of Energy, hacking power plants all over the United States to keep our power grid safe and find new vulnerabilities to ensure that that stays that way. With that in mind, I got three black badges from DEF CON, I don't have any certifications, and I never went to college for this. I have no certs whatsoever, and still managed to do that as my career, right? Major, major job there. Work experience trumps anything else at all times. The reason I got that job is because prior to that, I was a senior red team specialist at, at Blizzard Entertainment, and before that I was an application, I was actually the lead application security engineer for the company. After that, I've got those three black badges from DEF CON so I could prove my value without getting the certs. Certs are an option. They don't always have to be the only way. A degree is an option. It doesn't always have to be the only way. Do everything you can to stand out, not just one thing. Don't overlook the idea of getting actual work experience. Don't overlook the idea of doing bounty programs. Don't overlook the idea of doing side projects. Do all of it. You got one life. Whole asset. That's how that should always be. <clears throat> what do you say is the big jump that led you to getting such work experience? Go to DEF CON. You want to work in security? Go to DEF CON. Straight up. Did you get a degree? No, I went to college to be an entomologist, an insect scientist. It has nothing to do with what I do now. I guess it still involves bugs, right? You know? But, like, that's it. Frankly. Can't go to DEF CON, was cancelled. Yeah, I know, right? I know this is this is upsetting. But this year, 2024, DEF CON was cancelled. Um, unfortunately, it was also cancelled last year. And the year before that. And it has never actually happened. I know maybe one year we'll actually get DEF CON to go through fully. It's a, it's a sad thing to see every year that it is cancelled. And that it has never actually occurred. However... Everybody's flights are non-refundable, so about 30,000 of us hackers are going to show up in Vegas anyway, and if, if I see you there, then I see you there. And uh, sadly, we just won't be hanging out at DEF CON, just a large, you know, con-like space that was already booked, and they can't, you know, get rid of it now, even though the convention was canceled. So we'll be there, you know, at the not DEF CON that is taking place. Yeah, yeah. Canceled why? Always is. Always is. It's very sad. <laughs> Yeah, very sad. What if someone's hacking them? No, it couldn't be. Impossible. Yeah, impossible. Is it DEFCON or DEVCON? DEFCON. D-E-F-C-O-N. 
What about Black Hat? What about Black Hat? You mean the... You, DEF CON is the after party to the corporate bullshit that is Black Hat. And you know I'm right about that. You know I am. I had to run a booth at DEF CON for Blizzard. It was a mess. I... I oh. Boo, DEF CON. DEF CON better. Black Hat is not that way. Like, Black Hat is like a... Black Hat is like a corporate event. That's really what it is. And then, right after Black Hat is DEF CON. So we largely see it as the after party. Even though DEF CON has always been cancelled, it's never happened. Yeah. Yeah. Never happened. A chat member has an interview for pen testing position in an hour. Any tips? Yes. At the end of your interview, I want you to ask something very important. I want you to say, if you were to hire me right now, if you were to hire me right now, where do you think I would be most effective in the business? The reason why that's an important question to ask, it's a social engineering question. You are changing their perspective of you as an asset to the company from a potential hire to somebody who is already hired. And they stop thinking about you as a possibility and start thinking about you as an asset, which is exactly what you want. Ask them that. That's all you need. Everything else, just don't shit your pants. Uh, or anyone else's pants, you know. Can you hire me right now? No. Yeah, too late? Unfortunate. Unfortunate. William Karokami with 5 euros said, Hi Thor, did you huh? hear about Google's SEMA? It's supposed to be an eye that can play all kinds of games with you like one of your friends. I have not. For, for a moment there, I thought that was a very complex ligma that you were trying to perform. And I didn't believe that that was real for a moment. I was like, Seema, this is definitely a ligma. This is absolutely, unequivocally a ligma. And it was not. It was not a ligma. No, it's real. I'm interested to see that. I need to look into it some more. I've heard the name. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be Seema Balls. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's definitely a ligma. In and of itself, it is. Google Seema Balls. Great. This community has now single-handedly ruined Google SEMA. Specifically because I have paranoia. That's it. Yeah, we've ruined it. The name is ruined forever. Have you seen Google SEMA? Yeah, SEMA balls. Ah, like, it's just gonna be that from now on. That's... Wait a minute. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm gonna see how long this takes. It'll be funny. It'll be funny if it goes through. I'm not gonna say it, it's fine. Yeah, the SEMA jokes, dude, it's gonna it's it's permanent now. It's too late. It's too late. God damn it, he's not responding. He's not responding. We're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait. It'll it'll be funny later. Scourgin with 500 bits said, I've been an artist for a while. It's been passed down from my father, but I find myself getting further from art the more I focus on creation. Okay. I'm completing my graphic design degree, but in finding myself feeling like the sand in the hourglass is coming to an end too quickly. It's not. What can, should I do to be sure I can get into the field, even if I'm still working a wage job to live yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100 yard cheer 100. Doing art for money is a very difficult thing. We live in one of the best times in history to be able to do that. People actually live off of commission. Shay did for years, right? And it's it's not easy to do. So you said it's been passed down to you from your father, but you find yourself getting further from art the more I focus on creation. You're completing your graphic design degree, but I'm finding myself feeling like the sand and the hourglass is coming to an end too quickly. It's not. 
Life is long and full of absolutely wild adventures. You'll have no idea what you're doing over time, right? Life is going to change a lot for you. As a good example of this, I went to college to be an entomologist. Then after that, I became a QA. I, I became quality assurance at Blizzard. Then I was a lead of application security for Blizzard. Then a senior red team specialist. Then I made automation frameworks in Python for Lumberyard Game Engine at Amazon Game Studio. Then I worked at the United States Department of Energy hacking power plants for the federal government. Now I own my own game studio. Now I stream on Twitch. Now this channel is in the top 100 streams on Twitch, which is insane to me, right? And I stream on YouTube at the same time. Now I run a, Now I'm a CEO of a corporation. This is some insane shit. Life is wild, dude. Life is wild. So if you're sitting there thinking like, oh, the hourglass is running out. No, it's not. Your fear of it running out is. That's the only thing that's there. And don't let that fear stop you from kicking ass. Don't let that fear stop you from trying. Because that's all it is. Fear. You'll adapt to whatever scenario comes your way. And you'll be able to handle it. You just don't know what it is yet. And that's okay. No one does. We all rotate and adapt our way forward. You'll kick ass, dude. So don't don't worry about it. The, the way that I handle things is like this. Do you know what's going to happen? No? Who gives a shit? You'll, you'll figure it out. You do know what's going to happen? Cool. Who gives a shit? There's nothing to worry about then because you know what's going to happen. There's, there's never a reason to sit down and be like, oh, no, everything's going to go wrong. Don't, don't spend your time doing that. Spend your time doing things. The Fox ITA underscore with 500 bits said, Hi Thor. I was wondering, to start a small game development studio from nothing, what do yeah. you think about percentage of game profit pay? Yeah. Depending on the work done, decided before the start of each project for doing a specific part of the game. Yep. And if you worked for hire, for an indie studio that's not yours, how much value in money would you give to your work? Hope you have a great day. So the way that we actually started our studio was just like what you're talking about. Originally, I worked a day job. That day job didn't pay me very much money, but I put some of that money aside, a very small amount, and I paid that out per hour to any of the people that were working on the game with me, working on Heartbound. Then what I did was I said, hey, when we go into early access, I would like to transition this over to percent of sale. Everybody agreed to this. Everybody was super happy with this. They were really into it, right? So they went from an hourly pay to a, a percentage of sale. And the way that we structure this now is of 100% of the money that actually comes down for Heartbound, I take 50%. Shea, our artist, gets 25%. When the art book is made, Shea will get 100% of the art book. Then Stein, our musician, gets 25%. And they get 100% of the OST that you hear all the time on stream. From my portion, I pay for all the software and the hardware for the team. So they get it all in their name. And they get to keep it for any project that they want to work on. And I also pay for all the legal fees. This means I take the most amount of risk. However, it means that I get to work in a team where people are incentivized to kick as much ass as possible. And they get paid as long as the game sells. As long as the game sells, rather. For the rest of the time the game is out. These models do work. You just have to be clear. You have to communicate. And everybody has to be on board. And if things change, if somebody doesn't like the agreement, be willing to renegotiate. There's nothing wrong with that. Originally, Stein's cut was actually 10%. And after a little while, I was like, hey, man, this doesn't make any sense. I want to renegotiate that. And Stein was like, oh, no, what do you want to renegotiate to? And I was like, 25%. And Stein was like, what? And I was like, yeah, you should be making at least as much as what Shay is making. Shay's doing all the art. You're doing all the music. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Stein was like, what's the catch? And I was like, there isn't one. Like, you should be paid more. Here. <laughs> It's very funny. Yeah. Because, like, it didn't make any sense. I thought it was shit. It should be that way. Yep. It just should be that way. You you should feel comfortable in the job that you, you work. Always. Yeah, no catch. Just have money. You've now been promoted to my elite employee. They're the same. It's the same. You can't do this without them, you know? What's the cash there isn't one? That's the funniest part about it. So I think it's really, it's important to understand, right? Like, and if you do enter those types of agreements, talk to a lawyer. 
That's the biggest thing, man. If you want to get into an agreement like that, talk to a lawyer. Have them draft a version of your contract and talk to them about it. Because you don't want to get into legal trouble with people that you like working with. That's a shit time. It's a really shit time. Yeah. Psycho Josh with five Canadian dollars said been chasing a game dev dream for years but I'm starting to feel like an old loser and like I'm wasting my time. Lost and in need of encouraging words. You're not an old loser and you're not wasting your time. If you can look at your work six months ago, if you can look at your, your games that you've made or anything that you've worked on six months ago and you go, man, that looks like shit. That means you're doing it right, frankly. That means you're going in the right direction. So just keep working on stuff, keep trying things, and if it doesn't feel right to you, then try a different thing. And just keep trying different things until something feels right. And it's it's pretty easy to do that. You just have to stop that mental barrier of oh god, I'm never able to do anything and I can't do anything because it's you know, it's, I'm running out of time or I'm an old loser or I'm wasting my time and I'll never do do well. Who gives a shit? What is your metric for doing well? This is the big one. What is your metric for doing well? Is it the opinions of other people? Is it critical acclaim? Is it your peers caring about it? Is it the money that comes from it? How about instead, what about personal growth? Three months ago, you weren't as good as you are today. Six months ago, you weren't as good as you are today. And if you were, then you know you need to change something. Because you're not progressing. The only thing that matters is that you are progressing. You can't look at somebody else and be like, oh man, I wish I was like that guy. He's got it all together. He's kicking ass. He's making really cool stuff. Who gives a shit what the other person is doing? Give a shit about what you're doing and how you were three months ago, six months ago, a year ago. As long as you were paying attention to that, you're going to be as awesome as you possibly would want to be. That's, that's all you have to worry about. Is just progressing yourself. Beat your own levels, not somebody else's. Don't hold, hold yourself to their standards. They're doing the same thing to you, too. Every, every person is looking at somebody else going, damn, I wish it was me. It's not worth it. It's a waste of time. Waste of time. Neko with 1,000 Hungarian forints said, Hi, Thor. Did you know for the 10-year anniversary of Twilight, the writer wrote a new book? Uh... I can buy it for you. Hash Grenda dash swap. J may be also 777. No. No, 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 no. Why do the vampires shine? God damn it. That is not what a vamp- No, Twilight is not actually good. No, no, no. That's not what vampires are. No, vampire the masquerade only. Get- Stop it. Stop it. No. Interview with a- Go back to interview with a vampire. I want my- I want my pompous. I want my sun-fearing. I want my- Humans turn into monsters, sometimes against their will. I want my goddamn vampires. I want my vampires, dude. My vampires. None of this shiny bullshit. No. 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 Swear to God. No. It's just shiny vampire softcore porn. No. No. Argonius underscore doge with 500 bits said the current steam sale made me curious Can you set something as permanently on sale on steam without no. lowering the actual store price? Or nope. is there an upper limit to how long a game can be on sale for? Yes, I genuinely am curious if there's a point where steam decides enough is enough It's not just steam. It's EU law So you can only have a game on sale for certain amounts of time because of product laws in different regions European law is very heavy about this stuff. They don't want you to screw around. There's a couple of things that Steam does to incentivize you going on sale. For instance, if you put your game on sale for 20% off or more, it will actually email everyone who has wishlisted your game. This is super important. The reason why they do this, if you set it to 1% off, if they were to email everybody, it'd be a mess. They stop bad developers from abusing you as customers. Completely. 20% off or more to get that email going. So most devs, if you're out there as a dev, do 20% off at a minimum for your sales. At a minimum. There's no reason not to. Because you get all those emails out for all those wish lists. It's a great way to do it. That's why Heartbound is 20% off currently? Yes. Every time we do a sale, I do 20% off. Every single time. Always. It's a great deal for people, and it emails everybody who's actually got it wishlisted. There's no reason not to do this. Chat is so slow, and you have 11k. Smells like bots. Yeah, d chat is definitely slow. Here, hey chat, bongos. Seven. Just gonna give that. Bongos seven. 
I'll wait. Have fun with that, kid. We'll go to the next one. True underscore North underscore A with 500 bits said hi Thor and congrats on the new house. Thanks for all your awesomeness and pats to all the ferrets. What is your opinion of doing a game randomizer challenge while learning game development? Basically, okay. taking a weekend and seeing how far you could get in creating a game based on one of those game idea randomizer sites. That'd be fun. I think it'd be really fun. Hmm. Your opinion of doing a game randomizer challenge while learning game development. That's a great way to do things. I'm, I'm going to give you a good example of this for artists, actually. Because that works fantastically for game developers. Let's go pull this up. We're going to do pixel dailies. Wait, what? The FCC just changed the broadband internet minimum requirement from 25 megabytes per second to 100 megabytes per second. <laughs> what? Hold up. We're going to look at this after the ads. Also 20 upload? No shit. No shit. ISPs can eat my entire ass. That's awesome. Wow, dude. We're going to wait. I'm going to show this off. Pixel dailies first. What happened, I'll show you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the actual FCC. The United States FCC. Was it dev idea? We'll, we'll handle it after the ads. We wait for ads. We wait. So, if you're trying to make games and you, you had the idea of doing randomized games, game randomizer, to do go and build that to get better skills, great idea. I actually highly implore anybody who's doing something creatively to do this. And a good example for artists is actually Pixel Dailies. So I go pull this up for you here. It's a Twitter account called Pixel Dailies. And what they do is every day they put out a prompt. So the prompt right now is basic. And if you look at this, you can see everybody else that is doing the exact same prompt as you. Basic in this case. And what that looks like in their art style for pixel art. And they have this all the time. So this one was pirate ship. Pirate ship. Pirate ship. You've got this one here as pirate ship, right? And you see all these different styles. It's phenomenal, frankly. It's really goddamn cool. Yeah, Pixel Dailies is great, dude. I highly suggest doing this. And if you're a game developer, you can do the exact same thing. The exact same thing. I think it's fantastic. This one was ring. So they have a bunch of different rings and different ways that they hold it. Look at that. It's like a hand holding it on a chain. It's good shit. I think it's really good shit. Yeah. And I, I think that's fantastic, to be honest with you, seeing this kind of stuff. So Pixel Art, Pixel Dailies is the way to find this stuff. And it's it's a great way to keep sharp. It's a great way to learn new stuff. Yeah, it's good. The FCC doc for the broadband speeds. Let me actually look this up. This was them launching an inquiry. So let's take a look at this. We're going to grab this out. 
Let me go back to Twitter here. The FCC just changed the broadband internet minimum requirements from 25 Mbps to 100 Mbps is what Dick Serto has published. Said Washington, November 1st, 2023. This is actually when they did the inquiry. This was back in November they did the inquiry. So it looks like this is passed. Let's go find out. Let's go get some more information. To the internet. The FCC has finally decreed that 25 Mbps and 3 Mbps are not broadband speed. If you want to declare that your ISP has broadband, they now have to do 100 Mbps down and 20 up. Thank shit. So they have to they have to provide more throughput if they want to call it broadband. That is sick. Quote, I think our new threshold, frankly, should be 100 Mbps. I think anything short of short changes, anything short of that, short changes our children, our future, and our new digital economy. That's what FCC Commissioner Jessica Rosenworcel argued nine years ago, and now it's finally happening. They've been fighting that for nine years, dude. Finally. Today, the FCC has changed the definition of broadband to mean download speeds of 100 megabits per second and upload speeds of 20 megabits per second. It has been stuck at 25 slash 3 since 2015. As recently as 2021, outgoing FCC chairman Ajit Pai, which the internet hates, claimed we will still, we still didn't need more than that. Claimed we still didn't need more than that. These definitions matter because they let the FCC report whether it's failing or succeeding to close the broadband gap and how much to regulate or throw money at broadband providers to spread decent internet across the United States. This means that the federal government will be more free to give money to broadband companies, to ISPs, in order to upgrade their infrastructure to meet those requirements for the general public, which means that we're going to get 100 down and 20 up more regularly throughout the entire United States over the next five years. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You may say, oh, no, but that's a that's a good thing. I think that's fantastic, frankly. We need that. Our infrastructure is absolutely failing in terms of Internet. To be real with you, why don't we just have fiber everywhere? There's no goddamn reason. There's no goddamn reason for it. Fiber should just be the lay of the land, man. It should not be. It should not be as rare as it is. It's shit. It is completely shit. It's wild to me because money. I know because money. But to be honest with you. The amount of wealth and revenue that is generated out of having proper internet is so enormous in today's age. The opportunity afforded to you because you have access to the internet is such a big deal, especially for young people. Being able to research and do things correctly online to learn new skills and things is enormous towards your growth. Like, you have access to nearly all of human knowledge. Taking that away or having that run at shit speeds is insane. It is. So, yeah, no, this is a huge investment into the country. It's a big deal. It's very good. It's got fiber yesterday, 1,000, 1,000. Ooh. I'm getting fiber created at the new house. We actually have to do construction to get it done. And it's going to take months. Uh, competition is the biggest win. No? Yes, good. Yes. 500 up down here. Nice, dude. I'm on one gig up and down right now. But the new house has no access to internet. I'm actually going to try some stuff. I've got a SIM card. <laughs> And I'm going to try to do some uh, hotspot stuff today to see if we can get it done. Hopefully. Hopefully it works. I don't know yet. This is cool shit, though. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Starlink No Bueno. Have you ever seen Dan Clancy? Do you know who Dan Clancy is? Who here doesn't know who Dan Clancy is? Dan Clancy is the CEO of Twitch. He actually streams on his channel, DJ Clancy. And uh, awesome dude. The fact that he he streams means that he has a better grasp of the platform. And he's a really good dude. I actually had a chance to talk to him at Stream Rewards and also in meetings and things like that. Awesome dude. He's actually pretty badass. With that in mind, he streams over Starlink. And Starlink has really bad throughput randomly. The issue isn't the latency. The issue is the throughput stability. So it'll drop out and pick back up randomly. If I wanted to stream over it for the Ferret stream, it might work over Starlink, but it also might not. And the setup cost is a lot of money. It's not a small amount. The um, If you want to get the antennas that they have, it's like $2,500 to buy the antenna. And I think it's like, it's cheaper to rent it, right? It's always cheaper to rent it, but it's not reliable internet. So I could get that. And if it sucks, it's going to really suck. It's just going to be really frustrating. You need to have a dynamic bandwidth. You don't really need that. You need about six megs up 
which is not super scary, right? Because Starlink should get 20, but it's 20 when it's good. And you also have to remember cloud cover and things like that screw it up. I live in Washington State. So I'm trying to go the mobile hotspot route. And the reason why is because we have a lot of mobile coverage there, which is fine. And living in Washington, we get storms all the time. So satellite internet's not really going to work. I'm waiting for all of this because within the next five months, we're going to have infrastructure put in for a business fiber line to the area. So that way we can actually have internet for the ferret rescue and internet for the house and everything's going to be fine and we won't have an issue. Use Starlink, it's great. Under optimal conditions, it's fine. Under our conditions, it's not because I live in Washington, right? You got fiber one gig, one gig where we live? Yeah, I got that here at this house, which is great, which is great. But yeah, that's the biggest thing right now is we have to do that. Yeah, Washington is 90% clouds even on sunny days. Yeah, we love our cloud cover. It's great here. It's fantastic. I moved to Washington for the clouds and rain. So did I. I love it here. I eat my vitamin D. It's great. Idaho baby, post falls. Wait, are you going to be part of greater Idaho? Are you in... Everyone wants to be part of greater... There's so much talk about greater Idaho. Have you seen this shit? They're going to try and absorb a whole bunch of stuff from nearby states. And they're going to make a greater Idaho. I'm actually interested to see if it will happen. We're waiting to see. You've not? So there's a... It's, it's red versus blue shit in the United States. It, basically what it is is there's a lot of voters that are inside of uh, Washington and Oregon that feel like their vote doesn't count. Because the state is largely the opposite political faction, right? So they want to secede those sections of Washington and Oregon into Idaho. And it's called the Greater Idaho Movement. The name is very funny, but the reality of it is that they feel like they're not listened to. Which makes sense. If, if you don't feel like you're listened to, it makes sense to want to push for a way that you can be listened to. Totally get it. I don't think it's wrong, frankly. Um, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. Every human being wants to be listened to. They want their vote to count, and it f they feel like their vote doesn't count, and they feel like it doesn't matter what they say. So because of that, that's a, that's a whole thing for that. Yeah, Jefferson, Cascadia, there's all, all kind of movements for this. But Greater Idaho is the one that's so interesting, mostly because the name is very funny. I, I imagine, like, here, let me see if we can find this. Do you guys remember, like, like all those pictures of Jeb Bush? Gaining power. Was it Jeb? Is gaining power. It was such a funny damn thing. It's just him going like this. Yeah, I found one. They have all these images of Jeb Bush. Because the dude just like makes weird facial expressions. And they had all these ones like this where he's like shooting eyes, like lasers out of his eyes. And like the whole country is Jeb. It's all Jeb. It's kind of that same sort of a feel, right? Where you have like, it's greater Idaho. My God, Idaho is becoming greater. The horror, right? It's all Idaho. I'm like, it's it's the same sort of a feel of a meme, and it's very funny to me. Yeah, a greater Idaho, it has grown. Exactly. It's. <laughs> I love that shit. I, I hate politics 99% of the time, but every once in a while, like, a good meme comes out of it, and you're like, oh, yeah, Idaho is spreading. This is great. This is fantastic. Yeah, it's all Idaho now, you know? I love that shit. Makes me laugh every time. I know, she'll, she'll consume all- yes. Yes. Always has been. Can you show the map? Yeah, yeah, there's a map for this. Let me see, Greater Idaho map. It's always interesting to see these types of movements. But as you can see, let me, let me pull this up. As you can see, they're actually trying to consume most of Oregon. And most of Oregon is actually, like, passing a measure about doing this. Like, a bunch of counties passed measures saying, like, yes, we want to do this. So, like, this... I don't know what's going to happen there, right? Because they have to take it... You have to take it to the Supreme Court, and there's, like, a Congress thing that has to happen. There's all kinds of shit that have to happen to redraw state lines. We've never done that. So, like... Yeah, that's a hell of a movement is what that is. That's why it's not a small thing. It's not a small, it's a big thing, right? Yes, yeah, school zones have to change and federal funding has to change. And like, if they did this, if it actually happened, it's a big deal. It's not a small deal. But look, this is the best part because it basically looks like Idaho is like just consuming nearby states like a blob, right? <laughs> Makes me laugh. It's so good. Greater gerrymandering. Yeah, it's all gerrymandering all the way down, frankly. Blobaho. What would they name it? They can't call it Greater Idaho. 
Call it Texas 2 or some shit. Yeah. IRL Agario. It's happening. North Texas. <laughs> oh, man. I think that shit's hilarious to me. Will it actually shift the EC boats? It would, yeah, because it's based on population. So, Electoral College would have to change for that shit, too. There's all kinds of stuff like that, man. Always. It's always based on population and other, other factors in there. Oh, wait, let me see. Let me see if my trap has, has been sprung yet. It hasn't. Why hasn't it been sprung? I'm waiting for him. Hmm. Lol's Hunter with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, have you heard about or want to play the inscription expansion that got released called Casey's Mod? It's a free update for inscription yes. that turns the Act 1 Leshy Cavern part of the game into an infinite roguelike experience that increases in difficulty. Still yes. comes with some extra story though, plus a lot of balancing tweaks. No more <coughs> Loki sad face and new cards. To activate it you do shift plus K plus M on the start menu screen or it might already be there as a button since you finished it. Yes, I need you. I have to play it. Casey's mod is actually on my list of things to do because I, I loved the shit out of Inscription. And people want me to play Casey's mod and it should be there on, on the page for me. Because I, I played it. Played the whole thing, yeah. Really want to. Sonko Magnus with 500 bits said hello. It Dragosh, you haven't answered my computer question. Is this <laughs> scam? Is okay, I used to it. Such is life in Balkan. Maybe you can <laughs> answer another question. Your you name is Dragosh. Tell me how. I want to grow more potato for potato. No. If not, it's fine. Thank. God damn it, Sanko. The level of troll that Sanko has become. His goblinry has reached... I don't even... You're basically two goblins at this point. Sanko is stealing more brain cell than he should. You know he is. He has to be. His level of troll is too large. He's taking some of your brain cells, chat. He is. He has to be. Some of you don't have a portion Digital of the brain cell. with 500 bits said yard cheer 100 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 as I no longer have that much of memory on Python. I'm okay. trying to write code for stuff I want to like a note generator for music, but I don't okay. like how many print I have to use, so I'm trying to pretty it up with as least amount of code as possible gobleek gobleek gobleek. I mean that's fine, I guess, right? I think... I think it's something that makes me laugh every time. If we go into develop.games and I just show you this, we're going to go into, I guess, inspect, right? Is that inspect? No. We want to look at, where's the, where's the damn thing? Where? Where is it? Where is it? I want the page. I want, there we go. View page source. I need to show this to you. And the reason that I need to show this to you is because it makes every web developer very, very mad when I show this. I just want you to look at that. I just want you to look at the, for me. The entire page is HTML and CSS. It's actually using CSS Grid, and I just want to show you all of my BRs in here. I do that purposely for you. There's no reason to do this. It's not correct, really, to do this. It's horrible, frankly, to do this. And I do it for you. And just so, to let you know, I want to show you how I actually handle version control for this. You ready for this? See how this says chat is stinky edition? We're going to go reconnect to this real fast. We're going to go down here to var, var, www, and then game dev. I'm going to open this up. Do you see that right there? And I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to refresh this page. There it is. Already live on the website. Mm. 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 Mmm. I love web development. I love web development. God, it's my favorite. You know what this is? You know what this is? Mm. Web dev tears. Oh, God, delicious. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. God, it's good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, do you want to know, you want to know my favorite one? I leave this one in. I'm actually going to make a section for streaming. I just never had time to do it. So I left it up with placeholder text and missing images. And every day people message me and they say, hey, your website has a bug in it. 
And I go, is it the missing images? And they go, yeah. And I go, cool. <laughs> Oh, it's the best. It's my favorite, dude. Heath is secured? Nice. Hell yeah. One more planet to go, dude. Hey, stream your website. Yeah. Umami Web Dev Tears. Yes. It's actually just HTML and CSS Go, too. Like, there's nothing fancy about it at all. Most SEO optimized website in the web. It's great. And it still falls over, even though Cloudflare is protecting it, too. You think AI will change the game industry? Yeah. Same as any other tool that we've made. Eh. It'll make some things shittier, it'll make some things better. It's not going to replace anybody. It runs like shit when it's on its own. Unreal Engine 5 already doing his, his part? Whose part? What? Do you know any good training for ISO? I don't know any good training for that. No. For ISO 20, 27001, NIST, FISMA, COBIT. I don't know any good training for that, unfortunately. Is that an emote from Toad PhD? Bears Boy, did you know that I watch Toad PhD pretty regularly? Did you know that? Should I have been watching Toad PhD for a long time? I think originally Zoltra Lord found his channel. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious, dude. He's a very funny dude. I was worried about him because he had that surgery, and I was worried about him because he, like, disappeared for a while. But Zoltra Lord originally found him, and he's like, you have to see this guy. And I was like, what is this? And it, he's he's very... He, <laughs> I can't even describe his channel. I can't. You have to watch Toad PhD. There is... I'm not going to give you any context. I'm not going to give you a reason why. Toad PhD is like... like a weird truck stop. On the highway that is Twitch. Toad PhD. It's a weird high it's a weird truck stop on a highway that is Twitch. You have to go there, you have to experience it. You have to you have to see it. I'm gonna i I'm gonna give you all a link to this channel. Cause you you need to see it. It's an it's an experience. You will learn things about yourself and others. Is he live right now? He's not live right now. Is he? Oh god, why is it mobile Twitch? Stop that. Shut up. Shut up. You should never be mobile Twitch. You garbage. There we go. Yeah, no, it's... it's. There's no other... I can't... I can't explain to you what this channel is. Therapy Gecko, Toad PhD. I would love to see... He is like Therapy Gecko, but he's a toad. You need to... You should watch both. I want to see a crossover between Therapy Gecko and Toad PhD. Competing, but same. I told you, WLB, I'm not going to apologize for this. What is this? He's Toad PhD. What the hell is that? He's Toad PhD. He is a, He will give you answers to your questions. I didn't say they would be good answers. I didn't say they'd be bad answers. He gives you answers to the questions you give him. <laughs> There's something else, dude. <laughs> it's a wonderful channel. It is wonderful. It is what you have to you have to watch that that stream at least once. I can't wait for this. You have to watch it. It's very funny shit, dude. What did I just watch? Don't worry about it. You're better for it. I promise. You're better for it. Yeah. Watch his vods. They're funny, dude. He's a funny dude. He's a really funny dude. Yeah, there's a frog who does it too. It's not a frog. It's actually a gecko. He's a therapy gecko. He's very professional. That's true. You. See, what you guys don't know is that I binge Twitch, man. When I'm not streaming, I'm watching streamers. Sometimes when I'm streaming, I'm watching streamers. Like, usually over the other monitor, to be honest with you. So, like, I'm always binging Twitch. I'm always watching. And there's so there's so many creators out there. Like, people you've never heard of before. Wild streams. Weird streams, right? Like, crazy, crazy shit. And it's... You'd be amazed at how many creative people are out there... And it, it showed me that, like, I don't want to watch a streamer that's like a, like, a, like a gamer that is just playing a game silently. Nobody wants that. Like, it's, it's boring. I'd rather watch somebody that is doing something interesting, something unique, something weird, most of the time. And that's the kind of thing that I really enjoy is, like, watch, watch the weird streamers. The people out there doing their thing. Their weird thing. Like, Toad PhD is doing a weird thing. And it's hilarious, dude. Cardboard Cowboy. Jerma. 
in game of some germ is probably an scp to be honest with you i'm a little concerned that germ is like rapidly approaching my location right right now he's like teleported behind me and i just don't want to turn around if i turn around then it'll be real you know that's i have a fear of that that i have a deep fear of that you know yeah that's a, that's a thing yeah no, nothing personnel thor exactly no, I'm not looking behind me. I won't do it. He could be there. He could be there. No, he's not right behind. Don't say that. Don't say it, dude. Germophobia. It's just, I think it's because of that video where it was like, peep the horror. Where the like, German makes you peep the horror. Like, he, he's like, okay, chat, I'll put the horror up. And then like, one person in chat dies. I think it's that. I think it's the only reason. I think it's the only reason. Also, there's too many videos of German doing ridiculous shit at this point. He is actually an SCP, I think. Oh, look. The ferret's crashed again. He's not there. Don't say that. Nope. He's not there. He's not. <laughs> Pay Money Wubby is another one, dude. I love Pay Money Wubby. I've been watching him for years. Does he still go by Twitch's toilet paper? <laughs> I need to find out. Pay Money Wubby is great. Like, who do I have on my list? Bill Carnage, Admiral Barrow, King Gathalion, Silvervale, Primogen, Obvious Sanctuary, Tangent. Curdy, Lana Lux, Doy Swift. Those are all my buddies that are on right now. People that I, I like watching on. Onsta. Onsta. Hell yeah. And Jackie Coates. Yeah. King of Thalian's good stuff. I remember when he moved off platform and I was so sad about it. And then he came back. It's good shit. You say Curdy? Yeah. Yeah. German is definitely behind you. Don't say that. It's, the, it's terrifying. It's horrifying. Obvious Sanctuary like Maya. Yeah, dude. I actually, I got to meet Maya finally at the Streamer Awards, but she was so busy. And uh, she invited me out to go to Obvious Sanctuary in real life out in Texas. And I just need to find the time to do it because I want to. I want to. Because she's super nice. And the Sanctuary is really awesome, dude. Like, Alveus is freaking rad. Really. No, German is not quickly descending on your location. Is he, what is he, a spider now? He's coming from the ceiling? Jesus Christ, dude. No. No. Yeah, in meat space. He's not appearing in the... There's no green screen. I just... We just... I can't render the... There's just nothing back there. There's no green screen. It's just a... It's just a void. Just don't have the tech for it. All right? Yeah. There's nothing there. No. <laughs> Jeremy is fast approaching. Jesus Christ. Is this a new toy for Chet? It is, isn't it? Chad has a new toy. I need to do something because he's not paying attention and it has to be done. One moment. Wait, wait. I said, have you seen Google SEMA? And he said, no. What is this? SEMA balls. <laughs> <laughs> He's so upset. He's so upset live on the stream. He's, <laughs> He's like a dad that's lost all of his patience. Dude. <laughs> He's, you can see the stink in his eyes, dude. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> he just called me a son of a bitch. Oh, he's so upset. He's so... This is the... Oh, it's so good, dude. Look at him. Look at his anger. Look at the anger in his eyes, dude. <laughs> oh, he's so mad. <laughs> oh god, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> Why is Primogen mad? Because I just I just ligmed him, dude, live on his stream. I just ligmed the shit out of him. <laughs> oh 
It's so good. Oh, look, look, here we go. This is the best. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> And then I added him in his channel. I said DMs because we're we're doing the podcast soon. And he was like, "Oh shit, it must be with the podcast." <laughs> oh, it's so funny! It's so funny. God, it's so funny. He walked right into it, dude. Oh, yes. No, what's up? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's looking good. Green in the glasses is good. Yeah. I think it looks great. It's the weekend, dude. God, it's so funny. Got him, dude. I got him. It's the funniest shit on the planet. He's so livid. He's so livid. We got ads. We're gonna wait. Oh, he did. He took his hood off. It's so funny. Have you moved yet? No. It's gonna be a while. We have to build the infrastructure for the internet first. It's gonna take a bit. I've started building new stuff there. To make sure that everything is good, and I have to, I have to handle a lot of shit for this, a lot of shit. <sighs> you put the hoodie up. No, I saw. But yeah, if you don't know, um, Primogen and I are actually starting a podcast called Hack and Stash, and it's going to be us talking about the tech industry. So I baited him into that specifically with all of that knowledge, knowing that it was the it was the perfect crime. <laughs> so funny. When we've already started, we're actually building out this stuff. I sent him a logo, but he hasn't noticed yet. Probably because he's trying to avoid the fact that he got ligmund so hard in that chat. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Break this man's channel. Good. No, Prime is awesome, dude. Primogen's a fantastic human being. This joke is so wholesome, it's very funny. And now he'll put it on Twitter for extra points. He should, anyway. That is so funny, dude. He has not noticed the logo yet. How long is my hair? I don't know. It goes. Oh, it does? Yeah. So here, let me let me actually pull this up. We're actually working on different logo models to see if we can make a logo that works for Hack and Stash. And Shea sent me this as a potential. And I think it actually looks cool as shit. So we're looking for something that's including something iconic that I have and something iconic he has, because he has a mustache and I can't grow that. And the show is called Hack and Stash. So we're trying to find something that works together. And I dig this. This is actually great. We like this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a cool logo. I think it looks great. So we'll probably end up going with this and have fun with it. Yeah. I am single. Cool. Okay. Don't make that the defining part of yourself. Make yourself more interesting, right? You are not defined by your relationship. Who gives a shit? Let's see. Headphones would work well. It would. Maybe, but then we start adding all these extra parts and it starts turning into a Mr. Potato Head, which I want to stay away from, right? I want to stay away from it being a Mr. Potato Head at that point. Because it will be. It'll become one. What happened? I was in the bathroom. I destroyed Primogen. I've absorbed his power. That's true. That's true. Now I'm a Rust developer. Oh, wait, no, shit. I don't want that part. God damn it. I'm going to absorb the rest. The mustache part. We'll take that part. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, nice. Lemon with 10 New Zealand dollars said, Hey, Thor. 
Thanks hey. for making my day so much better. Your content is really wholesome, and you never fail to make me laugh with your sarcastic replies. <laughs> I hope this message finds you well. It does. Thank you very much, Lemon. And it's funny because, like, the sarcastic reply thing came from my dad. My dad handles everything with sarcasm. He's, he's the most sarcastic human being I know. And then it got amplified because I love insult comics. Insult comics are my favorite. So I watched insult comics for years, dude. Years. You need a boyfriend? No, you don't. You don't need a boyfriend. You don't need anybody. You just need yourself. You don't need that. Nobody needs that. You just need to be you. Yeah. It's clearly a troll account, but to be real with you, for anybody else out there who's single, that's fine. Life is an adventure. It doesn't always need another person. And if you go on in that adventure, and you don't worry about it, you might find somebody to come along with you. They're on their own adventure. And eventually, maybe, you will find someone where your adventures cross paths, and you stay together forever or for a while. Either way, you learn something. Either way, it's beneficial. Yeah. Need a party in an adventure? Not always. Sometimes. I need oxygen, though. Yeah, sometimes it can get overwhelming for some people. Certain situations, right? I need to go to Ikea. Go to Ikea. Get the lingonberry juice. Pro tip. Yeah. <laughs> can we date, yes or no? Well, I need to know first, are you actually unironically hitting on the bartender? Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If you are, I'm going to have to turn you down in front of about 12,000 12, people, which is, that's a lot of people to get turned down in, in front of, right? That's, I don't know, you, if you want to roll the dice, it's up to you, man. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. CR4KH3DDA Gamer with 500 bits said Doug Doug is a bot, always has been, always will be. Damn automatons. I don't know if he is. Although, I will tell you, I'm allergic to Doug Doug. Because he's a bell pepper. And bell peppers will actually murder me. I, I get anaphylaxis from them. Doug Doug is actually, he's poison for Thor. Legitimately. Also, he's a really nice dude. He's a really nice dude. He actually, um, when, when I won the streamer award, he actually came over and he fist bumped me and he said, hey... And we were talking a lot before that. I was actually convinced he was going to win. I was 100% convinced he was going to win. Because his, his content is amazing. His shit is incredible, frankly. If you've never seen Doug Doug's stuff, you need to. He's very, very funny, dude. His stuff is hilarious. He is able to take programming and turn it into a toy for chat all the time in a way that is very cool. And his YouTube videos are massively good, dude. So yeah, no, he's, he's brilliant. He's actually brilliant. So definitely, definitely watch Doug Doug. Like, incredible stuff. We had to vote? God damn you. I swear to God. How do I learn concepts of programming instead of the syntax? Concepts of programming come to you over time. You spend time on that. You learn things through learning projects, right? What I like to do, and this is like a pretty common one, I talk about this all the time in stream, is you give yourself a project in a language, right? And then you get stuck. And that's fine. Is it just, it's just Doug Doug. Yeah. Shout out Doug Doug. There you go. There you go. Have it. Here, let me let me go grab a link for you. Doug, Doug, Twitch. Yeah, he's a very good dude. He's very funny. His content is incredible. There you go. So that in mind, when you get stuck, you just kind of refer to the documentation. And if that's too technical or like it's not helpful, then you will likely go to a tutorial. When you do the tutorial, it will get you unstuck eventually. The right tutorial will unstick you. But the moment it does, stop doing the tutorial. Move forward until you get stuck again. And this is kind of the normal process of learning a language. Is this right here. And over time, you do this less. You just go from there to there. More and more and more. And you get better and better at doing it. Because you understand the language better. You understand the rules. And you understand when you can break the rules. And that's the whole point there. That's the entire point there. Breaking the rules is part of programming. It's understanding. What, dude? B2 Tech, are you okay over there? What are you talking about? What? Is this drawing a representation of SEMA? It is. It is. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. Anytime, dude. Anytime. Why ferrets of all animals? I like them. They're nature's hacker. 
They're good dudes. I've always liked ferrets, and I grew up in California where they were legal, so I couldn't actually have them. And now I can. I still can't believe that I ligmed him so bad on stream, dude. I watched him die on stream. That's what just happened there. Can we see a fluff noodle? They're kind of sleeping right now. One of them's digging because I think Shay has them out. Actually, let's check this out. Ferrets.live. Shay is actually cleaning out their environment right now. Let me look. What is happening? All the ferrets are running around. Look at them. So they're on they're on night vision camera right now, but they're having a they're having a little battle. Shay's having a couple of them out while cleaning up the room right now. Wiggling. Going crazy. It's morning time, and Shay is having all the ferrets wiggle. Yeah, night vision, infrared cameras. Wild animals, dude. You pay your game composer a portion of this stream money for the OC play in the background. Stein gets 25% of all sales of Heartbound. That's how much Stein has paid. And 100% of the OST. Can ferrets see infrared? Very few of them can, but some of them, yes. Yep. What is a good stepping stone to get into becoming a developer? There's no stepping stone. Just start making stuff. You won't know what you're doing at first, but that's fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing from stream. A lot of the times when I talk about Heartbound, it goes back into that. Also, something that we offer to people, if you go and pull this up, if we go to Heartbound, go to store page, uh, we go down here to the OST. As long as you are not directly re-uploading the music with no other content, you are free to use the songs in this OST in any videos or streams, whether they are monetized or not. So, you can do the same. That's the whole idea. Sign and I have that agreement. Sign loves it. I love it. Everybody wins. Sign gets 100% of the OST and 25% of the sales of Harpo. Works out. Yep. I've been programming for 15 years and I refuse to admit, admit I know what I'm doing. I don't want to be caught at the peak of Mount Stupid. Yeah, I'm going to be real with you. We're kind of like, we're kind of like weird wizards that mostly know how our spells work. That's what being a programmer is. It's like, wow, I cashed that magic this time. I hope nobody was watching. <laughs> I hope no one saw that, because then they'll ask me how it how it worked, and I, I think I know. Maybe. I've been doing this for like 20 years, and I still, I'm still like, eh, I don't know, man. We tricked a rock into thinking, and it doesn't. Yeah. That's more accurate than I wish to admit. That's exactly what it is, dude. You hope no one's looking when you cast the wizard magic, right? Because, because yeah, it's the genius dumbass cycle. It's, I'm a genius. I'm a dumbass. I'm a genius. I'm a dumb. That's every five seconds when you're a programmer. You're like, I'm a genius, and you have the power of the power of God and creation within you. And then two seconds later, you're like, I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything about computers. Why do I even own one? And that's that's every that's you just flip flop back and forth. That's the entire thing. Welcome to being a programmer. It's just how it works, right? It's. I've been doing this for so long, and that never changes. It never does. Never does. God forbid you look at something you wrote two years ago. <laughs> that was a that was a past me thing. Or someone who broke into my house, opened up my IDE and coded it for me to make old me look bad. That's that's what that is. I definitely didn't write that. No, no. Not at all. No couldn't be me. Definitely not. This is slander is what it is. That's what that is. Laker, the Waffinator with five Australian dollars said first real time catching a stream. I super enjoy your videos. I'm really glad. I'm really glad. Hell yeah, dude. You kick ass. Thank you very much. Seriously. Sherlock Para with 500 bits said good day Thor and fellow goblins today I would like to recommend the game Heroes Adventure, Road to Passion Again. It's a Wuxia open world RPG playing in ancient China. 
You can do many things in this game from slaughtering innocent people because you can, or maybe tame animals to aid you in battle or you want to be the emperor. Nothing can stop you. I think we looked at this before. Hero's Adventure, Road to Passion again. Let me go look this up. Yeah, I think we looked at this before. Let me grab this. Because it was like a very open, open style game where you could just do a lot of shit. I think we looked at this. Did we look at this? We didn't look at this one. I don't think we did. Look at the art style of this. Hold up. Am I gonna watch a kid get killed by chickens, dude? Wow. Alright. <laughs> I love this art style, actually. It's actually amazing. Yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good. I love these character models. Open world RPG, you'll commence your journey as an underdog in the tumultuous martial world and will be met with a wide array of choices as you navigate your own heroic saga. That's cool. Here, I'm gonna link this in chat. This looks this looks interesting. I like the art style of it. It's 13 bucks, this is 25% off. The environment looks quite big. Kind of like vision squares to show that he was, you know, gonna be seen in stealth. It looks like it has strategy kind of gameplay. It reminds me of, um... God, what is that? What does that remind me of? Why did my brain turn off? Not Final Fantasy Tactics. There's a there's an art style that that kind of reminds me of for that combat scene there. And it's not that. It's not Fire Emblem. Why I used to play this game all the time. They have a race that's like a robot. Not this guy. Not Dragon Quest. It's an online game. It's an MMO. I'm trying to reboot my brain. It's not Chrono Trigger. No, it's an online MMO. Dofus. That's the one. It's Dofus. Or no, it's Wakfu. It's Wakfu. Same shit, frankly. It's Wakfu. It's Wakfu. It's Wakfu. The, the art animation style for this, when we look at these, this reminds me of Wakfu. Yeah, I, play, I used to play Wakfu all the time. This reminds me of Wakfu. Not this part, but these animations, these in-fight in animations remind me heavily of Wakfu. And that's a good thing. That's a really positive thing. And yeah, Wakfu's awesome. What, what do you mean white Wakfu is a game? Oh, no, you saw the adaptation, didn't you? You saw the TV adaptation. Yeah, no, the, the game existed far before that. Far, far before that. Yeah. Did the TTS say Wakfu? Did it actually? Recommend the game Heroes Adventure. No, it said a Wuxia open world RPG. I actually don't know what a Wuxia open world RPG is. Wuxia. Wuxia? Yeah, no, not Wakfu. Yeah, this is interesting though, because that art style, the the spell casting style, reminds me very much so of Wakfu, and that's a very good thing. Wuxia? Wuxia? Yeah, it's a Chinese thing. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Wuxia. Yeah. Wuxia. Because usually uh, XIA is like Xia. Xia. So. So I think I, I'm interested in that because the art style looks charming. The gameplay looks interesting. And it reminds me in, in combat of like Wakfu, which is quite good. It's a good game. Wakfu is very good. Oh, it's a Chinese martial arts fantasy. That's what it is. Zafra, Wuxia. Interesting. I'm probably pronouncing it terribly. Uh, pronunciation in Chinese is like super important. I just don't know enough about it. It's supposed to sound like a sword swipe, so like wuxia, that kind of a thing. It's kind of an interesting way to do that. We need a goblin guild in what? Wakfu? I haven't played Wakfu in years, my dude. I'd have to find my old account. Has the dude actually been streaming for ten hours straight? Yeah. Every So, I actually stream for 12 hours a day, every day, from midnight to noon, except for Thursday. Thursday, I take the day off, because it's Thor's day, and my name is Thor. Yeah. Goblin Guild and Walkthrough, I plead. Hmm. Hmm. 
How many of you guys have been playing Wakfu? Tuesday? No. No. Not Tuesday. Not this again. That goddamn horse. Who has been in the community long enough to remember Tuesday? The horse. Who remembers Tuesday? You you have to be here a really long time to remember Tuesday. It's a... Let me find this. I'm going to find this. Found it. So, I don't know who did this, but somebody found out you can send 300 resin teeth to me for $10. And then Shay was like, can I glue them to a small horse? And I was like, no. And then Shay begged me to glue them to a small horse for like weeks. So I finally said yes. And then Shay glued all the teeth to the horse. And it's a teeth horse named Tuesday. His name is Chews Day, like chewing. Yeah. Yeah. That sits on Shay's desk. It's been there for like two years. Yeah. Horrific. Deeply horrific. Cursed actual item. My favorite thing in the world is long after both of us are gone, that object will exist. It may be in an estate sale. What is that noise? One moment. Are the ferrets fighting? Was there a ferret battle happening? Were two ferrets being goblins? I don't know what happened in there. I heard noises. Say so there was ferret goblining going on. Somebody was fighting. Some movement I got ads. Yeah, I don't know where it was. There's some new arrivals into the ferret rescue and they're not getting along quite yet. So they they've got a little bit of fighting and scuffling going on still. Yeah. Somebody was fighting a minute ago. It was squeaks. In the ferret rescue. I don't know. Could be. But okay. Lame. Lame. I was gonna go do stuff on the other house. You worked. You could go to bed because you barely slept for 48 hours. That's not true. I slept all yesterday. I did not. Did not. While I was at work with some Did not. Not true, actually. Thank you very much. Shay's trying to tell me. You're trying to gaslight me to think I didn't sleep. How dare you? I did sleep. Rude. 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 He's mad. You are only mad because you are angry. You are only angry because you are mad. <laughs> oh, Mocha. What's Mocha doing? Is he getting antibiotics? Oh, he hates it. <laughs> Poor Mocha. You big fatty fat. Oh, it's okay, little man. I know it. I know it's gross. I know it's gross. I know it's gross. But you have to eat it. You have to eat it. Because you, you have a gross lung going on. You poor little man. He's shivering. He's freaking out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to have the gross medicine. Poor Mocha. So gross. What happens? He's so upset. He's so upset. Much chunky? Yeah, he's Mocha. He's big fatty. How often do you bathe the ferrets? You usually don't. So the only time you ever do is when they get anything that's gross on their body. And the reason why you don't want to bathe them is because it gets rid of their natural oils that makes their skin bad. You don't want to do that. It'll dry them out. You want to keep that oil on them. It's a good thing for them. Yeah. A lot of people kind of wash their ferrets regularly, and it's not its not good for them, their skin. It's not good for their skin at all. Yep. 
Dralance with 500 bits said at Parade Software saw a couple things on a tech update that is about disk storage, they are able to store massive amounts of data on a disk that looks like a DVD, link incoming, https colon slash slash m dot digitalization world dot com slash blog slash 56573 slash how da Petabytes of machine generated data. Petabytes. Oop. Decline. Yeah, I'm waiting to see how this goes. Like, like smaller and smaller and more and more dense storage solutions are a huge deal. And we've got so many different ideas, right, about how this is going to go. No, it's bytes, not bits. Uh, we have so many different ideas of how this can go forward, right? And seeing advancements in terms of storage and recall is a big deal. It's a really big deal. It's a huge positive thing. And the more that we can do that, the better that that gets, the better that everything is going to get, man. Storing and recalling data and mass like that, especially if it's efficient, is dramatically less power cost, dramatically better servers, like in infrastructure stuff. Like all of this is just going to get into a better thing. And to be real with you, I'm interested to see form factor decrease as well. As a good example of this, look at the USB, like flash drives. When I was younger, like a, a one gig flash drive was like, holy shit, that's freaking enormous. Now it's like, dude, it's like a terabyte flash drive. Who gives a shit? Like they're insane now. They're completely insane now. And it's, I think it's important to, to get it, right? I think it's really important. Yeah. To get that understanding that that's better. <laughs> Why did you guys time out Ducky? You didn't say anything wrong. The other one, yeah, but that one was, I think I've been fine with that. Mods are like assassins, dude. Rolling through the chat. My brain is infected with skibbity toilet. Have you seen it? You keep that dark zoomer magic out of this community. Your skibbity toilet shit. No. No. You need to undo the brain rot. You will survive. But barely. But barely. No, not best series this year, no. Actually, to be real with you, I, I think that Skibbity Toilet shows a very interesting turning point. And what it is, is it's that Zoomers have found absurdism. And I love absurdist humor. We had it as well. Like, our generation, let me go pull this up. Let me go, let me go pull this up. Our version of absurdist humor, a really good example of it, I can find this image. It was this. It was this stupid shit. It was Merced Perderder, dude. This was this was our version of your skibbity toilet. It was this stupid bullshit, and I love this meme. Yeah, it was Ermagerd Gersperms. And all that other stupid shit. And Spinch, Gerps, Mersh Perderder, dude. Like, this is... Every generation eventually finds absurdism. And it's the best moment. It's the funniest shit on the planet. But I'm... There's something that has changed. And it's the... It's the monetization of the internet. Because when we had this, it didn't turn into a million apps on the app store that generate ad revenue. When Skibbity Toilet did this... It's freaking awful. It's everywhere for money. And that's the difference between the two. And that's why I don't like it. That's the only thing I don't like about it, is that it's everywhere for money. God damn it. God damn it. It's awful. What happened is that you got old? Whatever. You're going to get old too. And then none of this shit's going to make sense to you, and the internet's going to be even more monetized. That's right. It's going to be a cost per minute system. You wait. You wait and see. You wait and see. The monetization of memes won't stop. You're going to be old just like me, and I'll be laughing at you. Laughing at you, and you're going to be out of season. Everyone's going to laugh at you. That's right. The young people will laugh at you. The old ones will laugh at you. Because you were so high and mighty and thought that, oh, you're old now. <laughs> Future you is going to be so sad. Used to be cost per minute. Dude, it's still cost per minute. Some places, it's this freaking nightmare. Out of season, dude.
Yeah, no, a lot of a lot of areas it's actually cost for me. That's real. It's rough, dude. Nick Belial with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 morning Thor and chat. Morning. A question for you Thor, what sure. was the funniest bug you found while working for Blizzard, if you can share it? It's definitely the bone. <clears throat> There's two of them that I think were really, really funny. One of them... <clears throat> was one of the uh, the Worgen female trainer models. Her head was inside out for one reason or another. I thought that was always really funny to me. But the other one was the floating bone. I actually worked on Warcraft, like, WoW, Wrath of the Lich King. So Wrath, but specifically Wrath for China. Now, the reason why this is important is China does not allow human remains. No human remains can be in media in China. Wrath of the Lich King is about the undead. That was a time to do that. I was in QA at the time. And the whole point of this was to remove all of the bones from all of the Wrath of the Lich King. How did you solve that? We removed all of the bones from Wrath of the Lich King. All of the undead are like stitched up humans. All of like everything, like the, the skeletal drakes are all like normal dragons. Like, dude, it was a freaking nightmare. All of the textures. Like here, let me actually look this up so I can show you some of this. Wrath... Of the Lich King for China. Yeah, there's a dude that actually has a bunch of screenshots for this. There we go. Ice Grand Citadel. So, like, here's a good example of this. I don't stop it. They actually had to remove that off of it in China because this is a skeleton and this is just a face. No shit. So, like, all the bones, like all the textures that are like skulls on the floor, it had to be flat concrete. You just had to make all of Wrath boneless. Like, here's the one in the US, here's the one in China. Yeah, you. even when you die in the Chinese version, you don't actually become a skeleton. You become a small gravestone with like a piece of dirt, and the dirt is flat on the bottom, so it never fits with anything that you're ever on. Ever. It's just like a floating, shitty thing. Yeah. It's it's so bad. Like here, here's a bone pile, and they turned it into like glowing ash, all kinds of weird stuff. Oh, this was a funny one because it was like, how how is Merigar even going to happen, right? You take his skull, which is like a human skull, and they turned it into like like weird, almost like a skull structures. They're not really a skull. They're in the shape of a thing that is. He's a golem, right? Like weird shit like that. So it went from this to that. He just had a weird head. Yeah, weird alien bone head. But it wasn't bone, it was like stone. It's made out of stone now, guys. Because you can see, like, the texturing has changed here. So this is, like, smooth like bone, and this is, like, like stone, right? Yeah, not really a skull. Even things like this, you see that right there? It had to be removed for, like, a different filigree in there. Even things like this, all the bones and everything in there had to be removed for this. So, like, it's wild. Did they do this for serverweight? No, they did it because China doesn't allow human remains in video games. And I was part of the team to find all of these and report them so we could fix them. So one of the things that we had to fix was in the middle of Ice Crown, not Citadel, but Ice Crown, the zone, there's a cave and there was a bone that was like floating in the air in the cave. And we reported this and they fixed it. And the next build, it was back. And then they fixed it again. And then the next build, it was back. And then they fixed it. And the next build, is this happened like 20 times. This bug had been open and closed and open and closed and open and closed over and over and over again forever. It was a nightmare, dude. Until eventually, the dude fixing the bug, the dev on that side, deleted the bone asset from the entirety of the game. Because the build was haunted, yeah. And by doing that, there is an invisible object floating in the air in that cave in the Chinese version. There's no model associated with it, so every time the servers would start up, it would actually throw an error for every instance of this bone across the entire game, because the model is gone. Because we have no idea why they would stay there. He just He's like, I deleted the model. This bug is finally dead. And like, that's what it was. It was like this huge saga. It was ridiculous, dude. It was absurd. Yeah. It just made no damn sense. Thoughts on the new TikTok ban? Wait until you see how it goes. I know that they put it forward, but we'll see. Because TikTok has like 180 days to sell or some shit. What's up?
Yeah. So TikTok has 180 days to sell to a uh, company that is not owned by the Chinese government. And if they don't do that, then they are banned in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. It'll make my problems go away. I think it might make people's lives better. Hey, it's gross. But to be real with you, there's two parts of me on this. On one hand, I think TikTok kind of sucks. It's been awful dealing with them. On the other hand, I hate the government. And the government doing anything or telling me I can't do something? I really don't like that, frankly. So I don't really know where I stand in this spectrum between these two things. It's kind of how I feel about that. I don't really know where I sit on that. Yeah. Not a big fan of the government. It's a rare government W. I don't know about that. Because I'm going to be real with you, man. They could do that with any service. This sets a precedent where it's allowed. Oh, I don't really like that. It's a precedent that's set to say that we can shut down an entire social media in the United States on the basis of national security. And as much as I don't like TikTok, I don't like that precedent more. That bothers me. A lot. Yeah. Got ads. Looks like you piqued Jeff's interest. Don't don't worry about it. First TikTok than Twitter? No, I mean we can't extrapolate like that, but to be real with you, I don't think it sets a good precedent. I really don't. Yeah, I don't think it does. It bothers the shit out of me, frankly. Precedent is the only thing that I care about in this. Can you check their water or food? Somebody was huffing weird. Okay. What? He just horfs. It's Horfin. Huh? Okay. Bye. Have have a day at work that you're not supposed to be going to. You better kick some asses there. All right. Good. Good. You be a big bitch about it. Be the largest bitch imaginable. Be the, be that guy. That's what you have to do. Cool. Yeah, I'll set that up. I'm waiting on that router. It's supposed to arrive today. Yeah. How's Shay's finger doing? Better. Yeah, have a day. Democracy. All right, we're back. Yeah, to be real with you, the TikTok ban is a very interesting thing. Um, we'll see if TikTok actually does get banned. I I don't like TikTok in the way that it is right now. I think it's a largely very odd behavior for a website. The, I have personal kind of issue with it right now, mostly because of this. I have tried time and again to be verified on there so I could stop this from becoming a problem. Let me show you this. As you can see, this is a problem. This This is a problem. And the issue with this is I have tried time and again to get rid of these accounts. I filed DMCA's. On YouTube, I can file one and they're gone instantly. On TikTok, I can't do anything about this. I just keep reporting it. And a lot of these accounts, they have bots set up that automatically delete my messages when I comment on them saying this isn't me. And there's actually a lot of people that are going on there and saying, hey, this is this is not really the creator. And they, they lock it so that it can't be commented on and then they unlock it, which deletes everybody's comments. And what ends up happening is they'll lead you to a Telegram channel where another person impersonates me and tries to get you to do something with cryptocurrency or something along the lines like that. And it's it's becoming more and more of a problem for me because I'm, I'm getting there are people in our community that are getting scammed by these types of fake accounts and there's nothing I can do about it. TikTok is the only platform that I can't do anything about this on. It is obnoxious. It is absolutely freaking outrageous. And I've reported this shit time and again to them, and they don't give a shit. So I tried to apply for a partnership with them, 
and I, I put in all the news agencies that have talked about me because you have to show like news. And the only thing they could tell me is these news agencies, some, they said some of the news agencies you provided are not prestigious enough. Those are the, that's the exact words they used. Some of the news articles you presented are not from prestigious enough news agencies. What the shit does that mean? What does that mean? Like one of them was MSN. What do you, what, what do you want? Do you want it to be on Fox News? Like, what does it have to be? It doesn't make any sense. Who's this? You're covered in soup. soup Henry, you're a soup goblin. I'm a soup guy. You're, oh, God, you smell like soup. I'm going to give him a bath. Go give him a bath. Poor guy. Hi. Oh, my God, Henry. He's covered in soup. He's a soup man. Yeah, he was given some soup and he rolled in it. He's he doesn't have full control over his body. He's got um, vestibular infections. It's two middle ear on both sides. He's one of the ones that came to us as a rescue. We thought he had neurologic condition, but it's actually it was ear infection that had been there for about a year and a half into his two year life. So he's had it most of his life, and he's recovering from it. But we don't know how extensive the damage is yet. It's going to take some time to get there. Yeah, so he's he takes a lot of care. He takes a lot of care and, and, and hand-holding, you know? Yeah, he's just covered in soup right now. Poor soup guy. Yeah. That was the one who was walking in circles before. He can walk in a straight line, but he runs, 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 runs very fast. And he's... he's Something is definitely weird, but we just don't know yet. Is full recovery a possibility? It definitely is. But it's... There's something else going on, and we just don't know what it is yet, you know? It is, it's it's tough for him to keep weight on, too. So we've been feeding him a shitload. Yeah. That's a better thing or worse than you thought? It's a better thing than we thought. Originally, we thought it was a brain tumor. So the idea that it's this is a great thing. That being said, his kind of mentality is very odd. Uh, the running behavior is very strange. We've never really seen that. He eats twice as much as any other ferret, but is constantly losing weight anyway. And it's largely because he's running constantly. He's running very, very, like, hard all of the time. So we don't really know why this is happening. It's very strange. And we're trying to get him through it. Yeah, sounds like thyroid tested. We already went through it. It's not the thyroid. We thought it might be something like that, but it's not. No, no parasites. Nothing like that. It's going to be neurological or specifically with uh, his, his middle ear like that. We don't know. Yeah, it's not a parasite, guys. It's, there's no parasite that makes a ferret run. What? Why is everyone saying parasite? What's <laughs> the matter with you? Why are you like this? Yeah. The reason he's losing weight is because he's running all the time. He'll, like, if you don't realize this, he will run at maximum speed around his enclosure for three hours straight. Not stopping for three hours. There's a neurological thing that's happening here that we need to understand more about. It is a unique thing to him, and we don't know all of the problem yet, right? And that's, we're, we're going to figure it out. We will. It just takes time. He's, he's got a unique condition. We have a lot of testing to do, and it just takes time. We've done a lot already. I think his medical bills so far have been about $5,000 in total, but we saved his life so far, and I'm quite happy with the outcome of that. So thank you for watching the Ferret Rescue Channel, because all of that came out of ad revenue. You guys are freaking rad. So this is the kind of stuff that we can do because you watch that channel. And it's awesome as hell. It's literally ad revenue paying for everything. Yeah. So, hell yeah. Can you give him a wheel or a tiny treadmill? That kind of stuff can be dangerous for Ferret because they try to get under it and then they get stuck and there's all kinds of stupid shit there. Yeah. Yeah. It, but yeah, it's like two to three hours straight each time. It must be so exhausting for him. It is. And uh, we try to get him to stop. We'll like calm him down and shit. And he just passes out like a slug afterwards and usually we'll pick him up and hold him so he's like held on on your chest or something like that while he's sleeping because he needs to warm up you know but it's it's something that we're trying to fix we we need to find out what's the cause frankly and to be real with you he may just be like this for the rest of his life but he's happy he's so excited running around and playing with the other ferrets and like trying things and doing stuff he just does it a little bit weird his head does this when he moves you know but he has he has much more of a normal life than he did before. His his life before was running in a small circle and being unable to eat and becoming frustrated, visibly frustrated, and it was it was awful to watch. So the fact that he's gotten this far in just a week is great, you know. Yeah.
So my hope is that he keeps progressing in that direct direction and just keeps getting better. Yeah. Weird fits the best fits. Yeah, I mean, they're all weird, frankly. I hope he'll be calming, calming down. I hope so. Yeah. But he's very, he's very strange. We'll find out. NASCAR ferret. He's a NASCAR ferret. That's true. One sec. Ugh. I'm gonna blow my nose. It's all dry here. Ugh. Positive vibes for Henry. Yeah. No, I'm I'm ex I'm happy for him, man. He's doing good. He's doing really good. And it's it's always a tough thing. It's it's tough as shit seeing an animal in such a bad position, you know? It is. Rookie Alec with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, have you started the podcast with Prime Agan yet? If so, when is it? Soon. Soon. We're working on logo stuff so I can give that to YouTube people. That'll be a whole thing. Use a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, soon. I, dude, there's so much shit to do. Like, <laughs> we'll do it. It's happening. Prime Eggman. Prime Eggman. Prime Eggman. CR4KH3DDA Gamer uh. with 500 bits said thanks, Thor. I'm now going uh. to click on all the links on porn websites. No, no. What? What? Why would you do this? That's a bad idea. Lock9337 with 500 bits said no single point of defense will ever be enough aside from never doing anything at all. That is why you have multiple lines of defense, including user intelligence and intuition. Oh, you're talking about using that, uh, that squid thing or whatever, so, double octopus shit. Yeah, um, training is always a big deal. Training is a massive deal. Part of what my job was in the past was uh, exploiting the human component on that for social engineering side. And training fixes a lot of that problem. Another big problem, to be honest with you, is middle management shutting people out. Firing people because they make a single mistake. Especially in the line of security. A lot of people just don't know these methods. Getting rid of a star employee just because there was a mistake that happened instead of training them against those mistakes in the future is probably one of the most foolish things you can do as a business, frankly. It's not their fault. It's fault of training. It's never a personnel issue 99% of the time. Unless somebody's doing it specifically to harm the company and you have to prove intent at that point. Yeah, no, we were talking about security shit before. This was hours ago. It takes a while. Luek here with 1000 bits said, Hey Thor, just hey. wanted to say that since I've found my stream, you have inspired me to go back to school for a networking degree. Hell yeah. But you have helped me get through a hard divorce. Thanks for everything. Keep on the good work. That shit is hard. You'll be okay. It's different. But it's okay. So keep it up, man. Glad you're getting that networking degree. Awesome as hell. Papa Beasts with 500 bits said as a crisis counselor I've clearly made the right choice in Goblin King to follow take my subs and bits oh mighty lord. As a crisis counselor? That's a tough job man. That's not easy at all. The fact that you're doing that, you do actual good in the world. Is that a cheroot? Primogen, did you see the other thing I sent you? Thank you for the raid by the way. Thank you for the raid Primogen. By the way, follow Primogen. Do it. Do it. Prime, did you see the other thing I sent you? Did you see it? Did you see the, the prototype? Yeah, 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 yeah. Soon, soon. That is nice. I think it is nice. I think it is nice. It's a good direction for the logo, and I think it's actually quite good. So Shea whipped this up uh, today, and then promptly had to go to work, so I don't have the original now, which is funny. I just have this screenshot of it. But I think I think we should end up using this. Yeah. Also, I I got a uh, Primogen with my with the best Ligma. It's pretty good. I'm actually. Did you tweet that out yet? You need to tweet that out. You know it. Uh... No, you tweet it, dude. Tweet it. Tweet it. I'll tweet the image because Shay's making it. God, it's so funny. I want to tweet it when we have the the uh, channel up fully, though, because <clears throat> I gotta I gotta talk to YouTube about it. Get all the stuff ready. It's 
tweet it out. Tweet it out. And then I'll retweet. I'll retweet it. And this is, this is how we do it. We do it. A tweet loop. It's like a... It's like masturbating on the internet, but everyone's watching. Now this is weird. This doesn't work anymore. Now it's weird. Now it's weird. Yeah. Just just tweet it. Don't worry about it. Let's not talk about it anymore. No one knows. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> but no, I, I want to put out the image once we have it up on the, on the YouTube channel. You just tweeted it? Oh, God. Thank you. You're going to do it. <laughs> That's the best caption they could possibly have. Oh. Got him. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Have you seen the Connor Mr. Beast clip? I did, actually. It was so funny, dude. It was so funny. Uh, Connor, who's C-Dog VA here on Twitch, convinced people in Japan that he was actually Mr. Beast. And they believed it. <laughs> it was really funny. It was really funny. Anyway, go follow Primogen's Twitter, too. He's good people. He's good people, and he's got a, he's got a better mustache than I will ever hope to attain. Which is why he's the stash portion of Hack and Stash, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you know how you know? I'm going to tell you right now. Primogen, I want to let you know. It's already a hit tweet. Do you know why? Second comment. 45 seconds after it was posted. My nudes in profile. You know it's a hit tweet. It's already a hit tweet. You did it. There's two things that you get. One of them is nudes in bio. The other one's crypto bros. You got the nudes in bio. That means it's hit. It's a hit, dude. It's a hit. Yep. Congratulations. Congratulations on your hit tweet. Yep. Mustache in bio, dude. I put game dev in bio up the other day. Uh, so funny, dude. By the way, I want, I want to let you know, I primed that Ligma like an hour beforehand. And you were live and you just didn't pay attention to my DM. And it was just sitting there waiting for you. It was there for like a while. <laughs> I was like, come on. He's got to take the bait. There. Check out these nude NFTs. Oh god, that's the that's the worst, frankly. It's the worst. Are you really 19 years old? No. What? Where on this does it say I'm 19? I'm 36, my dude. The hell? What? No, don't say I'm- Oh, I'm sorry, you bastards. I swear to God. Every one of you. T-H-E-R-I-0-N with $10 said, Hey Thor, I just hey. woke up to go to work and was dreaming about a game that does not exist. Mm. I completed an objective, but woke before I could turn it in. Now I have, bring parts to Isaac, in my head. Wait, what? What is the game? What is the game? I need to know more. I need to know more about that. Oh no, not the game. I just lost the game, chat. It's upsetting, I know. It's upsetting. It's upsetting. You just lost the game? I just lost the game. Recursion. 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 Yeah. Hold this organ? I'm not saying. You already know. You know the answer. That's bait. Hmm. 
One sec. I got something for you. I know you can hear it. I got something for you. There you go. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I know exactly where that's going to fit. Ooh, it's so funky. This is new, it is. No one's heard this before. Not even me. Soon. Another one, too. It's me. <laughs> oh no, Stein has my voice now. <laughs> My God, why is Stein so freaking amazing? You guys want to see what Stein's been working on, by the way? You guys want to see what Stein's studio has been doing? So Stein, our musician, has made enough money off of Heartbound to go and open up their own studio and do stuff and make things. And they have just announced their next game called Five Bucks for the Bus. And they've got a really interesting art style. And I'm excited for this game. Like, very, very excited for this. Check this shit out. Yeah, Stein's Dutch. Stein's Dutch. It's called Five Bucks for the Bus. And they have all these interesting characters. Interesting gameplay for this. I love the combat system, too. And the monster design is so interesting. It's so weird. They're like real... Like, they took pictures of real things, and then they modified them. And they made like 3D models of some stuff. Like, it's like a burger. And then they can make like stacks of burgers. Like, all kinds of stuff with this. It's so interesting. It's cool shit, actually. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. And they've decided to go and make like a bunch of videos and stuff to go along with it. Yeah. It's going to be rad, dude. It's going to be super rad. The burger is like the ones from Good Burger. They're so weird, right? That burger is super cursed. Wait till you see the stack of them. There's like three of them. I would play it. Yeah, I'm going to play it on stream for sure. It's going to take them a while. TTSQ is gigantic. I know. They, I'm not going to be able to finish the full TTSQ. It, it's enormous. You guys are ridiculous. 
But I'll do as Moon many as I can. Lacks with 500 bits said, Hi, I Thor. did like it, yeah. What's your opinion on games that explicitly dictate how much you're allowed to play in a given game? Cozy Grove is an example of this where they want you to take breaks, whereas Genshin Impact is an example where you can pay to play more. Hope you have a good day. I think a hard cap is something that I don't enjoy. If I want to sit down and be a slug ass and, and spend like 70 hours in your video game over like, you know, five days or four days, I should be allowed to, right? In some countries, there are government related restrictions on this stuff that stop you from doing this. But like sometimes I want to be a slug ass, right? Sometimes I just want to, if I want to lay in bed with a laptop and just and play your game, that's fine. Soft caps make sense if you have an ongoing story. You run out of energy. You run out of currency point. Whatever the hell it's going to be, it regenerates the next day. But to be real with you, those types of restrictions make me less interested in the video game, frankly. I think that was one of the things that I didn't like about Genshin Impact. I actually did not like that. And eventually I fall out of interest for a game if it has those types of sort of daily currencies or, or, or daily energy systems, anything like that. It bothers the hell out of me, yeah. I binge video games and it's amazing. I love binging a video game. I like to, I like to play a video game to its fullest in one sitting, usually. As much as I possibly can. If it's an MMO, then I just go ham, right? Helldiver's loading screen explicitly calls you a coward if you take breaks. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They're right. <coughs> it's annoying, yeah. Yeah, no, I talked about the TikTok ban. I, I think it's... I don't like TikTok very much. I don't like the way that they run their business, right? But they're free to run it like shit if they want to. That being said, I don't think it's a good thing to have a precedent set where the government can shut down a social media platform in the for the reasons of national security. That sets a very dangerous precedent in my book. And that's not something that I think is a good thing, frankly. That worries me because that leads to overreach very quickly. I don't like the government very much. And that makes me wary, frankly, always. What don't you like about TikTok's business? Copyright is really obnoxious to enforce on TikTok. It's not like that on any other platform. It's been a complete nightmare for us to deal with specifically. So it's a personal thing that bothers the shit out of me. The situation is way more dangerous than that and more complex. I know it's way more dangerous and more complex than that. However, any situation can be more dangerous and more complex. The idea of, like, I'll give you an example. Some of the statements that were made were TikTok should be owned by an American company. Well, isn't that the same problem in reverse now? Because some of the issue that people are having is the fact that the Chinese government could take some of this data and spy on Americans. Well, if it's owned by an American company, don't you have the exact same issue? But in the opposite direction. That was from our congressman talking about this. So when, we, when we're when we kind of going through these sort of situations, it's they're not allowed to do it, only we're allowed to do it. That's That bothers me, dude. That bothers me. That's not a good thing. That's not a good direction for that. That an option? The TikTok ban hinges on them selling the company within 180 days to an entity that is not owned by the Chinese government. So American companies would be able to buy it and then the ban would not happen. That's not good. I don't think that's good. Because it leads to like a weird government sort of cronyism sort of a thing. It also leads to we can shut down social media platforms if we don't like the things that they're doing. It leads to this is national security because I said so. Like there's, there's so many weird precedents that this set sets that isn't that isn't what because I, I read through all of this stuff this morning and yesterday if there's something that i'm getting wrong here let me know doesn't matter if china has a different app that's irrelevant who defines national security government does you're spot on. Yeah, because I, I thought I was, because I read through everything here. Because it, it, let, let's think about it this way. How far of a jump is that before it's Tencent? How many game companies does Tencent own? How many game companies is Tencent involved with? This is why I worry about this. Because the moment that you have this type of an idea is the, the Chinese government is involved with this company and they deal with U.S. customers, so now it's an issue of national security. When is it Tencent? How, how far does that go? 
that concerns the shit out of me. Because that starts to rip the entire planet apart in terms of what you are or not allowed to see, especially in our industry, in the world of the internet and, and the games industry. That, that concerns me very greatly. Very greatly. In a way that's not positive, right? And the idea of the resolution to that being, let's have an American company own it, that's not a resolution. That's the same problem in reverse. That's going to make the other side feel exactly the same way. Us owning it doesn't fix that. It causes the same problem. So, like, this is... It's really weird. It's saber-rattling shit is what it feels like to me. Overall, it feels like saber-rattling bullshit. To just kind of ratchet up. Kind of... Kind of a bad feeling between these countries, frankly. It's geopolitical shit. Because it, if that kind of rift starts, and we have precedent for that rift being allowed, I... I am concerned at where that could that road could lead, if that makes sense. I am very concerned at where that road could lead. And it's not something that's set in stone, but it is a concerning step in a direction I don't agree with. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's set in stone. Things can still change. But it is concerning. Yeah. And ads. We gotta wait. I don't trust China, but you make good points about this. You shouldn't trust any government entity. They're just like any business. You think tax money is. Same shit. I wouldn't trust any of these things implicitly, dude. Any country in the world, I wouldn't trust implicitly. Those countries, are, those governments are made up of people, and people have different aspirations than just the will of the people. You know? That's how that goes. No, I don't mean any of the other ge geopolitical stuff that goes around it is is sort of whatever, right? I have concerns about these specific narrow subjects because they specifically enter my realm of expertise and the things I care about. Outside of that, you could you could wax infinitely about everything. There's a billion other subjects that go along with that. It doesn't mean it's valuable or or beneficial to sit down and just cheese about it forever, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, Tim moves it in the sites as well. I know. I can't trust my dad. <laughs> Shouldn't trust anyone implicitly. Always check. <clears throat> Politics are boring but important. I agree with that. I think things like this are important. It was the same thing that I felt when they had like, uh, what is it, Sopa and Pippa? Remember that shit? Was it called Pippa? There's so many stupid names. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's stuff to pay attention to. Yeah. You start talking about politics, the narrow... If you actually look at the rules for the channel, I won't talk about politics unless it directly aligns with the games industry, and this one does. Outside of that, I don't give a shit about your political candidate. Yeah, for those who are new, I don't talk about politics 99% of the time because I find it to be a worthless endeavor. Uh, because everybody, n nobody knows how to, not even everybody, some people don't know how to have a conversation without throwing mashed potatoes all over the goddamn ceiling at Thanksgiving is basically how that shit goes. I don't give a shit about, like, Trump. I don't give a shit about Biden. They're both two 80-year-old plus men that can't find their own ass. And if, if you need to talk about it, you just can't handle yourself so much that you have to shit all over the ceiling. Like, do it somewhere else. I don't give a shit. But when it comes to we're dealing with internet censorship, we're dealing with countries making moves to make certain parts of the internet accessible or not accessible to people, especially in the realm of games and social media, I'm always going to talk about that. Always. I don't give a shit about your candidates. I don't care. I don't care about your soapbox. Nobody cares. Definitely not me. Yeah. Yeah, Nosh the Mersh Perdurters. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's how I handle that shit, man. Mersh Perdurters. <laughs> That'll always make me laugh, though. <laughs> Uh, but I'm my boy, my boy Vermin Supreme. I vote for him every time. Almost always I vote for Vermin Supreme. It is my protest vote. Because I want candidates that are not past the age of retirement. And he is not. And when he is past the age of retirement, I will stop voting for him. And I'll vote for somebody else. I want my damn horse. Damn right. I want my... 
I want my toothbrush and Gestapo or whatever the hell it was. The, the, the secret teeth police. Yeah. God, he's so funny. <clears throat> Yeah, unironically voting for Severin Supreme is so cool. I always have. And the, the reason why I vote for him is you should vote. Even if your vote is for something like that, you should vote. The process of voting is a very important thing because becoming informed about your local area, becoming informed about your local politics, your national politics is an important part of the system. And if you aren't informed, if you're an uninformed voter, you'll largely fall behind on what is coming up and how you can change in your nation in a direction. It's important to know. And also, to be real with you, I don't want somebody else voting using my name. So I vote using my name. Yeah, so there's no bullshit going on there. My vote is already counted. They can't use it for anything else. If somebody does manage to get enough of my information to vote as me, they can't now. Yeah, it's a good, way to, good reason to do it, frankly. Voting for a third party is just not voting? No, it is completely distinctly different from that. Voting for a third party is showing that you wish that they had better candidates. And that that third party should win. The candidate largely fits you much more. It's important. Not to get political, but Thor for president? No, dude. Am I religious? No. I like religious equality, though. Yeah. So, like, to be real with you, I, I actually like the uh, Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. I donate to them all the time. So I have my Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster coin here. And I, I like the Church of Satanism here in the United States, the Satanic Temple, rather. The reason why I like them is because they ensure that no one religion becomes powerful enough to make the other religions irrelevant in terms of government tie-in, which I find to be incredibly important. That should always be separated. That should always be separated. And they, they work very hard to do that. Um, one of the things you'll see a lot of is anytime they try to put like a religious statue or something in front of a courthouse, the satanic temple will show up and be like, well, then you have to put in, up this statue of Satan and they back down immediately. I find that to be very funny on one hand, but also very important on another because you should not mix those two things. You shouldn't. They're not doing it to just be edgy. They're doing it because religious equality demands that that happens and it stops that from becoming a problem where you muddy the waters between those two things. I like that. That's a That's a positive thing to me. And I, I enjoy seeing that happen, and I enjoy seeing people get mad about it, frankly, because it's hilarious to me. <laughs> yeah. They're a bulwark. They are. They exist to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I've always been a past the far end, my dude. Have been for ages. Even though the internet, somebody, somebody put together like a dossier on me on the internet, and they said I was Christian, which I'm not. It's quite funny. You remember them? Nice, dude. I'm actually an ordained minister of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. I could legally marry people. It's true. Where's your colander? I have it upstairs in my kitchen. Ramen, dude. It's so funny. The misunderstanding of that church is hilarious? It is. No, it is. There's a massive misunderstanding of the church. A lot of people think like, oh, they're unironically just Satanists, right? It's like, no, they, they exist there to enforce religious equality. Because it's very easy when you have one belief structure that is seen as the most you know, correct, the most, you know, widely seen as being positive and like this is this is the right way, that other religions start to be looked down on, especially if they're starting to get tie-ins to government. And these types of groups stop that from being a thing and ensure that religious equality takes place, because it should be. You should be free to believe whatever you want. You should be free to follow any type of religious teaching that you want, regardless of if it's popular or not. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, who gives a shit? And I, I think that's an important thing to me, very much so, which is why I like those groups. Absolutely like those. Can you shed some light on Blizzard server maintenance with WoW? What are the factors with respect to the duration of the maintenance? It depends. Usually if they're testing new stuff or like, you know, updates to things or efficiency test stuff, there's a lot of different pieces that have to go into place for any type of weekly reset shit. It's not just, lol, turn off the servers, turn it back on. They do test. There's a... Like, for instance, QA has to go and do a pass on it. There's like a smoke test pass. There's actually going and doing, making sure they're doing testing all the new stuff, checking to make sure the servers come back online correctly, checking to make sure the database connects to everything. There's a lot of pieces that go in there. It's not as simple as like, lol, turn it off, turn it on. <coughs> Got to do build verification tests. Those take a while on MMOs. Yeah, they do. <coughs> build verification t shit takes forever. Yeah. Question about calculating stats for combat? What's the best process to slowly get to a balanced system? Testers. People playing the video game 
will largely players players have a tendency to optimize the fun out of anything, right? They they have they absolutely do. No one wants to take to make time for QA. Sedge, I know. Yeah, I was I was in QA for four years. QA is part of development, by the way. You should be treated with respect and you should be paid as such. But largely QA is not, even though it should be. But yeah, so like when you're getting to a point of testing in an MMO for like finding balance, players will find the most imbalanced thing and then do it. That's what they do. Much more so than QA ever will, because players have infinite time and QA largely doesn't. And players have infinite drive and QA largely doesn't because it's a job versus, man, I wonder how stupidly strong I could get in my favorite video game. And like, that's just how it works. Yeah, QA has no time. Omega Law. Yeah, they just don't. QA doesn't have infinite time. I wish, I wish QA had more time. They don't have any time, frankly. So like, you're always going to find players that find these types of things and they get better and better for this stuff. And it's, it's fantastic. Also, by the way, anytime I talk about politics, you'll see all these bands going off. This is my favorite. Anytime I talk about politics, there's this massive wall of people that cannot handle it, and they get stuck on talking about my Biden and my Trump. I don't give a shit about either of your candidates. They're both boring. Both of them. They're both over 80 years old. I don't want either of them to run the country. They're idiots. I hate it. I want somebody who's not over the age of retirement that actually understands the internet and technology as it is today for our generation. And until that shit happens, I'm not voting for either of your candidates, and I don't give a shit about your take or your, or your soapbox. I don't care. I don't care at all. Not even a little bit. Don't care. Yeah. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Thor Senpai be my president? No, dude. No. That's a lot to ask for. I know, I know. Some basic understanding of our current economy in terms of the internet would probably be a good idea, though. And see, every time I talk about this, when I do, you know what ends up... Holy shit. Is that 50,000 bits, dude? That's a lot of goddamn bits. Oh, shit. <laughs> the queue is enormous. There's Kim no way. Set v with 500 bits said with your intent for actual uh, pirates oh, for AOC, I'm they a teeny message, tiny bit sad you didn't go for the same approach with the German MMO Tibia. It's a proper sandbox game, but a bit too old school perhaps, but it would have been fun to see your approach to it. They didn't leave a message. You didn't even leave a message. There's no message with it. Holy shit, it's just going to go through, isn't it? German MMO Tibia. I've heard of that game, but I never played it. Open. Open the queue. I need to look. Oh my god, open. Inspect variables. Oh no, it is in there. We gotta burn the queue. Rainbow Sprinkles with 500 bits said good morning, Thor. Hope you are doing well. My friend had a question for you. My game has the same name as a popular Warcraft 3 map and I can't come up with anything else. Can I just add an S to it or do I have to rename it entirely? My game has the same name as a popular Warcraft 3 map? That sounds like a lawyer question, dude. I can't answer that question. You have to talk to a lawyer, legitimately. It's a legal thing. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. We're burning the queue. Anode underscore KK with 500 PM, bits said hello yes. Thor. Yesterday I discovered a video about PostgreSQL and it terrified me. Uh. I thought it's just a database. But now, did you know you can orchestrate containers in PostgreSQL and have a RESTful backend server and do machine learning, data processing, caching, third-party API integration, all just in PostgreSQL? Video in question, HTTPS colon slash slash YouTube. It sounds like curse knowledge. One moment. I need to look at this. Okay, I'm linking this in chat. I want you guys to get this guy's... Give this guy's channel views. The Art of the Terminal. He's got 19k views on this, with only 689 subscribers. Look at this man's content. That's ridiculous. Oh, he's got really good... Yeah, no, this is good. This is good. Watch that video. Yeah, it's real. I want to see that thing explode. 
I'm gonna watch that whole thing. Thank you for that. God damn. Mr. Rowie with 500 bits said have just come across you from YouTube Shorts. Hello. I'm a third year comp sci student and for the last four years have been working on an open source project keeping a game from 2012 alive, balance and game improvements. Should I put the time I've spent working on that on a CV when applying for jobs? Yes, you absolutely should. There's no reason not to improve, not on a cover letter, but inside of your resume itself, unless CV is curriculum vitae, depending on where it is and you are in the world. But yes, include that into your resume package. Absolutely. Most definitely. White Hammer with 500 bits said, Hey, I'm a hey. .NET developer. The only thing I've done in my career is write guide extensions for Macro Hard for 10 years. I want to get into game dev, but I'm worried it'll feel too much like bringing my work home with me. Have okay. you ever had that mental block before? Do you have an easy way of separating the two comfortably? Yeah, I do it based on a couple of different things. I will have a specific area of my house that is designated, or I'm doing work here on this thing. And I only use that portion of the house. I don't do it everywhere else. The other thing that I do is I try to separate my day into chunks based on it is what it is that I'm doing. After this stream, I'm going to have a one-hour meeting. And then after that, I'm going to take a nap. Then I'm going to wake up. I'm going to have my three hours of free time. And then I'm probably going to take a little bit of time to make some food during this. And then I'm going to take a full sleep. I'll probably do like a 30-minute nap. Something like that. Usually 15, 30 minutes. I wake up and I'm like, Bleh! And then I get back to doing stuff. It's like 30 minutes. And I only do like one a day, usually. I'll do like a 30-minute nap and then I go and do my five hours of sleep after that. It's just there's a buffer to split parts of the day apart. Yeah. No, I don't do biphasic sleep. It's a 30-minute thing. It's not a biphasic thing. Yeah. You go to bed at 8 p.m. Usually I go to bed at, at 7 p.m. And I wake up right as I start the stream. I start up... I, I wake up usually at like... Like... I don't even know. Like 11.55. And then I walk downstairs and start the stream. Why so early? I don't know. It's what I do. How do you survive with five hours? It's built like that. I'm a mutant, dude. Yeah. Aoyui, Antichrist hater with $2, said what engine is best to make a novel combat system? There is no engine that is best to make a novel combat system. If you're trying to build a combat system, it, there's nothing that you need from any given engine that you can't get from other engines that also include the ability to cr construct systems. So, like, something you'll find very quickly, there is no best engine. Best engine does not exist. So, you should choose an engine based on the kind of game you want to make. First, design the kind of game you want. And then after that, choose an engine that works with the kind of game you want to make. And then choose a language that works with that engine. It is a process for that. And I'll, I'll give you this in chat. This is going to blow up. The website's going to crash. Just just bookmark it. It'll be fun. Yeah. Design document's going to allow you to find out what kind of engine you want to make. And there's a design document example in this inside of picking a genre on the website. Game design document right there. Burn the Joe16xx with 500 bits said Thor, have you seen the new iSoftware engineer Devon? Yes. Can you please comment on it? It does yes. give me mixed thoughts about the future of programmers. This is the Twitter reveal. HTTP. So I've already seen this and we talked about this a little bit. It's really, really funny to me. But what happens if you have an AI and the AI has to be trained on source data? And then that AI starts replacing people and creating new source data. What ends up happening, shit? Because people use the AI to make new work, and then that new work becomes the feeding ground for the new AI. Oh, you get garbage. You get... Yeah. Yeah, you get garbage. That's what you get. That's what you get. Yep. You get AI trash. And this is... You get inbred AI. That's exactly what happens. And I'm waiting to see how badly this, this happens. And how quickly it happens. Because there's going to be a lot of people that are iterating using AI, putting that back into systems, and then that's going to get used to feed the next generation of AI, and it's going to get dumber as a result of this. And they have to find a way to solve this problem. They do. Because otherwise, you're just going to get shit code forever. Oh, and by the way, just because just because a coding style is popular doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> There's a lot of dumb shit out there that everyone uses. And if there wasn't, then I would never make any money off bounty programs, frankly. Yeah. Gates and 3 I do. with 500 bits said, Hi, Paul. So. I'm trying to break into the digital art world. 
I was hoping yeah. you could speak to that from your knowledge. There's a round table of a model I'm working on somewhere up there. Yeah, to be real with you, if you're trying to break into the digital art world, just start making stuff. Make stuff, put it out on social media. Make a webcomic. That's a great way to break out there. People love the shit out of webcomics, and they're so easy to build now. To be honest with you, write a story. Make a webcomic. Make it something you think is funny. Slowly add to it over time. You get better and better at digital art. More and more people know about you, and as long as you stick with it and you keep releasing, you get better at it, you know? And I think that's important. It's a super important thing to do. Yeah, webcomics are great. I think my favorite one right now is Kill Six Billion Demons. Love the shit out of that one. It's fun to sell. Amazing art style, too. Dagon with 1000 bits said, Hi Thor, I am Hi. in medical QA for a pretty large company. Huge. I started when I was 16, now I'm 31 still working at the same company. Wow. I get a lot of pressure to get a second job working from home. Do you think this is a good idea? I think the fact that you've been working at a critical industry company for 15 years and you still don't have a workable wage where you can think about not having a second job is insane. That's horrific to me. You started when you were 16, you're 31 now. That's insane. A lot of pressure to get a second job working from home. Shit, man. I would find a, I would find a different primary job, frankly. The, the fact that you have that much experience and you don't have a, a livable wage at that point, that doesn't reflect on you at all. That reflects on the business. And if you've only worked at the same place your whole career, it's likely that you don't realize how critically underpaid you are with the amount of experience that you have. I had the same problem. I was at Blizzard for seven years and I thought it was normal to, you know, struggle as much as I was financially. It's not. So I hope that you realize your potential in that and i hope that you find a place that understands your value because that that seems messed up to me legitimately alucard with two dollars said hello from guam guam hello hello guam how you doing mfish2 with 502 bits said as someone that is drinking mead for 10 plus years i can recommend getting it from heathen mead mm. especially the winter sorba it's a apple cinnamon mead it tastes Ooh. like a very good apple pie Besides that, cherry is my favorite. Apple pie is delicious, so you may have yourself a deal. Maybe. Andrew McKinley VT with 500 bits said, Yar cheer, 100 yar cheer, 100 yar cheer, 100 yar cheer, 100 yar cheer, 100. Any advice for a new streamer juggling a full time job, 3 DND campaigns, and Twitch? Why do you have all of that? 3 DND campaigns? My dude. If you want to, if you have a full-time job, you can choose, like, maybe one D&D &D campaign and Twitch, right? But three? That's a shitload. I can't even do that. You're overachieving and you're over d and ding I think. Or, to be honest with you, why don't you just stream your D&D &D sessions? Wait a minute, I'm going to be real with you. Uh, as someone who plays D&D &D with some buddies, not all D&D &D sessions will be good to stream. Some people say they're family-friendly and they're they're very not family friendly. Just keep that in mind. But maybe stream it. Maybe. Maybe. Alucard with $5 said, Good morning, hacker of the ferrets. Is there any benefit to using a private DNS? What specifically would you want to use that? What private DNS? What? Why? What? What service would we be using for DNS? Yeah, why? I'm so confused. No. <laughs> Adblock pie hole? Oh, are you saying are you saying for your end? Okay, okay. You're trying to do for your end. I was like, why would you host what would what would be the how could that even work? You're trying to host a website. It doesn't make any sense at that point. But no, if you're just doing it for browsing, yeah, that makes sense. If you're trying to get rid of ads and shit like that, totally makes sense. Pie hole is a thing, yeah. Pile is a thing. You could definitely do that. So I was like, my brain was in the wrong location. I was like, hosting websites, private DNS, like that, what? What? The whole point of it is that everyone's supposed to know about it. Doesn't make any damn sense. Yeah, other than that, Piehole makes a lot of sense. Definitely works. And it will get rid of ads and other, other bullshit like that. Stops you from being tracked. Useful. They left out your Thor in the StarCraft 2 credits, and I think it's just rude. I also thought that was rude, and it bothered me immensely, and they would never change it. 
Zoltralord with 500 bits said I wish I had time to teach Thor how to play games like these but after our even night NA Kuna days I'm retired. Zoltralord is retired after the Eve days, is that what you just said to me? Eighty-five percent snuggling. Zoltra Lord. The only thing on your killboard that you killed was our own structure when we blew it up together, and it was standing still and not firing back. Retired. Retired. Okay. 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 Ultimazo with 500 bits said, Ya, cheer, 500, good thorning, more. Good thorning to you. Your best medic with 500 bits said, Kappa, 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 Kappa. Thank you very much. It's very nice of you. Outrageously nice of you. Agramex with 1000 bits said, For democracy. For democracy. We're getting for further, further in time. 500 bits said, Ya, cheer, 500, this TTS will go to debt equals D. No, it won't. No, it won't. It's mine now. Burroughs with 500 bits said at Parade Software, any idea why once I have more than two people in my fire team, all audio becomes laggy, crackled and distorted. No matter what I change on settings or device updates I have done. Any clues to help me stop pulling my hair out? If you're talking about in Helldivers, there is an overlay, an audio overlay specifically over the audio to make it sound like you're talking through intercoms. We noticed this as well. It's clearly an intentional thing, and I actually think it's kind of cool for immersion, frankly. Yeah, so I, if, if you're talking about outside of Helldivers, likely it's going to be a USB hub overload. Yeah, that happens a lot. Um, I run over a USB microphone, and sometimes I have problems with that. I, I am going to be switching to an XLR. Uh, Twitch sent me an XLR microphone because of the, the hype challenge so i'm going to be hooking that up eventually which is kind of a huge thing oh my god at twenty-five thousand bits you mad lad lurker in the wires with 500 what? bits said we've replaced thor's normal bone juice with folger's crystals what are you let's doing let's see if he notices the difference your no, democracy you and other news recently a redropped a bunch of old games on steam crushing a couple indie launches no i wanted to use my troll power shout out potions a curious tale a fantasy themed adventure puzzle game that seemed interesting I'm not affiliated with them, I just think they deserve a boost. So I keep hearing this story all over social media. I think that that store page, that, uh, like, the thing that we're talking about here is the new games on Steam. New games on Steam. And this indie dev, their game was pushed down this list under new releases. And it got pushed down off of the page now, right? Here's the problem. Most people don't use this to find new games. This is not a major selling system for games. It isn't. Your community and word of mouth from people who like your game is the largest selling metric for your game. And I found that when, since that story has broken, where everyone's like, oh no, this, this indie dev is getting crushed by EA. No. No. Not at all, no. It is... They are heavily overvaluing this page to an extent that seems outrageous to me at this point because it's kind of ratcheted up the internet into like defensive and indie dev, which is fine. Defend the indie dev all you like, but this page is deeply overvalued at this point. Is it annoying to get off of a page because a major studio releases stuff? Yes. Is it really going to damage your sales? No. 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 Like, it's... It's crazy to me to think that like that is that is seen as the reason your game would fail. It has nothing to do with that. The, if, if you want your game to succeed, you need to talk to your players. You need to interact with them. You need to show them that, they're, that they can be comfortable giving you feedback. You need to improve the game with them, and your game needs to be fun for them. Those are the biggest driving metrics right now, not if you're on the new popular section of Steam. It doesn't matter. And it, it sucks because I'm finding this to be more and more of a thing. I think their game is cool, but the outrage around the situation has given them far more exposure for their game than this page ever would. Ever. At all. And I, I think that is misleading to new developers who will now think that being on this page is how you make it. How your game succeeds. And it's not. Focus on your community. Focus on the player experience. Focus on them. Because you exist because of them. 
not because of this page. And it's, it's such a strange thing to watch. Really don't agree with it. Chronos Blaster 13 with 500 bits said this is a robbery hand over the dopamine. No. No, it's mine. You can't have it. Leviticus Voxel with $15 said for the mods and their speedy response. Hmm. Yeah, the mods are awesome, dude. W mods, always. JM Arsh 19 with 500 bits said I'm a product owner, business analyst in a large agile release train. Mm. Is there a need for this type of role within gaming development? Yes. I'm guessing the agile core framework is less common in gaming development given the short sprints, but I'll defer to you on that. Thanks for it's, the content. It's not just about making video games. You have to understand there's a massive infrastructure for building games outside of that. So live service games are very different. You know, long going games like that are very different. Multiplayer games are very different. And because of this, you have a huge amount of extra stuff that's going on where those skills are incredibly beneficial, insanely so. And I, I, I find that to be often overlooked by people who are outside of the industry. They think everyone directly works with the games. No, they don't. Very few people actually directly work with the games. There's a massive infrastructure that stays up outside of that. And you would be very valuable in that if you weren't already valuable inside of the gaming industry side of it. You know, the game is part of it. We get ads in a moment. Play one more. Can I do it before Bezos Novotic arrives? Novotic with 500 oh, bits it's huge. said for an interesting and frustrating experience just happened. No. I was casually delivering democracy as usual and I woke up today to watch your stream while doing my part only to find out that your stream was stuttering and freezing on my second monitor. Weird. Obviously I went to the usual culprit of hardware acceleration but it was off, so I go off on a crusade to find the culprit. To then find that Norton antivirus software has been installed on my PC. I terminated the bug and now I'm good. Congratulations. Congrat you've saved this machine. Norton? Who the hell installed Norton on your machine? Jesus. That is grim. That is deeply grim, dude. Oh. I was told to check something. One moment. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta show this off. This is funny as hell. Oh, it's so funny. Dude, you couldn't even spell butthole right. It was your first message. And you couldn't even... Come on, spell it right. Your first message and you spell butthole wrong. <laughs> I'm upset for you. Out of anything that could happen to you today, this is going to be the worst moment for you, dude. You couldn't even spell butthole right. Wow. That is awful. That has got to be... They, you got to be feeling terrible right now. What's that like? Hmm. Just tell, tell me what it's like to feel like, like you do right now. It's vitamins for me. It's vitamins. Thank you for the donation to the mods, by the way. It's very nice of you. Thank you very, very much. So, <laughs> this is actually really funny. So, showing off Stein's new game that they just announced. Five bucks for the boss. And they're going to be working on it for a while. But look at this. Additional notes under system requirements. Saying things like, you've got this, buddy. And you're doing so good to your PC will help it feel seen and appreciated. Setting up a nice screensaver and staring at it for a while will give you and your PC some time to bond. <laughs> It's very funny shit. I love I love joke notes and stuff, dude. God damn it, Stein, you're amazing. Crunklevit with 666 bits said when democracy is calling, but a charger has other plans for you. Kick some Thor and crew. Kick some Thor and crew? No, it's good. Kick some butts. But you know, I, I love, I love Helldivers. They fixed a lot of this stuff, too. It feels much better now. I'm quite happy with it. It's good. It's in Mommy a good place 247 again. with 500 bits said the server just likes Iron Mouse more than your all. True. That is true. Bias. Animal Flame 4658 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, have you ever heard the story of the USS Nevada, the ship we decided to drop a nuke on twice? What? What do you mean twice?
Due in part to the miss, Nevada survived. The ship also remained afloat after the second test Baker, a detonation some 90 feet below the surface of the water, but was damaged and extremely radioactive from the spray. Nevada was later, later towed to Pearl Harbor and decommissioned on August 29th, 1946. We nuked it twice as a test. What a beast, dude. What an absolute beast. Radioactive ship. All right. Seems good. All right, next. Makes hearty with 500 bits said good day, Lord Thor. In honor of your new home, I have this. The real estate in my neighborhood has become so expensive that only cats can afford it. <laughs> you need nine lives to pay it off. What's a real estate agent's favorite song? Felice Navidad, we're having a really difficult time selling our house. We blame it on the neighbors. They always have the lawn sprinkler on. It's a source of constant irrigation. Who made you this way? God damn it. Sope2 with 50,000 dongs said how much gold would atone that, when read and practiced upon what's written inside for six days, gives permanent two stats cost. It says 5,000 to 50,000. Wait, what? How much gold would a tome that, when read and practice upon, what's written inside for t six days, gives permanent two stats cost? What game? I don't know what game that would be. Unless you're, are you talking about D&D? Okay, so if you're talking about Dungeons and Dragons and you're talking about plus two permanent stat points, that's a big deal. Two permanent stats is huge. Like, huge. No, Kappa? No, no, it's, yeah, no, it's gotta be, it's, if it's D&D, &D, two permanent stats is enormous, dude. Like, enormous. Because you're thinking about an Iron Stone, right? Like, an iron stone gives you plus one to something, and iron stones are very expensive and can be destroyed. This is something that is permanent to the character and plus two. That's a... That's a big deal, man. Yeah. That's a really big deal. Every little number counts. Yeah, two numbers is huge, dude. That's... I don't know. That's a very expensive... That's like a... That's like a once-in-a-campaign kind of a thing. A priceless artifact sort of a thing, dude. Yeah. Very much so. Dr. Noyce with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, for all the ferrets you've saved and rescued, how can you remember all their names? We write them down, and we have their pictures, even when we didn't succeed. Miss Sneaky Ninja with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 heyo. I wanted to ask about the newer ferrets to the rescue that came about a month ago. I yeah. hope they're doing okay, I know there. you guys are doing the best you can. I also wanted to ask why you both chose to rescue ferrets. It's such an interesting choice, and they're so cute. Ya bongos. We didn't really choose it. They kind of chose us, man. Like, I, um... We got two ferrets from... <laughs> I'm going to turn this off for a second. We got two ferrets from the University of Washington here in, in Washington State. And they have a ferret breeding program that they use for medical testing. And we got two females from them because they, they will breed females for two litters. And then at their first year birthday, they, they put them down. Right? It's kind of how that works. And the males, they use them for medical testing, and they put them down afterwards for... For that, it's a, it's a really rough thing. It's a rough thing. But the reason that ferrets are used is because they have ACE2 receptors just like human beings, which means they can largely get the same diseases that we can. They can get COVID just like we can. They can get the flu just like we can. It's a, it's a rough thing for them, but that is that is why they're used. With the two girls that we got, they were named Loki and Snails. And we started to get a couple more ferrets, a couple more ferrets, and, and they had to get used to the other ferrets, and they got better and better at it. And then Snails died. And... She died at the age of four, so we had her for three years, and it sucked, dude. It was really rough, and we realized, like, like, hey, man, we, we realized that it was awful that she died, but she would have died three years beforehand, and I was like, what if we do that again? What if we get more of them, we give them more time? You know, because she, she wouldn't have had anything. She would have been gone, and I realized that it was worth it. It was awful, but it was worth it. And we just didn't stop doing that. And now we have 35 ferrets in the rescue. We're going to be scaling up to 100 this year. Uh, my neighbor, it's a buddy of mine, he actually works for the city. And he knows all the construction workers that work for the city. And they want to help us build the rescue as well. 
So we're going to form a architecture plan for that and we're going to get it designed and then we're going to work together to make that done in a very cheap way, which is nice. And uh yeah, so that'll be at the new at the new property, which is huge. And it's it's everything I could ever want it to be, frankly. And you guys made all of that possible, so thank you. Yeah. Ferret Sanctuary. Yeah, no, it's it's our rescue, man. So thank you for doing that. Thanks for being there. Because it's some wild shit. This was like my it was like my ten year plan, and now it's a one year plan, which is crazy, frankly. It really is. So thank you very much. Zykes with 500 bits said good morning Thor. Dev question. I've seen sure. a few places mention a difference between first person and true first person. I can't seem to see why the difference matters. Difference between first person and true first person. I actually don't know the difference between those. Let me look it up. First person versus true first person. What the hell is the difference? I don't actually know the difference. Oh, wait a minute. True first person is when you can look down and see your whole body. Is that what it is? Is that the point of that? Because first person is you can just see straight ahead. True first person is when you can see the body. Is that is that the distinction? I've never heard the term. As strange as that is. That just sounds like a VR game to me. Yeah, look down and see your toes. I guess that's a weird distinction. I guess it's a they're using it as an extra layer of immersion, right? Yeah. That makes more sense. A little bit odd. That's point of view on certain websites. On certain websites. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. I don't know what actually... It, it seems like a, a needless sort of distinction, I guess. Uh, I, seems less... Yeah, unnecessary. Seems unnecessary to me, frankly. Oddly specific, yeah. Attack button with 500 bits said looking for advice on direction. During the pandemic, I learned to use blueprints in UE and make a few small games for friends to try. Sure. I've forgotten most of it after returning to work for a few years. But feel it would come back. Should I continue in blueprints or attempt to learn a coding at 39 years old and start over? Stop worrying about your age. Shit doesn't matter. Do you want to learn programming? Do you want to use blueprints? You can do both, by the way. You can even do a combination of both. There's nothing wrong with that anyway. And many things are just made in Unreal using blueprints alone. It's not starting over. It's starting a new adventure. You're learning new shit. There's no starting over. Like, don't see it as starting over. Don't see it as losing time or backtracking. You are learning new shit. And your age is irrelevant to that. I'm going to be doing this shit when I'm 100 goddamn years old if I make it that long. I'm not going to stop learning new shit. I'm going to become like a... a no, I'm, I'm already a completely obnoxious. I'm going to be even more obnoxious. I'm going to be old and obnoxious. I'm going to be an old wizard that's like, do you want to know how the internet was formed? There used to be a man named Al Gore, and he made the whole internet. And everyone's going to be like, shut up, Grandpa. It's going to be me, dude. It's going to be me. 100% me. You're already old? You're already old. I'm ready. Death Dragon DK with 500 bits said happy birthday. It's not my birthday, you goblin, I swear to God. But yeah, don't worry about the Way age. Frank with $9.99 said I'm going to become an embedded system grad student in fall. It's a top ranking school, but I really want to start making some money. What should I do? So if you're going to be doing embedded system grad student in fall, a top ranking school, but you really want to make some money, start doing things online. Um, freelancing is a big deal, man. I, I did freelancing for years. It's tough as shit. Understand something. It is brutally tough. I was full-time freelance for five years, and I failed. I went homeless at the end of it because I screwed up, but I learned a lot of shit. I learned a lot of shit. If I was smarter about it earlier on, I wouldn't have gone homeless, but I wasn't smart about it. I was bad with my money. I was bad with, you know, business. I was bad with all of it. I screwed up and, you know, got wrecked for it. So 
it's something to be real with is freelancing is tough but if you already have a system like this where you're just trying to do it on the side you have a much better opportunity to do freelance stuff for extra money freelance stuff for extra cash is a great way to pay man yeah all the demos sold and games sold are your file actor that's true that is true i get to live forever now chet through each and every one of you and the demo that you downloaded on your computer which is actually a file actor that's right you have to delete every copy of the video game of heartbound forever in order to kill me. It's too late. I have already won. It's too late, Chad. It's too late. Yeah. King C Salt with 888 bits said, Hey man, I love what you do and the vibes of the channel. Thank you. I just wanted to ask for some advice to get into the gaming space as a tester. I really want to change professions but not sure where to start. I've always been surrounded by games and want to be a part of the process of a team that makes games. Okay. I used to speedrun a lot and finding game breaking bugs is fun. Just don't know how to connect that with game testing job. Cheers, mate. Do game jams. So game jams are a great way to do this. We actually run game jams twice a year. The next one's going to be in July. When you do a game jam, you get to be a part of a small team, usually three to five people. And you get to work on a game together and kind of flex that, you know, get better in, in certain areas and learn certain things. Game jams are great. And if you want to do some right now, go to itch.io, itch.io slash jams. And all of the game jams publicly available for HIO are listed right here. Look at this. It's massive. There's so many game jams that are running right now that you can just go do. So don't wait. Don't wait for ours. Just do them. Just do them. Yeah. Also, if you contract game tester digs, uh, gigs on LinkedIn right now, yeah, there always are. You find that stuff. Yeah, wow, well, streamer spam. I know, but no, game jams are king, dude. You want to learn some shit? Do game jams. You want to get some, you want to get a job? It's a great way to learn, you know, great way to meet people. And if you want to join our Discord, there's about 90,000 people in the Discord now. And if you come up here, this is the Answer TTS channel with all your guys' messages. Go to channels and roles, choose game dev out of this, and then you have access to the game dev section or hacking or art, voice acting, video, audio, programming, writing, or streaming. You want to learn something? There's a community in here, and I built the Discord as a set system of micro-communities so that you only have access to channels you want to have access to. So go up here, choose this, and then get access to any of the areas you want to, you know, learn, and do that. And that's why there's 90,000 people in the Discord. It's enormous, dude. It's freaking huge. So yeah, have fun, man. Mommy247 with 505 bits said, Why does everyone diss on Kraft Mac and Cheese? Is there something wrong with it? I no. love it. Who's dissing on Kraft's Mac and Cheese, dude? Chili Mac is king. You take a thing of Hormel chili and a box of Kraft. That shit's delicious, dude. You don't diss that. Nah. Nah. It's delicious. You do you? That's fine, I will. And I'll have chili, Mac. Delicious, dude. You can say you all you want. You can say you all you want, dude. Chili Mac is king. That is king. Heldist with 500 bits said so. I will not lie, your voice and what you do, and how you do it, made me question my sexuality LUL. First stream here, managed to see a lot of shorts on YouTube and I was absolutely curious to check a stream out. I've been here for, what, just five minutes and I already love you in the chat. Keep on, keeping on everyone, remember that you are never alone. It may be a bad day, not a bad life. True. I think that's something a lot of people forget. Just a page. Turn the page. Shit sucks today, doesn't mean it has to tomorrow. Shit sucks right now, doesn't mean it has to in five minutes. You'll get there. It's super important. Really important to understand that. So yeah, I agree. Also... If you find yourself arriving in the chat, and and I, I think my favorite response to 